Hello! Oh my gosh! Is it... Is it the first stream of the year? I can't believe it! Happy New Year's, everybody! Bum, 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 bum. Hello, hello, hello! Okay, also Dream Owl popping off with a hundred gifted subs and for what? Huh? And for what? Emily Walt, these are 26 months. Happy New Year's, also happy birthday week. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, it's Capricorn season. Yes, my birthday and Mika's birthday. Don't forget, Mika's birthday is also on the 8th. Six days. I'm so excited. Also, um, I kind of... I feel like I need to change because my arm is about to rip out of this shirt. <laughs> It, it's... I haven't worn this shirt in a while and I'm a little jacked or whatever. So, you know. Brother Man, they said 24 months. Thank you. I love your content. You are an inspiration to us all. <laughs> thank you. I, Thank you. It's very sweet of you. Happy two years. Lamb, thanks for the 10 months. Hello. Hades, thanks for the five months. Happy New Year's. Yas, thanks for the four months. PG, thanks for joining. Chris, thanks for the 11 months. Thank you. Ian, thanks for the 30 months. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, no, this shirt is just... small. I am small. This shirt is smaller. What are you drinking? Caffeine. Some caffeine. I'm so excited for this year. Uh, I worked out today. I think the music's too loud still, isn't it? How's that? I've been working out pretty consistently, and uh, I'm keeping track of my numbers this year. I, I just kind of, I would just go in and frilly nilly just work out, but now I'm keeping track of things. So as of today, I wrote it down. Don't look at all my, so dirty, oh my God. Don't look, don't look, Cl close your eyes. January 2nd, I squatted. 85 pounds three times. It's not my peak. My peak is 100 pounds. Uh, but I will get back to that soon. I will get back to that. Still old phone. Yeah. I don't... I... Oh, gosh. I really don't think I'm going to switch phones until this phone breaks. Which is going to be really bad because I will probably, you know, need to get the stuff off of there before it, everything breaks. There is something in my eye. Okay, I think I'm gonna change because this shirt's cutting off my circulation. One second. Oh, also I'm wearing my, my massive pants. Okay, I... I did forget I had a headset on. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Oopsies. They're huge! <laughs> They're super comfortable. Okay, let me change. I'm gonna change. Hold! I can't feel my arms!
Okay, this shirt doesn't really match the pants, but whatever. Whatever. You can't really see the pants if I scoot up like this. Hello, I'm back, sorry. I know Viper's head keeps falling off. I need like super, 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 super glue. It does match? It does? Wait, really? I didn't think it did. A doppel. Sorrel, thanks for the five months. I turned 16 on the 24th of December. Happy New Year's. Happy birthday. Happy early birthday, George. Thanks for six months. Thank you. Happy early birth to you and Mika. Thanks. Can you believe Mika's going to be five years old? I cannot believe it. Black. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Porf. What lipstick? This is called Dos Dose Dose of Colors. Liquid matte, liquid matte, liquid matte. <laughs> uh shade. Los and jealous. Uh but instead of Angelus. It's spelled an jealous, like jealousy. Dude, makeup pro products have the craziest names. Don't say no. Do dos is D O S E. I don't know. Whatever. Ah, whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Uh, today we have a pretty thick day today. Derek, thanks for thirty-five months. Today we're gonna watch more crew try. There is no way. I just said crew trime again. That's crazy. Crew trime. Why do I keep doing that? Crouton? <laughs> Crouton? We are watching croutons today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. We are also announcing the stream as winners with Myung. Myung will be joining on my channel. We are gonna announce the three winners. I think two were two were community voted and then Myung and I picked the uh, final winner. So there'll be three winners winning full entire PC setups, which is awesome. Um, stream as was really fun. It was very stressful, but very fun. Um, learning lesson, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, really good, I thought. And then, uh, I wanted to do... I haven't written down my goals. Okay. <laughs> my New Year starts today. You may be wondering, Ray, what happened? New Year's was two nights ago. Was it two nights? When was New Year's? What day is it, bro? It's the second. So yesterday was New Year's Day, and yesterday night was New Year's Night. You may be asking, Ray, what happened? Why are you starting New Year's on the 2nd? Well, because yesterday I spent the whole day being hungover. That's what had happened, okay? I, I, I am not counting yesterday as a day to my New Year's. Mm -mm. No, it was awful and I regret it. I am not drinking again. Until next time. Anyways, uh, so yeah, today is my New Year's. So I wanted to write down all of my resolutions for the year with you guys. Cause I haven't done that yet. I do have I do have a lot of goals in mind, but dude, I can't even express to you guys. This is my favorite time of the year. This is my favorite time. I love New Year's. I love like my birthday. This is I never feel more inspired than when I do around January. January is my favorite month. I'm so excited. There's so much I want to do, and hopefully this year I will you know achieve all of my goals that I set. Cause I usually set way too many goals that I can never achieve. But um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, also, oh my gosh. Never mind. <laughs> Echo, thanks for the seven months. Thank you. Wero for the 11 months. Thank you, Alex, for the 24. Thank you for all the members, Lonnie and Clues and Chloe. Thank you so much. Okay, I know I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I just wanna say. I saw some of Ray Twitter beefing on Twitter. Holy cow, you guys are a little like childlike mother, I guess. 
but I'm just gonna say I never said I was quitting GTA 5 RP. I don't know. You guys are on some crazy, crazy, like, crazy copium, I think, where, you know, you took what I said on Myung's channel saying, like, I don't want to play GTA right now as, like, a... Rest in peace, Raymond! Not Raymond trending on the first day of the new year! This bitch hasn't woken up for months, and she's trending on Twitter? You guys are crazy! I, I saw that, and I was like, dude... Y'all need to chill. <laughs> it was her birthday. She's not real! <laughs> she's not... She's not real! You guys, she doesn't exist! Okay? She's a fictional character that I made up. I can't... I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about... our sanity levels. But yes, happy birthday, Raymond! We'll see you soon, Copium. <laughs> FBI, thanks for the 17 months. Esme, thanks for the 20 months. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Akash, thanks for 23 months. Thank you so much. Okay. Music off. It's time. Wait, what's the time? What? What are we doing? Crime? Should we start with crime or should we do Reddit recap first? Hmm. I'm sad today, Ray. Don't no 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 no. We are not allowed to be Oh actually, yeah, no, we're allowed to be sad, but but we are going to try to focus on the good things. It's a new year. It's a new year. Crime? Okay, crime. Let's do crime. No 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 no. It's okay to be sad, but What's my best advice I could give? Hmm. It's okay to be sad, but if it's a repetitive sadness and something is causing that sadness, maybe it's a good time to try to change those habits or get rid of something that is causing sadness. You know, maybe it's a person in your life that's affecting you. <laughs> get rid of that hoe. <laughs> New Year! <laughs> it's crouton time! Uh, what's the channel called? Oh, explore with us. <laughs> what? Outta here. Alright. <gasps> Wait, they uploaded a video 21 hours ago. Let's go! When a thrill killer realizes he's been caught. Dude, this channel, a lot of their... A lot of their titles are the same, but I guess that's why it works. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, should we watch it first? Oh, wait. Before we watch that, I wanted to watch that video of um, the Scream Killers, the girl that got stabbed 19 times. Someone said there was a short video of her, of her being interrogated. Is that true? WMAC, thanks for the 26 months. Peyton's interview, yes. Okay. Oh my god, you remembered? Yeah, you know. Uh, new leaf, new me, new year, new something. <laughs> Dude, I do this every year. I'm predictable. It's, it's a matter of how long am I going to feel this way and how long am I going to be motivated for? How long am I going to change my ways until I... Seep back into my old habits. Huh? How long? Uh... Peyton's... What's the video called? What's the video called? If I just search for Peyton, explore with us. I also don't know how to spell her name. Uh, pay, okay, uh, explore with us, pay, pay, ten, P A, oh, ooh. oh, no. <gasps> Wait, this might be DMCA though. 
Slender Man Stabbing Survivor Describes Horrific Ordeal. But it's ABC News. E.W. Payton. Okay. E.W.U. Pay. 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 With an A. Mm. That poor girl. Trigger warning? Okay, I'll fix it. I'll fix the title. We'll get rid of Happy New Year's. Uh, tr trigger warning. Watching crime. Okay. Wait, too many. I use too many characters. Mm. And save. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, one of my mods is checking to see if the video is DMCA, so we, we will see. In the meantime, before we watch that, let's watch the new video that they posted instead. How about that? Boop. Let's watch it. 21 hours ago, when a thrill killer realizes he's been caught. Oh my gosh, it's been... It's been a while since we've watched crime. Like, what, three days? <laughs> three days of crime? The following is an educational documentary. I'm standing there in shock. Uh-oh. All right, let me know how the audio is. He wanted a little community of little killers. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Little killers? He's being accused of this. A young man takes off on a cross-country journey in hopes of achieving a fresh start. He's optimistic that this is his chance to make things right for his family. And he can feel oh, it. Oh, wait, he... Everything is about to change. He made subtitles. Dude! The narrator has subtitles now? This is awesome! Okay, oh, hold on. I was so distracted by the subtitles, I, I didn't hear anything. Start. He's optimistic that this is his chance to make Volume things right for his family. And he can feel it. Everything is about to change. Unbeknownst to him, however, his path will soon take an unfortunate detour. It will intersect with an individual so incredibly evil, they would later be described as a serial killer in the making. It was June 17, 2017, when 18-year-old Hunter Tash Smith left his home in Junction City, Oregon, bound for Nebraska. There, a steady job that could help him to provide for his infant daughter was awaiting him. He'd led his family to believe he'd be traveling by Greyhound bus. It could be that he didn't want them to worry. In actuality, he had elected to hitchhike. Three days later, on June 20th, he updated his friend in Nebraska, who he planned to stay with on arrival. <laughs> he was in Burns, Oregon, and was catching a bus to Idaho. Around this same time, Hunter's aunt, Raquel Messer, received word that Hunter had been picked up by a nice couple. Apparently, they were so kind that they allowed him to stay the night in their home, giving him a chance to clean up and get a comfortable night's rest. The plan was to drop him off at an Ontario, Oregon bus station the following day. And then, all contact with Hunter came to a screeching halt. It was the next month in August when Hunter's friend in Nebraska contacted Hunter's mother, Heather Smith. The friend was worried. It had been weeks since she'd heard from Hunter. Immediately, Hunter's family filed a missing persons report. It was August 4th. And then, nothing. Four agonizing months passed since his family had last seen him, and still no word from Hunter. On October 21st, a development came, but it was the worst kind of news. Human remains were found by hunters in an area of the Bruno Desert in Idaho, Oregon's neighboring state to the east. The cause of death appeared to have been anything but natural. And based on the estimate... I don't recommend waiting a couple weeks to file a missing persons report on your kid if your child has gone missing, all right? 
Okay, maybe do it after, like, a day. Made at age of the deceased, Idaho State Police believed that Crazy. the remains could potentially be those of the missing young man. DNA from Hunter's mother was compared against that of the unidentified body, and the confirmation soon came. Sadly, the remains were those of Hunter. With the terrible news, the family's worst nightmare became a reality, and all hope that he'd someday return was lost. The situation was beyond comprehension. What could have happened to the young father who was eager to start his new life? The story behind Hunter's horrendous demise would soon unravel, what? along with unbelievably shocking revelations about the monster whose path he tragically crossed. The question why any of this happened in the first place will be answered, but understanding the bizarre motive is another thing entirely. In the county of Owyhee, rumors began circulating about the disturbing find. One particular lead out of the many received shortly after news of the somber discovery was made public captured the full attention of law enforcement. A man by the name of Nick Vandenberg had shared a local news story on Facebook. This is close to where I live, Nick commented. But it was his next comment that really raised eyebrows. If it was me, I wouldn't have left him in the desert, LOL. Too much risk of Hunter stumbling on a dead body, LOL. What? Not exactly the kind of thing someone expected to read about such a tragedy, especially posted publicly. Yeah. As law enforcement followed up on the leads that had rapidly filtered in, they were soon led to a young woman by the name of Montana Reed. She'd been living with Nick in his home until recently and was his ex-girlfriend. Montana agreed to speak with detectives on October 24th of 2017, three days after the remains were located. First, they addressed how it was that she came to live with Nick in his home. Halloween night of last year, I moved in and it was, I was getting a divorce. And uh, so I just, you know, me and my husband were leaving at my mom's house. I couldn't live there anymore. So he offered me a place to stay, and so I was meeting his friends and everybody. It seems it wasn't long before the detective got down to the heart of the matter. I couldn't think of him hurting somebody like that. Oh, Why yeah. Why do people say that he's violent and he's capable of doing that? Because he went to military. I mean, he talks about little stuff from the military, and... I mean, he's been in a few bar fights. Nick has claimed that during the course of his service in the Marine Corps, while stationed overseas, he'd engaged in combat. As a result, he'd had to resort to taking lives. Montana gave some additional background on Nick and explained that his upbringing had left a lot to be desired. His growing up, I don't know if you know, but like he was in and out of foster care and all this other stuff. And so, as it turns out, Montana wasn't the only individual Nick welcomed into his home. What about uh, his roommate? I couldn't see Keith hurting anybody either. Keith just had a baby, and he's, um, you know, he's been in jail. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to go back at all. 33-year-old Willie Keith Raby is a man who we'll hear from shortly. No. As it turns out, he's also on law enforcement's radar for multiple reasons. Montana continues to describe her dealings with the two men after living with them for an extended period of time. Neither of them ever showed a violent side to me. So far, Montana can only speak highly of the two men. Of course, as you'll see, this won't always remain the case. The detective then poses an interesting question to Montana. Have you seen the news article that came out about the body that was located? Yeah, I've seen... Um, Lots of people post on Facebook from around that area. And then it was right out there where we lived, kind of. He's trying to get a sense of how much Montana knows. And where was they, where were they saying the body was located? I'm not... I, I didn't look exactly where, but everybody, like, I know Nick posted on there. He was like, that's pretty much in my backyard. I mean, you know, and it just said that the Bruno Desert is where it was found. Why would Nick talk about this, that he did this to, other, to, this, to this person? I don't know. He's not necessarily a show-off, I guess. I don't know why he would be talking about something like that if he didn't do it. And if he 
If he did, he's not. I don't. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy that he's being accused of this. No one's accusing him yet. You just suspect that he did it because people are talking about it. Did he ever talk to Girl. you about the term bunny bumping? Huh? Bunny bumping? Going out and shooting rabbits in the desert. Yeah, we did that. Did he ever talk about going out with Keith? They went out lots. I mean, not lots, lots, but... The detective asks where they enjoyed going out to shoot, and coincidentally, it seems they frequented a spot near the Bruno Desert, according to Montana near where Hunter's body was found. At oh, this point, no. it seems the detective is narrowing in on the suspect. Point blank, if you knew that he did this, would you tell me? <gasps> I don't want to get in trouble for that, for keeping that. I don't know if Nick did this or not. There are things that point to possibly he did, which means he's a bad person, or he could not be. So again, I'm trying to reiterate, stay away from the guy, okay? okay? Don't talk to him about this. Don't talk to anybody about this. Something happened, whether he had something to do with it or not, I don't know, but he has told people that he has. That's just, that's crazy, oh my gosh. Montana continues to express her shock that Nick's name has come up in relation to Hunter's death. The detective concludes the conversation, and Montana may think this marks the I end of her- do you guys think that she's suspicious? I feel like... I feel like she's kind of giving off innocent. You guys think that she's in on it? Okay, wait. It's I can't ask you guys because I feel like some of you has... have watched this already. I can't... I can't tell... I, I feel like she seems a bit... ...involvement in the matter. However, the following day, Surprise. the detective in Montana meet again. And as you'll see, she didn't heed his advice. Um, I talked to him talking about this stuff, and then that's why I called you. So you talked to Nick after you talked to me? Ooh. Yeah, I, I told him because he messaged me, so I tried to, like, keep it short. While it is possible that Montana is innocent and is simply trying to look out for her friend, going straight to Nick could also suggest that she's involved and wants to ensure their stories line up. If the detective wasn't suspicious of Montana before, he likely is now. But why would why would she tell him that, you know, that they talked? I don't know if I'm allowed to ask this, but I'm guessing <laughs> since you're talking about the guns, the person that was found was shot. Am I allowed to ask We're that? Not, we can't comment on yeah. what we have, but, but that's a possibility. Maybe she's just in a silly, Let's goofy focus mood. On what you do know. Okay. Interestingly, stating that they can't comment isn't actually true. There's usually no rule that would prevent the police from providing details to a potential witness. However, officers will often be strategic about the details they do divulge. Many times, police will want to wait to hear a witness's version of events. This serves two purposes. First, it ensures that the witness's statements aren't influenced by the detectives. Second, if the witness provides statements that the officers already know to be false, then they can use these contradictions in the interrogations. As it seems they aren't making much progress, the detective begins to lay it on thicker. I'm glad you called me last night, but I still find it strange that you would even care to even stop and talk to Nick after I've disclosed to you that he is suspected Silly yeah. girl. I'm killing somebody. I can't tell you what we know, but I know you would have been living at a house when this happened. And I don't know how you wouldn't know at least something. Something happened in that time frame between, say, around the 4th of July and the month leading up to everybody moving out of that house. Of course, Montana can explain it all away, as she's been doing so far. Keith was on the run. We told him that he needed to go serve his time. Everybody did, but he didn't want to. So I know that Nick pretty much, I don't know if he told him, but I know that Nick didn't want him at the house. Oh, no, he was okay. gonna be on the run. Yeah, thank you. I moved out because we were having some issues and with our relationship. One night we got in an argument and I just had it. So I moved out the very next day. As of now, the detective is curious how Montana and Nick's conversation began the previous day. 
Apparently, they've been texting each other frequently. Unfortunately, Montana is unable to show the messages to the detective. Apparently, she routinely deletes all of her messages. These having been erased alone wouldn't make Montana guilty of anything. However, if combined with other evidence, the prosecution could use this to show something called consciousness of guilt. This is evidence that shows that a particular criminal defendant knew that they had done something wrong and were conscious of their own involvement. For example, mm -hmm. destroying evidence of a crime. Mm -hmm. A common misconception is that once you delete something from a phone or computer, then that file or message is permanently deleted. It's not. However, this is not the case. Until the underlying data is actually written over, it can still be recovered. Mm -hmm. As Montana has continued to stick to her story, that she can't believe Nick could be involved in such a terrible crime and that she has no information to share, the detective kicks things up a notch. And as you'll see, Montana does have some details to share after all. The truth can set everybody free, okay? I know you know something. <gasps> I'm looking at you right now, <laughs> and I know you do. And with that, oh. Montana makes a shocking statement. Oh, girl. Who was there? With this revelation, there's no question about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> she really, uh, she really threw in the towel just like that. Montana has Damn. been lying. I don't want him to be in trouble. I don't want him to go to jail. <laughs> this poor girl is more concerned about the guy than herself. She is too... I was gonna say sweet, but she has been lying, you know. That's a, that's a piece of coal for Christmas. I don't wanna go to jail. Oh, there this you go. This marks the point where everything changes course. Montana has a mountain of information to provide, and it definitely won't be setting anyone free. She's throwing Mom all over Nate, the place. Uh, Nick came home with this kid. I don't know his name. He said that he picked him up and he was a hitchhiker. And we were gonna feed him dinner and let him take a shower, and then Nick was gonna drop him off at another place. If you recall, the last word from Hunter was received around June 20th. The detective asks Montana when Nick picked the kid up. Give the me a kid. time frame, summer. Was it about this party time that we're talking about? A little bit before. Okay. The kid joined them for dinner. After that, they were going to show him a good time. The kid had never went shooting rabbits. We, like, we talked about all of that sort of stuff. He had never went hunting, really, and uh, he never went shooting rabbits. So the guys were going to take him out, gave the Nick. So that was their plan, is they were going to take him out to go shooting and then go take him up to Mountain Home. When they got back, he wasn't there anymore. And You didn't go with him to shoot rabbits? Not that time. What did Nick tell you about this? All he said was that they took him out shooting and dropped him off in Mountain Home. But you said you were there. You know this happened. You're, you're in now. You, you, or Wabbits. You're, you're on the right path. The detective asks her if she would be willing to call Nick while he covertly listens in. Yeah, I can do that. It's worth a try. According to a statement the detective made earlier, Nick has been eager to talk to other people who have then shared information with police. Um, so they, the police left me a message asking about the body. They wouldn't say that in a message. Why would they be asking me? I don't know. I don't know either. Do you know anything? No. When someone's voice goes from a lower tone and ends on a higher tone, it often means the person is questioning something or lacks confidence in what they're saying. Mm -hmm. It could also mean they are being disingenuous or are simply caught off guard. His upward inflection here is a red flag no. because this should be something he's <laughs> certain about, which would be demonstrated with a firm tone of voice rather than his less than confident no. Does anybody that you know know anything? Not that I don't know. Everybody I talk to doesn't have any idea what's going on. We're all trying to figure it out, too. Because that seems really suspicious to me that they would call you and talk about a body in a message. They would just ask you to return the call. 
If anything, it seems the call is making Nick suspicious of the yeah. whole situation. They wanted to know about the body, and they said uh, that it involved possibly that hitchhiker that you brought home. Uh -huh. And you, and I told him that I'd have to call him back later. <sighs> What's going uh, on? I don't know, Montana. Okay. I don't have any idea. What happened to the hitchhiker? I don't know. What's going on? Because I just want to know. I... I want to know why they're calling me. You already know. You know everything I know. So why are you asking me? Because I just, I just want to ask you because I don't know what to do. And I'm nervous and... You have nothing to be nervous about. Okay. I picked up a hundred hitchhikers over the last three fucking years. So, like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Wow. I gotta go. Dude! Okay. This guy's Bye. good. Unfortunately, he knows. the call didn't include the admission the detectives had hoped for. The following day, interview number three with Montana kicks off. You recognize that gentleman? That's the kid. Mm -hmm. How certain are you? Pretty certain. You're sure that that's our yep. missing hitchhiker? Looks exactly like him. Okay. Aww. Well, I can also say that I'm 100% sure that that's the body we found in the desert. Mm -hmm. It's all starting to crash down on Montana, and she has to know it. Also on this day, detectives also finally catch up with Keith. As you'll see, he's definitely not eager to talk. As Keith has had three unrelated warrants out for his arrest, he's been made aware that he will not be heading home after this interview. These warrants are not of interest to the detective. He has more pressing things on his mind. We have been looking for you because you are not a suspect. You are a witness to what happened that day. The detective starts the interrogation with some simple questions. How long have you known Nick? So like I said, I've only known him maybe. F? Are we good? Did I lag a little bit? Are we okay? Thank you, Archie, for 30 months. Marcus, uh... Christina, Charlotte, Jessica, Expo, Jacob. So many members. Thank you. No F for me. We good? Okay. Thank you. Here we go. Five, we good. We good. Okay. Six years. But you grew up in that in that area out there in, in, in Grandview. But I don't think Nick really went to school. And he's quite a few years younger than me. So I didn't really hang out with kids that were super young. You know what I mean? Already, Keith is attempting to distance himself from Nick. The uh -huh. question is, why would he find it necessary to do so? Ooh. It's going to be a good relief for you, I think. It's just tell us what happened from the beginning. As Keith is about to start telling the story, he rubs his face and eyes, which is considered eye-blocking behavior. Not only is this a sign that he's uncomfortable, but it also acts as a barrier between him and the detective. As well, it can be an attempt to avoid having to look into the face of the person who he may begin lying to. So Nick had called, I think I was at work or something, and I was going to get home, I was going to get home late, and Nick had messaged me and said that he picked up a hitchhiker, and he brought him back to the house. But I knew it was going to be a while before I got there. That's not how Montana recalled the evening. Keith wasn't with Nick when Nick picked him up. I think Keith was already at the house. Started messaging something like he needed to, uh, and don't quote me on that. I designed his that exact words. Okay, so I'm it's just in reference. <clears throat> um, it was something like he he had like a basically like a thirst for <gasps> to kill or something like <gasps> that. Things are looking worse for everyone at this point. Yeah, Montana and Keith's stories aren't lining up, and Nick allegedly has some very alarming urges. And at first, well, throughout the whole fucking night, I thought it was, I thought he was just fucking joking. But then when I showed up at the house, mm -hmm. his persona was different. Oh. It wasn't the same Nick that you normally no, know. No, it wasn't the same Nick. And there was a, a hitchhiker there? Yeah, there was. We started driving and we started shooting rabbits. And then, I remember we go up towards 
Like the Bruno Canyon, baby. And in the midst of this story, Keith reveals something that perhaps he wasn't supposed to reveal. And like Montana, she was sitting in front of me. This admission from Keith is definitely not consistent with her story, at least with one of her earlier versions that she told the previous day. You didn't go with him to shoot rabbit. Not that time. In this third interview, she must realize that the walls are beginning to close in. You haven't been honest with me. I know you haven't. I went back, I listened to the calls, and I listened to their interview yesterday. You were there when this happened. I have to put Nick in prison, whether you like it or not. And you're gonna have to help me do that. Will you do that and tell me exactly what happened? Yeah. As her self-preservation instincts kick in, Montana's account changes yet again. And as you'll see, she knows much more than she originally let on. So I didn't, I didn't watch it happen. I looked away because I didn't want to watch it. Keith was in the car with me. He was in the back seat. There's now a consensus what? between the two. Keith and Montana were both present at the time of the murder. Nick mm -hmm. let the kid get out and go shoot at a rock. Why a rock? Wanted to shoot one of Nick's bigger guns, rifles. Whoa! So he's firing it, and what's he it was shooting? a big at? rock. It's just rock and nothing. There was no rabbits there. He was just firing it, just so he could fire it. I guess. What happened next was absolutely chilling. I don't know. I just happened to be watching him. Uh, no. And I seen the kid empty out, empty out that gun. And he spun around, and I, I looked over at Nick, and I seen him, him with his pistol, and it was down at his hip. Why? And he was pointing right towards him. Did the kid was maybe, maybe a little bit farther than that door, from the wall to the door? Yeah, a little <clears throat> bit farther from Nick. Okay. And then Nick pulled the trigger and shot him right in the stomach. Oh. And uh, Nick got up out of the car. And he shot him. The kid, like, threw Nick's rifle down. And Nick waited till the gun was in, his gun was empty. That rifle was empty? Yeah. <clears throat> and the kid couldn't fire back. And I know that the kid said something. The what? kid was, like, screaming. Aww. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Don't f***ing kill me. I have a kid. Don't f***ing kill me. And he, like, fell back. On, he fell onto his back. And he was like trying to kick at Nick because Nick walked up to him. And then he fired off two more shots. And then Nick put two rounds in his head. In his head. I'm standing there in like shock, like what the f***? The accounts match up as far as Nick shooting Hunter, but then the versions veer off in different directions. According to Montana, Keith was in the car with her at this time. Keith continues with more heart-wrenching details of the savage ambush on the unarmed young man. And he turns towards Nick, turns towards Nick, and is walking back and toward, towards Nick. Towards Nick, and he gets shot right here. Okay. In the side of the stomach? No, it was, it was, it was like right maybe below the rib. Okay. And he drops the gun, and, and he's holding himself. And he's standing up? He was standing up, yeah. And then he had like tripped and fell on his back. Okay. That's so and sad Nick that he said time, his dying words were, I have a kid, I have a kid, don't, don't kill me. me. Yeah, That's so sad. Yep. Yeah. And Nick puts two rounds in his head. What happened? Uh, what did Nick do after he shot him in the head? Looking for casings. Hmm? He's looking for his shells. For the, for the pistol? For the pistol. What kind of pistol was it? 1911. What caliber? 45. The Lord's caliber. When it seems Nick's acts have reached peak malice, he takes things to another level, which can only Crazy. be described as horrific. The kid was still breathing. <gasps> Even though he'd been shot in the head? Yeah, twice. He was still breathing. No. So Nick point blank shot him, shot him again in the face. And he stopped. And with that, Hunter, referred to by Montana and Keith only as the kid, was dead. You've probably noticed that Montana and Keith continually refer to Hunter as the kid or the body. These are their attempts to emotionally distance themselves mm -hmm. from Hunter and his murder. Mm -hmm. I don't, this is what I don't understand. Why would you put someone, me and Montana, in a situation that you see I that sure as 
don't want to be in. I don't know about Montana, but I don't want to be in that. What did you guys do? I'm, and I'm saying that as a collective, maybe it was all him. Conveniently, that's where the story's headed for now. I'm so fucking like, what the fuck? I don't have a gun. And I sure, I don't, I can't just fucking pull the trigger on somebody. You know what I mean? I know, I know it wasn't directed towards me. I know I probably should have fucking done something, mm. but I don't know what the fuck to do. Apparently, Nick knew exactly what to do next. He's like tearing the fucking kid's clothes off because the kid was in our house. Nick's wanting to take all the clothes off except for his underwear because he sat in our house in the fibers. Hmm. Nick, Nick's a smart fucking dude. So he stripped him of his clothes? Yeah. Put it all in the bag and burned them. And then he asked Keith to get out and help him undress him, and they drug him off. I did not watch. I didn't want to watch. I didn't want to be a part of it. I didn't, I didn't even know what was going on. He says, help me drag his body over. It's like, fuck, dude, I don't want to do this. Oh, God. And I did. Nick likely wanted him to help clean up because the more involved Keith was, the less likely he would be to report him. If he tried to implicate Nick, then he would be implicating himself as well. Despite their efforts, both Keith and Montana are more involved than they claim to be. Yeah. And the truth will soon start to show itself as more shocking revelations are made. After it all went down, There's more? Nick went through his belongings and got his ID. What happened to the ID? I don't know. I have no idea. He kept the license of the kid. I don't know where he put it. I don't know if he still has it, but I know that he kept it. This behavior can be a warning sign of a potential serial killer. And yeah. an indicator that if given a chance, he would kill again. As the detective is starting to put the pieces of the puzzle together, he wants more information about the motive behind the brutal killing. Obviously, there's no real rationale. So what drove Nick to commit such an unconscionable act? You, you told me that it's like he had a thirst for blood. Yeah. So what makes you tell me that? There's well, I mean, what was the the basis of the context that would you? I can't remember exactly what was said, but it was along the lines of this kid's a liar, and I'm going to end it, or I'm going to end him, or something like that. According to Keith, Nick's comments were in the form of text messages sent to Keith while Hunter was a guest in their home. Did you have the idea that something bad was going to happen to that kid? I don't know. It was kind of, it's kind of like mixed feelings. Like, just because Nick was saying that, I didn't really expect that shit to be fucking going to happen that way. However, oh no, watching true crime is a popular thing for streamers to do. Ray is doing it because it's something to do. She doesn't specifically wa enjoy watching these, as far as I can tell. No, I love this. I, I only stream what I want to stream. If I if I were streaming to maybe like for viewership, I'd probably stream GTA Five RP or Among Us more. But no, I'm. I'm streaming. I I do. I I love crime. I, I not crime itself, but it it just feels educational and you know a scope of the world. Out. You know what I mean? No, I I'm doing this because I I like I liked it. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Does that make sense? I don't know. I, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be out of the true uh, true crime era soon. This is probably just a phase, like how the Pokemon. Uh, phase was a phase, you know, but no, I enjoy this. Uh, it's very sad and depressing, but I like it. That's not what Montana- Educational? Yes, it is very educational. It, you can learn about how people lie, reading body language, you know, maybe what to look out for in certain situations. So you, you know, something similar might not happen to you in the future. You know, there's, there's a lot, it's a scary world. It's a very scary world. How people act, yeah, you know, red flags, survival skills, true. How to do a successful crime, no. Bad, bad chatter, very bad. No, no. Oops. Bad. Anna says. But what happened, what transpired with Nick? Because what I'm being told is Nick was going to kill this guy and he had planned on doing it. Hey, did you have any idea that this was going to happen? 
I know that Keith and Nick talked about it, and they told me that something was going to happen, but I didn't know what. And we, once we got out there, I figured it out. I know that after the fact, uh, he would talk about doing Ooh. it again. That it was a stress relief. What? Or talk about um, finding... Okay, if you're dating somebody that wants to kill people, <laughs> I would probably suggest reporting them and uh, um, break up with them. Probably. That's my advice. <laughs> a random person driving down the highway in the middle of Idaho, like, on the highway from Idaho ne to Nevada. They're just crazy. Just a random person, and I feel like the car was broke down or something, and killing them, and driving their car off into the desert and burning it on fire. The reality that Nick was an aspiring serial killer is all too real. Keith's interview is concluded, and he's taken into custody as a result of his unrelated warrants. However, when it comes to his involvement in the murder, the investigation has just begun. There's only one person left who can answer the detective's remaining question, Nick. Detectives ah! then catch up with him that same afternoon on October 26th. Hey, well, the reason we wanted to talk to you is because of a body that was found out in the desert. I heard about that. I actually saw the notice on Facebook, the press okay. release from all <coughs> Okay, well, some hunters found this body that's out in the desert, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and contacted the police. They asked us to to assist with them, that's why we're here. Okay. And we're trying to track down any and everything that we could find out about who this person may be. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and what happened to this person. Nick is holding his body very still, which may indicate that he is in fight or flight mode. When someone encounters a threat, they may freeze momentarily. This is an instinctual response in order to minimize attention, much like an animal may stop all movement when they realize a predator has spotted them. Okay, this is a little confusing to me because in previous videos, they said that if their like, arms are crossed, they feel closed off or they try to make themselves look smaller. But in this case, he's not doing that. So since he's too still, how is he supposed to sit? He looks cocky. I guess he's trying to, like... Maybe he's confident that he can get away with it, but... He is a little stiff. I don't know. I, I don't get it. Your name came up as somebody that we might want to talk to. Okay, he's I very stiff. About this. Why is that? Now, I gotta tell you straight up, I can't his... tell you a lot of Dude! stuff. I'll tell you what... Dude, his body looks like a photo and his head's the only thing Again. moving. Would you happen to know anything about this body being out in the desert? I don't know. No, I don't have any idea. I know some people a while back thought I saw a notice saying that a hitchhiker that I had picked up had gone missing. Nick has thoroughly prepared his story for this interview. Yeah, he did. So far, he seems confident that he's got this one in the bag. Mm -hmm. Nick's smart and good. As you'll see, though, the interview will begin to head in a different direction shortly and not to Nick's advantage. Mm -hmm. Nick readily relays his encounter with the hitchhiker to the detective. I asked him where he wanted to go, because I mean, I'm obviously not going to drive him to Nebraska. And I said, well, if you haven't eaten, if you're hungry, whatever, I can take you home, make dinner. I got to make dinner anyway, and I can bring you back to town tonight or in the morning. <clears throat> Save you that much time. And he said, all right. Nick explains that Hunter ate dinner with Nick, Keith, and Montana. Then they all went out to shoot rabbits. His account is consistent with the others so far, but then Nick throws in some new information. Came back to the house. He had made a comment about Montana. Mm -hmm. I was not excited about his comment about Montana. Mm -hmm. Some sexual stuff about wondering if she would sleep with him and all this. And I said no, because at the time Montana and I were semi seeing each other. Okay. Took him to the Chevron Mountain home. It was after dark. I don't even know what time it was. Took him to Chevron Mountain home. Gave him twenty dollars cash, uh, two ten dollar bills, I think it was. And that was the last time I saw or heard from until somebody said they seen a missing poster with his name on it. This is the first we've heard in relation to inappropriate comments. 
so it's likely that Nick may have added this in to paint an entirely different narrative. He wants mm. police to believe that he's a kind stranger that took in a hitchhiker and made him dinner, only dropping him off at a gas station in Mountain Home, Idaho, after he supposedly made Montana uncomfortable. What would, I, what would you think if I told you that I thought the guy that was out there in the desert... Unnecessary the details. Guy, the same person. That you, that you described to me. I think that's <clears throat> kind of crazy, to say the least. Kind of crazy. at the same time. What would I... Because what would that, I, would, that would instantly point a finger at me, being the last person that saw him, mm -hmm. had a meal with him. It's going to be difficult for Nick to explain away the next question posed by the detectives. What would you say if I told you that he was out in that general area that you described to me as well? Around shoe fly? Uh, in the in the desert out there, yeah. Well, I mean, that's... I don't know. Is it well known out there for people to go yeah, out there? Yeah, all kinds of people go through the desert out there shooting rabbits or... Or whatever. You know, we did talk to Montana. Mm -hmm. <gasps> And she told us some of the same stuff that you've said, but some of it's a little different. Okay. Okay. Uh, we talked to Keith. Okay. And he told us some stuff too, but some of it's a little different. Okay. Okay. So that's why we wanted to talk to you. To, I to understand see. completely. Okay. The story they told us has a different kind of an ending. Really? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> hmm. So we want to talk to you about that and see what the ending really is. Okay. Nick is clearly feeling the pressure. Yeah. He may be realizing that this version isn't quite cutting it. I'm feeling you know, the, the pressure the too. The story we were hearing is that uh, the hunter never came back from that hunting trip. Really? Shooting rabbits. Most likely a strategic move. The detective exits the room for a few minutes, then returns and directly confronts Nick. I know you were involved in what happened with him. Oh. Now, hold on. Let me finish it. I'd like you to tell us the truth. I know that you guys were out shooting rabbits. Mm -hmm. well, I know that. Uh -huh. Okay? Mm -hmm. There's not a doubt. I know that you guys had, had uh, you had picked him up as he was hitchhiking. Mm -hmm. Okay? I know that, uh, that you uh, had some drinks, smoked some weed with him, took him out for a drive, right? Mm -hmm. But I also mm -hmm. know that at the end of the drive, he stayed there. And he stayed there because he was shot. I know that. I also know that he was shot with a 1911 45. Mm -hmm. Okay, which you had. Oh, and okay. him! Fatality! I also know that you shot him. Then the tables turn and Nick poses some questions of his own. And why would you say that? Because I know that. How do you know that? I have the proof. I have the 45 bullets. I also have witnesses that were out there that said that you did it. Nick has dug himself quite a hole. Now that he sees he's not going to get out of this, he attempts to provide a new story to the detective, one that will get him out of trouble. And as you'll see, it's unbelievable. Do you want to tell us about what happened out there? No way. Yeah, but we were out there shooting rabbits, drinking. And we got out. He had said he wanted to shoot. He shot at a rock. He just started shooting at it. And I was like, don't shoot at the rock. Like ricochets happen. And he said, it'll be okay. And he turned around and I was standing just outside the driver's door. And he turned around and I heard the gun click. And I reacted. And what'd you do? I shot him. I went back to the same... Oh, he confessed. Same, same thing I was trying to do. In the military. Mm -hmm. And even even afterwards, Keith looked at me and he's like, that wasn't you. And I said, well, then, I mean, in a way, that is me. So Nick did shoot Hunter, but according to Nick, it was simply a reflex. Mm. After all, he'd been trained to react in the military. Mm. Nick makes a last-ditch effort to assassinate Hunter's character, having already confessed to actually assassinating him. While going through Hunter's belongings prior to burning some of the evidence, Nick claims to have made a shocking discovery. He had grabbed my stuff from the Marine Corps. I have a set of dog tags and a little crystal image of myself from boot camp. Mm -hmm. And then my ribbons. He had that stuff in and his... And it was in his backpack along with a set of my hunting knives. Really? So he was and in the process of stealing from me. And that just pissed me off even more, I think. 
Okay. Quite obviously, the detective isn't buying any of it. Mm -hmm. As the interview is about to come to a close, Nick recounts the gunshots that ended Hunter's life. You got the one in the stomach, um, and then the one in the face. And I've, I've heard so many people struggling to breathe, mm -hmm. and I couldn't listen to it. It's just one of those kind of triggered me. So just triggered you real quick to, to his head. Yeah. Okay. So, it was a mercy killing. You'll soon hear from Montana that this story has no merit whatsoever. And then 1911? The, uh, the one I shot him with is buried in the desert. Okay, where uh, in the desert? That's, I'm not going to tell you that. Okay. You'll, you'll never get that from me. Okay. <laughs> Refusing what? to disclose the gun's location could be a show of power. What an idiot. Nick already confessed to kill- I'm sorry. He's so stupid. He just confessed to killing this kid. He said, yes, that's the gun I used. What's the point of not sh telling him where the gun's at? Killing Hunter because of the evidence against him. However, the whereabouts of the gun is something he can control, especially if he's the only one who knows the location. <laughs> Could I get out the chest open? The whole Loser. On me. I don't know. The easiest way to explain it would be like, a mask on. It seems that in this moment, Nick is the most honest he's been the entire time, <laughs> openly telling the officers that the murder he committed hasn't bothered him in the least. When he says it's like putting on a mask, he's likely referring to the manipulation and deception that he uses in his everyday life to blend in with the average person. Well, you know, you have to be arrested. I completely understand. I'd prefer you read me my rights first, though, on the tape with everything else. I'm not going to read you your rights right now because I'm not going to ask you any more questions. Okay. But we are going to arrest you. Uh, so do me a favor, turn up, put your hands up on the wall. You should have asked that earlier, dude. taken into custody, and though his conversation with the detectives is concluded, Wait, he definitely isn't done talking. Why is he pink? He calls a woman believed to be his mother while in prison, and it seems he still believes he can beat the system. Hello? Hello? What happened, Nick? Well, for right now, it's murder one. I know. Who did you... Who was it? It was a hitchhiker. Why? There's a lot that went into it, Ma. That's why you were so infatuated with it. That's why you called me, isn't it? <gasps> as soon as you knew that that body had been found. No. Anything I got from me yesterday isn't going to count for shit anymore. Why is that? Because I never read your right. We get some interesting insight oh. as to how Nick thinks when he gloats that because he wasn't read his rights, he believes that nothing that he said the previous day can be held against him. <laughs> he is sorely mistaken. Oh, what a silly, we can silly assume man. Nick was not in custody when he came to speak with officers. If the police ask you to voluntarily come down to the police station and don't place you under arrest, you aren't in custody. So everything you say can be used in court. Unless you're in custody, there is no legal requirement that the police read you your Miranda rights. A few days later, ironically, Montana meets again with the detective for one last interview. And boy, does she have some interesting information to share. What? He talked about doing it more afterwards, like going and on Highway 51, out in the middle of nowhere, and acting like his car was broke down. Oh. And then end up killing whoever stopped. Why? And taking their car out into the desert and burning it on fire. We've heard this story before. However, this time Montana has some horrifying information to add. He talked about doing that. He talked about paying out more hitchhikers. He told me and Keith that it was our turn next. He wanted a little community of little killers. And I just, I went along with it because I didn't know what else to do. Knowing now that Nick's plan was yeah. to commit more murders, a chilling question is raised. Did Nick kill anybody else? Not that I know of. He never talked about it. We, I never went after that. Um, he just said that he wanted to. Did he pick up any hitchhikers that you know of? After that, no. And in the question that follows, the detective provides some intriguing information regarding Nick's alleged service. Did he ever, besides 
his fake Afghanistan stories where he said he killed people, mm -hmm. which aren't true. Did he ever talk about killing anybody outside of the military? Yes, he did. He said um, when he lived in Caldwell, people would hire him, kind of. They would pay him to go take care of people that they didn't like. As horrifying as that admission was, it seems that this was another case of Nick lying about what were, most likely, acts he'd merely fantasized about committing. There has been a warrant for your arrest. Okay. Um, we'll take you from here. You'll get booked into the Twin Falls County Jail. Okay. Um, <laughs> you'll be arraigned probably tomorrow. And you'll end up being transported most likely to the Oahe County Jail. Keith's also just got arrested today too. You knew that Nick did. Nick did confess to this. The case against him is unbelievably strong based on what we've found. Despite this claim, Nick continues to believe that he has the upper hand. In a jail call recorded a few weeks after Nick's arrest, he and a man believed to be his father discussed the case against him. <laughs> I don't know if they've got all their ducks in a row yet. I don't think you they know, do. I don't think they do. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I don't think they got it all together, and I don't think they think they've given enough evidence to do a whole lot. Nick also spoke to a woman believed to be his new girlfriend. What? Apparently, Nick caught wind of an element that was to be used in the case against him. An incriminating find had surfaced. Went to court this morning. Yeah, how'd it go? Uh, I talked to my attorneys, and apparently they're trying to use text messages. What uh, the? Message between me, Keith, and Montana about shooting rabbits behind the barn. Okay. Uh, they're trying to use that as a plan to commit murder. Basically. What? <laughs> shooting rabbits. Yeah, behind the barn. In fucking Bruno, Idaho. Shooting rabbits behind the barn. That's a plan? Apparently. Give me a fucking break. In the end, despite his certainty that he would beat the system, Nick elected to take a plea deal. In late August of 2019, he was sentenced to life for first-degree murder. He wow. will serve 30 years before he will be eligible for parole. Montana pleaded guilty to criminal conspiracy and failure to notify authorities of a death. In December of 2019, she received a sentence of 15 years in prison with a possibility of parole after serving five years. Earlier that years. year, Keith pleaded guilty to accessory to first-degree murder, evidence destruction, and failure to notify authorities of a death. He was sentenced to 26 years and could be eligible for parole after he has served 11 years. Okay. Actually deserved, but I was expecting less. I did not think they would give her 15. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. I'm glad that guy got life, though, because... Um, like, he's probably gonna do it again. Probably gonna do it again. Alright, um, apparently... Peyton's interview thing is DMCA, so, um, I figured maybe we could... Watch it. Maybe we could have a DMCA day where we just know the VOD is gonna be ruined, and we just watch all of the DMCA videos. <laughs> and the people that were here, were here. DMCA day. All right. All right, what's an, uh, another one we haven't seen yet that we should see? I think we could get like one more really long one and then we can do Reddit recap and then we'll announce the stream as... Wait, let me check to see what time Myung wants to um, announce the winners. Because maybe we have time for two more videos, depending on how long they are. JCS? We watched we watched the JCS videos already. What time did you want to announce the winners? Winners. What time, lady? 
<laughs> I was here. Okay, no, not this VOD. Wait, we'll have a, a DMCA day in the future. Near future. All right, which one? Um, let's see. I think we've... I, I'm not sure which ones we've seen. Because the titles are all the same. Um... Uh, Elizabeth Olton? Let's see. Oh. A case almost too disturbing to mention. Elizabeth Olton. There's also two videos about her on the same channel. When a teen killer realizes she's been caught. So I guess we watch... Okay, wait, which one? Which... Which one? This one? This one has 8.3 million views. This one has 2.3 million views, but they're both on the same channel. Should we watch the... I don't know which one's part one. Oh, playlist. Oh, I forgot we have a playlist. Oop. I forgot. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, here it is. Oh! Alright, these are for sure DMCA free. Um, it, this one's here. I wonder if the other one is on here as well. How a pig farmer unleashed her rage and fed her workers to her pigs? This never before seen footage is one of the craziest interrogations you'll ever see. Hey, I could grab your camera and strangle you with it. Ah! Gosh, why would you say that? I don't know. I don't know. She's a fucking weirdo and she held me over and laughed. <laughs> I would like to see how fast my pigs could get rid of a human body. An officer conducting a search warrant for identity theft on a rural farm in Weimar, Oregon, stumbled upon evidence of a far more gruesome crime. He found the skeletal remains of a human leg just outside of a pig pen. Possibly human. As horrific as this discovery oh was, the true horrors hidden on the property were yet to be discovered. The farm was owned by Susan Monica, oh a former my, soldier who uh, served Susan. during the Vietnam War. After being honorably discharged, she purchased the 20 acres of land where she raised chickens and pigs. She often had transient people stay on her farm and work for her for short periods of time. Additionally, in 2013, Susan placed an ad on Craigslist looking for some extra help on her property. She was contacted by 56-year-old Robert Haney, a handyman and carpenter. In exchange for payments in cash and a place to stay, Robert began working and living on Susan's property. However, all was not well. And in September 2013, after working for Susan for about six months, Robert disappeared. After a few months with no contact, his children tried to find Aww. him, but Susan told them that Robert had left her employment, taking most of his things, and vanished. This is another living area. Tool belt. She claimed that after he learned that one of his relatives had been a victim of assault, he began drinking excessively before suddenly leaving. Hearing this was distressing, <laughs> to say the least. But Robert's kids... <laughs> did I view the wrong Insta story or did she change her top? I changed. <laughs> and no, you are not banned, uh, Thomas Welch. You are not banned. Couldn't find anything to indicate that something bad had necessarily happened to him. In fact, they found very little trace of him at all. However... It was especially odd to them that he appeared to have left his trailer and dog behind on Susan's farm. Eventually, they filed a missing persons report with the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. But since Robert was usually paid in cash for his work, there was almost no way to track him down. Mm. Everything changed on January 10th, 2014, when mm. an officer came Thanks, to investigate Gary. Thanks Susan's for Tom. property. 31 months, However, thank you. he wasn't there to look into Robert's disappearance. Instead, Susan Monica was being investigated for fraud. I asked him young what time she, she wants to do it. She hasn't replied Robert's yet. Robert's food stamp card. This is the inside of Susan Monica's living area. 
Oh. We contacted her this morning. What is in those bottles? We arrived. <gasps> it was um. while walking along the back of her farm that the officer found the remains of a human leg, cut about mid femur, lying just beyond one of Susan's pig pens. Pieces of other bone. I want to see. Susan Monica was brought in for questioning. The following footage has been analyzed by a qualified team, including a licensed attorney and former criminal prosecutor, a licensed clinical psychologist, a former licensed professional counselor, and a clinical counselor. How you doing? Uh, no good. The interrogation will uncover even more dark secrets that detectives never expected to find. Well, this is a warning. What? Um, Wait, what? Why did... Your I'm search. sorry. I have to see what just flashed on the screen. And a clinical counselor. How you doing? Uh, no good. The interrogation will uncover even more dark secrets that detectives never expected to find. Well, this is a warning. Pigs! Um, just says you're commanded to search the property. Before the interview begins, Susan asks for the search warrant the officers first used to come onto the property to be read out loud. As you'll see, she has a very interesting reason for asking them to do this. And the lot number mm -hmm. indicates you as the sole owner since mm -hmm. 1999. And there it, you go. Say that again. The sole owner since 1999. Okay. Uh, we're done. That warrant is inaccurate. Okay. And so I figure if... Uh, if it's inaccurate, any and how do they put it? And any and any and all information received in a warrant that's not correct is okay. Not well. You know that I that I was talking to you about Robert Haney's Oregon Trail card, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and we talked about how a little bit already <laughs> about how um, he had given you permission. You said to use the Oregon yes. Trail card three and a half months ago. Something yeah. Be like that. Before, before he disappeared. Right. And he gave you the pin number, which he had memorized. Yes. The interrogator is trying to establish a timeline of Robert's movements before his disappearance. This is always done as the timing of events is usually important evidence. And it's also done to see if the suspect's timing matches the evidence. And you had said that um, you had sometimes put up like the, you know, the wanted posting up a thing, you know, a little yes. help around here yes. there. And, and so um, after he moved to your property, of course, um, you got to know him a little bit better, which you talked about his drinking and that he, every once in a while, he would flip out because of his drinking, most likely. Yes. And, but other than that, your contact with him was minimal. Kind of minimal. I, I mean, I wouldn't see him for a week at a time. Yeah. Michael Bales, who worked for Susan and lived on her property for a few months, oh. came to speak with investigators soon after she was arrested. And boy, did he have a story to tell. We didn't play bad cop, good cop? No, we're both good cops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's no reason to, yeah, right? Yeah, Maybe if there was a reason, yeah, there's yeah. no reason. <laughs> if we did, if we were going to do that, he'd be the bad cop. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he'd be big. And Every now and then. <laughs> Why is he so nervous? That's my middle name, Michael Ed Bales. I'm, okay, this is just the audio backup. I'll just sit there. <laughs> do whatever you gotta do. He knows something. The investigators uh -oh. asked Michael how he first met Susan in order to establish some background on how well they knew each other. A little suspicious. I met her to a friend Brady. I don't even know his last name, but okay. Brady is in a wheelchair up in. Rogue River, okay. and he introduced me to her. Gave me, a, she gave me a job. Okay, you know, I I went up there. I was cutting wood for her. I had nowhere else to go, so I guess he called me a vagrant or whatnot. Okay. Uh, and she was pretty nice to me, and then all of a sudden she turned not very nice. Mm -hmm. And were you living up there? Yeah. How long did you live up there? Probably three months. Okay. Because Michael lived with Susan and saw her every day, he can offer the investigators valuable insight into her daily habits, as mm -hmm, well as mm -hmm. into her personality. And he does not hold back when sharing his opinion of Susan. She's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> uh, what makes you say that exactly? Why? She just gave me the, the heejibijis. Or the heejibijis? Sometimes you can tell when somebody's a weirdo. Mm -hmm. 
She gave me that fee. Okay. Where, we're, we're familiar with the property. If you have the barn, were you living in the barn? I lived over in the biggest barn. It was a big, big old, you can't okay. miss it. We've been, we've been through I that. I lived in the, in two of the rooms. Uh, upstairs? I, that's my, that was my room originally. And then there was a TV that got put in downstairs. Gosh, it's so, so messy. Okay, and was that's great? where Richard lived too? God damn it. Is it, uh, maybe we should get a massive photo. barn. Robert. Do that, have... that, Robert, that's him. That, okay, well, we'll just confirm it with a photograph. That's him. I... All right. So, Robert lived down in the barn in the downstairs? No, Robert originally lived downstairs. Okay. And then he got tired of her screaming at him, so he moved. His trailer's way... Right, I saw that. Okay. Way over there. Okay. And then he got tired of her screaming at him. About how long had he been there, like, about when he said, hey, you know, here's my Oregon Trail card, my PIN number, can you go grab me some beer, and, you know, whatever else? Oh, a couple months. He'd been there a couple months? Yeah. I'm going to go see what that screaming was. One second. them i'm gonna tell them you will not believe what caused that stream or screaming you want to know what it was leslie got a bad carousel round in tft i can't believe it that scream was so loud i thought something bad happened in tft Bad carousel round. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I saw him. I said, I'm going into town. You want anything? He gave me the card. Crazy. The said, Get me some beer and coffee. Something bad did happen. You can't buy <laughs> beer with Oregon Trail card. So did you, did you use well, your Well, something worse. Or something worse. Work? Yeah. Okay. What would, you, what would you normally ask him to buy you for reimbursement? Bread and milk. That was it. Okay. Uh, occasionally cheese. Okay. Um... Other than that, I've got 500 pounds of pork in my freezers. Oh, Ooh! Geez. Um, yeah. <laughs> keep Is it, it pork keep or cumin? Huh? Yes, <laughs> For the record, if anybody here would like to buy some pork, I have pork. <laughs> 80, 80 cents a pound, I'm getting ready to get rid of another pig. The detective laughs and appears to be genuinely <laughs> finding Susan's story funny. However, it's very likely that he's just trying to put her at ease. Yeah, he's a so pro she opens actor. Up to him. He wants her to think he's on her side and that she can trust him. Mm -hmm, By laughing mm -hmm. with her, he's building rapport. <laughs> Where do you butcher your pigs at? Right there in the barn. Oh, you know how to do it? I, I know how to kill them, and I don't, I don't necessarily butcher. I just, I'm kind of a butcher when it comes to butchering. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you can do it. Yeah. Um, the, how do you kill a pig? Boom. Oh, what kind of gun do you have to use for that? 22. Oh, okay. Like a rifle or a rifle? A... Oh, okay. You didn't see it? No. You know, everybody was standing around. Nobody was searching. I didn't understand the search thing when everybody was standing oh, no. around. <sighs> well, we stand around a lot sometimes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was seven of you standing around and nobody was searching. I know. I think I was the only one working. Maybe. Anyway, I have a, have a rifle there in my house. Okay. I'm not a good shot. I mean, if I'm three feet from a pig, you yeah. know, it, you... What you're supposed to do is make an X between their eye oh, and their okay. ear, oh. and their eye and mm -hmm. the ear, and then you shoot them right there. And that's it. And so from three feet away, I can, oh. <laughs> I can hit the target. Uh, you know, I see a turkey 50 feet away, and I shoot it, and go, Bah! You know, I jump up in the air, and it run away, uh, uh, and I shoot it again. And one, one turkey I had to shoot four times, and it was halfway <laughs> down my property before I actually killed the damn thing. Jeez. The detective makes an effort to. Ugh. This reminds me of 
when, one of the times when I was little and I was in the Philippines, um, we, I saw how they kill pigs and it is just the way they, they didn't do it like this. What they did was they, um, they get the pig and then they slice the pig's neck and they collect the blood in a bucket. And the blood drains from its neck. And then it's because, uh, oh yeah, lechon, yeah, for le lechon, is that what it's called? Lechon? They drain, they drain the blood, and then they cook the entire pig. The whole pig gets cooked over a fire. Um, and they also use the blood as well, so, I, I think, I think so. So, none of the pig is wasted, which is good, I think. It's the circle of life sometimes. To refocus the conversation after Susan goes off on a tangent relating to her method of shooting animals. What did Robert think about your pigs? Um, did he ever help feed them? Not. Did he ever go into their area? Not that I know of. Susan exhales when asked <laughs> if Robert ever went into the pig area. Size can be adapter signs of stress, mm -hmm. so this could indicate that she's anxious about this question in particular. Although some dismiss body language analysis as pseudoscience, it is used by the FBI and CIA during interrogations. When the CIA is interrogating an individual, they look for clusters of three or more indicators that occur in either quick succession or all at once. These indicators can be signs of discomfort or uncertainty in what the individual is stating, rather than indicators of deception. It's extremely important to note that you cannot detect deception through body language analysis alone. What did he think of them? I mean, they're noisy at times and well, kind of smelly sometimes. And well, he was, well. Susan is clasping her hands together on her lap and fidgeting, which appears to be a release of tension and a stress relief. It's not uncommon for people, innocent or not, to be nervous when talking with the police in these types of settings. Um, he was never around them, I don't think it's except when he came up to use that little room. Mm -hmm. It's a good conversation piece though. I mean it's a, it would certainly be something I would talk about if I was going to move there. Well we we didn't talk. Like I say he was he was there and you know the two of us have talked more today than I talked with him in whatever months he was there. He had to have been thinking, you know, well, he hasn't returned for his dog, and you know what's going on here. I'm confused. Well, still figuring out a time for the stream as winners I, with me on one side. I was, you know, confused a, a little bit, but like I say, um, even when I saw him, it was sporadic, and sometimes I wouldn't see him for a week. Looking back, are there things, you know, that come to mind that are suspicious to you, or? Or kind of click in your memory, go, oh wow, that was weird. Everything she said was odd. Everything. How about actions like, what, what did she do around the property? Drove her backhoe around, knocked down trees, fought with Robert <gasps> constantly. Oh Even no! When I saw him. It was sporadic. We didn't talk. Like daily. Oh, every day. Oh uh oh. You had me go wake him up. Did, was she like feeling like he wasn't pulling his weight around the place or something? Or do you know? I mean, yeah, what are they fighting honest, about? So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What did she say? That Robert sleeps till noon and he's not doing any, any work. Besides Michael Bales, Brady Murray, one of Susan's neighbors and friends, also came to speak with investigators. Brady had moved in with Susan three weeks before Thanks, this Teddy's. interview took place because of family issues. Jen's and era, over the past few Sunday. years, he's thank lived you. with Susan Renegade, on and off. Renegade, Luke, thank you. What he shares with investigators is a stark and startling contrast to Michael's description of Susan. What does she say about this this Robert guy? Like, what kind of person was he? No, what she, what she talked about him was, was, to me, it was good. Didn't seem good. He was a good worker. Mm -hmm. She had no qualms with his working. Um... He's alcoholic, he was a yeller. He'd go down and he'd be ranting and rave, and she'd hear him hollering down below. Mm -hmm. He was in butter. But, uh, his age group. So, what were some of the things that, that she didn't like about him? Not, not that I know of. Now, you yeah. see, she kind of liked his work. You know, I kind of think she, 
Yeah, but she don't talk, you know, really good, and I saw somebody really good, you see. I think I picked a video that's too long. The sheriff talked about it. It was all good to me. Um, he's alcoholic, he knew the yeller. Go down, he, he a right few seconds ago. <laughs> Back in Susan's interview, the interrogator continues discussing Susan's use of Robert's Oregon Trail card. This card is the same. Yeah, you did. Card it's actually, it's not two hours. It's actually three hours. Uh, hold on, Myung is. Hmm. When she was initially flagged for fraud, was that concerning to you that here he is, he's gone, he's left you his Oregon Trail card, and you know, I mean, you only get one Oregon Trail card, you know what I mean? So, and he doesn't have a job, so well, I, didn't, get I, food? I, I didn't know that. I figured if he had gone to Ashland and was working, he had money to buy food. That's okay. It. And so, what, when did this working in Ashland thing come up? Well, I don't know if it was actual working or not. Okay. Susan shifts her foot, likely an anchor point movement, when asked about Robert working in Ashland. When someone is sitting... That's a whole Avatar movie. Buttocks, <laughs> this is considered to be an anchor point movement. These types of behaviors can be a signal of deception because it's the body's way of releasing anxiety or tension. And you had mentioned something before about Robert saying that his daughter had been raped. Yes, he mentioned that several times, mostly when, you know, he got really drunk. So tell me about your relationship with Susan. You said you've known her for eight or nine years. Yeah, uh, she's been my boss in the past while I was up my work for her. Mm -hmm. And just casual relationship, you know. I'm not a girlfriend, guy friend, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Brady finds it necessary to clarify that he and Susan have a casual relationship. Then he laughs nervously. Brady also seems to be shifting around in his chair, looking rather uncomfortable as he speaks. His shoulders are a bit elevated. He seems to struggle when speaking. The inflections in his voice change, and he stutters a bit. These are all indications of discomfort. Faster? Like Brady is getting increasingly I feel nervous. like this sounds pretty okay. okay. Susan, you Thanks, guys, Roman. She's, Happy uh, New Year's. A little peculiar, a little different acting. She does have a lot of temper, but she's not. She, I've never seen her. I've never seen her follow her temper with white with axe. Okay. So somebody's missing. Who's, who's missing? What do you know about that? I don't know a guy. I never met a guy. Um, his name is Robert, I understand, right? That's all I know. The information that Brady is providing to the detectives is now becoming even more suspicious. It seems like he's really trying to emphasize that he knows nothing as well as distance himself from Robert and what happened to him. What do you know? I think this is a good well, speed because it doesn't sound lot. sped up. I haven't spoken a lot about it, but, but she did tell me that... Uh, what she told I me love speed was watching. <laughs> ...was that, that he was the guy that was working for her. I mean, she was her camper down here. Mm -hmm. Down here, anyways, uh, <clears throat> and uh, he had told her, I guess she's a drunk, real bad drunk, that his sister, daughter or sister, somebody got and he was going to go take care of it. Okay, and she said he's missing. So, okay. She can't talk about it with me. When talking about the story Susan told him, if you look at Brady's hands, they're ahead of his words. This kind of mismatch indicates the brain in fight or flight mode. Really? There's about discussing this that's causing Brady anxiety. He left all of his possessions behind that you know of? Yeah. And that was strange to you? Well, like I said, you know, he, he had left with somebody, mm -hmm. so I was under the impression that he was doing something in Ashland. Okay. He, had, he, had, he, he had told me, <coughs> told, he, had, uh, he had mentioned to me one person in Ashland um, where I might actually go with him to do an engineering job. So what, what do you think happened to Robert? Skip to one hour, 30 minutes. What's, what's your gut feeling on it? Everybody has their own opinions about the, things, but what do you think? The, the only... She moves both of her feet when asked what happened to Robert. Likely anchor point movements indicating anxiety and possibly deception. However, it's important to not rely on one indicator as proof that someone is being dishonest, because a single behavior could be explained away. When Bobby had told me that his sister uh, usually got a call a couple times a I week. would feel weird skipping. That was when I first kind of thought in the back of my head somewhere that. I kind of like seeing them panic, like you know? <laughs> take care of business, you know, with the thing that. He might have gotten the short end of the stick. Mm -hmm. And that was, like I said, just the back of my head. I had no idea. I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't understand after all this time. If you don't hear from your father for a month, and prior to that month you've heard from him twice a week, mm -hmm. why didn't somebody do something earlier? And then when they came out last week, they said they thought he was dead. And I'm saying, you know, why do you think, you know, I didn't say out loud, but I'm thinking to myself, well, if you think your father is dead, uh, 
you know, why didn't you do something about this months ago? Mm -hmm. Susan has shown a pattern of superiority, seemingly thinking that she could handle situations better than other people. Earlier, she pointed out how the police department's search fell short, as she felt they were all just standing around. Now she's blaming Robert's family for not looking for him earlier. Why didn't you call? Well, I had no reason to call him. But he lives on your property for a long time, and he never came back. Mm-hmm. Uh... Susan hesitates and then sighs heavily, likely another <laughs> adapter behavior to reduce her stress. She typically responds this is to questions rather quickly two. by either or, providing a lengthy and highly detailed is response it? I forgot. or saying that she doesn't remember. 1.25. a possible discomfort with the question, given her hesitation and deep sigh, which is a deviation from her typical behavior. I, I don't know. I, you know I, I didn't think it was my responsibility to call. What if, uh, let's reverse things. What if Robert was the one sitting here right now and you were missing? Would you have <laughs> expected him to call? Well, yes. And he's living on your property? Yes. Why? Because he's, you know, because I got up every morning and fed my animals, and every evening I fed my animals, and... What's the difference between you and him? Because I never, um... Um... I mean, he's a person, too, who has a life, too. It may not be as involved as yours, um, but he still has his yeah, daily routine, uh, and... Well, that's... No, he didn't. He did have a daily routine. Well, he certainly had to eat. You said that he ate food up at the, the barn. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't necessarily see him. Okay. I, I, uh, I didn't see him for a week at a time. Okay. And. Um, but you would expect that he would report you missing after three months? Well, probably after a few days because my pigs would be making all kinds of noise. Okay. And, you know. Susan, they no. found a leg by your house. <laughs> it could be an ankle, foot. Susan! We found a leg. A leg? A human leg. Yes. When someone repeats a question, this can sometimes indicate deception because the person is trying to buy themselves some time to think. She doesn't appear to be surprised or shocked about this news. However, it's possible that limited facial expressions are typical for her, or that she's good at hiding her emotions. Oh. <laughs> She's gone very, very still here. This is called the freeze response. It is part of the body's autonomic nervous system fight, flight, or freeze stress response. Freeze! This type of freezing is often a reaction when someone perceives a threat. Though they aren't moving, the person experiencing a freeze response Susan, why didn't you get rid of the evidence? I think it might be Robert. Yep. <laughs> Don't know. Who could it be? Who could it be, Susan? Do you think it might be Robert? Um, I, I guess I should ask where where it was, if it was down there by his trailer. No, it was right next to your place. Um, Just a few feet from your place. I don't know then. If it were, if it were down by the his trailer, he might have fallen down the hill or something. But if it was up at my place, I... And his leg fell off, Susan? Is that what you're trying to say? That's it. Do you think it's kind of strange that there's a leg right next to your place? Uh, very. Does it concern you? Uh, yes. Do you think uh, it might be Robert? Um, it, it could be, but I can't understand why, um, if, if, I can't understand how it, hmm, I can't understand how it would get there, because I can't see him having an accident up by my place. How do you think it got there? Yeah, Susan. How? Yeah. Um, what's your best? What's your best for reasoning for how it got here? I have no idea. What do you think we should do at this point? What should we do, Susan? I mean, are you worried about Robert? Do you think it might be him? Um, I would definitely get a um, DNA test to find out if it were. That's do you true. Think if we searched the. 19.99 acres that we're going to find any other parts of people if it's if it's if it's robert's leg i guess the rest of them is there somewhere so you think a coyote drug it right next to your house um that would be the only thing that would make any sense to me what do you think happened to robert what happened susan what did he do i have no idea did he do something to you no you know you described your property as this what I envisioned when you were describing it, a really peaceful place. Yes. 
and um, and you seem like kind of a quiet person who would enjoy being out away from people and not, you know, around where things are loud. I mean, you said yourself, you don't even have the radio on in the car, and you're smart. You do well with your money. The detective compliments Susan in an attempt to gain her trust. He knows that Susan thinks she's very smart, and by using flattery here, he hopes to distract and disarm her a bit, and it seems to work. You oh. like your animals, you like your privacy and the quiet out there. Mm -hmm. That's why you picked the place. Yes. Because it's out in the middle of nowhere, really. It's beautiful out there. I think it's beautiful. It's getting absolutely. So you have this peaceful, tranquil place, and you try to help somebody out, because it sounds like you are a person who likes to help people out. Yeah. You're, you're trying to support four people right now. Well, you're yeah. trying to take care of them. You're trying to well, most be good with using their money and helping them out to be smarter and not just yeah. drink a 12-pack and get wasted. Right. So you seem like a legitimately good person who's trying to do the right thing. And then along comes Robert, and you try to help him out. But for some reason with Robert, you know, he has these episodes. This is strategic because the questions about Robert likely sound to Susan that the detective believes she is responsible for his death. Saying that she's a legitimately good person is part of the detective's theme development. He's trying to make her believe that he thinks she wouldn't kill someone for no reason to get her to confess. He wants her to latch on to this line of thinking. Oh she's a my good person who gosh. Made a mistake and had a reason to do what she did. Played like a this fiddle. It would be much easier for her to admit to, especially when the alternative is that she's a cold-blooded murderer who had the intent to kill Robert. The detective also mentions Robert's episodes as a way of giving Susan an out to explain that she killed Robert because he was being aggressive with her. And I'm not, well, it's Brady, not what you're Brady, making up. Well, I mean, Brady has episodes Okay, too. well, let's focus on Robert, though. Okay. Robert had his had some issues. Yes. Everyone knows that. It's actually documented in police reports. Okay. It's unclear exactly what the interrogator is referring to by documented in police reports. He's However, just lying to her, maybe? To an incident where Susan's neighbors called the police because they heard Robert making a lot of noise. He was allegedly drunk at the time. What exactly transpired before the police were called and when they arrived on the scene is unknown. <laughs> he was a guy who could get loud and drunk and cause problems and pretty much ruin that peaceful, tranquil place that you have out there. The detective is explaining that Susan is a good person who liked to help people, but perhaps Robert got loud and drunk and disrupted the tranquility and solitude. Okay, I have now. news. We are announcing the three Streamas winners that will win full PCs, full PC setups at 5 p.m. PST. So in three, four, five, two hours, two hours. Sounds good. 5 p.m. PST right here. He's attempting to give her another excuse for harming him in a scenario that's somewhat Three understandable hours, to two, her. Two. He hopes Susan will run with this theory and confess to her true involvement. Mm. No. And I'm guessing that the, that's what he did at times. The, well, he did that at times, but he was the only time that I was disturbed by him. How do you sign up? The competition's when, over. Uh, he was making a whole bunch of noise. Uh, and, um, but you went and talked to him, right? We yeah. did throughout What'd December. I mean, you must have certainly, what I would have done is say, hey, you're living here on my property. It's exactly what I said. You're living here on my property. Yeah. Don't need problems with the neighbors. Keep it down or get out, leave. Get out of here. Well, I... <gasps> What'd you tell him? What'd you he tell him? The same thing, but I didn't I say him to go. I just said, be quiet. I know. Because they would didn't stop with that. Well, that was the only time that I really heard him. All right, well, we, have, we know of other times. Uh, well, I don't. The detective is trying to plant a seed of doubt in Susan's head by making her think they know about other instances, leaving her feeling unsure about anything else they might know. Mm. In Brady's interview, he goes on to say something completely unexpected that shocks the interrogators. <gasps> I can't imagine her. Okay. I really can't imagine uh, her doing anything. Okay. Doing what? I don't understand. The murder. The murder. Brady appears to possibly be intoxicated and is rather incoherent at times. He describes the situation and investigation as a murder, something which he isn't supposed to know. The detectives jump on him immediately oh. about his use of this term, as they never mention murder to him and want him to elaborate on this possible slip-up. Oh. Well, I'm going to kill somebody or somebody's messing there. I can't imagine her doing it. So tell me about Robert. Uh, how... Oh, yeah, wait, don't... Don't they... Wouldn't it be, like, on the news and stuff? Like, he's been missing? He was a cool guy. Cool guy. I mean, well, how long were you around him? Couple months. Couple and, months. Yeah. I only knew him for a couple. I got, as a matter of fact, I owed him ten bucks. Okay. And stuff. So I'm not, never gonna be able. To, but he always told me. He always told me every day. I, I hope my kids can get my stuff. 
because I think she's going to kill me. What? I told you that. Yes. <gasps> wow. Okay. Dude, what is that? Why did they just flash on the screen? Because I think she, she's going to kill me. <sighs> okay. I, told I you give that. up. Yes. I give up. Wow. Okay. So tell me about that. When, uh, what, what made him say that? Tell again. me about his relationship with Susan. I think it was the bones. They didn't get along. They didn't. No. And she said she had no idea what's happened to him. You mm -hmm. know, he's gone. That not a lot. But she hadn't talked a lot about it. When did she first start talking about she didn't know where... Is that before you moved in? Well, when did she start talking about, hey, he's not around anymore? Oh, it's comma, that. period, is frame we'll by frame. Got it. Brady's body language is closed off. Take a look at his feet. Having his ankles tucked up under his chair is not a comfortable seated position. That's what I'm doing right now. Significant discomfort. Notice throughout his interview whether his legs are out in front of him or tucked away under his chair with his ankles tightly locked. This is another indicator of anxiety and is a guarded stance. Or maybe it's just comfortable. Uh, actually, after I, when I moved in, after I moved in, when she, when she, we really come out. I realized that, wow, this is, you know, this is big. This guy, this, you know, and I'm thinking this could get big. Uh, that's about that long about that time. And why did you think it was getting big? Because, I mean, did she think that maybe he just left? I mean, what was she telling well, you? Well, um... He leans back, rubbing his head with his hand, all of which are signs of uneasiness. Uh, Stephanie was saying that Stephanie telling <laughs> that, that she, uh, that she uh, talked about being her pitch to... So, yeah, you have heard that. To, well, tell us. I don't know. People, to, people to her pitch. <laughs> yeah, she made that she had it's a joke. Mm -hmm. It's a joke. I'm sure it's a joke. So, well, tell us but about you. Know, you're kind of bitter, you know. Brady insists this is just a joke several times <gasps> in this short span of time. It's a joke. It's a joke. Oh, no, no, sure. no. People sometimes repeat things over and over to try to convince oh, others no, of the no, truth no. of the statement. So it's also about what you it's know just about a joke, like, bro. Stuff. I don't. I, you guys, I really, really seriously doubt. I know we're pretty good over the years, you guys, that, 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 that Susan could do anything like that. Saying really, really seriously could be considered a qualifier, which is often stated when a person isn't being truthful or is withholding information. Robert says this Me when I try to <laughs> meet the essay word count. <laughs> when a person is being honest, there are no unusual or jerky movements. The body moves smoothly, as in Michael's interview, where there's no evidence of unusual mannerisms or movements. And, you know, I'm, and we're not sitting here saying that she did or didn't. We don't yeah. know. We're going to talk to you. In conclusion, to you conclude. So, I mean, there's some, so there's, there's some statements that you're saying that she in, My observation I mean, like, in she the theory. Okay. And well, tell me about that conversation you're having with her when she's saying. Well, no, she's having this conversation. She, her, her guy's missing. And she's, she's ironic. The kid's saying, you know, she's trying to not feed pigs to people. Mm -hmm. And now somebody's missing here. You know, it's a joke. Okay. Really a joke. A really joke. Repeat statement. So you didn't actually yeah. ever say that. No, it's serious. Stephanie right. told you that she said yeah. that. Yeah. And when was that conversation you had with Stephanie then? I don't know. A week ago. Okay. Yeah, this guy's cracking under the I pressure. So that mentioned. Mm -hmm. I'll beat her like pigs a few times. I've seen things forever. Yeah. You know, okay. So I'm not sure. It seems that Brady is trying to reveal bits and pieces about Susan's more negative or concerning qualities. But at the same time, he's trying to protect her. Brady may be he's torn. to protect himself because he might be unsure of how much the detectives know. Mm -hmm, it's possible mm -hmm. that Brady doesn't want to completely claim that Susan is innocent. He wants to reveal some concerns or suspicions about her to cover himself in the event mm -hmm, that the detectives mm -hmm. discover that she did, in fact, murder Robert. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Michael, on the other hand, isn't trying to hide his suspicions about the type of person Susan is, which is why he presents so much calmer than Brady during his questioning. Oh. Do you think Robert died <laughs> in the pig pen? Oh, this happened? is a different vibe. Susan sighs, likely to release her nervous energy. Well, if you found a if you found a lake in the pig pen, um, I would say that's possible. Would your pigs but, eat a person? Um, a pig's an animal; they don't know any better. Yeah, no. Um, I've heard of pigs eating people all the time, and so like I say, I've joked about it, and then I have a weird sense of humor. Um, if uh -huh. um, there's a deviation in her behavior here. Susan's speech isn't as fluent as it typically is. Oftentimes, deviations in a person's usual behaviors and manner of speech during an interrogation is a possible indication of lying. She sounds unsure and hesitant, as if she's watching her words and being cautious. When I told you that there was a leg by your place, you, your expression didn't change. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Uh, it, yeah, it is. <laughs> well, certainly, if I found a leg by my house, I'd be freaked out. Well, I'm not freaked out, but I'm, you know, very surprised. Just well, the leg goes I to a person. No, well, I don't even know. Obviously that, dead. I don't even know that you're telling the truth. Susan is kind oh, of turning the tables here because the detective girl. has been doubting her truthfulness. So now she's doubting his. 
She appears to be educated about the fact that police sometimes lie during interrogations, and she might enjoy pointing this out to the detective, as she may think this knowledge is further proof of how smart she is. I am telling the truth. Well, I don't know that. You just might be making up stories to get me to say something else. I'm telling you the truth. Well, like I said, I don't know that. I'm just looking for Robert. Well, what? Why would he do that, Susan? Well, this, morning, this, this, this morning you were looking for a... Why would he lie uh, about this? Car, so, what um, What else would he be trying to get like out of you? like she beat the detective, in this round at least. Yeah, look, she's getting she confident. Her towards him mm -hmm. in a more confident manner. Yeah, and she leans she's forward. She's feeling more self-assured. She mentions that finding the leg is immaterial evidence anyways. The detective then cuts the conversation as he likely doesn't want any tension to build, nor for Susan to build up confidence. Mm -hmm, sure mm -hmm. enough, when he returns, he makes small talk about Susan's sandwich to diffuse the tension. You got plates? I want one. Oh, well, one. well, you said a couple, not one. Well, I'll do one later. After the two detectives regroup outside the interrogation room, the second detective begins a new tactic with Susan in the hopes that this will get her to admit to something. So, Susan, I, I don't think I it's happening. very well. I'm Detective Eric Fox. Hi, One Eric. One of the things that I do is I'm a medical examiner, deputy medical examiner. So, mm -hmm. so that's one of the reasons why I'm here is because I help to determine cause and manner of death. Yes. <gasps> so obviously, there's a human leg there. Okay. It's, it's Possibly, human. yes. Well, it's human. I'm still not. It's human. I can guarantee you that. Okay. Okay. And it's somewhat decomposed. I mean, it's been, been, been around for a while. Okay. So... Obviously, it came from a person. <coughs> so, well, that's the, like I said, the only. When she says, like I said, she's using what's known as a referral statement. This is often done to help build credibility. The more someone says something, the more believable it becomes because each repetition lessens our disbelief. The only hmm. logical explanation I would have is if it were somewhere other than in the pig pen. Right. That. A coyote might have cracked Some animal or whatever. Well, I, I don't know any other animal. Uh, but, I've, been, I've been watching uh, Detective Henderson talk to you, and I, and I kind of got an impression of kind of the type of person you are, that you're kind of a very logical person. Um, yeah, compliment you like her. You can memorize numbers. Uh, you, you see things kind of linear in facts. The medical examiner is trying to build rapport with Susan and appeal to her high sense of her own intelligence. He also tries to normalize her lack of reaction to the news of the leg by saying she's very logical and linear in her thinking versus her being a sociopath or guilty of killing someone and feeling no emotion about it. This is an attempt to get her to open up to him. Yeah, you know, you get a Star Trek at all? Yeah, I remember Star Trek. I was okay, well, as a kid I'm, watching I'm, it. I'm 95% I'm, I'm Vulcan. Vulcan, and, there and, you and, go. And 5% Klingon. So it's right, right on. Right? <laughs> by comparing herself to fictional Star Trek characters such as a Klingon, it shows that Susan identifies with violent creatures that have a strong sense of ritual and must do things their own way. Oh, so, wow. Uh, uh, yes. So, so, so lo logic, uh, yes, I'm very logical. Yeah. So you can see what's, see what's next in line here, probably. Well, that's, I, mean, yes. I think you can anticipate what's, what's happening. Like you said, human leg, yeah, by your house. Class, the only logical explanation right. would be, you know, that, I mean, okay, uh -huh. go in the other direction. If I had killed him, why would I leave him out by my house? Right. Well, there's always kill somewhere else, leave somewhere, bury somewhere, and then an animal moves from that location. I mean, that's all, that's always possible too, right? Uh, had, yeah. Say, had you killed him? Yeah. Susan begins to appear more uneasy and anxious when discussing the possibility of her killing Robert. Perhaps just mentioning killing him created a fear response in her as you can hear her breathing become more labored. As well, she's fidgeting with her hands and her voice is shaky. These are all adapters to try to calm oneself down in a tense situation. So, so, so no matter what, something had separated this leg from the, from the main portion of the body and it moved it towards your house. Right. In his interview, Michael sheds a bit more light on the state of his relationship with Susan and how it deteriorated. I was, because I had gotten upset, because she started screaming too much at me. I'm not, I'm, you know, I've been married, I'm sure you guys are married. I don't deal with that very well. I said, go fuck yourself, and I moved out. And then I went and talked to him that same day, the last, last words I said. <laughs> Well, don't get married if that's how you're going to treat your partner. That's crazy. What the? Ew. I'm out of here, bro. I love you. I shook his hand and he said, dude, I envy you. I wish I could move out of here. She's going to kill me. And, well, apparently she did. The other thing that I, I was kind of interested in, Susan, is 
here's a person that came to your house and is now clearly missing, and yes. you hadn't seen them for a while. Yes. Are there other people that have came to your house and unexpectedly left their property? Yes, he said that to Susan, but he was inferring um, that, that he didn't me. like being when Susan has asked if other people yelled at like that property, in his she marriage. She makes a couple anchor point movements, such as shifting both feet. She also brings her hands in closer together, which could be a sign of anxiety at this question. Remember this part, because this question about other people disappearing on her property becomes sickeningly important later. We're, we got to narrow in the identification. So, you know, obviously we've got to take this and, and get DNA yes. and make a comparison. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'm making sure there's nobody else that we might have to try to make a comparison. I don't want to just assume that this is Mr. Haney, um, right? Yes. Yeah, now, um, the last person to stay at my property was over a year ago. And his name was Tom. He's a, <gasps> uh, Did you feed him so to the pigs, place, Susan? Um, he um, went somewhere. Where did I he go? Him two or three months In the pig's ago, digestive tract. Moving back to my place. Okay. So you know, Pawn still exists. Then. He hasn't. He's not disappeared. He's not deceased on your property. So well, you have to find him, don't you? Well, um, yeah. <laughs> oh my so, gosh, uh, her inner uh, demon uh, just came out. Gosh, uh, I, my stupid sense of humor. Right. Um, um, what have they told you about this missing person? No, I don't know much about it. They just get the heebie -jeebie. Have I seen this before? Wait, have I have I watched this a long time ago? Why did that Why did that feel familiar? Have I seen this? Does anyone know? Maybe a JCS video on this story. Her, intru her actual intrusive thoughts won. <laughs> Deja vu. Oh. And too many crime videos, I guess. We just haven't talked about it. I didn't freak them out. It didn't mean that much. The detective confronts Brady and he ends his response with an awkward laugh and continues with the jerky body movements, demonstrating his discomfort. Brady's inopportune laugh could be his way of self-soothing or making light of a situation where he feels uncomfortable or nervous. I don't think so. I don't... They, they're a little more serious. They don't know Sue like I yeah. know her. And she goes, Sue, that's all green. And she's worked for the city and worked for people, you know. What city is she for? Good, she's good body. She's a good person. Mm -hmm. She's peculiar, you know. And that's what, you know, people don't understand. I, a lot of people are. I can <laughs> see her doing it. Yeah. I can see her doing it. I, just, I, I really can see her doing it, you guys. So why, why do you say that, though? Open well, your eyes, why, Brady. Why, 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 yeah. why say that? Why say You're blinded that? by I love, Brady. That I mean that, but I think that, that, that now what she told me, I don't know if, if you guys have looked at her, I'm sure you have, but if she was having about him telling her that someone was his daughter, he was crazy drunk about it and screaming and hollering several nights. Like, I'll kill him, I'll kill him. No, she, that's what she told me. Did she ever and he was crazy him? about it. It's his daughter. So he's screaming and yelling. I mean, did she ever say anything about domestics or fights or anything? No, she got along with pretty good, I think. I think she got along with you. She said she's a good worker. You know, right when we started, you mentioned about, well, I don't think she did it. I don't think she would murder someone or kill someone. I don't remember the exact words she used. I guess the question we're asking, what makes you think we even think that? Where did this come but from? Sue done it? Yeah, where did this Why come from? Why wouldn't you from? think Sue may have done it? They haven't said it. That's, 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 huh? Well, he's missing. <laughs> he's missing. So, but, it's on her property. Well, well, he... Notice Brady's word choice here. He said it was on her property, and yet at this point, he hasn't been informed about the gruesome discovery oh, found on Susan's Oh, Brady! I've done lots of missing people cases where um, people call in, they say, hey, so and so used to live here, but they left. Well, you guys have showed up there. You've been there, you know, and, and she said, she told me that you guys are, are looking at uh -oh. Okay, there you go. So oh, no, that. no, no, no. Oh, I don't know. We could go or... But why I know she's yeah, we're trying to understand what you're, what you're saying. Well, I can understand that you guys can understand that somebody missed my property. And so she kind of gave me that same impression, you know. But she didn't seem real concerned about it now. What does she think happened to this, this guy? She hasn't. You know, she hasn't really. I haven't really asked her a lot about it, but she hasn't offered. She hasn't offered much information on that. Mm -hmm. What do you believe our next step in this investigation is going to be? Um... I would say, go look in the pig pen and see if you find any more parts, and especially clothing. Where else would we look, do you think? Uh, clothing strewn about Susan's property. Actual photo. Do you hmm. think we would look at it's, not look, it's not looking good, Susan. My neighbors, are uh, Karen and Lorna, are over here. So when he went crazy, they heard him, and they hear everything, and then complaining to you guys and to the county and everybody else. 
and that's why I lost my hair a couple years ago. Susan has been deflecting with generic statements prior to this, but this comment is way off topic and may be mm -hmm. meant to elicit sympathy from the detectives. Mm. The county had come out and uh, said I needed to clean up my place or I was going to get fined six hundred dollars, and I had no idea where I was going to get six hundred dollars. So for two nights I didn't sleep, and then immediately after that I started. Susan pushes on her forehead with her hand, which is known as facial distortion. This behavior often happens when someone is feeling especially anxious or upset. Susan's land is very important to her, and the thought of losing it was likely very mm -hmm. stressful for her. She's a little I'm very, stressed I'm very or whatever. I've always been, uh, I've always been uh, uh, somewhat of a loner, and now uh, I'm very much more of a loner. I don't go anywhere. Since, short, since shortly after this happened, uh, I have not been able to look in a mirror. For the last two years, I have not looked in a mirror. I take a cloth, I wipe my face. I have not been able to take a bath in two years. We can't say for certain if this is true, but the information Susan is providing here could indicate that she might have begun to mentally and emotionally decompensate two years ago when she began losing her hair. Abandoning hygiene is an indication of severe mental and emotional problems. And then today I go ahead, and you people won't let me go down and relieve myself, so I'm walking around for an hour and a half and sh my pants. Susan refers to the officers as you people, showing her disdain for them, and it's a sign of disrespect. Notice that both officers are sitting, leaning forward towards her with their elbows on their knees. They're trying to get Susan to mirror this position, which is often seen when someone breaks down and confesses. This position is a sign of resignation. You guys are... Okay, we have to pause for a minute. And we must talk about these Leslie allegations. First of all, Susan is a murderer, okay? Yes, there was shower a shower reference, okay? But that Leslie showers, okay? Do not, do not compare Leslie to this murderer, all right? Leave my girl's name out of your mouth. We're sick. We're sick of your cheap humor. We've heard it a thousand times. Leave her alone. Chances are we're going to find the rest of Robert. <laughs> when Susan finishes her story about her hair, the officers have no response to her whatsoever and just dive right back into the facts of the case and questioning her. It's a little surprising that they offer I'm no a her after her long winded and story I shower. <laughs> she By not acknowledging her feelings, the detective may have damaged the rapport that he had built with Susan so far. The only place that I would be able to say would be if it were in the gully between where his stuff is and the trailer, he might have fallen down. But you guys have been <laughs> down there. I was down there. I never saw anything. So, so have, have you ever fed your pigs any other animals before? No. A couple of weeks ago, I went and made uh, some stew when I had uh, put the bones in the, in the liquid to add flavor to it before I made the... <gasps> Uh, made me, uh, made me Ooh, that's burnt, Susan. Do they crunch them all up? Most, most of the bones. I, I know there's a big skull out in the back pen of, of one of the pigs. Pig skull? Yes. So they didn't eat up the skull then? No. So well, if, if, I, a, I, if, I, a, I, if a human I, ended up in there, then it's not likely they'd eat up the human skull then either, would they? Well, a pig skull is a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. to, back like to the start big. here. Uh, Susan, our intention is to go the, um, find the rest of this person. Yes. Okay? Um, and we're going to search. Yes. Until we do find the rest of this person. Uh, and then we're going to compare. You know, we're going to make sure that the parts that we find do belong mm -hmm, to the same mm -hmm. person. And then we're going to get DNA and we're going to compare and make sure it either it's Robert or if it's somebody else. Mm -hmm, well, I mean, mm -hmm. if, uh, um, she is stressed. You know, if you have any knowledge of anything that happened to him, that now would probably be the time to tell us. It's time, Susan. When there's a delay in responding, this can sometimes indicate deception. A pause is appropriate when a question requires thought. However, other questions, like whether Susan knows what happened to Robert, should be easy to How answer. How do you watch these by yourself? Do with it. I, sometimes, Susan. I don't, I don't feel like I'm watching you by myself because of you guys. So if, I could never watch this alone, ever.
ever. I'm too. I would be too scared. But it feels like we're watching it together, so it's a bit, a bit more comforting. Know what's going to happen, or for various reasons, and we hide things out of fear. Oh, blubbers! <laughs> The detectives start using the Reed technique, offering alternate explanations for why she did what she did, and offering a less morally despicable explanation by saying things like, things just happen, and people make mistakes. This is to get her to latch onto one of these explanations and confess to some involvement. They're doing this now because they can see Susan is feeling defeated, and his loss yeah. is resolved in sticking with her lies. Yep. If my pigs did eat Robert, would you kill my pigs? Well, I don't know. That's something we'd have to look at. This is an odd question, and possibly Susan's way of deflecting the suspicion away from herself. Uh, I, I, I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy. However, it's possible that this is another example of Susan's black and white thinking. In her mind, killing the pigs would be wrong because it's not their fault that they ate something in their pen. The pigs don't have morals that would keep them from eating a person, so she doesn't think it would be fair for her pigs to die for doing something that they can't control. Now, you mentioned an incident to us where... Uh, Ooh, it would be kind of odd eating a pig that's eaten a person. Ooh. Susan held you into the pig area. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. I think she, I thought she was pig blaming. Her, but she, she and leave the pigs alone. alone. She's bigger than you. Are. They didn't she know. Just lifted me up and held me over the pig farm because I was looking at her pigs, and she knows I'm scared of them. I'm, I'm is that cannibalism? Right. I would never get in there. <laughs> but anyway, I was looking at her and she held me over and laughed. Chat, you're crazy. And then she told me, I would like to see how fast my pigs could get rid of a human body. Are those pigs friendly? Huh? Are those pigs friendly out there? Well, technically. Okay, if a pig digests a human body, it's digested and it breaks down. I almost said ingredients. <laughs> Breaks down the parts. So technically, it after, you know, it's digested. And then if you eat the piggy, it's technically just nutrients. Oh, God, it's so hard to talk about. <laughs> oh. Aggressive? Aggressive? <laughs> so was she mad at you at the time? Or did no. it seem like something just kind of out I thought it was... Funny. Okay. You know, it's I thought she was kidding. Okay, so you guys were involved in arguments that. No. Time. The DNA According can stay, though. Loud, <laughs> words, if this is true, this could be an indication that Susan may have some sadistic traits. If she might derive enjoyment from inflicting harm on others, or at the very least, from bullying or threatening Ooh. others. Oftentimes, people with antisocial personality disorder have sadistic tendencies. We can't draw any conclusions about Susan's diagnosis. But with this information being revealed by Michael, there's a possibility that Susan may have derived pleasure from thinking about and acting on feeding a human being to her pigs. Large pig there. Oh! Susan, why don't you just tell us what happened? Note that Susan uses her drink to stall as she speaks and then begins to sigh heavily. She first raises her hand to cover her eyes when she's asked to tell the detectives what happened and does it again now. When detectives see all of these things together, especially the eye blocking, it can be a sign of deception as the deceptive person doesn't want to face the reaction from the other person. Everything that I told you was the truth up until about a week after Bobby had called me. Here we go. I don't it's know time. Why, but uh, sometime about a week after Bobby had called, I went down. Uh-huh. Oh. He was like half eaten. He was by what? By the pigs. Okay. I don't. He was like half eaten by the pigs. It was early in the morning. And okay, I'm gonna take a guess. I'm going to assume the detectives are gonna be like, "Well, that can't be true because by the leg." By investigating the leg, we know that he was cut in half with a saw. And a pig can't do that. Because I bet she probably chopped him up before feeding him to the pigs, right? And, That's uh, what I think they're going to say. I saw what had happened. His guts were all over the place. Oh, 
Eye blocking again. He was still alive. What? I, I knew he wasn't going to be alive for more than, you know, a few more minutes. Here she is covering her mouth with her hand as she says this, which could be another clue of deception. Mm -hmm. People who are lying sometimes hide their mouth, attempting to cover the lie. <sighs> alive. I got kind of shot him in the head. If it was true that Susan found her pigs eating Robert, most people would have immediately either gone to try to help uh -huh. or called 911. Yeah, true. When Susan says this, her mouth is covered by her hand, almost blocking the words coming out of her mouth. It's possible that Susan's trying to hide her emotions by covering her mouth because maybe the sadness she's trying to express is feigned. I didn't want... <sighs> I didn't want my pigs to be shot. For not... Okay, this is smart of her because... She probably shot him in the head first and then fed him to the pigs. So now this checks out. So if they find the skull and there's a there's a hole in the skull, you know, it kind of makes sense. For not doing something that's the natural causes. Well, pigs get hungry. You know, if, if he was out there, I don't know what happened to start with. If he went out and started doing something to them, I can't see that my pigs would go ahead and do something to somebody without cause. There's a deviation in her behavior here because she's much louder and there's mm -hmm. more emotion in her voice compared to just moments ago when she was describing how she supposedly found Robert half eaten and shot him. It's possible that this change in tone of voice is an indication of tension as a change in pitch is often a sign of emotional stress. It's also safe to say that Susan simply feels more strongly about her pig's well-being than she does about Robert. Yeah, she loves the pigs more than They're Robert. They've always been very friendly with me. They still are very friendly with me. Uh, I didn't want to say anything, and because I was afraid you were going to go out and shoot my pigs. That's not going to happen right now, okay? And we're going to look into that, but tell me back at the beginning... How did you know Robert was there? Did you hear noise? What happened? I came down in the morning. I can say this was, this was maybe, it was, it was over a month since I had seen him last. Because it was about that time when Bobby had called me to ask me what was going on. And I told him, I have no idea. And so he had been gone. He had been gone over a month. Okay. He had been gone over a month. I came down to feed my animals. And I heard this moaning and, and stuff. Did you hear screaming? No, not really a scream. Just moaning. Moaning more, yeah. And his guts were out, and, but he was, he was still alive. Again, oh. she covers her mouth as she says he was still alive, possibly signifying that she's not telling the truth about this. Touching one's face is also a self-soothing technique. And how did you know he was alive? I could, I could, I could see his arm moving. And was he still moaning? Yeah, it was moaning a little bit. And and I, so what did you do then? I feel like the pigs would have to I be incredibly pigs. hungry and, uh, to eat a live yeah, person. They were doing their thing. They are just, you know, having lunch. Story's not checking out, Susan. They were having breakfast on him. And uh, I could see that, you know, there was no way he was going to get to the hospital and live. Uh, I didn't think he was going to live more than a few more minutes. Did he say but, anything to you? No, no, he didn't say anything. He was just moaning. So, but he, he went back into your I, house. I, I went up and got my rifle and shot him in the head. How, how many times? Uh, I don't know. More than once? I don't know. The not remembering is very unusual. When someone has a selective memory, this can sometimes be a deceptive indicator. However, oh. it's difficult to prove that someone is lying when they say they don't remember. It seems as though Susan doesn't want to admit how many times she shot Robert. If she admits that she shot him multiple times, she may be concerned that will make her look more guilty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have no idea. So you, you're you sure you did it once? Yes. But you're not sure if you did it more I, than I don't know if I did it more times. I don't know. So after you shot him, then what happened? After I shot him. Did he die immediately? Yes. And then what'd you do? Uh, I, went and I, I went and fed my other animals, and I just left him there. And so, as far as you know, he, he, he was never moved from that no. big place. What reason do you think that I he have no I have pig no pig idea why, why he would go in the pig pen. I have none at all. Susan begins answering the detective's question before he even finishes asking it, which is something to take note of. When suspects take either too long to answer a simple question or interrupt to answer a question, it could be because they're not being honest. Answering too quickly shows an over-eagerness to tell their side and defend themselves, while a long pause shows the person is carefully considering the answer they want to give, 
or concocting a lie on the spot. Ugh. Were you angry at him when he came back? I didn't see him come back. I was angry at him and angry at my angry at him and my kids for what happened. Leave the pigs out of this. This is your fault, Susan. Is that gonna be right by the south, south of the barn? South of the barn. South of the barn. Pretty close to the barn. How close do you think it was to the barn? Where where his body was? Uh, 40 feet. And, and so what happened, you know, after you fed the rest of your animals and then checked to see, obviously the, the pigs are going to do what they're going to do. You can't stop them. Right. right? So if they're going to come back to them, if you originally maybe you were trying to shoot them off, but, but obviously leaving them there, they're going to eat him, yes. right? Yes. Susan covers her face, displaying that she either is ashamed of what she did or feels overly stressed. Hiding her face psychologically removes Probably her a little from the situation and the direct glare of the interrogator. So, um, did you check back to see? A couple days later. Well, no, I mean, every, every day. And, uh, did you, you ever day. move any part of him out of the pen? I mean, there's got to be some parts uh, that aren't eating, like you said, they don't eat clothes, right? Uh, Mm -hmm. A few days later, when most of him was gone, I went in there and I picked up the clothes. I picked up the, the few parts that were left. And what was left? Oh, the sound? It's the vacuum. Uh, 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 Is it too loud? It's a chainsaw! Ha ha ha! Tall and um, uh, an arm, and I, I'm not sure. I know there was the skull. If you if you go back out to my barn, and when you go, let me draw you a little picture. What's left of him is in a couple of plastic bags right there. Okay. Susan appears to be at least somewhat bothered Why? by picking up Robert's remains. The fact that she left his body there for two days could suggest that she wanted the pigs to destroy the evidence. I don't know shoot him at. I shot him in the head. I no, I I did not. Look to see where I was shooting him. I just took the rifle out and shot. Was he laying on his back, his side? <laughs> uh, on his back. So most likely anything would have been like. Uh, I don't know. I didn't look. Oh didn't my look. gosh! I saw him. I saw him. That he is guts laying on his back, laying on his back. And then there was no way for him to be alive more than a couple more minutes. I went up to the house and I got my rifle. I just. Went like this, I just turned my head and I shot. And then I didn't see any more boat. I didn't, didn't, didn't see his heart move. Or any more boating if I left. <laughs> and, and, think, uh, did you ever think it was possible that maybe if you got an ambulance there, they might be able to do something? No, 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 no. I didn't, I had, I didn't think it was going to look like, there was no way. I mean, I am going to take half an hour to get to him. There was, there was no way he was going to live more than another couple of minutes. And I did pretty much the way I do everything else. I did not like to see an animal suffer. I did not like to see him suffering. Comparing Robert to one of her pigs suggests that she has difficulty understanding social norms, as it's not socially appropriate to compare ending a human's life to ending a pig's life. The, the bag that has mm. the skull and the other few remaining parts in it, did you ever try to um, destroy those at all, or did you just put them in no, the bag? No, I, I couldn't think about anything. The burn barrel's right there. Okay. And the clothes are still in there? They're, they're burned up. Right. Was there anything else oh, that might have been there burned up? Maybe a wallet might have been in there? You don't know. I don't know. I didn't go through his stuff. Are the ashes still in there, or did you Yes. No, the, uh, no, I haven't I haven't emptied the burn barrel. There's half, half full of ashes. Were you and, worried using his card, though, after you knew that he was dead, that you would get caught? No. I didn't really think about it. Susan, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned <gasps> on this. Yeah. And, and I appreciate you being honest about what you've told us. But there's, there's a piece here missing, it seems to me. That okay. here's a person that never goes into that pig pen. I don't know. Never feeds I, those I, pigs. He, he, I, I don't know. And then I, he I, ends up in there mysteriously. I, I, I don't know if he ever, uh, like I say. I, did, did he come after you and threaten you? And no, something happened, no, Susan? No, He never came after me or threatened me did, for, for anything. Did he any do reason. something to you or no, your place that no. caused you to do something to him? No, he never, he never did anything to me. Uh, and uh, the only thing he ever did to me was make a big mess. Right. And I'm not shooting somebody because I made a mess. Because you, you got to see through my eyes that this story seems I, convenient. I have I have no rather idea. than I have I have no idea 
I have no idea how he got in there or why he would go in there. I don't know. Did you ever hear her make threats toward Robert? Like, I'd like to kill that guy, or I'm going to do this with him, or that? Yeah. I heard her say, I will shut him up. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if that's a threat, but she shut him up, I guess. So he never he never threatened you, never came up in the rage, come back no. to your house mad about no. somebody stealing his stuff or doing anything of that no. nature? No. The detective is presenting Susan with possible justifications for her killing him. Because you, you have the right to defend yourself, you know that. Uh, if something happened to you... No, you, no. If he had come up to my house and threatened me and I had shot him, I would have called you immediately. I would have called you immediately. What? Are you frightened of the pigs? No, I'm not frightened at all. I've never been frightened of them. I, I had a 940-pound pig, and he would kill me in a minute if he wanted to. But he was very gentle when, when he was about 400 pounds or something. I walked by him, and I was scratching the back of his neck. And he hit me with his head and put a cut in my leg right here. That's the only time any of my animals have ever hurt me at all. And he was, he was not being mean. He was not being mean at all to me. He just twitched his head and he weighed three times or twice, but I did it. He just put a little cut in my leg and knocked me down. Oh my gosh. And he was not mean. Although covering one's mouth can Girl. be an indicator of deception, it's possible that this is not the case for Susan. This may be a typical behavior for her when she's feeling emotional. It's possible that she wants to appear strong and she may feel that showing emotion is weak. By covering her mouth when she's upset, she may be trying to create a barrier between her and the detectives as a way to hide her feelings from them. The fact that she's covering her mouth while she tells the story about her pig hurting her lends support to the theory that this is her attempt to hide her emotions, rather than to cover a lie, as it wouldn't make sense for her to be dishonest about getting cut by her pig. This is why it's important to not make any judgments about whether someone is being dishonest simply based off of one deceptive indicator. You need to look at the whole picture, not just one small piece of the puzzle. Taboo. I do not know why. I do not know why he was out there. I do not know if he had been out there previous to that time. And I have no idea what happened to make them do that to him. Susan, would you be willing to take a lie detector? Yes! Susan immediately agrees to take a polygraph exam. She may believe she can pass it, as she clearly believes she's smarter than the officers. No problems at no all? No problem. And, and obviously the issue would be, uh -oh. shoot him after the pigs attacked him or did you shoot him first and then I shot him, him after the pig he was he was laying on the ground with his right. guts out okay I'm just asking if you'd be willing he, to take the test he was laying yes okay. interestingly Brady reports that Susan has a hard time killing the pigs contrary to her statement earlier when she made jokes about butchering them but she loves pigs mm -hmm. she loves them she has a hard time butchering them actually she what she actually has a hard time butchering them butchering them okay she does mm -hmm. so you've mentioned that you heard her say kidding around with the feed people to the pigs and all that stuff has she ever talked about doing that no. no it's possible that susan uses humor as a coping mechanism when she's feeling uncomfortable or stressed making light about something she actually finds emotionally difficult may be her way of proving to other people that she isn't weak and like detective fox is talking about it does really sound like it's more of a story of convenience of something that you know it's it's explainable but it doesn't really make that much sense we understand that you are saying that you shot him okay i i, I still don't know if you actually found a leg or anything but if okay. you did find we did a, we did if, if you found a leg susan yeah, I'll be back. yeah. Uh, as far as like the skeletal structure of a person you're but, crazy uh, that looks like a leg it is okay um if it, if it's if it's in the grass, then it had I, I don't know. In 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 the um. Susan appears distressed about seeing the photo of the leg. Flipping it over was her way of reducing her stress. Out of sight, out of mind. This avoidance behavior is similar to her story about how she didn't go check the pig pen for a couple days after Robert was killed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Instead of coping with something difficult, someone with anxiety may choose to avoid certain things or situations. Uh, I could not look at him. So all all, this, all I heard all I heard was a little bit of moaning and one arm was moving a little bit. And you also just mentioned that you don't like it when you if you had a pig out here in the barn, you wouldn't be able to shoot them humanely. Yes. Right. So yes. it was important to have a good shot on a pig so that it doesn't suffer. Yes. But well, so when when you, Robert, I mean, like, there's a human being laying there. I understand that. And, I understand that you didn't look from what you're saying, but did you at least place the end of the muzzle close to somewhere where you thought I that was, would be I, a human I, shot? I, I was probably a, maybe a foot and a half. 
from his head. The end of the barrel? Yes. Okay. And was there a reason for that? Well, I couldn't look at him and take aim or anything. He was he was laying there, I was standing here, and I went like that, and I pulled the trigger. But you made sure that the barrel was pointed at his head? Yes. Is Susan, sit down. that we might find someone else out there or remains from another person on your property somewhere? Is that possible? Anything is possible. <gasps> I don't know if found that leg way or hold the crowd walks. Okay. What if that leg's not Robert's? Whoa! Whoa! If it's not, I don't know who it would be. Oh, Susan! Uh-oh. If, if you're, you're not very, and I don't know if Detective Fox is, is getting the same thing from you, but you're not when you, it seems like like before where you kind of wanted to say something, but you didn't. You held it out, and then you, and it's like you want to say it, and this is like Detective Fox said, this is this is your opportunity to do that. I, Susan, if, who, else, if, who else is out there? Instead of asking again if anyone else is out there, which is a close-ended question that could be answered with a simple yes or no, mm -hmm. the detective switches tactics and asks directly, who else is out there? This is known as a presumptive question because the asker is assuming that something is true, in this case, that there is another body. This question may catch Susan off guard. If she was being honest when she initially denied that any other bodies are there, she likely wouldn't have to think about her response. Mm -hmm. It would be something easy, like no one else is out there. However, if she knows that there is another body, she may pause to think about her response. To my knowledge, no one. And if, if that if that leg is not Roberts, I would very much like to know it myself. Her reply is especially suspicious, as most people would be able to definitely answer whether or not a dead body was on their property, even if it is a large area. Using this qualifying statement such as, to my knowledge, is a major red flag. Oof. So, I'd very much like to know it myself, it's, if it's not his, and how it got from the pig pen to wherever over there in the grass you found it. I have no idea. Right. And sometimes right. bad things happen to good people. You know, misfortune. I mean, who would have thought that Robert would have ended up in the pigs, right? Yes. So did something else bad happen to you? The, the, only, the only thing, I, and I will admit, I have thought about it quite a bit, maybe too much. What? Is that Karen? I mean, I have thought about killing her a hundred times. Okay, well, we're not talking about Karen. Right? <laughs> yes. What? I understand that. We're not talking about Karen. Okay, well, um, right. that, that's... Right. Oh, that's oh only, what a weird thing to say. Your hair falling out a yes. Incident, yes, I lost my hair within two months. I mean, that's that's devastating, yes. especially for for you, isn't it? Yes. It's it's very hard for me to sit here right now. Yes, and even you talk know, about it, isn't yes. it? Yes, I mean, just wearing this, like I say... I'd never leave my property, and I would not have today without putting my wig on. And your story about shooting a Robert, wig stored in true. Susan's room. When, you were, when he was in the pig. That is a very house. dirty remote. And I know that's true. But where else did you shoot him? People don't always die from the first shot on a 22. Where else was he shot at? I have um, no idea. Was he standing up on the first shot? No. Okay. No, he was he was laying down on the ground. Mm -hmm. Well, you know we have the skull. Oh. Yes. We're going to take a look at that skull. Yes. And you know how forensics are. I'm yes. sure you watch that kind of stuff. I, and you understand. Uh, one of the things I got on the... And we can we can take the, a look the, at the, the... What do you call it? Right. Yeah. And we can take a, take a look at those angles. Mm -hmm. you, know, you put the rods and the lasers yes. and you can figure yes. that all out. And we can tell if they all, all those shots came from the same area. Yes. And we can also tell if it happened somewhere else. Mm -hmm. We're shooting at the head. Yes. Is there some other way that something we're going to see that doesn't make I, sense like, to your story. I, like I said, I might have shot him six times. I really but, don't know. But are we going to have an, an angle that doesn't match your story? I have no idea. Susan! I have no idea. He was on the ground. Right. I, I know that part's like that true. I, I know that's true. I can sense that. Okay. I can tell that. But I can also sense that there's something missing. There's some heart that something happened between you two before that. Literally happened. and figuratively, no. Susan. Something happened. Did, Something's no. missing. Did you feel responsible? Did you ask him to go out and feed the pigs? No. So now you're, no. you're you're feeling guilty no. about that? No. I did not. Did you request I, him to clean up something no. in the next day? And, no. and now you feel guilty? No. I, I feel guilty in the fact that he was lying there and I shot him. Mm -hmm. I feel guilty for, you know, the fact that my pigs ended up eating most of him. I do not feel guilty for huh? uh, um, for, uh, for what? Um, I, 
I do not feel guilty for causing his death. Well, right. Okay. Although he, your gunshots are what ended it completely. Yes. I mean, he was, we, we, were, we were not standing here together. Right. And I did not shoot him in the head. What? Did you ever point a rifle at anybody? No. Before the person? No. Um, while I was in the Navy, uh, if I saw something suspicious, I would throw a hand grenade at it. Or, or sense and even thought about shooting anyone. So you value human life, right? It sounds like you do. It sounds like you have a no, an I understanding. No, no, I don't. Okay. No, I, well, I, I should not be saying it, but I'm trying to tell the truth. <laughs> I do not value human life very much. The only thing wrong with this planet is there's people on it. If it weren't for a us, motive. all the other animals, you know, dodo birds and whatever else would still be here. Okay. Well, how did you feel about Robert? Well, I don't know about dodo birds. Um, what kind of person was he? Well, I, I try to repeat here. I don't know him. What about, uh, what did you see with Robert and his dealing? They did not like each other. Okay, they had, you saw them having words? Yes. And what was that about? What? No, she wanted all her work done for free. And he didn't, he wasn't agreeing to that. Okay. I used to go talk to him every day. He was my buddy. Just like Brady appears to feel loyal towards Susan, Michael appears to feel loyal toward Robert. This could explain why Brady and Michael give such different accounts, not only about Susan, but about mm -hmm. how Susan felt about Robert. Mm -hmm. This doesn't necessarily mean... I'm just kind of curious if this Michael guy was also living... Maybe I just don't know the times, the time frame of when he was living on the farm as well. But like, how did he not hear anything? How did he not see a body in the pig pen? You know, how did... He does seem super innocent, like he doesn't know anything. ...that they're lying to detectives. However, it may be easier for them like, to remember where was he when this was happening? ...what they believe is true. This is known in psychology oh, he left? as confirmation by... He left before. Oh, okay, okay, yes. okay, okay, that makes when sense. When something happens that fits with what we already believe... Brady, on the other hand... ...we see it as important and therefore remember it. If something happens that doesn't align He's just with a little beliefs, whipped, we I may guess. discount it. I'm trying to wrap my... <laughs> my mind around it, you know what I mean, of why, how, because if I went into a pen and a pig started attacking me, I guarantee you, get out. Well, he moved out. I, okay, got it, got it. My pigs are not mean. Right. I have, you know, I have no idea why he would be there. And furthermore, I have no if idea. If the pigs aren't mean, then how did he die to the pigs? Or, or anybody, mm -hmm. you know. You mind if I just grab you some more water? Do you want some water? I'm not soda. Do you want soda? Polygraph examiner arrives off screen. Can all three bless you, bless you, bless you. Five seconds. Okay. Yes. Thank yes. you, thank you, thank you. There's a plug right here. Okay, just, 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 just five seconds. Sure, sure, sure. Um, can I have this again, please? Yeah. I'm going to kill myself with it. <laughs> no. Okay. Just, just, just five seconds, please. Okay. Susan is extremely self-conscious about her bald head, which is why she asked for everyone to leave the room while she took off her sweatshirt and adjusted her hat. Aww. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just very, uh, very subconscious about my hair. So I didn't want to take this off while well, you were looking. The polygraph examiner begins setting up. Though Susan willingly agreed to take the polygraph, as you'll soon see, it did not go as planned. Yeah, so how are you doing? Uh, I've been better. Right away, the polygraph examiner starts building rapport with Susan. He asks her about her experience with polygraphs. We don't polygraphs. say aw. Have you ever had a polygraph? Oh, come on. I'm sure you guys can be a bit empathetic towards the idea of someone not wanting to be in a room with anybody to deal with an insecurity that they have. It, no, of course I don't feel sorry for this woman. But the idea of that happening to somebody is sad. Polygraph before? I did it one time. What was that about? Uh, I can't remember. But I do, I do think I, I think I did have one. Really? Why wouldn't you remember? Uh, well, I think you'd remember unless it was maybe a long time ago. It, it was, yeah, it was 30 or 40 years ago. I don't. Oh, jeez. Um, it's extremely hard to believe that Susan doesn't recall the circumstances when she had previously been polygraphed. The experience is extremely stressful and would certainly be memorable even if it was years ago. I do not remember a lot of stuff. I'm very good at spatial geometry and remembering numbers. Okay. Uh, Murder is pretty like sad. Them. Yes. I do not remember that too at all is also or, sad. Uh, I have a bad concept of time. Okay. 
Susan mentions her memory problems almost immediately. This is rather convenient as remembering timelines is critical in an investigation. This is likely a tactic so she can claim to not recall incriminating information during the polygraph or interrogation and blame it on her poor memory. The investigator will likely ask her to recall non-incriminating information from her past to disprove her claim of having a bad memory. So um, when they're asking me questions about what happened three weeks ago, I'm trying to, you know, figuring a month on either direction. Susan tells him that she has worked on her property for 22 years. Before the polygraph examiner explains the process of the polygraph test and tells her he has to set up his equipment. I got all this equipment I need to set up. Pulse, blood pressure, mm -hmm. and... Oh my gosh, I'm excited to see how this goes. How do you remember all that stuff? Um, like I say, I remember all kinds of things. I do not remember <laughs> a lot of stuff. I <gasps> watch it on TV or things like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, I watch uh, uh, crime shows on TV a lot. Oh I like gosh. The, uh, British, uh, British things more than anything else. Oh really? Yeah. Um, there's one called um, Rosemary and Time. They go out and solve crimes where I mean it's one of those you know stupid things. You go out to trim a tree and find a body. Okay. You know, it, 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 for the most part, it's things that are not plausible. Oh, I can move a little bit. Yeah, if you move over just a little bit, whatever you're comfortable with. Well, I'm, I'm almost sure. I'm, I'm comfortable back in my property. Gotcha. Yeah, um, me too. I'm um, most comfortable at home. She is nervous. Susan brushes her hand across her forehead, possibly wiping sweat from her brow. Increased sweating can be indicative of someone being in fight or flight mode due to a perceived threat. Well, how about me? Are you comfortable with me? No, no, I'm not. You're not comfortable with me? No, I mean, I am comfortable. Oh. I'm just so curious how lie detectors work. Because I feel like anybody that's in a room uh, being interrogated, whether you're innocent or not, you would be really nervous, right? I feel like I would be so anxious and scared regardless they're not reliable heartbeat yeah but oh gosh i i guess i just don't know okay i, I, I i'm fine with one or two people they need a baseline uh, a large group of people i start to get anxious sure. the way she describes her yeah, anxiety this girl's freaking attacks, out like susan suffers from panic disorder possibly panic disorder with agoraphobia Agoraphobia is an anxiety disorder associated with a fear of places or situations that could make someone panic, feel trapped, or embarrassed. I went, uh, went to Jackson County Mental Health. Good. And uh, psychiatrists and psychologists down there, they were taking all kinds of pills and trying to give them to me. You had mentioned her temper, and I'm not, not trying to put you on the spot, but just what, tell me about that. What, what was she talking about her temper? She got a temper. How did she, how did she uh, what does that look like? She screams. It's, it's just an outburst, but, you know, she was screaming real loud and really it's bipolar, you know. Is, is bipolar something that you came up with or she told you? No, no, she has. Take okay. yeah. medication um, for it? Or? I think so. I don't even Stream know. agoraphobic. <laughs> True. <laughs> so she screams at people. Jeez. Oh, yeah, she Oh, yeah. Do you have a mental health diagnosis, Susan? Um, I have, um, you know, pro problems with people. Okay. That's a, that's basically the whole thing. I they didn't put a name on it? They called it some. Uh, if they did, I, if they did, I can't remember what okay. it was. Susan states that she has what she calls problems with people. This could be a number of personality disorders, and it seems hard to believe she doesn't recall what she was diagnosed with. Most people know what kind of mental illness they have. Um, just a little bit about me. I mean, I used to be a detective, too. I can't, I can't read anything. Okay. I don't have classes. I'll read it to you. Would okay. you be able to sign it if I read it to you? Yes. Okay. The interrogator reads Susan her rights and has her verbally agree to take the polygraph. He cannot force her to take a polygraph, but whether or not someone willingly agrees to take a polygraph is important to an investigation. It's actually surprising Susan is willing. Having these rights in mind, you wish to take a polygraph exam? Um, not real happy about it, but I won't do it. I only got yes or no, which one's uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Susan also claimed earlier she's into crime shows, and she may think she knows ways to beat the test. All I need you to do then, since I just acknowledge that I read those to you, was to sign your name uh -oh. right there. Uh-oh, it's time. Oh. Or not. You don't have to. Um, it's just I just want to make sure. That... Uh, uh, yeah. Um... <laughs> shaking a little bit, I guess. That's... Okay. Oh, my gosh. After Susan states she's shaking, you can hear her verbally sigh a few times to release tension. These behaviors suggest that she's feeling uncomfortable, possibly as mm -hmm. a result of her self-reported history of anxiety. Most people are nervous taking a polygraph exam, so this is expected. Am I making you nervous? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I think of everything very logically. I was telling the, the one officer just a couple minutes ago that uh, there are diseases like uh, sickle cell anemia 
that could be um, dealt with very simply by having people that have that gene to not have kids. And in one generation, we would not have that disease anymore. Good. China ha allows people to have one child, oh. which is very good. In India, you've got a billion people in this little spot. It's stupid. When Susan describes how she thinks of everything very logically, she's very unemotional and comes across as somewhat egocentric. She appears to believe that she's smarter than everyone else, as she has logical answers about how to solve world problems. This also shows that Susan has some very rigid beliefs. I do not condone the going out and killing of people just for no reason. So she she has a reason uh, for killing him. Somebody does get killed. I'm not very concerned about it because there's seven billion people on this planet. So you're pragmatic about life in general. Yes. Comes and goes. Yes. Her comments about not being concerned when someone dies reveals that she may have difficulty forming emotional attachments to other people. Mm -hmm. It also suggests that she may lack empathy mm -hmm. as she's unable to see that although one person's death may not affect her personally, there are likely other people who are impacted and hurt by the loss yep. of that person. Yep. It could also be an indication that she's willing to solve an issue by using methods that make sense to her and are convenient to her, yep. regardless of what those methods are. Uh, Facts! That's probably, uh, um, that's probably pretty normal for someone that I, works a farm. Animals yeah, kind I don't, of go. Um, yeah, I don't. Um, Susan then changes topics abruptly, shifting from her beliefs about people dying to discussing Robert's death. Um, I, the reason this happened was mm -hmm. I do not feel um, that any person or animal should suffer. Okay. Susan is steepling her hands, which is an indication that she feels confident in what she's saying. She's also using her hands as illustrators, bringing her hands down slightly multiple times in order to punctuate her point. I mean, when illustrators are out of sync or misplaced, I think this can some people that should suffer. <laughs> However, Susan's movements appear to match up with her words. Uh, depends not, on the crime. He was more than another couple of minutes, but he was definitely suffering. Okay. And I ended the suffering. Okay. Susan is using moral justification for killing Robert and is beginning to build a narrative as to why she did what she did. She alleges she was simply ending his suffering and was acting humanely. Her explanation oh. of what she did to Robert also shows her rigidity of thinking. She thought it was okay to end his suffering, and so she went ahead and shot him. A jury might be less likely to convict someone oh. of murder if this were truly a mercy killing, but she could still be charged with murder. Yeah. Are you any concerns about taking any uh, polygraph examination today? Uh, no. Okay. Have you had any injury or major surgery in the last six months? No. The interrogator goes back to reading the usual preliminary questions to make sure she's coherent and can take the polygraph without being under the influence or have any conditions that would interfere with the accuracy of the test. This is always done as the machine picks up physical and biological responses that can easily be affected by drugs, alcohol, or certain medical conditions. However, Time it's check. important to note that polygraph exams are notoriously we have about unreliable. An hour and 20 minutes ish. I had a margarita um, that was very weak on the third Thursday of last month. Okay, wow. Well. Susan is able to recall certain information yeah, in a lot a of detail, crazy despite thing previously stating that her memory isn't good. Have you ever been diagnosed by a, a doctor or professional medical person with depression or anxiety? Yes. Okay. Which one? Both of them, or just anxiety? Uh, you mentioned anxiety. I don't. Okay. I don't think anybody ever said I was depressed. I get depressed occasionally, and most of the time, if I just go out and sit next to a tree and look at my little twenty acres, I'm. Okay. Happy in just a short period of time. Okay. And you don't remember what your mental health diagnosis was, if they had a name for it or anything like that? No. You just do better when you're alone. Right? I just I do better when I'm alone. Uh, Sue's bipolar really bad, and, and she starts stuff and doesn't finish. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like she when she starts something, she don't have no plan to finish it. Not. I get these anxiety things like um, when, when I go to shop, I mentally put blinders on myself. I try not to look at people. I managed quite well. Here she is describing the feelings and behaviors of people that struggle with agoraphobia, or a rather serious social anxiety disorder. Sometimes people with social anxiety disorder will describe these sort of feelings or behaviors when in public settings. Given her choice to live in a very isolated rural environment with animals, this is probably true. She then describes an incident that occurred to her years ago where she was in a grocery store and began to have an anxiety attack. She left her cart in the store and went out to her car to wait until the anxiety went away. But while there, she was approached by two paramedics. And I uh, said, you all right? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. Go away. And I tried to explain to him that, you know, I was okay. just having an anxiety attack. And I'd be all right in a couple of minutes. I managed to get one of them to go away. And the second one took my blood pressure. And I managed to uh, convince them to go away and leave me alone. Just doing their job, huh? Yeah, well, like I say, it was, it, was, it, it, it made it worse. It, it just... 
you know, if, if they had left me alone for a few more minutes, I would have been just fine. Although earlier she reported that she had difficulty remembering things and had a bad concept of time, she recalled in detail an anxiety attack she had 10 years ago. She may have felt like she was being scrutinized or negatively judged by the paramedic, which is common in individuals with social phobia. With social phobia, some people suffering from anxiety have a specific fear of social or performance situations, as they're afraid they may act in a way that causes them to feel embarrassed or humiliated. Susan, do you know um, what you're suspected of or why you're down here or yes. why they're talking to you? Can you tell me in your own words what that is? Um, they, they think that I um, killed Robert for absolutely no reason or whatever. Oh, Susan gosh. repeats the same story and confirms there was never a physical altercation between her and Robert. At no time in the several months that he had been there that we ever had any kind of a um, physical or um, even verbal uh, confrontation. Right, that right. Was, uh, that would have resulted in my deliberately killing him. To the best of your knowledge, Susan, has anybody else ever died on your property? Human, I mean? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are more changes in her Thank manner you, of speaking Allie. here. She not only slowed down and became more deliberate in her words, but she also shifted to more limited answers, where previously she's been quite talkative to the point of adding in unnecessary and unrelated information at times. In fact, she often overshares, such as offering up information about her mental health before the detective even asked her about it. Would you tell me if there had been? Um... I guess no. <laughs> Susan may have schizotypal personality disorder, which is characterized by consistent, intense discomfort with relationships and social interactions, usually accompanied by unusual thoughts, speech, and behaviors. It typically leads to severe and persistent anxiety and a tendency to avoid social situations. I don't think she's hooked up People yet. People with schizotypal personality disorder tend to hold peculiar beliefs and don't respond appropriately to social norms and cues. This would also explain Susan's flat emotions or limited or inappropriate emotional responses, incorrect interpretation of events, and her dressing in peculiar ways or being unkempt. However, Susan doesn't appear to have any ideas of reference, which is when someone interprets random events as having a special meaning for them or magical thinking, like believing she has special powers, which are some common symptoms of schizotypal personality disorder. Although she technically only needs to meet five criteria for this diagnosis, the ideas of reference and magical thinking are pretty distinguishing symptoms for this diagnosis. To our knowledge, Susan has never been diagnosed with this disorder. Appreciate your honesty. Trying. I tried to avoid this whole thing to start with. Yeah. And um, uh, apparently they found a lake somewhere. And I um, I was not really concerned about him. I, I put him out of his misery. Um, I do that. I'm going to leave it playing. I do that for my animals. Uh, I'm going to go potty. This was the first time I did it for a human being. Then I went ahead and um, was thinking about my pigs. Worrying that if I told anybody that they were going to come out and shoot all my pigs for doing what pigs do. Susan's utter lack of concern for Robert and the fact that she only cared about her pigs being taken away cuts against her story that she didn't kill him by her own desires. An innocent person would have been traumatized shooting someone they've known, even if they didn't have an extremely close relationship. Susan expresses no signs of remorse or guilt. She appears to have very rigid beliefs about her animals being more important than any human's life. This is the biggest thing that makes no sense to me is why he would be in their pig pen. Um, and you can ask me four times tomorrow and three times the day after. I have, it doesn't make any sense why he was out there. Repeating it doesn't make any sense makes her sound honest, but Susan is smart. She may be trying to make herself sound believable. If he had attacked me for some reason and I had killed him, I would have called you immediately. and say, hey, look, this time, you know, pull the knife on me or whatever and um, busted in my room, and I shot him. I will repeat this at, uh, at no time, you know, during the time that I knew him, yeah. did we get into any kind of a fight. Saying they never had any altercations removes any possible self-defense claims she may have wanted to allege. It sounds like tensions are pretty high just when you leave, right? You've had it whether you leave. So when you leave, it's Susan and Robert are the only ones left on the property? Yeah, and she killed me. Okay. Um, I'm not a cop, I'm not a detective, but it doesn't take a okay, we're just moron to figure this out. Okay, we're, ju we're just trying to put pieces together and he killed his ass. So why do you think um, the detectives think that you might have killed him before the pigs ate him? I have no idea. Does that make sense to you that they might think that that happened? Well, it makes, it, 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 it makes sense that they think it might have happened. Okay. Uh, but, you know, to kill somebody for making a mess, I, you know, 
Well, it's happened before. I mean, I've known of other cases where things happen, and accidents happen too. The interrogator is offering an alternative theory, which is a re-technique where he will present a less morally despicable justification for her actions. He I suggests that perhaps she killed him by accident, as she made it clear that she didn't do it in self-defense. He's hoping she'll latch onto the idea of an accident, as it's a less morally objectionable explanation. I didn't miss anything important. Let's go! Yeah, I mean, you know, no, uh, it, this, this, was, this was not an accident. Yeah. Uh, before all this had happened, uh, he was uh, he was more logical, like I am, which, to my knowledge, um, not knowledge, to my, whatever. Anyway, to, <laughs> to my feeling, uh, would not cause him to be suicidal or anything like that. Uh, I did not feel that he was depressed, as other people have said. Mm -hmm. uh, my, uh, one, my one neighbor said that she had talked to him and that he was very depressed, and I did not get that feeling from him. If this was her way of trying to shed doubt on Robert's mental state, it was a very discreet way of doing so. By sharing that other people claimed Robert was depressed, Susan implies the possibility of him taking his own life. However, no one would take their own life in this way. Yeah, Susan, um, that's a crazy way to take your life. His death before he was Feed yourself to pigs. Like, for whatever reason. How is that and possible? Police about it. What do you think should happen to someone like that? This is a common question police ask suspects as their answer can be very informative to their state of mind and consciousness of guilt. A guilty person will usually give an answer that includes a less harsh punishment or doesn't give a straightforward answer. An innocent person will generally want the most severe punishment for the killing of someone they cared about or knew with little hesitation. Say that again. Well, I mean, you say that you shot him because you thought he was a goner anyway. Yes. If he was even still alive. Yes. So let's say that's not the case. Let's say it was something else. And let's say someone killed um, Robert uh, for any other reason and oh, threw him okay. in the pen. Uh, what do you think should happen to that I'm person? Jail. A non-guilty party would suggest a much harsher sentence for such a disturbing and heinous crime. She then displays traits of antisocial personality disorder and callousness toward Robert's death. I don't like people. I think, you know, if we got rid of a billion or two, <laughs> the world would be a lot better uh, for a short time until we repopulated again. And make, you know, we're, I think that the human race is making a big mess of this planet. Uh, but, no, if, uh, if you simply kill people for no reason, you should go to jail. Her statement of killing people for no reason shows that she likely believes there are valid reasons yes, to kill people. Yes, she believes she, she had a valid reason, reason to kill Robert. She then gave another little hint into her psyche by revealing her rather negative worldview of humanity and her indifference about human life. She doesn't for care that he's dead. Um, two weeks. <laughs> Are you just kidding? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> her joke is very good for disregard for both human life as well as the seriousness of the situation. She avoids giving an actual answer. That's not up to me. Well, I'm, I'm asking you because I'm curious as to how you feel about that. Um, 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 does it matter to you whether it was uh, an accidental killing or an on-purpose killing? Would that make a difference to you? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, the other officer, I mean, I've been joking about this for a long time, long, much longer than before I actually shot somebody, uh, that I was going to feed people to my case. Admitting that she joked about feeding people to her pigs will be key evidence to show both planning, premeditation, and that she was involved in Robert being put in the pig's feeding pen. She, she loves talking about that. Just off to the right side of the barn and facing it is a large pig pen. Uh, I have heard, I have not read any conclusive evidence or anything to the fact that if you feed meat to a pig, it doesn't do them good. Uh, I, I feed them when... When I kill another animal, uh, most of the time I'll give them the, the cuts. Susan, have, have, have you ever fed your pigs any other animals before? No. Oof. If it's an accident, um, which, to the best of my knowledge, this was not an this was not an accident by me. It's a bit strange to say, to the best of my knowledge here. It's almost like she's leaving room for the possibility that she may have been in a dissociative state or not recall that she killed Robert. To the best mm. of your knowledge, you said. Is it possible that something else happened? Oh, uh, no, I, I guess I, okay. I phrased that wrong. I, okay, well, I, you know, I do listen to words. Yes, you know, okay. I, I, yeah, well, I, I, and I, I think you do too. Yes, I try to. I'm, 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 I'm bad with words. And it, well, I, don't I, think I, so. I, I get, it, it takes me a long time for words to get from the back to the front. Had it been an accident, um, I, you know, I'd be home right now. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, want you to, I want you to play the role of a dishonest person for a second. If you had actually done something different to Robert that caused his death, 
What would keep you from telling me that right now? Um, don't want to go to jail. Okay. Fair enough. You know, I have Robert staying in this room and then 10 feet away from him. Uh, I've got body parts. Why did I, why did I not get rid of it a long time ago? I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know, Susan. Uh, uh, psychological situation where I would become uh, a mass murderer and just, you know, go into a school and start killing people or go into, oh God, uh, go, go into, uh, you know, a crowd and blow myself up or something <clears throat> like that. Okay. Um, my general feelings um, when I get these anxiety attacks is more homicidal than suicidal. This will be a useful statement to show that she has the ability to do what she did. It almost appears that the time she spent in this interview is wearing her down to the point that she's becoming a bit sloppy and not Oof. watching what she says. Mm. It's possible that Susan is referring to having intrusive thoughts about harming others. The intrusive, intrusive thoughts, thoughts, which thoughts are, are winning. thoughts or urges that pop into one's head and often cause great distress can be common with anxiety disorders. Intrusive thoughts are often about some loss of self-control, such as harm to yourself or others. I've never acted on anything like that. Has she ever got physical with you at all? No. No, no, no. no. She screamed at you? I mean, no. You've known her for a long time, right? I mean, almost eight, nine years. What does she do when she gets upset and mad? I mean, you have to have seen her mad. I mean, you yes, she just screams. She just screams. Screams. Well, I've seen a lot of the and no action like I... No, uh, not really. She's not a, a whoop up, you know. Type. She's not a fighter. Very. She said she's never been a fighter. She could. She would. She, she would. I bet she could. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. You got my soda? See, they are listening. Uh, thank you. Someone's listening. <laughs> uh, thank you. If I had been forced to stay in the store and there was a machine gun around, I would say, get away from me before I start shooting. That's, uh, that's the way I feel when I have these anxiety attacks. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, you need to be left alone. I need to be left alone, yes. I need to just be left alone. Oh. If I'm left alone, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. This suggests that the homicidal thoughts she has during anxiety attacks may not be intrusive thoughts, but something else entirely. People with intrusive thoughts do not want to act on these urges. That is what is so distressing about having unwanted thoughts pop into one's head. Susan, on the other hand, has said several times that when she's having an anxiety attack, she needs to be left alone. This appears to be a strongly held belief, and she was irritated when she mentioned a paramedic trying to help her during an anxiety attack. This is purely speculative, but it's possible that the homicidal thoughts are occurring because Susan cannot accept when someone goes against her very rigid beliefs. If someone stopped her from leaving the store, this would prevent her from being alone, which may cause her to feel very angry. By admitting that she's capable of killing if she isn't left alone when she feels anxiety, Susan may be revealing her motive for killing Robert. It's possible that Robert may not have left her alone during an anxiety attack, which then triggered her to kill him. Let me shift gears again and let's talk a little bit about the polygraph stuff, okay? I'm going to get together a list of questions for you. Yes. Mm. We're going to agree on the answers. You're going to answer either yes or no to my questions. Uh, yes. Pretty simple. Yes. If there's any ambiguity, you don't understand what I'm asking, and it's, it's not yes or no, but it's maybe, yes. that's not a good question. Right. Okay. Because, Susan, you can lie to me or you can lie to the detectives, but you can't lie to yourself. Right. And so if you're answering the question and you know it's a lie, you're going to know it, and your physiology or yes. your body is going to react accordingly. <laughs> so we have hardwired into us this. Oh, God, it now. makes me Let's nervous. Protect ourselves, okay? That's crazy. So, <clears throat> so she's probably panicking. Okay? We're almost ready to do the test, actually. It's time. So I get my questions ready and we go over them. And you. her. Do you need a break or anything like this? Do you need to use a restroom or anything? No. Okay. okay. So if you'll just, um, I don't mean to be rude, but I need to kind of stay over here and concentrate for a little bit. Instead of remaining silent as the polygraph examiner requested, Susan once again discusses her disapproving views of the human race, oh this time saying that the reason there are so few bald eagles is because of pesticides killing them. So that's another reason why I'm not, a, not in favor of the human race, as, even though I am among the human race. Susan again indicates her preference for animals over people, which she seems to happily admit without it even being asked. She fails to realize that these comments are making Any her look askers? like the kind of person who would kill someone and then allow her pigs to benefit by eating them. I can type, but I can't. You can, I can type, but you can't read what I've typed. Why is that? Because my spelling is atrocious. No, just spelling. Okay. Everybody says the English language is hard to learn, and I agree with them. City should start with a C, or possibly an S, but it should not start. Uh, Wait, city stuck. Cat should definitely start with a K. To the best of my knowledge, he was Benjamin Franklin. Not said we should only have 23 letters instead of 26. City. 
Cat. You know, the turkey to be the national bird, or whatever you call it. It's cold now, but thank you for the sandwich. Mmm, <laughs> food. Is there anything else you think I should know before we get started that you just haven't told me? Just because we haven't asked the question right or something? The interrogator is trying to get Susan to confess to possibly more crimes by telling her that her hiding information may cause her to fail the polygraph. He leaves her alone and asks her to think about that while he's gone. Oof. <sighs> Oh. Oh. Whatever. Susan wipes feces off the chair with her hand <gasps> and then uses her hands to wipe her face with the tissue. Did she poo herself? Okay, Susan. Why don't you stand up for a second and I'll move that chair just a little bit. I want your arm up here like this, okay? The interrogator discovers <laughs> Susan has gone to the bathroom in her pants. Okay. What's oh that right my there? God. Is, that, is that something on the chair? Or? No, that's something on me, which... I hadn't done them 60 plus years. Okay. And that was totally, I think the camera's in that thing there, totally your fault. She blames another officer, claiming she had to use the restroom hours ago. However, she never is heard asking to use the bathroom and wouldn't have been denied permission. This is extremely odd behavior and suggests she may be more mentally ill than she comes across. Mm. No, it doesn't matter. I'll wash the cover later. Okay. No. Yeah, that, yeah. Okay. okay, there's a few questions on this test that have to do with uh, you're going to answer truthfully and I'm going to know it. Like... Is your first name Susan? No. Answer truthfully, no. Yes. Okay. Hold on. I need... There's so much happening. Okay. Wow. Okay, did she... Did she... Oh my god. She immediately answered no when asked if her name was Susan. And she was like pointing the blame everywhere for why she pooed herself. This crazy! Currently sitting down? Yes. See, if you're going to mess with my test, we okay. wasted a couple of okay. hours. Okay. Okay. okay, yes. Okay. Susan is intentionally answering the baseline questions incorrectly. I see. She seems to have no real desire to take this test seriously. And I don't know how long it would take you to find out, but Susan Monica is not my name of birth. Oh. I will say that. But I oh, okay. Well, that's no problem. I, I will say that it has been that for the last 40 years. Oh, well, that's an easy one. Let me, let me, that's important. Let me, let me uh, change that. Well, what is your real name? I'm not saying. Oh. What? The interrogator sets up the polygraph examination and has to reset the machine multiple times because Susan complains that it isn't comfortable. Finally, he begins to conduct the test. Okay, Susan, this test is about to begin. Please sit still. Fine. Try not to talk. Just answer my questions, yes or no. Yes. Do you intend to answer all questions about Robert's death with the truth? Yes. Not including this investigation? Have you ever lied to police or any other authority? No. This is hard. <laughs> Did you injure Robert before the pigs began to eat him? No. Do you know of any place on your property where there are body parts from any other person? No. During the test, Susan is fidgeting and moving her body frequently. She didn't seem to have as much of a problem with sitting still during the interrogation and maybe trying to move around She's to make pooing. the test results useless or inaccurate as he specifically asked her to sit still during the exam. Is However, it? extra intakes of breath can often be an involuntary response to the fight or flight response occurring as the body needs additional oxygen. Do you ever get violent towards other people without justification? No. Not including Robert? Have your pigs eaten on any other person that you know of? No. Are you withholding any information concerning how Robert was actually first injured? No. <sighs> Sorry. Is she holding her breath? I can't- it has to smell bad in there. Go- I can't believe- okay, He didn't ask her to like go clean up or go to the bathroom or something. <clears throat> well, there's three separate times there where you've taken huge breaths, moved, and just... Yes, I know. Are I, you going to be able to cooperate? Or? I, I, I thought I was. I, at this point, I'm not sure. Okay. Is there something going through your mind during the test that's causing you to not be able to, to be calm? Just the situation itself. Okay. Well, all these questions... Well, and there's shit anymore. in her pants. I, be... I, I, I realize that, but trying to sit here and be still and just saying yes and no is more trouble than I thought it would be. The polygraph has to be redone because Susan was unable to sit still and was breathing heavily during it. 
Do you intend to answer all questions about Robert's death with the truth? Yes. During the second round of the test, Susan begins heavily She's copying. She's doing it on purpose. To sabotage the polygraph test. You're not slick, Susan. During the second attempt, it seems even more obvious she's trying to sabotage the test and is more uncooperative than the first time. However, it's important to note that though the coughing and heavy breathing may be an attempt to mess up the test, it could also be because Susan is experiencing anxiety and may not be a deliberate attempt to skew the results. We know that when people are trying to be deceptive or are under stress, they do odd extra breathing and sniffing behaviors to bring in more oxygen. And this may be what is happening with Susan. Ultimately, it's unclear if Susan's behavior during the polygraph was intentional or not. She's informed that the test is not usable for the most part, but the interrogator has been able to obtain some data. Oh. He's understandably unwilling to retest her. So what happened? You weren't coughing the whole time we were talking. Oh, well, I was trying to, I was trying to relax and it was, wasn't working. Okay. So you weren't having these troubles because you didn't want to take the test, right? Uh, no. No, I was trying to cooperate. Here's what I do have, okay? There's a little bit of data that I was looking at on there. Not a lot. Not yeah. enough for me to make an opinion. But enough to make me concerned uh, about a couple of things, okay? Yeah. Most of the time people have those kinds of reactions during the test, almost exactly like you, is because they're withholding information. Or <laughs> um, for Tell her! Reason, uh, they're scared of the consequences. They don't know where to begin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, they mm -hmm. feel like they've done something wrong or mm -hmm. they've been um, lying to the police all along and they don't know how to get past that. This guilty well, behavior. I just want to Susan. tell you that I feel for your situation, but I, don't, I also don't believe you've told everything to the detectives today. Uh, I think he knows some more. I, That's my opinion. Here, the detective is using the positive confrontation step of the read technique. This involves directly confronting the suspect with a statement that it is known they are involved in the crime. I think you even said at times that your anxiety when it comes apart, it's just something that people can't control. Yes. You're not on medication for it. Right. That's, that, like I said, that is part of the reason I can't set still, I guess, too. But you because said, I have been here for you, that, said that. you were that. homicidal and not suicidal during that. Yes. The interrogator uses Susan's own words to confront her about his doubts and suspicions about her character and involvement. Susan, was your thinking that if you left his body out in that pen long enough that almost everything would be destroyed and then you would have less to take care of? Um, oh. I... Um, like the pigs would be a cleanup crew, they do what they do, they, like you said? Um, I, um, I could have left them, I could have left him there, oh! over, and that would be true, but um, I couldn't do it. Susan may have slipped up here big time. She says, I could have left them. Though she's talking about Robert, she uses a plural descriptor, possibly indicating that there's more than one victim who's been fed to the pigs. <laughs> How many she people? The by Not the pigs! The because it's only supposed to be Robert Why she's it, talking about. The editor about. keeps flashing the pigs! Two yes. days later, you went out there. Yes. Well, I mean, I, I, saw, I saw him out there, and it made me sick. Um, I didn't actually throw up, but it made me feel sick. Even though he was no longer a person, he was just okay. some body parts. Even though there were some body parts out there, I could no longer uh, have my animals eating him. But for two and days you left him out there yes, so they could do that. Yes, okay. I did. I did, and it was it was somewhat difficult. Susan, I can appreciate the situation that you're in. It's not good. I mean, even even after I real I realize my situation is not good. Even after the death. Yes. To allow animals to feed on a corpse is a crime. Yes. Okay. So, I mean, they're probably going to deal with it. It's that. a little crazy. But right now, you and me are in here, and I'm trying to find the truth about what really happened. Yes. He presents her with a last opportunity to confess. This is said to apply a feeling of pressure and urgency to her confessing, and to make it seem like it's in the best interest to do so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. telling you what I think is that you're not being truthful, uh -huh. and you're withholding information from this investigation. Uh -huh. I truly believe that. Whether it's about, I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. If they find other body parts from other people, then you know the situation you'd be in. Because of your actions afterwards, yeah, and because of the things you said before, joking about feeding people to your pigs and whatever. Well, like I said, that's always that's always been my weird sense. <laughs> what a shitty like, situation, yeah, pun situation. intended. When, when it, then it turns around and it actually happens, <laughs> uh, that's not too good for you. No, I I definitely know that. I do not know. Uh, you probably shot him while he's in the pit, more than just the time you're talking about. I I, I for whatever I, reason. I I do not know. Well, I don't um, believe you anymore. I, well, 
you know, the more you talk, the more I, the less I believe that you're ever going to. Oh, this guy's uh, brutal. Me about it. So I think you should talk to somebody else. Okay. okay. He's trying to keep her confidence level low and yes. make her understand that her story isn't believable before going into an interrogation with another detective. This will put her in a better position mentally for them to try to get a confession. I think you know more than you're telling him about Robert's death, and that's all I'm asking you about. Yeah. And you're missing your best chance to tell him now before they either prove it otherwise, or later on you figure out, you know, now I better tell him the truth because I'm facing something serious, and I think you missed your chance. But I gotta, no. I gotta go take a break. Uh, I can guarantee you she's guilty. Just that, you know, you can't convict somebody over a uh, feeling. Right. I'll send someone else in here to talk. Okay. Yeah, I don't well, you need to tell them the truth. You're leaving stuff out, and you and I know it. I'm, you and I know it. It's not I'm, subconscious, Susan. You're leaving it out. I, 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 I might be, but I really can't. No, you are. Tell them the whole story. Uh, tell I, them. I don't know what else it would be. I just, you know. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. I, I found him out in the pen, dying. Yeah. But and what it, happened before? That's what you're leaving out. I didn't see him the day, until, the, until that day. Susan sighs heavily multiple times. It would be crazy if someone else killed him and left them there and she was telling the truth. Would that be crazy? All alone in the interrogation room, indicating that she's feeling very stressed. Her arms are wrapped around her torso in a protective position, which may be comforting for her. It appears that Susan is berating herself, possibly for not being able to complete the polygraph test. It's possible that she thought if she completed the polygraph, the detective would have believed her story. Mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. course, it's also possible that she's just putting on an act for the camera. She would have called 911. No, she would not have called 911 because she was worried about them killing her pigs. It seems that she's still sitting in her soiled pants as she was not offered any opportunity to change clothes after the last detective discovered she had an accident. She should have been given a chance to clean up. One of the original interrogators returns to continue questioning Susan. Did she, wait, wait, wait she they, find... they said that she was able to clean up? She should have been given a chance to clean up. Oh, wait, so she hasn't? Wait, what? She was not offered any opportunity to change clothes after the last detective discovered she had an accident. She should have been given a chance to clean up. One of the original interrogators returns to continue questioning Susan. She has hopes that she will finally tell them something they can use. He immediately jumps back into asking her about the pigs. I mean, she didn't she ask the pigs either. To give them the opportunity. Opportunity, yes. Right. And so, how did Robert give them an opportunity? But why didn't they know? ask her? I do not know. I do not know. And in all the time that Robert had been there, did he ever feed the pigs? To my they were in there for no. eight hours and thirty-six and minutes. And to my knowledge, no. So you can see how when we. Listen to what you're saying. I know that I know. I know this is. I know it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. And so when you come out and you see your pigs eating Robert, and he's still alive. Yes. For us to hear that, it's not even possible. And no one in this, no one here is outside this office. People out there, no one's, no one would believe that. If you take anybody and you put them in a pig pen, even if they've been around pigs. They're going to know that if I start getting attacked by pigs, I'm going to try to get out of here. Yes. I'm not going to lay down on the ground yeah. and let pigs just eat my stomach mm -hmm. right, until it doesn't make sense, Susan. I can't move and then have someone come shoot me in the head. All this time, Brady was trying to be vague, relaying Susan's jokes to investigators, while at the same time defending her and contradicting his statements. The discovery is finally revealed to him for the first time. So it's been brought to my attention, okay, that um, there's, you know, there's quite a few of us out there, okay? There's some people already out there kind of doing their thing, okay? And for what I've been told is there's no doubt about it, they found a human body part out on the property, okay? Are you kidding me? No, dead straight. Dead straight. Not going to get around. That's a pretty serious thing. You're serious? Oh, my God. What's up with that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, I don't even believe it. It's true. Oh, yeah, uh, well, it's, yeah, wait, no, we don't believe it. How do you die? How do you die? Do you guys even know? Well, we're we're just, just, just starting, okay? And that's why I'm like, you know, I'm going to come in here and figure out what's going on. on the how could the, yeah, how could the body not get? Wow. Are you serious, you guys? Yes. yes. Now, one thing you find out about us, we don't bullshit people, so no. we're not going to come in here and make something up. We're not going to do it. I can't tell if he's acting or not. Wow. What do you think we might have found this at? I don't know. Why? 
Pakistan and Afghanistan. Yes, I don't yeah. have no idea. I haven't been. I'm on, shocked that, that the, okay. they found his body. They parts. found body parts. That's what I've been told. Body parts. He's shocked that she didn't and get rid of the out of evidence. That's evidence. Why I'm That's you horrendous. She died. That is horrendous. You ever hear Susan talk about it? No. 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 Just like Susan's own use of repeating words, Brady saying no over and over might be evidence that he's trying to convince the investigators that he's speaking the truth. Oh my God. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna oh, be honest that, with you. That, 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 that is shocking. Do you know something? I'm not saying that you did anything. But I'm wondering if you might know more than what you're letting on. No. Back in Susan's Ooh. interrogation, the case is about to take an unexpected turn. Oh, God, I don't know how to do this without. You do it the way that you need to. I'm here to listen. And I'm just going to listen to what you have to say right now, okay? The detective is trying to act supportive by telling Susan that he's there to he listen said, to her. He said, I'm here for you. He reaches out his hand across the table towards Susan, a gesture of support and understanding, almost as if he's Confess for your crimes. For the detective is doing a good job keeping his voice calm and his cadence slow. His tone is very non-judgmental. All of this will make it easier for Susan to open up. But it doesn't make sense. Just like Robert, it doesn't make sense. I have told you everything truthfully about Robert. I don't know how his body got out there to start with. I don't. Finally, after hours of interrogation wearing her down, Susan is about to reveal another disturbing secret. Oh, she has kept oh my God. All oh my God, this oh my God. Whoa, oh, what? God, give me another piece of paper. There's part of another body. Okay. His name is Steve. But who was Steve? The year before Robert went missing in 2012, 59-year-old Stephen Delacino, also a handyman, had worked on Susan's property. It's unclear exactly when he vanished. If you found Susan's explanation of Robert's death bizarre, get ready. Because uh, I'm so baffled that she would confess to this. So her story about odd. Steven is somehow even stranger. Anybody come around asking about him? No. How did you meet no. him? He was one of those people that just showed up okay. to work. And, uh, well, now you say showed up. Was it like from a you know, yeah. help wanted? Yes. Kind of? uh, I think he was a couple years older than me. What do you? What's the structure you're talking about here? Oh, the, um, this is the barn and then the, this is the area. That's the fence. He's on the other side of the fence. Right on the other yeah, side. Right, right on the other side of the fence. About there. Okay. She likely isn't drawing out where the body is to be helpful so they can locate it easier. But by drawing a map, she can have a distraction and something to look at besides the detective while discussing this. It's Ooh. easier for someone to confess while looking away or while busy with something else than it is to confess eye to eye with nothing to distract them from what is being revealed. Additionally, her map makes the focus more on where it happened rather than what happened. What's and the part of the body? There was the skull and... Um, a couple other things I don't remember. Okay. Pieces of other bone. Oof. Steve was a thief. He stole um, a lot of things from people. Susan alleges that Steve stole guns from her and that she confronted him about the theft because she wanted to know where they were so she could get them back. He apparently knew where my little pistol still was because he reached over and grabbed it. We started to have a little tussle, nothing big to start with. The following explanation is one of the most bizarre and shocking stories we've ever seen in an interrogation. What's she saying? So we, he, he grabbed a little pistol and he said that, um, you know, he doesn't want to go back to jail. Yeah. And he decided he was going to kill himself. So um, he shot himself in the head. Right there in your home? Right, right there, right there. Where did he shoot um, himself in the head at? Well, that, that was the whole stupid thing. He, he shot himself. And then he ran out. I always thought it was a little bitty gun. It, yeah. it wouldn't kill you, but mm -hmm. it would certainly hurt. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's five shots for crying out loud. Yeah. He, he went out of the room. That was when it got even worse. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he emptied the gun in his own head. I could, I could not believe it. I could not believe it, but it's just a 22 with a little one inch barrel. Yeah. And it was just going boom, boom. And that Where did he shoot himself up? I mean, Does it hand, happen, he was, he was Susan? Bleeding. Susan verifies certain details about her story, saying that Stephen shot himself in the top of the head multiple times. During this altercation, she claims she was wrestling with him for the gun and holding onto his arm. After a fashion, um, he managed to, to do it. And basically, I did the same thing, which, like I say, it doesn't make any damn sense at all why two people would end up in my pig pen. Yeah. 
So what happened with him? Um, I, him, I did leave him out there uh -huh. for quite a while yeah. until there was practically nothing left. Like how long ago? I left him there for a couple of weeks. Susan tells the investigator that she gathered up all the animal bones on her property and dug a hole to bury them, along with some of Stephen's bones. My good old neighbors, they huh. saw me throwing bones in a hole, mm -hmm. so they called you. Yeah. When her neighbors called the police, they arrived to investigate the hole she had dug. I said they were buried about two feet down. I asked him if he wanted a shovel, and he didn't want a shovel, and he left. Mm -hmm. okay. Notice that Susan is now mirroring how the detective is sitting. This is what he wanted her to do, and it's why he's been sitting like that for the majority of the interrogation. I probably knew him more than anyone else. Okay. Really? Uh, Look at know, those chaps. Five years. Steve? Yeah. He wanted to go ahead and leave, go to uh, California for a while, and then possibly to this house that he had in Florida, which I did not believe mm -hmm. in the slightest. Because why would you be why living, would you live in here? Why, why, why would you be living in a, a rundown trailer right. here? Sure. He gave me his food stamp card. <laughs> okay. <He gave laughs> food stamp card and beer. <laughs> um, and uh, he said he was he was leaving to give me a ride. That was when I confronted him. You may have noticed a pattern here. That in Susan's version of events, these accidents seem to occur around the time when both of these men tried to leave her property. The detectives verify Susan's story and point out the inconsistencies. Then they focus on one oh. of the glaring issues. So he was holding it away He's from He's coming up to 10 hours. Because a contact wound makes a much different uh, wound than yeah, holding no, it out here. Yeah, no, it, it wasn't a contact wound. Yeah. Susan's claim that the shot was not a contact wound makes her story that Steve took his own life highly unlikely, especially combined with the claim that he shot himself five times in the head. That's Susan realizes she impossible. needs to claim the shot wasn't close range, as the detective informed her earlier that the wound would look different on the skull, depending on how far away the gun was when Steve was shot. It appears that Susan has tailored her story to fit the evidence the police will find when they examine the skull. Yes. So are you holding him and he's facing you and you're trying to get the gun? I, I, was, I was holding his arm. Susan claims that the scuffle over the gun occurred in her bedroom and that Steve shot himself in the head once before running to the barn. She then clarifies that he didn't shoot himself the first time How? until he was outside of her room, likely because she knows that the forensics will not match her story. Was Steve dead when the pigs started eating him? Oh yeah, definitely. How, how can you be sure? No, he was dead. Was well, he shot himself the five times, but yeah. I mean, what happened after it? After he's shooting himself, what's happening? Well, he finally, he finally went through his head. Five times, bro, is immortal. And, and he just died there. And he, died, he died right there in the morgue. That's insanity. I just, I just left him there, and I didn't know what the hell to do. She claims that by the time she returned to the barn, the pigs had come through the open gate and dragged Steve's body towards the Oh my the gosh, the, the, the pigs are working for her. blood off of him. Instead of getting the pigs away from him, she says that she just let the pigs drag him all the way into the pen and begin eating him. It wasn't until later that she built a wall to separate the barn from the pen. Hey, remember me? Yeah. How you doing? The pigs are in on it. Uh, too many bubbles. Oh, a little gas coming yeah. out. This is going to sound even more stupid than anything else, but one of my problems, that stupid silver thing over there is crooked, and I can't stand looking at it. It's possible that when things are not the way Susan wants them to be. Bish, have you looked at your farm? It is disgusting. It triggers her anxiety. It's also what about that this was where you live? Some control in a very out of control situation. Is that better? A little. Better? More better. Okay. That's about all I can do. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I... The detective scoots closer to Susan. By increasing his proximity, he's putting the pressure on her. This may be especially stressful for Susan because of her reported anxiety and dislike of people in general. I pick up stuff like Don't that. Don't get too close, there's poo. Like, sometimes little things bother you little, like little, that. Little, yeah, I, I go into a store and I see papers in a jar and I take all the papers and straighten them up and make it all nice and... It's stupid, but things like that bug the hell out of me. It's a bad... Yeah, wouldn't... Food. If you much. were bothered by that on the wall, wouldn't you be bothered by this as well? I don't know how much that affected my... Oh, working on the polygraph, the polygraph like test either. They spend a few minutes recounting everything Susan has stated about Robert and Steve before the investigator confronts her about the possibility of more horrifying finds being discovered on her farm. And what happens when we find a third person? You will not find a third person. We won't find one, or is there you one that we can't find? You, you will not find... I do not know if he went into the pen voluntarily or somebody possibly put him into the pen because they heard 
me talking all the, my stupid jokes, which I realize are more stupid every time I tell them. Right, especially after it actually happened, right? That's yeah. crazy that it happened after she was story. joking about no. it. Who would you thought? Detective Henderson believes your story? No. You think... Uh, I don't believe my story. You don't believe it either? No. It's too stupid. It's, okay. I'm gonna leave. Okay. This is what I'm happens when right you're being interrogated for 11 hours and 15 I'm minutes. Come back in or have Detective Henderson come back in. But Bring him back in! I want you to think about everything that's going on right now. Uh, okay. Can you nope, stand nope, over him? Nope, nobody did that. Two. So, I can't see... I can't see how that... Can you stand up for me? I can't see how that... I'm gonna handcuff you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go back far. Oh. Um... After being arrested and spending the night in jail, Susan is brought back to the interrogation room the next day to continue talking with investigators. As you'll day soon two. see, they want more than just clarity about the deaths of Steve and Robert, because mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. suspect something even more sinister may have occurred. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. Can I say something really quick for you, sir? Excuse me. We went through a lot yesterday. Um, and so I just want you to know that, you know, if you don't want to talk to us, you don't have to. I kind of don't care. You know, if, if you don't want to talk to us, it's fine. We can just it's kind of crazy that knowing that this is the next day and that she's clean and hopefully it's a different chair doesn't it kind of smell better in here wow take back to the jail that's up to you oh, i'm you're, a nurse you want to be yes so um that being said we can't do what we did yesterday we spent way too much time beating around the bush and all that 12 we hours in one day, day or in day one a lot of things yes, have changed saw. since last night so I don't want you to waste my time today, okay? So let's just four hours in. Now. All right. So I'll let you. I'll let you know that. What I had been trying to forget, I remembered laying there. Mm -hmm. uh, when I came into the pen, his head was towards the west. Mm -hmm. He was uh, belly up, and the pigs were on him. I tried to shoot him off, shoot, shoot them off, <coughs> and I went up to get my gun, and in those two minutes. When I got back, um, I think he did die. I was, I'm pretty sure he did die. So now you're saying that you know that he was dead when you got back? Well, that was the thing. I, um, I'm pretty sure he was then. Did you check? No. This is a pretty big deviation from her previous story about yeah. how she put Robert out of his misery. While it is possible she's telling the truth, an alternative is that she's trying to escape more severe punishment by claiming that he was already dead when she shot him. Okay, let's talk about Steve. What are the forensics going to show on that? Because they're most certainly not going to show what you told us. You remember what happened? You, t you talked to us about the, the struggling with the gun, which, by the way, is about this big. Yeah, you, you know, I don't that. know how that struggle went down, you know, fighting over a little teeny tiny gun. I was holding on to his arm. I, I'm saying that this is why I'm saying, like, this stuff, it's not that it doesn't make sense. It's just flat out impossible the but, way that but you what, describe but, things. Mm. Susan shifts her foot. Which is likely no, an she's pooing again. She realizes that the detective isn't believing her story. I'm pretty sure that's when she okay, pooed the first time. You, you, you dug him up when she was shuffling her we feet. Are, they're up there working on stuff right okay. now. When, I haven't seen him. Yet. Okay, when when you dig him up, you will find a bunch of holes in his head. Where? On the top. We were we were. I, I was like, you know, he was holding he, his hand up. He's yes. The gun up. Yes. So yeah. he's somehow going to reach back around and point the gun back at the top of his head when you're holding. His, his arm up. He's going to reach down or angle his hand down enough and overpower you, who are significantly bigger than him. You are. And you have I'm great upper body strength, like you I'm said. I'm he's going to reach down. He's going to shoot himself in the top of the head. Yes. Oof. And that's where we're at. How did he manage to shoot five out of five shots into his head? Yeah. How, Susan? You thought that when a person is shot that it causes a lot of damage and that it would kill them. So maybe that first shot just wasn't enough, and that's why you had to shoot him more than once. Oof. That's the whole thing, yes. Oh! That's it, yes. And that makes a lot more sense than a struggle over someone's head that... Oh, no, I didn't shoot him. Oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. five times, I'm saying, we... Clip it! <laughs> it went off. Cut the VOD, clip it, we got it, we're out of here. <laughs> you, when, when you get this call... And, and I'm not concerned about the number of holes that are actually there. I'm concerned about how they got there because it doesn't make sense that a person would be shot that many times in the head during a struggle or a suicide attempt or anything other than somebody else intentionally putting them there. It just does not make sense. This doesn't. And maybe there's a reason for it. Would, would, would you sit still while I fired five shots at your head? 
No, that's what I'm saying. Okay. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's the point we're going to do. That's the that's point, Susan. Is, you know, if, if someone's shot one time, that alone would probably incapacitate them. Yeah, one they shot. Fire off another round to their head and keep shooting at their own head or not move enough to get away from. <coughs> I mean, that, it just doesn't make sense. Oh. It's really important for us to understand the truth and what happened, and we want to believe what you're telling us. Right now, I do not believe I did anything else to Steve. Oddly, Susan prefaces her statement with the words, right now. This type of language is a huge red flag, as an innocent person would be adamant and certain in their language. Alternatively, she may be hinting that she has forgotten what happened because it was traumatic or even mm. implying that she dissociated during the event, maybe due to a panic attack. Mm. However, it's just as likely that she may want more time to think, so she's letting the detectives know that her story could change in the future. Are you saying also that maybe with more time you'd recollect other things that happened on your property? Everything's possible. I don't know. I, I, we don't have I, I, a lot of time. I, I, it's not because we're not trying to give you time. Yeah. I feel like we've been trying to give you time, and it's not, you know, we can't take years to give you time to, like, remember things that happened. I did not feel guilty about committing murder in either case. Oh, At this the, point. The, 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 uh, the joke became reality. Mm -hmm. But you continued to make that joke, even after it became reality. That's an odd you thing to say. That, you said you were going to kill me if you meet your pigs. That actually, just, I, was, I didn't even know what to say. Uh, I'm a police officer. I didn't know what to say. You know what I mean? I, I was like, whoa, did she really I, just say I, that? I... Susan's voice becomes more stressed, and she breathes heavily again, which is shown to be her sign of serious distress. She struggles to get the words out, which is very unusual for her because she typically has a response or explanation for everything. Her struggle could also be due to her growing frustration. Susan's relatively flat demeanor is about to crack, and you'll soon see her freak out. Over there at the, the jail, mm -hmm. you know, one of the girls has got... Hair all the way down to her. Mm -hmm. Someone who works there? Or yes. Oh, okay. What, yeah, one of the guards. She's got hair all the way down to her. Mm -hmm. and, and my stupid brain went into gear, and I told her, uh, hey, I could grab your head, hair and strangle you with it. Uh, oh, my gosh. Why would you say that? I don't know. I don't know. It's this thing in here. Sometimes it just comes out. It just comes out. Susan seems to be highly impulsive and has little to no filter. So if she thinks something, she just says it, even if her comments are offensive or threatening. What Susan is describing is possibly what is known as an intrusive thought. Oh, no. It's to note that the individual with the intrusive thought does not want to act on the thought, which is why they find the idea so distressing. The fact that Susan verbalized this thought in the moment to the guard with the long hair is somewhat unusual, though. Intrusive thoughts usually <gasps> remain internal, as they may cause the person to feel shame or embarrassment. This may go back to Susan's difficulty with understanding and navigating social interactions. Oh, Alternatively, wow. Susan could be putting on an act to make it look like she's upset by these thoughts, when in actuality, she's unbothered and even enjoys the reaction she gets from other people when she says the thoughts out loud. This brief emotional meltdown provides a window into how Susan lightly responds when she's under stress and may show us how she quickly becomes angry and snaps if she feels cornered and is unable to cope with the situation. This is an indication of Susan's overall low frustration tolerance and inability to handle stress. It just comes out. When that happens, do you feel like you don't have control? The female detective again tries to float the accident or mercy killing theory, and Susan finally latches onto it. Yes. It just, it just comes it just out. Happens and you can't yes. It. I mean, it's stupid, but it just comes out. Same thing with him. I have no intention of killing him. I have no intention of killing Steve. I did have the intention of finishing off Robert. I did not I, know how he got in there, why he got in there, or anything. I guarantee I guarantee there's more people on your property. I guarantee it. Oh. That's what I know right now. Oh. What are we supposed to do? Just ignore that? What do I get for the guarantee? Susan seems oh. to be now proposing a quid pro quo for her confessing to more murders. A Latin phrase that literally translates to this for that. Or something for she something. said, "Follow for follow." From a suspect, shout out for shout a out. Pro quo in this context is when the interrogator gives the suspect something that either seems to be a secret or as a favor, like a cigarette, in exchange for something the interrogators want from the suspect, which is usually information. The quid pro quo may be very blatant, like "You tell me this, and we will tell you or give you that," mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. it may be more subtle, such as telling the suspect they can have a cigarette, but first let's talk about this or clear this up. Yeah, what do you want for the guarantee? What are you yeah. talking about? <sighs> I mean, you're making a mess out of my place. But there's you, more people out you, there. Well, that, are we you, supposed to leave them? You, you, you're saying you get, you get, you, you, you are saying, you are saying, 
you're guaranteeing there's more people out of my property. Yes, that's Am what I, I going to get $150,000 to fix up my place after you've messed it up? If we find one person, it's worth messing up the property. I'm saying, I'm, I am oh. saying if you do not find anybody out there. I'm almost positive. We're it's going worth to. it. I'm saying if you do not find anybody out there. We already I'm, know there's two. I'm saying <laughs> if you do not find anybody out Girl. there. Girl. Are you going to pay me $150,000 to put it back the way it was? No. No. Absolutely that's, not. That's what I'm saying. There's no guarantee of nothing here. Well, what do you want? I don't want you messing up my place after me and Steve have put so much into it. There's two dead people on your property. Are we not supposed to look for more? Obviously, there's probably more. Yeah, she so doesn't care do about that? them. You're saying everything is obvious. I don't know how it's, it's obvious. It's obvious to me. You have 100 people come and go on your property in 20 years, and you expect me to believe there's no one else there? Not possible. If people come and go, and they're kind of transient types, and, you know, they may not have be close ties with their family, so people aren't going to report them missing sometimes. We've got to look at that group of people. We, it would, we would not be doing our jobs if we didn't unearth every square inch of your property to look for people. If we don't do that, we're not doing our jobs. Because what if we miss someone? A key point here is that yeah. Susan doesn't consider human life to be as valuable as the detective is expressing. She doesn't. Susan has made her beliefs very clear when it comes to human life, such as her comments on overpopulation. Mm -hmm. What is meaningful to the detective probably makes no sense to Susan, and she's likely wondering why they're making such a fuss just to find a body or two. Now, if I knew Crazy. exactly where those people were at, we wouldn't go make a mess, would we? We'd know exactly where to look. Just like when you were to look for Robert. Then we dig up a little uh -huh. hole and we get the person out, and that's the end of it. But you don't want that. You you want to say, well, I don't know if there there could be twelve bodies. I, 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 I don't know. I want you. I, I want you to go out and find the best GPR there is in this planet. Ground penetrating radar uses pulses to capture subsurfaces subsurface images. We don't need to. And use it not to dig up my property. It's getting dug up. We have to. The detectives know how important Susan's land is to her, and this may be a manipulation tactic to get her to admit if mm -hmm. and where any other bodies are buried. Mm -hmm. Having her property messed up is a huge trigger for Susan. Yeah. So if anything will get her to admit to another body being there, it will likely be this. If, if you know that there's somebody out there here just not telling me because you don't want to get in trouble or whatever, that's fine. We're going to find the people because we're going to... Oh my gosh. Is this sped up? Oh, I did speed it up a little bit. I forgot. It's at 1.25. It up. But you're saying you're saying for a fact that you're going this to find good people speed. out there. I'm I, saying I am saying I can almost hundred percent guarantee you that, Susan. And I am saying for the other half a percent that you're not finding anybody out there. Okay. And you're making a big mess out of my place. We're gonna look. So we have to I sure don't want you digging up my damn dog. I understand we know that. that. I understand that. Oh there's somebody underneath your dog. What are you supposed to do? Ooh. I don't want to desecrate your dog's grave. That's special to you. But you have that was 15 years ago. I understand that. You're saying that for the last 15 years I've been killing people? No, not at all. I'm saying there could be other dead people on the property. I mean, maybe. If you know about it, you better just tell me I now. don't. I don't. And save us all this, you know, of, of things that we have to do. We you're, know that there's two dead people there. We also know that we don't, we don't know how many more there are. So we are going to dig and look until we make sure that... We have checked every square inch of that 20 acres, and we know for sure there's no one there. The only way to do that is to go hands-on and to check the whole damn thing. What else are we supposed to do? You tell us. Unless we had someone to say, here, here's a map. There's somebody there. Or I think there might be somebody over here. I don't know how they got there, but they're there. Go that's, what, that's what I just said. And now you're saying you're not going to do it. Because it's just a general area. Sure, you showed us where Robert was, and you showed, and you showed us where Steve was. Yeah, we went and looked at Robert today. Sure enough, there he was, right where he said it. Steve, Steve was in a hole. Robert was in a bag. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I told you where both were. Uh huh. Okay. okay. I told you where the dog is. I told you where the llamas are. You can run the little thing over the top of it. Oh, that's not a person. That's one little area. Twenty acres. You can see the task at hand for us. That's why we have a billion people out there, and we're going to bring in whatever we have to. And you're going to gonna spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on this to so find a person. Sure. Susan sounds shocked that so many resources would go into finding these bodies. Again, this shows the little value she places on human life mm -hmm. and likely explains how she was able to take the lives of these men. Well, but the worst is done. If, if you kill somebody and they're out there or there's somebody dead out there, they're dead. We can't bring them back. But see, you, you, you're saying something and you're not backing it up with a damn thing. Are you going to sign a piece of paper saying, what I'm I supposed to if you sign up with? If I'm you quit my job. Yes. Yes. 
I don't have to. <laughs> you just said you would if you didn't find anybody. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I don't have to. I'm that confident that there's people out there. Okay, if you're that confident, sign a piece of paper saying, if I don't find somebody out there, at least one person out there, I'm a quit. And this is why I don't get you, is when you you continue to be so... To hostile. You can, yeah, hostile. Okay. You continue to put up a fight. Yes. So this tactic because, isn't because working, officer. officer. You care more about animals than you do people. To some extent, yes. Okay. I also the people care, that came I, to your place were not that great of people at times. They would be what society would probably consider the low lowlifes, the drinkers, the people that have problems, people who get arrested. Yes. That kind of thing. And people who steal and screw people over. And I took care of a lot of them. I gave them a helping hand. Are you telling me out of 100 people that came to your place that are transients and have problems and, and maybe mostly drunk issues, it sounds like, not necessarily drug issues, it sounds like you might have kept your way away from those people. Try to. And, okay, there you go. You selected a certain group of people that you would accept to come work at your place. And out of those 100, only two of them ended up dead? Or you know, that doesn't now? make any sense. If, if I've been doing this for years, wouldn't I be getting better at it? No, that's usually how people get caught is they do something that leads them to get caught. Susan was arrested on January 14th, 2014 for two counts of first-degree murder, two counts of abuse of a corpse, and one count of identity theft. Susan wasn't done with her crazy admissions, though. Ooh. During an interview, Susan allegedly admitted to burying 17 more bodies somewhere on her farm. This prompted almost a month of searching, including... Oh, oh what? How? How? And where's... The I want to see the footage of her confessing. That's crazy. Hold on. What? For two counts of first degree murder, two counts of abuse of a corpse, and one count of identity theft. Susan wasn't done with her crazy admissions, though. During an interview, Susan allegedly admitted to burying 17 more bodies somewhere on her farm. This prompted almost a month of searching, including investigators digging around 50 holes in the hopes of uncovering more of her victims. Ultimately, though, it was determined that there were no more bodies hidden on her farm. There is speculation Whoa. that Susan said this as one of her twisted yeah. jokes or to intentionally frustrate investigators. Probably to Eventually, Susan's make them mad. Euthanized. She was reportedly irate when she found out, especially because they were killed instead of their meat being donated to a food pantry. Somewhat surprisingly, Susan pled not... What do you guys think about that? What do you think? Uh, it feels like a waste of food. But it's also pretty disgusting that the pigs have been eating people. Guilty to all charges and represented herself when the case went to trial. She actually cross-examined the lead investigator and consistently interrupted the trial. So much so that she had to be removed from the courtroom on several occasions. Oh my None of Susan's gosh. explanations for either Robert's or Stephen's deaths matched the horrific evidence. It was uncovered that Robert's legs had been removed with an axe, while Stephen had been shot three or four times in the head. It didn't help that while in prison, Susan signed a birthday card from the sweetest murderer in Jackson County, another sign of what she called her sense of humor. In 2015, Susan Monaco was found guilty on all counts and sentenced to two consecutive 25-year prison terms, totaling a 50-year sentence with no chance of parole. Suspicious death of a... I'm... shocked that she wasn't put away for life. That's crazy. Oh, geez. That was awesome. I can't believe she pooped herself. That is crazy. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh my gosh, it's perfect timing. All right, we, uh, Myung will be here in 12 minutes. Uh, to We are going to announce the stream as winners. And then after that, we could probably watch more crime. I really like watching crime videos. I do, I do, it's true. Um, is there a shorter vid we can watch? Is there a new OTV Friends vid? No, there isn't. Nanny? <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Secret Santa. I haven't watched this one. Reddit? Uh, yeah, yeah, Reddit, Reddit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Reddit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Hello there again, thank you for joining us for another offline TV video. And let's thank Genshin Impact for sponsoring this video as well. Genshin Impact is a beautiful, free-to-play, open-world cross-platform adventure game that just released their 3.3 version do, do, update. Do, 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 With do. the update comes the wishes from to that website event where you can receive postcards from your favorite is characters, this sped up? get 20k more in rewards, and more. Genshin is also hosting offline events for the event in New Jersey, Toronto, and LA that you can visit IRL on January 6th. There was also a new wish banner for Scaramouche, not our Scara, who is no longer available, but he's one of the most popular characters Quality. in Genshin because of his complicated backstory where he started off as an enemy, but now can join your team. There are other characters you can wish for too, like 4-star Faruzan, 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 Arataki Ito, and Raiden Shogun who are coming back. The last main addition of 3.3 is the new card game mode called Genius Vocation TCG, where you can challenge NPCs throughout to that or your friends in PvP. I played it a bunch, and it's actually really fun. Download Genshin Impact through the link in the description or by scanning the QR code today. And don't forget to use the bonus code on the screen to get free 60 Primo Gems free! and five adventures experience. Back to the video. Welcome to another OTV video. Tonight we're gonna Yay! be doing a secret Santa. Pokey is gonna be joining us remotely because she got the big C. She got the vid. He said the big C. <laughs> <laughs> he told me the term is big C. <laughs> we were all assigned as a secret Santa. Oh. None of us know what we got for each other. We don't know who secret Santa is who. So. Bow, let's get into it. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. First person is Scara. I want to guess it is this person. Confirmation check. She was just enjoying it. She was enjoying The biggest smile. That is not your gift. We're gonna have to. We're gonna do it. Yes? I actually love squares, so this is probably my game. Close eyes again. Do, 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 do. That is not your gift. <laughs> God Christ. damn it. What about this one? I love red. No, nope. yes. put it down. This one? No. Nope. What about this red one? Yes. I can't oh, believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 You picked every single one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it. This one was given to me by... Wrapping's really neat. Mm -hmm. Lily. Ooh. Okay, it is oh. noon on Saturday. Scara has been expressing an interest Check out the haunting case of Ryan Waller. About how if it's DMC free, sense. I'm down. Or we so can save that I for DMCA day. <laughs> came out in outfit. Like, pretty simple and classic. I don't know what you think, Sean. Are you okay? I don't want to ruin your vlog, I'll keep my teeth on. <laughs> <laughs> I think Scar would look sick and s. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? Dude, open! Right now. We're going to head to the mall now, and I will see you there. Oh, I did watch that watch one? Oh, Super okay. Star. I don't remember their names. Oh, okay, pause. I did not expect this. Oh my god. Also, this fire is is kind of hot. This is a warning for anyone who sits here. This oh yeah, no, it's it's burning. With a box in a box. Common projects. Oh, oh it's a pair of lights. That's cute. White like sneakers. These are so nice. Oh. Wow. Nice. That's, really That's very That's pretty. That's nice. Like this is that. so sick. The layers, okay. Wow. Nice long oh, sleeve. Yeah, how do they literally be <laughs> toasty? Oh, oh it's pants. Wow, you got your cargo pants. Oh, you got your cargo pants. Let's go. Yes. Wait, this is so thoughtful. I'm so, okay, play the rest of the video. I just. Okay, Sean is going to hold up the pieces that I'm thinking. So, first we found a bomber, bomber jacket, which is like a classic. It goes over everything. And then the next piece is another jacket, a bit fuzzy. It's warm on the warmer side, and it has like a cool plaid pattern, which I think will help Scara um, sort of move into pattern. I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking maybe this year I'll actually watch 100 Thieves videos, but I can't. I hate watching me. 
That's why I avoid them. I avoid watching 100 Thieves videos because I hate watching myself. And so I only watch OTV videos. <laughs> it's bad. Oh gosh. I want one full outfit and then I might just get like extra pieces. OTV and Friends videos are tolerable though because they're very short clips. <laughs> Compared to like the whole video with me in it, oh gosh, I can't. Something like this to go with the black jacket and essentials. I want to top it off with some. I think I have like a couple hundred dollars left to spend. So yeah, your vlog is really I'm good. So I'm yeah. super yeah. self-conscious. My I'm vlog now. So self-conscious. So self-conscious. Okay, so I found the common projects okay, online in Dude, she's filmed the screen. <laughs> <laughs> dude, 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 dude. Wait, she talked all her thoughts out. She's a pro. Shit. Oh, See, my vlog is gonna be Bean, shit. man, yeah. bean. Holy shit, Sydney's a straight A student. Should conclude my, my, uh, Scar's Secret Santa vlog. Aww. Nice. Thumbs wow. up. That was good. That was good. That's the bar, kind of high, don't you think? I'm so conscious. Wait, it's, it's so, so, so soft. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Cute. Oh. Yeah, get on get up there. Get on up there. Get on up there. How did you pick the guy in the center of the city? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 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 New carpet. New carpet. I want to say the one wrapped in paper towels. <laughs> Black one. No. Black. That's not. That's not. <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's silver. <laughs> the blue snowflakes. <laughs> blue Avon. <laughs> Let's find out. I mean, it's a good guess. I was thinking, what to get John for? <laughs> the other. You, you fool. Fuck you. <laughs> the other blue. Fuck you. Excuse me, blue. I can't hear him. Shut up. Buy a piano? Because that's like a thousand dollars. Maybe if you get a good one. Um, let's be honest, most adults who start piano later in the age, they never keep up with it. Another interest was. <laughs> okay, so there's no. <laughs> I think that's worth a thousand dollars. We actually went, uh, we got a U Haul truck to pick it up, and. It was a very long drive. It was it was hard bringing that because I was the only one with Daniel and I have no muscle strength whatsoever. So it was, uh, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> so wait, do they, do they I not trade gifts <laughs> at the end of this? <laughs> You're an idiot. Are you positive? Yeah, open your gifts. I don't think they can trade. No, oh, no. This is to keep my Oh, it's Secret Santa, it's Santa, not White Elephant. <laughs> Oh! Oh, oh my god! Wait, that looks sick. Whoa! Hey, that's awesome. What the heck? Wait, this is a great wow. thing. Wow. What? I'm about to make yeah, yeah, OTV yeah. two in one now. Let's go. They censored it, but I said that like, your interest was boxing and video games. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You're safe, Joe. He's not going to the creator class. <laughs> I kept trying to start it and show this video. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. wow. He's going to be the third OTV boxing champion. Everyone's getting AIDS <sighs> in this class. I, yeah, everyone I, is getting AIDS I don't AIDS know in about that. Class so far. Oh, <laughs> you want to play the video? I was really tired and I didn't see anything. It was really early. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 it's dead silent. It's cinematic. It's cinematic. I'm really tired. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Sydney had to help me bring it in. Sydney, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope you use it. Um, if not, that's okay. Merry I'm really Christmas. excited to be roommates with you. I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, I don't see a way I'm really excited to be roommates with you. I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, I don't see a word in the <laughs> Mood. Any, like, oh, wait, I'm covering topic, it. But if we do, we can box it out and beat each other up. That's how I solve all my fights with a lot of my friends. So, I right, hope you like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I thought we were supposed so to do great. a message. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, he told, us, to, he told so us to make a message at the very end. To be, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Oh, oh God. <gasps> okay, I know what it is. The toilet, the paper towel. This one, this one, this one, this, the chain one. Wait, what if we just play the video? So it's like, yeah. so she can still at least guess. Oh, like Who do you think your secret Santa is? Yvonne. Yeah, I wasn't guessing me. <laughs> 
Hello, all four oh. Shouldn't they all open their gift and then they guess at the end and then play the videos? I'm sorry. Oh, she has a PowerPoint presentation. She has a PowerPoint. COVID. The big scene. <laughs> no. My gift recipient is. Not this is amazing. The magnificent. <laughs> Apple of my motherfucking Not eye. the PowerPoint. Lily Pichu. <laughs> Unfortunately. Pomeranians <laughs> never budge it. Sorry, Lily. Too damn expensive. Okay. This, this is one Imagine is so if she got suspicious. her another dog. 4K, 3K, 2K, 4K, yeah, 799. <laughs> this one. <laughs> oh, Perry. Here's what I did get you. For starters, a Dior lip blush. Am I this blush to... went viral and it's so cute and I want it so bad, but I got it for you instead. A <laughs> lip glow, some eyeshadow, oh, my oh, favorite oh my eyeliner ever. I do love ever. <laughs> This long comb toner set, I don't know if it's good, but it looks pretty damn cute. And then the cherry on <laughs> top. <laughs> 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 yeah. I got you a Dyson Era. Oh. Every woman wants a Dyson Air Wrap. Every <laughs> woman in the world wants a Dyson Air Wrap. I hope you don't already have a Dyson Air Wrap. If you do, I'll get you something else. Bye. Wow. That was great. Yeah. Yeah, that was a yeah. sick PowerPoint presentation. It was. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you like it. <laughs> so cute. Oh. That's why you will be Pokey's surrogate. Yes, I, she I holds her stomach. Her stomach. <laughs> I'm poking me. I, I can make it. Shut the fuck up. Is it? Nope. No? I'm poking me. It's a paper towel one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> show, get, get closer to the wrapping. Can I show, show the, wrapping. the wrapping? Yeah, the swan. There's a swan that's a clue right ribbon. There. It's blue. It's, it's a little crudely wrapped. The swan is a clue. I don't know. I, I don't know if you just said that. There's a swan like. Scara? Oh, she gets Scara. <laughs> oh. oh, wow! This is my Secret Santa video. She got it right. Somewhat. I hate gifting gifts for two people because recently I've been known as that guy who gives good gifts. I brought this upon myself, but there's two people in OTV I hate buying gifts for. I got one of them. I got Pokey, she likes the color peach. Um, she likes stationery, and of course she likes cats. I met her cat Mimi. She likes me not at all. I found <laughs> and cute. today we're gonna go to all of them, or hopefully one of them, and find everything that we can for her. So without further ado, I'll see you guys at the stationery store. We're here, our first location, and maybe our last location, Crush and Touch Art Supplies. Uh, yeah. It's like a legit scar of Yeah. Rose petal black tea. Wait, do, this is do, legit. Do, do. Yeah, this is legit. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh, <laughs> let's blur it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 This is a great vlog, Scar. You should vlog. Scar, you're you're a smirk vlogger without knowing me. Like these camera shots. And a B-roll. Yeah, the camera shots are good. B-roll. Oh, the gift was blurred out. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, do it like your pokey. Oh. oh my goodness. Like so it was it was upside down and you know what? That's okay. Oh, these are okay, so I will show you cat stickers. Aww. Yay. A cat <laughs> hair clip. A cat <laughs> tray. Tray? More, more cats. A cat stuff. what the fuck is Another that? cat. Open it. Tanga, dude! Oh, oh it's, a, it's a Yuzu candle? Oh, this is cute. That sounds so nice. <laughs> I'm Oh my god. 
that was so loud. <laughs> a couple of very specific Japanese uh, notebooks, notepad version, a plain page as well. As yeah, isn't that? I was gonna say, isn't that a rolling tray? <laughs> that tray is specifically for weed, isn't it? <laughs> Oh. Well, I mean, oh, it could be nice. used for other things. Nice. This idea, all three. I got a lot of pens. I chose two gel-based right. ink pens because I think fountain pens are kind of fun, but maybe a little outdated. So uh, this will match perfectly with the pen case yeah. that Doesn't I got her from them. the other store. Yeah. They're really nice. Japan. Wow. You know, Japanese are, do it better. Really like nice. Nice. From the original yeah. store, I got a little... Nice. <laughs> right? Cute. I got everything cat-related. I can't believe this place has so many cat <laughs> 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 That's so, I love that This is so cute. Nice. Yeah. This is adorable. It's, it's really great. Some cat stickers. Cute. Oh my god. I hopefully think she'll like uh, oh. cat try. If not, it's Aww. doomed. <laughs> no, it's like not doomed. I hope you enjoyed a lot of what you saw. Um, it would be. I bought this nice wrapping. <laughs> 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 Maybe I might as well just do it now. But if this doesn't make it into the video, happy holidays. Oh. Oh. Great vlog. That was cute. Yeah. That was so cute. Oh. That, was cute. Oh. that was so wholesome. I didn't I didn't have the footage of the pen store because there were a lot of people looking at me and I was like, I can't fucking do this in public. <laughs> I can't wait to use it all. The pens are Thank super you so much. nice. No problem, yeah. man. Wait, that's my full ever yeah. first ever full vlog. The paper towel one is mine. Ran into the dog. She's like, really? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. oh my god. Damn it. Oh my god. What uh, is this? A paperweight? Oh, wait, hold on. Let me do that. Yvonne. <laughs> <laughs>
I actually like better. That's, yeah, that's tiny like, cube. 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 Honestly, anything that is better than a shiny, cute thing. It was, oh, like I want to yeah. weigh it. It was so heavy when I tried what? to pick it up. I was like, what? Heck? What the oh, fuck? Wait, is it, how much is that? Like four hundred dollars? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Jody, twenty twenty two. This is just Washington. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Stay in Washington. Oh, oh my! God. You made this? I made all of that. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Wait, I want to watch the. I want to watch wow. the video. Me the right level. I literally just messaged Michael asking where he he got the cube because I, I all the detail so that's like a little I need it <laughs> a little too much detail and looks gross I feel like I'm watching your video yeah. Dude, I should give this to her <laughs> <laughs> Wow No way the POV change. Jesus Christ, Damn. Michael. I no longer want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my God. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, I can fix the rest. I can fix it somewhere else. So it'll look better. Wait, yeah. does this count as his video for the year? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, this is it. I fucking hate wood. I, well, I hate it. I hate wood. If I could, I would make everything out of metal, but no one wants a piece of metal for a decoration. Except for the fucking cube. God, <laughs> 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 yeah. ah, fuck. Washington is such an ugly state, dude. Like, what if, what if she had, like, what if she was born in, like, Hawaii? It's like, it's, Hawaii is such a nice state to look at. Or, like, even Texas, is, at least you'd be like, no. Wow. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, well, that's, that's done. I still think she's gonna like the tungsten cube more though, so I'm banking on that one as being like the real, the real seller. Oh, that was so cute! That was amazing. That was, uh, I feel like I just watched your video. Yeah. I'll be like Washington. <laughs> I love Washington. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the best Christmas gift I've ever gotten. And the cube, I really do like. And the cube, though. The cube is. Who needs Dyson? I love the cube. I would prefer this over a Dyson Airwrap. That's good because I was gonna get you a Dyson Airwrap and go to sleep. This one. Wait, that was. Wait, you can't. You can't. I leave it there. So it's John, Jody, or Toast. Yes. Jody. I am Vaughn's secret uh, Santa. Is that what? I think that's what it is. Like I, I'm her. I'm buying her. Anyways, I think I'm Vaughn's secret Santa. Um, my bright idea is that I'm going to get her a. <laughs> my hope is um something to like extend and grab things up on really high shelves. So I'm gonna to high shelves. Probably hit the stole? target and try oh to add. Oh my gosh. I want to just add like maybe some cute Taylor Swift things Hello. or like some of my favorite makeup products. I don't know. She's here. I'm almost done. I got like 10 minutes. All right. That Woo. looks really big for Wait, Taylor Swift. Yeah, that? that looks really big. Don't move it. Don't move makeup. it. Don't I move lift it. it. What's in you know, it? Close your eyes. Whoa. <laughs> What is going on? What the fuck? To get up to hard to reach places. That is very thoughtful, Jody. That's what I can see. Avon, you need every inch, okay? Wait, what else? What else? Yeah. <laughs> That is so fucked oh up. God. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> you preface this with, I didn't know we were doing like wholesome gifts. <laughs> <laughs> oh These are great. I like So I, I created a you know, no. Vaughn care okay. package. Okay. <laughs> Those are some Those platform are shoes. Platform okay. shoes. Every inch counts. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how tall she's gonna be when she adds all those things up. It's healthier for your poops. Yeah, no, it's good. The best thing is Jody just received the most personal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, what could possibly like, come for me? Like these things. Everything here is the Yvonne package. 
Whoa, that looks Whoa. cool. Whoa. Swift album. That's wow. sick. That means by my detective skills, this has to be. I do it. It's a Dyson A wrap. <laughs> a vinyl player for your That's four sick. new Taylor Swift. Hey. Hey. Oh my feet. god, what is that gun? What is it? It's shit. a gun that gives you massage. Oh, it's a Theragun. Oh, it's a Theragun Pro. Holy shit, it's a Pro. She can now finally. Reach your desk, step into the bar. This is so fun. I think I'm gonna put desk? some cute stickers on it so it's not so ugly and bright, but. It's five more. It's five feet. Her feet can finally touch the ground, which is. I would never want to be five foot. <laughs> Did use the big red ribbon for something. So this is the Yvonne care package. It's not very cute, but it'll do. That was sick. That was oh, great. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> be like, well, this one is mine. Alyssa knows yeah. she has a stool if I need one. That's a lie. Who wraps like that? Yeah, based That's off the wrapping, I'm gonna have to guess John. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna guess with you. Hello. Hello. Um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt here as I am when we're doing the Secret Santa, it's because this is filmed on the same day. I didn't have time to go shopping because I was getting really busy getting my ass kicked with the, the boxing. The week before, was that I was focused on boxing. Then I did the boxing thing, and then three days after, <laughs> I had a concussion. And now it's uh, the day of the Secret Santa, and I have nothing. But um, it's still... Three hours away. Concussion's <laughs> killing. Oh sure my! I can find something in three hours. I I apologize to my recipient. And you get gifts for all five categories. Buzz. It's funny because I talk so much shit about how awful it would be to be toast. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh my god. <laughs> you made it today. I was like, damn, that sucks for that. <laughs> Oh my okay, gosh, not the karma. Oh, okay. Don't, don't take it at face value. Wow, well, it's um hey. it's a healthy spot gift. Oh, card, healthy spot's lit. Okay. Useful gifts, five nice. Days of doggy daycare so that you can leave crash there. Oh, oh, that's thank you. Oh, that's really I actually nice. go to healthy spot all the time. So this I'm, is oh, it's okay. actually such a good dog. Oh. What is it? <laughs> Oh, dude! Uh, she likes Star Wars. It's Darth Vader, and it's also signed by the artist. Whoa. Oh, that's Whoa. that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, wait a three hours? yeah, where the hell did you find this? A nine point six rated as well. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I drove to multiple comic book stores. Oh, holy! Oh. This that's is cute. awesome. Thank you. That's a Aww, uh, that's cute. Yeah, one of the things you mentioned was Studio Ghibli, and that has all the Studio all the, Ghibli All the people. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't know which movie you like. So you got all of them. All of these, yes. These are all very good. And the last gift is 80% of the budget. <laughs> oh. oh! Open, Not open! Nice. <laughs> what is it, what is it? What is it? Ooh. Wow, that box is Versace. I take back everything Versace. I said about not wanting to be toast recipient. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know you like exercise. You need to take a shower after you drink. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so it's a Versace bath. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh shit! It's so gaudy, I love it! <laughs> Oh that looks my sick, actually. That sick. Sick. You're a king. That is sick. What happened with me? Happened to you? I got you a robe for Christmas. Oh. These fucking boys, man. Yeah, no these boys way. are really yes. nice. <laughs> Thank you. These were very nice gifts. Wow. That's one down. Studio Ghibli poster. I'm here at uh, Rodeo Drive, a place for fancy brands in LA. My strategy here is to buy one item. I can't believe you did all that in three hours. It's like a daycare package for Crash for five days um, that she can use whenever. These are some of the things she listed that interests her. And what caught my eye was this one, yeah. League of Legends. Yes. 
yes, Sydney. That's the easiest one to get someone a gift for, because all you gotta do is pull up Leo. <laughs> you just look at her op. No, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Look at my op. That's pretty bad. Nine seventy-five. That's a solid ten dollars. This is. <laughs> Why do I feel pain? <laughs> uh, I just got back from uh, a couple of comic book stores. It stars Vader because she likes Star Wars. And um, I hope she likes Star <laughs> Vader. <laughs> that, was that was awesome. That was Makes good. it famous. Thank you. Happy New Year. That was so good. Yeah. Thank you so much. I love my I gifts. That means Michael could only have it's Devon. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. This thing on. <laughs> we all got it wrong. I was chosen as Michael's secret Santa. The two things I have in mind, uh, I feel like he's just been more interesting. Maybe. So I'm sure. thinking about getting like dick sporting goods. Wait, wait, let me call them. One sec. Thanks for calling Domino's. <laughs> Today's special is two large topping pizzas. Fit check. <laughs> <laughs> you like that shit? I'm ready to bring this sucker in. A little bit of a Avon vlogging. Oh uh, my god! I want to dress him up as a turtle, maybe like a ninja turtle. Who's the most hated ninja turtle? What does Michael hate? What if I dress up as <laughs> <laughs> Let's bust this sucker open. Come on now. Come on, Bobby. Come here, Bobby. <laughs> oh. All right, perfect timing building the Bob because all of the packages have come in. I just got to go grab it. <sighs> I'm so excited to see this final product. Look what came in, Bobby! Ta-da! <laughs> Why is there scary music? Well, you do have a placeholder. That was like my plan B if we needed it for camp. Whoa! Whoa. Some Minecraft Blockopedia! <laughs> that is actually perfect. I got one of these in Japan. That was one of my uh, things that I put on my thing that I wanted. I my likes it was Minecraft, Fortnite, Ta-da! What could that be? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a freaking human. That, that looks scary. I, I don't that know looks scary. That. I don't Holy know. shit. <laughs> it's height adjustable. Be gentle on the reveal, because you don't want to mess up his hair. What? <laughs> mm, I want it. Oh. No! Oh. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Oh no! Oh my God! Oh. Finally! God, yes! Finally! What is this exactly? Oh my God! Yes! Oh my. Yes! No, do not condone Dude, domestic I'm... violence. Oh my gosh, he's unhinged! Take the fucking wig off! Oh my God! That's epic. I'm gonna beat the shit out of that. It's not me. It's not me. It's thoughtful too. Wait. Get the wig ready. Got the the glasses are in. Then we have the clip. I think I'm gonna go with the pink one. Welcome to our Bob makeover. Come on, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> hair net for no hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's covering the eyes. Wait, why is there a, a hair net? <laughs> why is A Lily Pichu punching bag. What? <laughs> For her oh, Finally. Wow, I wonder who gave him his gift. <laughs> it's a Yvonne. <laughs> Sorry, Toast, can we fix Lily's hair? It's kind of... Uh, it's, 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 I don't have red hair anymore. Do, 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 do. So I got Toast for Secret Santa. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what the fuck to get him because he wrote, okay, everyone has a form in the beginning. He wrote nothing. Likes, nothing. Dislikes, nothing. I mean, like, I know him long enough to, like, kind of know, but at the same time, like, what do you get a, someone who could get anything for themselves? You know what I'm saying? Like, and he doesn't, like, use necessarily like a lot of things or whatever it is. He's like very minimal. But I came across this epic TikTok, all right? Oh. And I thought, if I can't get him anything, 
As soon as he Damn. at this place, and he loves SpongeBob. So that song is perfect. I did want to get him some other stuff too that's like actual gifts or like quality of life upgrades, you know? Like something that would like feel good uh, in his day to day. And so mm -hmm. maybe also get him some shoes because he has had these shoes for like a really long time. Grab this one. This one looks about right, you know? It's like. <laughs> What is it? Like it spins and stuff, looks good, and it has control and everything. Going into your room. And you might ask, what am I doing in your room before you even move in? Huh? Well, you're about to find out. What is going on? Is a camera that's <laughs> mounted in your room. <laughs> Ooh, Burberry. He loves Burberry. 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 Yeah. Ooh. 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 That's nice. Oh, bath bombs. <laughs> There's bath bombs There's just bubble. in the... And bath bombs, so it's like you can have a bubble bath too. Oh, Ooh. oh Vaughn. Thank oh. you. That's what I got him for his Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we fucked each other for oh, this one. Vaughn, oh, you motherfucker. Oh, the... <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that BTS Jin? You can use that on stream. It's V. You know? Oh, it's, it's V. Of, it's V. It's like a microphone. Six. <laughs> so this will be good for content. I enjoy that. It's, oh my god. <gasps> oh, oh, wait, this is a six. He's, he's like, oh my god. Two. New kicks. New One kicks. that will match my all black outfit. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. That is the sickest gift of all. I've been buying everyone. How warm were <laughs> Oh, I heard about oh, these. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Jesus Christ. Well, that looks nice. It's I like the wooden base. Ethnic. That's sweet. nice. To warm your towels. Before you sh get out. Those are nice. When I get out for my bath. Yeah. I put a bath bomb in. Well, yeah. then, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. I mean, if you don't have a bath, even if you just have a shower, you know, maybe you don't. <laughs> you don't have a bath. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you guys so much for watching our very first Secret Santa. It was really fun to watch everyone's videos, and everyone was actually like crazy at vlogging. It was it's hilarious to watch. Um, but yeah, hope you guys. Yeah, the have, vlogs are uh, really good. Happy holidays and a happy new year. And yeah, thank you so much for being with us this year. Miyoung! Merry Christmas. I'm ready! Everybody. <laughs> it's time! And, and thanks, Pokey, for being here with COVID. Yeah. 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 It's time. Bye, guys. The pop up was great. Woo! All right, everyone. We, uh, Miyoung is here. Uh, we are. Going Red. to announce the streamers winners. Ooh. It is time. God. Do, 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 I, don't do, know do, why. I already know and I'm anxious. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, why? I don't know. For some reason, I'm kind of anxious about it. Why? It's like, I was like, oh my God, I wonder who won. Like, I know who won, but at the same time, it's like, damn. Got me feeling a little bit high. Hello, she's here. Hello. Okay, my head really hurts today. Why? Oh god. Well, I just have these what headaches happened? where it just like randomly, like my head feels like it's splitting, but it's like an inside pressure, and it gets worse when I'm standing. But usually on these days, I'm sleeping. Oh my gosh. I know. Okay, okay, we do this real quick. We'll do it really, <laughs> no, really quick. No, no, don't worry about Fast. me. Don't worry about me. What do we do? Do I click okay, this or yeah, no? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Click that and we'll go from the top wait, 10. Oh, wait. Oh, she, you might hear it. Let me send you a screenshot. Oi, 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 oi. Hold on. Pause, chat. Pause. Solid 10 seconds. Should I request? Uh, okay. All right, it's time. Yeah, do you drink water? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen you drink water before. <laughs> I drink water off stream, do, 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 Okay. Do, do, do. Ooh, wait. I just really like to go screenshot, but I didn't send it to you. Send. Mm. Send, send. Here you go. Okay, and... I think you also can... So I open this? Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. I've opened this. Oh, oh, don't show it to don't me. Don't worry, we're, we're full screen. We're okay. full screen. Okay, and then we mm -hmm. go from 10th to... Oh, wait. 10th to 1st? Well, technically this is 9. I've, I'm leaving one out because I didn't realize... Eh, just go from 11, I 11. think that's 10. Because it starts at 2. Drum roll, please! <laughs> So do we do we need to contact them right now or like we do that I later? I think some of them might be in Discord. Okay. Also, I don't have the audio splitter. It's okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. Maybe we okay right here. Yep. You can just uh, join. Oh. Well, I won't. I won't join the call because we can't hear. Yeah. You know what? I will it's type. Fine. We'll do. Where it. is the? Is this one? Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me let them know. We are announcing the winners now. <laughs> really typing it. I stream. typed it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, I gotta let them know just in case. They're, now they're screaming. Now they're screaming. They're screaming Woo! in the Discord. Come okay. on, let's go. Pause. Um, before we announce the winners, can yeah. we all give? Uh, some hearts to Myung for putting this all together. She put in so oh, much no. effort oh, no, to no, no. It's true. <laughs> she put in so much effort to make this happen. This was all her idea I just you know, I thought I would help by being a co-host but in reality She really did pretty much practically everything oh, no, no, Yes, no. it's been uh, really cool to see. I'm proud of her for doing the things Look at this spamming in the discord too. It's so cute. <laughs> Um, oh, so yeah, this awesome. was this was just you know for fun and and wanted to help out some uh, smaller streamers and I just thought it was a very great idea so I wanted to join her so yeah. What? Let's go. Okay, now what do we do? Okay, starting from. Okay, so we have chalk Wait. three. Okay, okay, so two of the winners are from through chat votes from yesterday, and then Ray and I chose one winner as well. Mm -hmm. And so let's start off with number. Ten. So there's three winners. Okay, so why are we doing top ten then? Well, it's to build up some like, oh, you know, and also a little bit of a shout out to the top ten that made it okay, this okay, high okay. up. But they didn't win. But every yeah. They didn't win nothing. Yeah. But hey, you guys hey. all did amazing. Okay, you, you guys, guys are great. All and the Discord's of you super cute. We're amazing. Yeah, Discord was always so wholesome. Uh are we we're not gonna say the amount of votes they got. You can. I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because it's going to be public anyways. Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So these were. This was uh, this voted was the by the communities. Voting. The final voting for the uh, communities. Da, da, Take over, it away. <laughs> all right. There was over ten thousand votes, and starting with number ten. Okay. Starting with number ten is strawberry bun. That's a lot. No, 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 but it starts from, you remember see how number two? Oh shit, that is number two. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. She, uh, yeah, she yeah, had yeah. the spirit, she okay. had the spirit. To be fair, number one says finalist and then the <laughs> amount of votes, so the numbering is off, okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's strawberry bun, top 10, congratulations. Uh, S-T-R-W, triple B. So Triple B. B, 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 Y, and then Bun, B, U, N. Okay, congratulations. Ba, 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 Should ba, I have ba. background music? Oh yeah. Oh you know, yeah. Let's have some graduation music. Oh, is that copyright free? Surely. We could play some crime in the back. Yeah. You, no. <laughs> True crime bits. Oh my god! I literally just said yes to that. Yeah, no. you did. No. Uh, let's She's see. Sick. Graduation song. DMCA free. <sighs> it's beautiful. <laughs> what is it? Is it that kind of good? Yeah, this is a good one. Okay. Uh, as long what as it's kind of good. <laughs> I don't want to know. You know what? Maybe it's better if I don't know. It's oh, it's a It's a remix thing, but I only like the beginning of it. Okay, moving on. You know what? No music. No music. No music. Okay, <laughs> anyways. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Never anyways, mind. okay. Uh, that was wrong. Okay. Ray, say number nine. Number nine goes to Coley Berry. Congratulations. No. Shit. 
I mean, you're a lulz. <laughs> Dude, I think the numbers are off. <laughs> the name of John Strawberry Bud. Yeah, okay, first of all, I looked at number nine oh, and oh, instead God. of Strawberry oh, Bun man. because you know you said do do number nine and you know what number nine? Okay, okay. Congrats <laughs> to uh, you're a lulz. Oh, number. Oh, that was a good one. Nine, <laughs> not ten, because okay. Dude, okay, you're you, you say the rest. <laughs> I can't. It's making me dyslexic in my brain. Yeah, it's like okay, 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 okay. So number ten, strawberry bun. Number nine, Yura lulz. Y u r a h l u l s. <laughs> okay, and now number eight, Coley Berry. Congratulations. Clap 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 clap. Oh my god, Navi. C so happy for you. C o l e y b e a r i e. We'll we'll show this afterwards. And then coming in on number seven. DJ Mango Pie. Woo! Congratulations. Oh man, this is like a spelling game right here. P J, and then Mango, and then Pie. And if you can't spell that, well, I don't know. I really don't know what what to say. We're on six, right? We're on and then six, on which number is number seven, which is six. Six, yes, is Joltira. J O L T I R A. Yay! Congratulations! Up, 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 up. Wait, where am I? Now we're number five, which is number six. <laughs> Ryan Saturns, number five. R H I A A N. -N. Well, no, I you don't like have, I, I don't can't have to spell read. it. We can just show yeah. it after. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll yeah, show it after. We'll show then. it after. Okay, Yay, and then congratulations. Number four. Uh, Oni Melly. And then. Oh God, the feel. Oh God, it feels bad. Wait, why? Because it's number three. You're just so close. You're so close. Oh, yeah. Listen, you all still did amazing, okay? You, you all, all did, did amazing. Number three coming in super close at 387 votes is... Kakashi! Kakashi! Woo! All right. And these are the top two for the community votes. And then we... And the winners. Yeah, the top winners uh, for the community votes, and then we picked um, yeah uh, one last winner. Okay, go ahead, say one of the winners. These are the winners. Okay, well I'll just the say first in two. second. Okay, was how do you pronounce it? Danny Kati. Kati. Danny yeah. Kati. Yeah. Congratulations! Woo! You won a full setup. D A N Y C A T I at 445 votes. That was second. Congratulations, Nabi Applause. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> wow, he looks kind of pissed, but don't look at him. He's fed up. It's He's okay. fed up, bro. And then number one is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's. Nicole at 541 votes. 541 votes. Congrats. Congratulations. Oh my goodness gracious. Pop off. All right, now open. Open what? Um, I think it open blah, 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 my, on my message. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, right here. Okay. Okay, pop off. Me? Yeah, you. Okay, so it was Ray and I also chose one, and it was like hard to choose between two because it's like, well, who could really use the setup? And then at the same time, it's like I felt it was it was just difficult. Okay, for two different reasons, uh, setup versus just like I saw a lot of dedication from everybody. It was really hard to like try to narrow it all down from a hundred of you because literally every single contestant has been absolutely sweet and amazing but we narrowed it down to two and it was between mississippi roughneck and j bro also draws and we have decided we are going to go with drum roll please mississippi roughneck Woo! 
But I. But I'll, yeah. Okay. Right. Take it, it away. It was such a hard decision. So um, we will be sending you a gift as well, J Bro. Um, she wrote down <laughs> an indecisive note, so I'm not sure what to say. Um, so uh, it it it. Uh, yeah, let's just say we'll give both. Okay, okay. Yeah. Bailey says we will be sending you an extra monitor and also a chair. Because the chair in that video, it was really losing hope. And I <laughs> felt like since it was so hard to choose between the two, we might as well make sure that you get something as well. Yes. So congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. everyone. Uh, Streamers was definitely a learning experience for both of us. Um, yeah. But we hope that everyone that won the giveaways enjoys their... The giveaway winners enjoy their gifts and also you guys had fun participating and you know it's nice like just shouting out like streamers and um you know being able to give back a little bit you know so yeah this was fun i feel like this is something you only really ever learn through experience too yeah true it's crazy <laughs> it was kind of hectic but mm -hmm. we hope everyone had a lot of fun mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you know maybe maybe we can hop on really fast into one little call I'm lost. Oh, oh, right here. Yeah, right there. And then maybe just hop into that one. This one? Yeah, just hop into that one. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, hello, 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 Testing, testing. Hello. They're, I think they're doing tech stuff here. Are you guys doing tech stuff here? Can we have a channel? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for all your help with all of this. <laughs> okay. okay, we're gonna go say hello to everyone. Oh, wait, right? Okay, Are we? sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah real do quick, it. real quick. Hello, congratulations, everyone. Congrats! Oh, here. oh my God, they can't hear. They can't oh. hear because my settings are messed up. Oh, they, they, I don't. don't okay, I'm not Discord? going in Discord. No, <laughs> so I have to. I have to change the channel, and I don't know which one it is. I pretty much have to go through every time to figure out which one Discord's using. Bro, what happened? It's because like if the one that Discord uses, um, I it's too loud for me the audio, oh. and so I have to switch to a different audio. And then when I we can hear, no, you can't. I looked at the dis desktop, and it wasn't working. Anyways, all right. Well. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I give up. I'm not. I'm not doing audio stuff right now. Oh, mm -mm. oh wait. So you can't join any Discord? Like, what? Well, well I can't. Work? We can hear them, but stream can't hear them. Uh, yeah. Uh, Typical, right? My new setup is coming. Uh, it's coming. It is coming. My new setup. Everything's gonna be fixed. And um, yep. Okay. It's okay. Maybe next time. Mm -hmm. but, well, congratulations to the yeah, winners. Congrats. Yeah. Can we see their videos? Yeah. Do you have their videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If okay. you go to uh, announcements. Announcements. Yeah. We can watch the four people. Yep. Oh, here yeah. is the list, by the way. Yeah. Do, do, do. These were the community winners. And you can Don't, see why... What? Ray Liking. got confused with the numbers. Yeah, look at see number one is finalist in votes. It's confusing. <laughs> All right, where am I? Okay, so just scroll down, 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 blah, 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 blah. a little bit up, just blah, blah, ever blah, blah. so slightly, ever so slightly. Blah, blah. Uh, that one. This. Yeah. I click this. Is this leakable? Uh, yeah. Okay, and now where do and we go? And then we just look for the. Da, 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 da. Oh God, sorry. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, take it away. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with April. Also draws. Oh. Oh. It's not, oh, it is working. Yeah. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Did you hear that? Nope. It's too quiet. Okay, so just to recap you watched a whole second video that everyone made yeah okay and on this page is where it's all everyone at. voted on this page yeah. over here mm -hmm. okay. no, 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 no. this is everyone's second video the second video this is my favorite gun oh, no. look at that Oops, baby. i'm covering their name <laughs> 
Do 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 do. Oh, that's not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait. Is it still low? I turned up as loud as I could. Bro, if I hit diamond, I'm getting sturdy on stream. Wait, can't say we should both get the luddy. Yeah. Oh shit. I'm gonna just fall. Yeah, the cross flag! literally. That guy's cool, I like that guy. I peaked! Saikuno said I'm cool, I peaked! Yo, what's up? Let me just say, Ray, Mion, everyone involved, this is by far the coolest thing that I've been a part of since I started content creation. What the heck? Alright, now let's see what we got. Alright, here's my super brief setup tour. I have a pre-built Skytech gaming PC that came with a mechanical keyboard. My mouse is a Logitech G903 Lightspeed. I have an Elgato Stream Deck, a Logitech C922, and my mic and headset are both from HyperX. And while I could certainly have a better keyboard or a better second monitor that's a bit bigger so i can better monitor my chat and software while i'm live i think we all can see where the real issue is here ergonomics be damned that <laughs> oh this chair is crying for help and it is on its the last chair. legs this chair's christmas wish was to be put out of its misery <gasps> hey that's all for me and i appreciate y'all once again for this opportunity hope everybody has a blessed new year we all right Ooh. all right Right here. Right there. Perfect. Yes! <laughs> Hello, I'm Mississippi Roughneck. I enjoyed my time being a part of the hundred other streamers that made it through to this round. We built a bit of a Number community, three. like we've been collabing together and everything. It's kind of like what my Uncle Four said. Life is like a box of chocolate. You never <laughs> know what you're going to get. I think I understand what he said now. I think I might have found my box of chocolate. What the oh, heck? That's so cute. Either way, it's a win-win <laughs> to me. Well, I guess now y'all want to see my setup, so here we go. This right here would be my Chromebook. I got it back in college. need a upgrade. This right here would be a screen capture doodad or something like that. This right here is my headphones. They're held together with love and duct tape. Well, this would be my Oculus. It's real fun for VR stuff, which y'all probably already knew that. And this will be my Nintendo Switch. As Ariana Grande says, thank you. <laughs> I hope you had a blessed day and a happy new year. Oh, God. All right. Uh, Click. Scroll down. Scroll down. Where? Oh, wait there. Oh, where? Where? Think, right here? Think, right here? Right there. Yeah. Hey, guys. It's Danny, also known as Danny Caddy, and welcome to Stream as Part 2. Let's start with my amazing setup. And for the ones that still don't believe I play on a laptop, here you go. I play on an Omen HP laptop, which I got in 2018 for uni. Um, totally for uni. Then I got the HyperX Quadcast S and Cloud 2 headphone. My latest edition, the Logitech keyboard, gifted to me by a friend. Thank you so much, Sui. And at last, my mouse, the Logitech G502 Hero. And although everything looks good, my laptop has been crashing quite a lot. No more and laptop gaming. <laughs> But anyways, I know in my first video, I showed a lot of Valorant clips, but that's not what I'm all about. So here are some more clips. Oh my, my chest right, hurts. Uh, can I Nothing. buy these wellies? <laughs> I got another chicken. <laughs> Yo, that one looks funny. <laughs> okay. I get to watch now. God! No! God! <laughs> Rebound era. You put your dump in my face. <laughs> you like it. I'm good at drawing. I'm scared by you guys. I also made a bunch of cursed PNGs on stream. Yeah, I'm Cute. sorry you had to see that. Overall, I wanted to thank my friends and my community for all the support. I love you guys so, so much. Shout out to all the cool streamers and mods. And of course, I wanted to thank Myung and Ray for hosting this. It's been one of the best experiences I've had this year. Thank you so much. Oh and if gosh. you enjoyed my content, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Yay! All right, one more. Uh, wah. Up, 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 down, 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 I know it was between here. Oh, God. Right, oh, oh, right here? Yeah. Shark fucker, fuck you. <laughs> How can I show the world that I'm more than just some weirdo who loves big fish with teeth? I'm a goofy goba! <gasps> There's really not a good way for me to express how cool and sexy and fun I am to like a huge audience of people. 
I'm Nicole, by the way. <laughs> Was getting the, the golden buzzer not enough me. to convince you guys? Come on. Ludwig, Hassan, Valkyrie, and Katamina all thought I was hilarious. And they That's all true. Loved me very much. I and did. Of everything that I do. No, seriously. Like, I think this competition has given me more than enough. Like, I've gotten a ton of friends. My audience, like, tripled, maybe quadrupled overnight. My tech, though, is kind of bad, and you can tell in the quality of my streams. <laughs> my setup is okay. I've purchased everything over, like, a... First of all, did that say Mia? Were you talking... Okay, it was me. I thought it was me. Okay, I've purchased everything. It's like, hold up. Like a span of like Wait a minute. Instead of oh my god. Of education. So, like, it's okay. Yeah, we good. We good. <laughs> oh my god. Works with me. She wants to start beef right now. now. <laughs> Too many crime videos. <laughs> to be able to put myself out there to creators that I enjoy and also to people who didn't know I existed yeah. until now. It's been weird. Everything is surreal. I'm terrified. <laughs> and it just ends like that. Like All right, that. congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. And just like that, Streamers has come to an end. I know, but it's um, been a great journey. Yeah, I think the Discord's going to stay alive for all the... Is that true? Yeah. Or are you going to kill it? No. Oh, that'd be too sad. We can't. We can't just kill the Discord. Whoa! Too many crime videos. Sorry. Oh, now you're gonna kill the Discord server. But what if, what if all the homies want to have like a little? Hey, let's all go back here in a year. What if they have that little moment? They're like, mm -hmm, hey, let's mm -hmm. all meet up back in this Discord in yeah, a year. Yeah, true. You guys better add each other in the Discord before Whoa. it gets late. Just Whoa. Oh, Never kidding. know. All right, thanks, Mia. Well, no, thank Congratulations, you. everyone. Congratulations. Clap, 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 clap. All right, I'm going back to crime. She's a crime watcher. <laughs> crime. It's time for crime again. A quick, quick streamer's intermission. Um, I think if we do it again, um. Oh, Reddit. Oop. We should do Reddit. You're right. Okay. Reddit first. It's time. It's been... I, we gotta go through the past year. The year is over. It's a new era. I mean, year. <laughs> it's a new year, so we gotta go through this, you know? So that the new, the new clips and everything can start. Let me change the title. Oops. I'm swirly again. Oops. All right. Hello! Welcome back to Reddit recap of last year. Uh, title. Reddit recap, then crime after. Save. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Kate, thanks for the 20 months. Thank you. Rooney, thanks for 24. Retro Jays, Crash, thank you. Revolution, thank you, everyone. Amy, Mags, Infam Infamous, thank you so much. Da da da. All right, let's see here. How do we do this? Top of the year. Top of this year. I. Can I do top? I should probably do top of this month and then top of this year. Surely it's not just GTA. It's okay if it is GTA, you guys. Chill. The GTA 5 haters and the GTA 5 stands need to come together and realize nothing matters. <laughs> Everything, it's fine. It's a game, all right? It happened. It will probably happen again. Not for a while, but probably will. It doesn't matter, okay? It's all good. Haters rise up. Chill! Chill out. It's a game. All right, chill. All right, how do we do this? Top of this month. Lily loves raised swords. Oh, yeah, this is when Lily borrowed my setup. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, what? She's taking up a power stance to go... What is she...
Lily? This one? It's like a dragon eating it. That is a very sharp, sharp dagger. Am I am I getting banned for this? I'm just I'm just playing with swords. That's that's fine, right? What if she hurt herself? Okay, I'm, I'm done. In my room. How does this go back? Lily? Ha! <laughs> ah, no wonder it's crooked! Is it this way or that way? Holy shit. You're sick. She has so Lily? Many. Look at this one. There's like a nice little, uh, indentation here. Or not an indentation. Damn, it's pretty heavy too. Viper's head and her oh, arm I fell like off. Little, um, I wait, need super is glue. This thingy? I don't know what it is. It's really cool. She's so cool. Yeah. How does this go back? Lily? Oh. Whoa, this one's sick too. I like this one too. Looks like little bat wings and stuff. One day we're going to be watching Ray being interrogated. First of all, I'll have you know, that's not true. Because the only time I will kill someone is if it's self-defense or protecting somebody. And I will confess to it. Okay. After watching all these crime videos, it's clear to me that I'm not getting away with nothing. <laughs> I'll just be like, yeah, I did it. It is what it is. <laughs> Uh, and then I'll go serve my time or whatever. Look, <laughs> it's so cool. They interrogate regardless. Oh, yeah, but there's not gonna be a JCS video of a girl confessing for her crime. Plead insanity? No, I'll just I'll just be honest. You know, it's it was self defense. <laughs> And a cute little dagger thingy. Damn. So cool. There's so many knives. Sick. I'm kind of scared to... Oh, there's there's a lot more on this side, too. But you can kind of see all of them. Oh, kind of. Whoa. She has a blue Among Us plushie. I, I feel like I'm just doing show and tell. I know, she's... <laughs> this, is, this clip is so yeah. long. I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> the babushka vid will be shown in court. Can you imagine if they use that as like, okay. Example, exhibit A. We see Valkyrie playing a game called Among Us. Yes, she has shown crazy tendencies and has murdered multiple times in this game. Video games equal murder. Guilty! So, Lily reviews Ray's really setup. Oh, we saw this pretty much right now. Ray is small. No. I mean, yes. Okay, you know what? New year, new me. Yes, it is true. For those of you what is this that quality? don't know, I am short. Oh my gosh! This was pre-bangs. It's true. I'm, I'm going to embrace it. It is true. I, I am, you know what? I'm I am put a my bangs back up. small girl. Girl. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Why? What is this edit? For what reason? Okay. The bangs were looking a little flat. Gotta give them a little curl. <laughs> bangs era. Honestly, I did a pretty good job cutting them myself. It's just... I cut this too short, so it doesn't go down the way I want to. But whatever. And then I got them fixed up a little bit by a professional. Very, yes, 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 bangs era. It's time. Oh, we saw these. Punais! This is a... We did Chainsaw Man cosplay sponsored by Crunchyroll. We were sponsored to post a TikTok together on, on TikTok. 
for Crunchyroll. And then I uh, posted some photos of the cosplay. It's cute. Rumi's at OTV holiday party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> Saikudo! <laughs> Reactions! Yeah, this is why if I'm ever interrogated, I'm just going straight to prison because I... You can just read my face. Please watch the second Lily video. It's not the same. You know what? Okay. For a little very small bit, this one? Um, but Ray's like, use my setup. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm on Ray's This is seven like, minutes! That's a lot of weapons. That's a lot of weapons. I thought we had a lot of weapons. This is a lot of weapons. Yeah, and her camera? So high quality. I kind of like it though. But yes, I'm Ray today. <laughs> I, I kind of want this setup as well. I see why people use HD camera. It is quite poggers. Wow, you can see everything. Oh, you can see the blue in my hair very well now. You can <laughs> see my failed contour on my nose too. This is crazy. How many... Do you think she'll mind if I like... Can I like touch a weapon? I'm gonna message her. It's like, quiet. Can I, I can't turn it up louder, swords. unfortunately. Swords, plural. Wait, yes, I, I can. Ask her for permission first. Blah, blah. Her room. I'm trying to be very respectful. I really like this camera. I'm gonna add. Okay. Um. I think we're doing Valo in 30 minutes. I thought Valo was gonna be later, but somehow it's already 6 p.m. <laughs> Crazy. I don't know what it is. It's just. Seems nice. The lighting also. How is it? Like, oh, it's because we watched a three hour crime video. Huge ring light. I am like a failure of a streamer. I still do my scuffed webcam. Wow, that microphone. went by so fast for me. Shit. Her setup is so nice. Like, this is nice. I really like it. Thanks, the, Lily. Her background decoration, too. Wow. I would give this stream setup like a 10 out of 10. This is Whoa! a good stream setup. Very really? spacious desk as well. Microphone, nice, like a little far away, but you can still hear me. Matching mouse, uh, desk mat, mouse and keyboard. I don't know if you can't see it. Makes her on the side. A little scented candle over there. Um, it's actually very clean. She doesn't keep a lot of things on her desk, so it's very spacious. Nintendo Switch over there. Hair clips. Perfume. Yeah. <laughs> um, a comb. Why is she laughing? Yeah, very simple. I like it. First of all, I'll have you know, this isn't just any perfume. It's my current favorite perfume. And it is the Mason Francis Quirk de Jean Paris Baracat Rogue 540 de Parfum. Okay. Um, this is my favorite perfume. The only downside to it is that it doesn't last very long. Mmm. Delicious. Not sponsored. Nice. 10 out of 10, right? I kind of want to just use everyone's stream setup and rate it now. <laughs> this is a good setup. Wow, and I also that, really like this light. That so parfum. Like this huge <laughs> ring light right in front of me. It's a little like... Sorry, light. I can't speak um, French. I can't imagine being here for more than like two hours, really. I think I would die. I don't think I want to... I, I don't think I could show you the desk. It's her setup. I must be respectful of her space. Okay, this I feel like I can show. Look at a little Amigops file book on yeah, her desk. Yeah, I have it if right I here. If I box Ray, she would beat the shit out of me. I have to... If I box someone, it would have to be from someone who the starts Amigops files on my zero, desk. Like I am. She she already works out and stuff, so she, she would beat the shit out of me. Not that that's like a bad thing or anything. Okay, she said yes. Lily! Well, now just be careful. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh yeah. This is when I I'm told her that she could pick up the swords. Let's skip this because we just saw this. Oh, it's as tall as me. It has like three little samurai swords. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is fake. This is fake. You don't need to worry. <laughs> a cute little dagger thingy. Oh yeah, my. So Sick. There's there's a lot more on this side too. Whoa. She has a blue Among Us plushie. I, I feel like I'm just doing show and tell of her fucking room. Okay. I'm done. I don't want to get hurt. <sighs> She also has a piano in the corner. Wow, this is a nice room. There's a bunch of Funko Pops too. I love Funko Pops salts going through me. I like her decor. I'm just taking inspiration. I want my room to be comfortable and cool too. So, just taking some notes. <laughs> inspiration. Wait, did I drop something? Oh. Oh, sh- Ah. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't even stay. 
Uh, no, it okay, just—I just, it's not even I just cool. laid it there. I think it's... it was like this, right? Oh right. my! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make my room sick too. The swords are the wrong way around. <laughs> Girl, so using other people's setup is so confusing. Her computer's making a very loud noise, and like, I just—I feel like it's gonna explode. This Hello, is. Is this is Lily on Ray's account? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Why does her PC make so much noise? Okay, why was my PC I way louder when she was using it? I don't think it's gonna she take likes, off. like, loud, fast-sounding things, like the Rambo. And, uh, it sounds like it's doing a lot of work back there. Sorry, it's just making a lot of noise right now. I no, really I actually like don't like loud noises, first of all. Yeah... Oh god, it's so loud. I like Wendy's messages. Discord? I don't even see you. Oh, you're on Michael Reeves. Ah, uh, you're not even fucking Michael Reeves today. You're Valkyrie. Dude. Yeah, what? you Why need to start you? telling people that you're what on other accounts. What is wrong? I don't know how to find you. I don't even. See I can do the perfect Ray impression. Ready? I got him. Hi. You know that that was. Kind of like Ray, actually. All right, how much for Ray's internet history? I already looked it up. It was, um... So I'm trying to think oh, of something yeah. troll, breaks, like, and I couldn't think of anything. Breaks. I didn't actually look at anything. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of something. But then I'm afraid people are gonna, like, take it out of context. So now I don't want to make the joke. Ha <laughs> 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 Lily! You drink this bottle of water on Ray's desk. Oh. It looks like an expensive water bottle. Oh, it's fresh. Go ahead and drink it. Carbonated spring water bottle. Exceptional I, purity and truly uh, occurring mineral. Okay, first of all, it's from Mount Shasta. The tallest of the Dude, she is a menace! Dude. They're talking about water. chakra. What is this water? <laughs> I'm gonna like, ask her if I can try it. She, she did ask me if she could try it. I said yes because um, I accidentally bought sparkling water. I don't like sparkling water. I actually don't like carbonation. Um, but I can handle herbas because it's like lightly carbonated. But I normally don't like carb... Like I don't really drink soda for that reason as well. Because it's too spicy in my mouth. And uh, so I told her, I was like, you can have... I just opened it, tried it, and then... Just left it there, thinking that it, the bubbles would go away, but so it's probably flat, but yeah, I just I gave it to her. I could have this water. I'm gonna try. I'll tell you, I'll let you guys know how it is. It tastes like spicy water, because it's carbonated. I feel like a little healthier. <laughs> the bottle looks ex like cool. It looks fancy. Thank she you, said right? healthier. Set up. I'm definitely gonna jack this water, so I'm, I'm gonna take this with me. It's like a little souvenir. I kind of want to jack this setup too. She did ask me for my setup, uh... Uh... It's not perks. It's my setup... She asked me for the links to my stuff for, used in my setup, because she actually really liked it, so... Oh, no. HD Lily I mean, yeah. soon? Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, Ray, but this made my night. What? Saved. So it seems this guy didn't build oh, a very deep burrow. The hamster. This plant. But the quality. Why is the quality so bad? Is this just a YouTube thing, man? Do I lose money if I bid and lose? Yes. No, no you, don't. you don't. No. <laughs> you only. You have to, so the, the way it works is the top bidder has to. What? <laughs> <laughs> the top bidder has to donate the amount. Of you know, sometimes I. Sometimes I believe things that aren't true or real and I act confidently on um, what I think is to be true or real and then um, I'm wrong. <laughs> A lot of the time, it's true! Oh my god, girl! Dude, it, she's got a goofy ass laugh. This is the face of a person who says murder in 0.1 seconds for what would you do without consequence? I mean, yeah. What? Self-defense. Cutest fit of Ray ever. Oh my gosh, this is so long ago. This is uh, so long ago. The quality. Help. Help. 
Miyagi. He tried to shoot me, but he got the wrong artillery. I keep up her new shows with kind of synergy. Under the sheet, she can bring Ray to to CG change. She did not just say that. <laughs> Raven getting mentioned. Let's go. Oh my gosh, another another fit pick. Dude, this house was incredible. I miss it so much. Uh well, it's fun while it lasted. What is this face I'm making? Every time Sakuna avoids a spicy question with a troll answer. True! <laughs> I was just switching from Twitch to YouTube from Hassan's live stream and I came back to this frame. Liar! Yeah, right! You totally paused this! Uh, on purpose! Admit! Admit it! Confess! There's no way! The, the, for Ray, it's... Blah, 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 blah. We give it to Sakuna did not hold back. Yeah. That, that was the principle. That was the 10K. Okay, uh, we, we might as well just spin it until it hits him. It oh, my camera froze. Thank you. All right, I, I, I apologize for my accusations. Um, I was under the impression of being also very non-charitable towards you because I've been watching too many crime videos. Hello, everybody! Oh, I apologize. Yeah. Kuno, three. Give me two. some hot Spicy slap. Let's go again. Make it good. Make it good. Make it good. Oh! Oh, wait, so I hit the next person. What? I'm okay with this. Spin it. Are you I'm scared of this. Dude, he, he slapped me with the force of a thousand suns. He hit me so hard! I'm glad he didn't hold back though, because I was kind of curious what it'd be like to be slapped full force in the hand. Oh, <laughs> no, like oh Are you for real? It's oh! Oh, it's <laughs> what the heck? Oh, Dude, the quality God. is crazy. Oh, I can't look. I can't look. I can't look, right, but I'm still that? looking. Okay. Ready? No, not here. Yeah. Ow! Oh, no! Do it harder. You actually Damn, want to do it? Damn, she slapped her. No. Like, yeah, People power. are paying for this. Like, you didn't you don't hold back. Don't want yeah. me to hold back at all. For charity! Maybe hold back like 1%. Or or hold back. 1% hold, hold back! Oh! Ow! <laughs> you told me. That was so hard. <laughs> oh, Ow! <laughs> it was a good slap. It was a good slap. I'm not gonna lie. It was a good slap. Oh, yeah! Wait. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We have more, uh... Or I should use this as a thumbnail. Why didn't I use this as a thumbnail?! Is it... It's too late now. Arcon... Arconia. Yes, yes. Thank you. It's past Christmas time. Anko. <laughs> Watercolor painting of Mika made by me! Happy New Year's, everyone. This is adorable. What's it like? Wow. Oh my gosh, look at little baby. He's so cute. He looks so happy and Christmassy. I love it. It's so cute. Is that us? <laughs> I also <laughs> blame that. Meow. <laughs> The official, unofficial Valkyrie rap 2022. The official, unofficial? Oh my gosh, I forgot about the intro. Wrapped. As 2022 comes to an end, I decided to make a review of how Ray's year has gone. So without further ado, here's Ray's year at a glance, 2022. Two major accomplishments she did... Uh, Buying a Lambo. <laughs> Being on a billboard in Times Square. She also did three music videos this year. That was this year? Wait, what? All 
three of these were- Dude, I am so- Look at plus one for Ray. I look so dead here. Ray did a lot of traveling this year to places like Japan, Korea, Las Vegas, New York, Washington, social media, and a lot of kids. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, hold on. I. Analytics. Instagram. 50 posts. 27 million likes. Twitter. Not including replies of th uh, 3 million on Twitter. TikTok. 7 TikToks. 3.6 million likes. 22.1 million views. Reddit. Top 1% of Reddit communities. 21k sun rays join Reddit. Let's go! YouTube. This took way too long. 21 YouTube videos. 176 public VODs. Uh, 678 million total VOD views. 385,300 average... <laughs> uh, LaFans. TwitchCon. Most crowded person as a YouTube streamer. Jim Shark. Uh, Global Ambassador. <gasps> Roomies! Aww. <laughs> Ray is what she considers to be her happiness. Her happiness continues to shine a light onto others and make me reciprocate the energy. Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. What the heck? Sweet! So nice. Thanks, everyone. Who else imagines her holding a sword on this waiting for stream? <laughs> waiting for stream screen. Oh, yeah, the marbles. I need more thumbs. Mm -hmm. Since it's... I mean, it's thank... See not, see not. Leslie and her nieces? Dude, yeah, can we look at my shoes here? These are my tallest heels that I have. And look at how much taller Leslie is. I mean, she does have heels as well, but... Dude, she has a tall girl. Tall! <laughs> so tall. Where am I? One year since the original Rumi's announcement. Oh my gosh! You look like a lawyer. Ah! Oh, it's the second vid was playing. Jesus, scared me. We announced this during the forty-eight hour stream. Where am I? News is Myung is going to be moving in with me Woo! for a few months. I think. Yeah. So, yeah, she's moving in with me. We're going to be roommates. We're going to be roommates. How sick is that? Yeah, so. Very excited. I'm very excited. Aww. Very, so that's when I'm going to help Myung move into my place. So I'm going to be living here until then, pretty much. That's the plan. And someone Whoa. else is moving in with us. Oh. <gasps> for a month or two. Someone else is moving in with us. Hui, 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 hui. Spit it out! Who is it? <laughs> someone probably unexpected. Um, someone, someone that I might share a brain cell with. Anyways, I gave Saikuno a room. <laughs> Jeez. About to lose the case. Boy, changing it up. People are paying for this. Like you didn't you don't want me to hold back at all. You don't hold back. Dude, the second video keeps playing is driving me crazy. You look like a lawyer that's about to lose the case. Changing it up. No, 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 no. <laughs> is this DMCA? Oh, DMCA free. Oh, Jesus. Ah, it was good, man. This is no, no, no. I want to be a lawyer that wins the case. Wait, you guys are saying it's DMCA, but... This says DMCA free. Well, now I'm paranoid. I'm oh, paranoid now. Back, like, 1%. Don't hold back. back. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Go crazy. Oh! Ow! You told us. We saw that. We saw that.
Rain Miang, bring me joy. Cute. Look at Mika. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's Taylor Swift? Bro! How dare! Oh, unverified. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Oh god, was that enough to get striked? Oh god, I don't know, I don't know. Sign a Ray plays. I saw this on Twitter, so cute. We're big boys, this will be easy. Look at the little clap. He's so cute and tiny. Actually shitting himself. Literally physically block blocking in real life. One hour later. Ray, help, I'm dying. It was not easy. Wait, oh my gosh, I forgot. We have to finish Poppy Playtime. Wait, I forgot! It's cute. Thank you. Thank you, John. Oh, like to think DMCA? <laughs> How dare. Wake me up when this happens. Kind of miss Fortnite. Kind of miss season three Fortnite. Let's play for you guys. I will. Dude, I wish, I wish everyone would just have a Fortnite phase again. Please. Because I actually, I would play more Fortnite if I had more people that played it more consistently. It's true. It's true. It's true. Ah! Like, I want to play with friends, but no one really is into it, you know? Did she ever say why she kidnapped her sister? <laughs> it was for a video. It was for a video. Ugh. You don't even need sound to know what she's saying, lol. It's meant to be muted. It's a repost. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I'm freaking out because of tech issues, I think. What's new? <laughs> this clip is so loud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I'm freaking out. Net Kuno. Let's see. Ah! Saikuno? He's still going. Boop. Bloop, 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 bloop. They're, they're gonna love my nets. Ah, <sighs> Rip Raft. We'll never finish. Never finish the game. Hopefully this is a sign. I mean, this is close enough to a, a flame sweater pick, right? <laughs> Close it up! <laughs> oi, oi! No DMCA! Stop! My resting face is so angry. If Myung trash talks by... Oh, we saw this before, but this is a different clip. Not nice. <laughs> it's not nice, Miyoung. It's not nice at all, actually. Messed up. Oh, this clip. It's a 1v4. Jesus, not me spraying and praying. You're kidding. Wow. You should watch the shorts in your channel. I'm actually... I don't watch my shorts either. I don't watch my shorts because I don't like watching stuff about me. This is why I avoid doing Reddit recaps more often. Because it's all about me. But I feel like this is the least I can do. Ugh. Oh god. I'm scared to see them. <laughs> this is Ray and Leslie sharing the same brain cell for 28 seconds. My girl. <laughs> this is it. This is our map. This is, this is our map. Probably best to play as a team. Dude, I wish the quality was better with these clips. This is our map. Probably best to play as a team. 
Stop. Need a drop. Did someone bite me? Anyone got money? Bye. We do. We do plant, and then I just play first plant. Easy. That was sick. That was sick. It well, it was cute, and then it turned into that. And I speak German nine. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> That's my favorite joke that I've been telling for like twenty years, and I still do it. Get it? Cause. Because nine is no, no in German, and then you asked if I speak German, but I said a German word. But I don't know how to... Never mind. <laughs> ha ha ha. You know, you could have just ended it there. You didn't have to add the dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> True. Unnecessary. Uncalled for. <laughs> what was that? DMCA free. Oh, well, now I'm scared to see the unverified DMCA vids. <laughs> that time, the time when Ray lost her soul for five seconds playing Mortuary Assistant. Hello? Ah! Oh, God! Oh, my God! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really hurt my abs. My abs are so sore. <sighs> Baby Amigops. <laughs> Amigops. <laughs> oh. Aww. You're gonna buy me. You're gonna buy me. I miss Among Us mostly because it was so much easier to get everyone together, play, because everyone was into it. Everyone was so into Among Us at the same time. And it's just easier playing games when everyone is enjoying it. <laughs> we need another one. That's not World of Warcraft, please. Please. Are you doing a pog face? I don't know what face that is, but that is not... Oh my gosh. What in the... Valkyrie Art Study. Oh! I've been studied. Draw the left eye first. Wow! I've been studied. Yeah. Aya, aya! Dude, that's totally DMCA, I think. Oh my gosh, are these all of my going live tweets for the year? Whoa! Wait, that's crazy! I wanna see. Oh, it's it's Big Toe, not DMCA. Okay, Ooh, thank you. I miss my old streaming room. So many selfies. I'm a, I'm a sofa kid with the silliest flows. Got American dogs loving big boy toe in a German whip, so I can't go slow. Being grafted, oh, you know, I got that dough. Summertime, you drink to the sky, get and wave with a voice, and I fly to the bye. Oh my god. I live till I die, got too much I want to say. I'm a reach for the sky. I got the formula, and it's sick. I get your body moving like a pogo stick. Oh my gosh. A year and one minute of streams. <laughs> this fit is absolutely fire, especially with the hair down like that. 
Yeah, but see, what had happened was I was wearing Balenciaga and they're, they're uh, uh, canceled right now. So, uh, not supposed to see that. I thought I covered it up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a whole day dedicated to Ray. Huh? <gasps> National Short Girl Appreciation Day. Well, where are my gifts then, huh? Where are my presents? Guys, I'm not that short. I <laughs> I'm only laughing because it sounds funny to say out loud. But it's true. I feel like I'm... I'm average. I think. Oh, God. She made it to A1. Rachel Ray Hofstetter. <laughs> Is this DMCA? Please stop. That was cute. Rachel Ray Hofstetter. Ray voice acting in Sonic Prime. DMCA video. Oh god. Yeah, I, I did that, but there's. <laughs> I I haven't talked about this because there's a I, I don't know if I can, but there is um there's a little issue that we ran into with the show. So yeah, I haven't But yeah, this was the voice acting thing that I that I did, but um I'm not I can't say anything because we're we're it's like an ongoing thing, so Unfortunately, uh, yeah, that's why I haven't really talked about it, but yeah, so moving on. Like your water What's it Throwback to silent Flippy's subathon. Ray choose her, her ice cream. <laughs> yep, true. Some people I know like it extremely cold. Some people like it room temperature. I like Some it extremely like cold. Ice water. Bro, how strong your teeth, bro? I always want to eat ice cream. You know what I mean? I like ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, I you do? You <laughs> do? What the fuck? I, I do. Can you guys bite your ice cream? What kind of teeth you got? Mm, oh, solid. no. That, I cannot eat ice cream. No, no, no. <laughs> no. no. Wait, can you guys eat ice cream? Like, what do you do if there's, like, chunks in your ice cream? You have to chew it. What do you do? Like, if there's Oreo pieces in there, you just lick the cookie to death? Like, what is that? Oi, 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 oi. No one can eat ice cream, man. You guys <laughs> lick it? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who the yeah you lick it's ice cream. It's good practicing. <laughs> what? Ew. Huh? The next ice cream I'm eating. <laughs> yeah, every ice cream gets better because you're gonna be Oh my god. <laughs> These guys are wrong? sick. <laughs> on my coffee table. Sakuno so calling Ray for help after learning Leslie peed on her coffee table. <laughs> what? Leslie? Oh, this is a quiet clip. Coffee table. No, <laughs> what the? I'm telling Ray. I'm telling Ray. I'm telling Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh god this is a cover photo of um one of oh, i can't pronounce ten temptation song teeth and the girl looks just like ray what do you guys think i don't think so I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh god, no. Kinda? Really? I don't see it. Every time people say I look like people, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Moving on. Found this while looking for a new headset. Yeah! It's me! That's not you? No, that's not me! <laughs> mm. 
Yep. I've been sponsored by HyperX for a very long time. It's been quite a while indeed. Ah, <sighs> now I can relax. Sakura lures Rei into Yu-Gi-Oh! And we still haven't played! It's crazy! She's gonna kill- <gasps> Hello! Are we mad? She's close, she's close. She's gonna kill me. Oh my god. The second clip, the second clip. <gasps> oh no! I'm effing! Hello, hello? Hello, hello, hello? Are we back? Are we back? Are we good? Are we good? Okay. I think we're good now. We were randomly effing for... For what? Randomly effing for what? We're good. Couldn't help but notice you're sitting here. Did you, you think you got time for one Yu-Gi-Oh match? I don't even have it installed yet. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> next time. No. I'll get her next time, guys. I will. I will install it. Oh. Oh, oh he just. He left. He just I left. I will. I. No. I'll get her next time, guys. I Let will, me see her reaction I on stream. Will install it. <laughs> oh, 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 he just, he left. <laughs> he, he just left. We'll get her oh. next time, guys. We'll get her next time. I gotta install Yu-Gi-Oh! So I could... We'll get her next time, guys. We'll get her next time. What do you mean, she get her next time? It. In fact, our house, everyone's going to the Shadow Realm, except for us. Uh, on Steam, right? Dude, my makeup was crazy that day Master from the cosplay. Duel. Wait, let me ask him. I don't know where he is, though. Which one do I download? Is it Yu-Gi-Oh! Master <laughs> Duel or Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, oh, you, you... Oh, you're, you're coming to me. <laughs> Instead yeah, of running expert. away, you're coming to me about Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what a nerd! What do you mean, running away? What a uh, nerd! So a, a quote from, uh, anyway, um... Oh, yeah, my it's Master Duel. God. It's, Can I believe in you? She's too... Toxic Sakuno teabagging Ray after killing her. <laughs> The audacity. She's, she's gonna kill me, man. She's close, she's close. She's gonna kill me. I cannot no. believe in you. She's too good. No, no, no. Oh, oh god. god. Yes. Guys, do we do the thing? <gasps> yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Teabag, teabag. Do it. Teabag, teabag. Do it. I got that. Uh, I'll just leave. Oh <laughs> my gosh, the audacity. <laughs> she's gonna kill me, man. <gasps> the nerve. Ray needs this. Just found out about the $1,400 Louis Vuitton carrot. <laughs> what? I mean... <laughs> I would put carrots in this for sure. What is it for? What is this? Louis Vuitton carrot. <laughs> Thank you, Ray, for being awesome. Thanks for the art. Was this you or is this someone? Oh, it is. It is. Ven Ross. Thank you. Ask my friends. When <laughs> Another DMCA free edit. Is it actually though? Because I just don't know anymore. I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm too scared. All right, let's uh, do top of the year. I think we're doing Valo soon, but I'm not sure. I'm waiting until there's five con confirmed people, and right now there's four. Top of this year. I've always been on your side, and you're not on mine. Hugs for Raymond, DMCA free. Why is it loading so long? What is this? Help, help! Why is it loading forever? Oh no, is my internet going out? What's going on? Oh, there you go. Oh god, I'm gonna cringe. I'm gonna cringe. I'm gonna cringe. Okay. Don't use me, I guess. Alright, this is going in circles. How is this uh, in the circle? You're just, like, um, you're just fucking with, with me at this point. You don't give a fuck. Oh, Whatever. that's me. I'm fucking with you. Yes, like, I, I'm trying to fix this, and I'm trying to make sense of what the fuck you're talking about. And you're giving me nothing. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> you're the other guy. You know I'm, I'm not. But I guess it doesn't matter what I say, because you don't believe me. So whatever. But <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not using you to get other guys. Or whatever the fuck you're saying. And you don't believe me when I say that, so what's the point? <laughs> There's no point in talking about this, then. You know, just believe the whole damn city over me. Whatever. Look, I'm tired. Listen. You're giving me a whole lot of nothing, honestly, so... But I'll take what you've given me, and... Yeah. You can do better! So, uh, now what happens? I need some time, I guess. I don't know, it sucks when, you know, someone that you're closest to in the 
back. I've always helped you whenever you needed it. Yeah, except for right now. Except for today, right? What do you mean? I've always had your fucking back. Today, I go, Randy. I mean, if you don't think I have your back, then I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Hang up the phone, girl. Hang up. You were telling me the way you acted today and you called me after you talked to Lexi, saying that I'm using you, believing this random-ass girl. She's not a random-ass the... girl. Well, neither was I. <laughs> Tell him! You're not a random-ass girl either. Had your back, all right. Uh, well, you we'll figure this in. out. We'll sort this out. Whatever, Randy. Bye, dude. I did such a good job. I don't care what anyone says, all right. But I, I think even though I made a lot of mistakes, I think I put in a lot of effort for Raymond. I tried to be an RP -er. It was hard, <sighs> but the drama was so overwhelming sometimes oh my gosh oh my gosh raymond and tommy t for all the tommy team tommy peeps this is actually really cute artwork cute pool party dude i remember these gasp oh girl he's looking want to take a dip <laughs> Why not? What's that on your back? What are you talking about? <laughs> I love the queen. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Thank God it was just a dream. <laughs> so good. That's so good. You're so stubborn, it's actually. Pretty please. Randy Bullet 2022. Oh my god. god the Pretty quality. Please, man. <laughs> Whoa, why did that You're so stubborn, it's actually. Oh my insane. god. Pretty please, man. <laughs> Whoa, why did that <laughs> she told me to say it like that. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Congrats, man. You got Same one shirt. on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Please. This artwork by Nona though. He. <laughs> Very pretty art. Cute, cute, cute. Not like I told you or anything. I was wondering why it sounded so familiar. Not like I told you or anything. Oh my god. You were right. <laughs> one sec, one sec. Oh! <laughs> that was. That was such a funny moment. <laughs> Not like I told you or anything. Oh my God. You were right. Uh, double R and the girls. This is Rami, Randy. Leslie and me, or April Fools, April Fools, and Raymond. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Raymond cornering animated. Oh my gosh, the art for GTA was so good, though. Oh, oh! hello. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Last time the customers got scared. Is that a customer? <laughs> Get no. your drugs! What the? What the? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the hell? <laughs> Mbappe almost won GOAT for World Cup. I already had a tweet prepared. If Mbappe and his team won the World Cup, I was gonna tweet Mbappe on top. 
<laughs> but it, yeah, it didn't happen, so. All right. Uh huh. Taco recording the Raymond and Randy fight. Dude, these are iconic moments. All right. Uh huh. Thou shall not fuck with Randy Bullet, man. Oh, but he's fucked with you. Oh, so fuck. Oh, oh, what is it? <laughs> oh. Yo, the eleventh commandment. I don't know about that anymore, oh, man. Wasper. I don't know about that anymore. Oh my, the ending, guys. This is the ending right here. Oh, so romantic. Here, let me put you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad we at least both died. All right. His ego would have been through the roof. Have we seen all this? Yeah, this is top of the year. The last year. What the? Dodo bird with the toy. I think this is the toy that Tommy T got Raymond. Is that what it was from? I don't remember. Look at what you did, doo doo. Do you want me to cook you? Squack! Don't look at me like that. I know you're a cold-blooded killer. Sedge. Oh god, never mind. You're just like your owner, you know that? We'll have to learn how to sew. Happy noises. Oh, what the heck? That's so cute! All my trophies from previous men. <laughs> Raymond was really collecting some trophies. Select your lucky item. Wait, that's cute. That's so cute. <laughs> to Tomio and Rayliet. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this is so funny. Mm. See. Let's read this. The vanilla unicorn. Are you gonna talk to her or just or just stare at her all night? Tommy T talking to talking to It's not Dave, it's not Dwayne, it's Wait, I'm effing again? Uh oh, I'm really worried that the F's are gonna get worse. Dean! Dean! I knew it started with a D. Dean. Thanks for a reminder. Are we back? Oh, the Fs are so bad today. No, you aren't. I, I can see on my on my monitor that I am lagging a bit. I think I am lagging for some people. Oh god. Wait, this is extra stuck. What? Whew. Little bit. Sheesh! Look at her. <gasps> Eye contact. Eye contact. Chang gang. It might be a bit complicated now. Will that really stop you? Hmm. No. <laughs> so good. Incredible. Incredible. A question of Ray fam or a question of family. Ray, you know fan art. Posted on behalf of Colleen Lore on Twitter. Is it true, you know? Where is your chain? I don't have it anymore. Is it because of what happened? Did your boys take it from you? No, they would never. Then why? You guys are my friends, but they told me that every time I choose to help you guys from getting hurt, it cuts them and it cuts them deep. I can't do them. I can't do that to them. They are my boys. They are family. <sighs> I gave the chain away willingly, Raymond, to prove my loyalty. But what about Rami, Randy, and April? What about me? Am I not your family too? Don't worry, Ray. I know we're not even sure about whether or not we're blood related, but it changes nothing. I'll always be your friend. You'll always be my twin. But you have them, Raymond, and I have mine. Oh my god. Ow! Ugh. Stabbed in the heart. 
Why can't we have both? Dot dot dot. You would shoot me if they... You would shoot me if they asked you to, wouldn't you? In times of war, and if they ordered me to, I might. But you know about loyalty. You know about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Wouldn't you do the same? That's the difference between us, Raymond. My family would never ask that of me. I would never have to choose. <laughs> Amazing! So good. So good. Dude, how is there not a GTA comic series? GTA 5 comic series. Someone make it of the lore, the previous lore that's happened in the past. That would be sick. My mentor, my day one. Randy Bullet Raymond. Art by Just Leo on Twitter. You did I? No, I didn't. Dot dot dot. I messed up again. Look at the end of the day, you did your best. Just keep practicing, you'll get better. Really? Yeah. Now let's get you patched up and we'll try again. Thanks, Randy. Yeah, I got you. I got you. After one trip to Miracle Doctor later. Just you wait, I'll be one of the best criminals in the city. I believe you. I might even be better than you. Sorry, I'm... Okay. I think we're not doing Velo. I think we could do more crime. I don't know. Um... We're having a tough time getting five because uh, one person couldn't make it last second anymore. So we're probably going to be able to watch some crime. I thought we promised not to lie anymore. So cute. You guys are incredible. Novalo. I mean, maybe. We'll see. Kind of depends. Oh my gosh. Rare picture of Ray from the awards from Instagram, Mikey photograph. Why was I making this face? What's going on here? Am I laughing? Am I crying? What's going on? Do, do, do. Oh, is that Pokey's head? Hey, yo, what's going on here? What is going on in this photo? This is cute or whatever. <laughs> what are your intentions with my girl? Why did you give her a gift? Oh, hey, guys. Raymond with all her gifts from different boys. The cat reminded me of her. They're both cute, Tommy T. <laughs> Oh, I didn't. And anyways, it was poisonous. Randy, in denial. I mean, obviously, because it'd make me look good, Gunner. <laughs> That's so cute. April protecting her girl from these men. So cute. <laughs> I drew Randy and Ray outfits. Clothes swap. Yeah, what the heck? He. <laughs> Cute. It's a point. It's like a whole body. Randy sneakily fully upgrading Ray's car. Blubbers. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, it like goes all the way through. I like it. That was nice. I like it. Uh. It's so pretty. Uh. There's no liveries. It's <laughs> a point. It's like a whole body kit. Um, yeah. She's spoiled or whatever. CG puts Raymond's loyalty to the test. Art by Nyes Connor on Twitter. 
Ray, it's okay. I could never hate you. What if they test her loyalty? What the heck? That's intense! Oh gosh, whoa, the stress. Ah, uh, thinking about it stresses me out. <laughs> we dodged that one. Can you imagine? That would be crazy. Oh, I'm on the <laughs> you just said oh, this was such a funny stream. My new favorite Randy Ray moment, both POVs, ra rated epics, and Valkyrie. So, Wayne. I thought I did, yeah, and then he ran. Oh, I see you both. Oh, dance again, dance again. I was over here. What's good, bro? <laughs> oh, you see right us? Here, huh? <laughs> yeah, I see you guys. I okay, I'm, I'm, I'm on the... Cause Take I'm some on... glow sticks out. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I mean, stop tossing me glow sticks. Okay. <laughs> you have a radio? Oh, Wait, fuck. Wayne, so she's scared? on the bridge there. Stop. Um, okay. Do... Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm good, I'm good. How do I glow stick? I might fall. I'm so scared. Okay, you I'm... You won't, you won't. I'm on the support beam Me closest to you guys. Yeah? Under the bridge. I'm on it. Can you jump back on the bridge or not? No, I'm stuck here. <laughs> How are you Do you see my hand? Do you, you see, see me or nah? What I see hand, you, yeah, fam? I see you. <laughs> I he... How can I know? I'm blind as shit, man. Whip out some glow sticks, quick. Okay, uh, okay. I'm just scared. I'm scared I'm gonna fall. Let me let me try. But you got good balance, don't worry, I believe. You believe? Okay. Okay. Uh dance glow stick? Oh, I see you! I see you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it Look work. at how tiny! Oh, right there's the glow stick right there. There's no way he would have been able to see Raymond from without the glow sticks. It actually worked. It's crazy. How the fuck am I going to save you? <laughs> what the you always, fuck? You always save me. Oh my <laughs> god, I actually <laughs> see you. <laughs> I can get a heli, maybe you can jump in. <laughs> if I Can't jump, I'm actually gonna die. Right I think. They're coming for you. But this so is sad. literally impossible. I'll figure something also, out. They're in the back. They're in the back of the okay, EMS. But, like, the right cops now. can't the know. The I'm alive. Yeah, the stairs are roller Stop coaster. Stop your <laughs> glow sticks, bro. Put them away. Okay, I know we are now. Okay, road, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, but there's no way for you to get lower or anything. I, I can't. I'm actually stuck I'm here entirely. I see you. I see you. You're right. It actually works. How the fuck am I gonna save you? <laughs> you what always, the fuck? Yeah, you always save me. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god, I actually see you, bro. <laughs> I can get a heli, maybe you can jump in. <laughs> if I jump, I'm actually gonna die, I think. So cute. Mammoes. <laughs> Tribute to some of the boys that have been a huge help to Ray. True. The boys. You always save me, blubbers. <laughs> When's crime? I think we could probably go right now. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, Are you guys I'm ready? You I'm, okay, ready. Yeah, so sure I'm ready. I'm ready. Alright. We shall end the day with some crime. Oh, let me find the playlist again. It's crime time! Everyone get your snackies! Uh... Uh... Watching... True crime... Videos... Trigger... Warning... Yay! No, Valo is cancelled. Since, uh, sucks and thanks for the joining. Since you like true crime, have you thought of playing a chill game called Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney? It's really good and you solve crime as a lawyer. <gasps> oh. I actually haven't. I I know that's a lawyer game, but I've, I've never thought about that. It's a pretty good game. Wait, really? <gasps> I mean, not today, but maybe? It's amazing? Oh my gosh. Um, let's see here... I need to find the playlist. Blah, 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 blah. 
Here it is. All right, so let's get like a nice two hour vid. Solid. I've never played it before. Mm -mm. It does sound interesting. Blap, blap. All right, let's see. Um, I'm gonna move myself down here. Please watch the one that says Teen Killer realizes she'd be caught. Have, uh, haven't we watched this? Or no? The following interrogation. Oh, we haven't seen this. Oh, two hours exactly? I'm so down. When a teen killer realizes she's been caught. Okay. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. The following interrogation footage has never been seen before. Oh. Grandma. <gasps> oh, my God. oh my God, chill. It's too loud. Karen sobbing? Oh, chill! What would make a grandmother emotionally break down like Oof. that? For Karen Brooke, it was the murder her 15-year-old granddaughter, Alyssa Bustamante, just confessed to. If you had to describe Alyssa Bustamante's childhood with a single word, it would undoubtedly be tragic. According to case documents, Alyssa confided in a mental health professional that she had been subjected to severe mistreatment at a young age. The resulting trauma led to Alyssa being diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, and the doctor stated she developed an abhorrence for violence. She'd been the result of a teenage pregnancy, as her mother Michelle was only 15 years old when she was born. Though her grandparents were excited to have grandchildren, Alyssa's parents, Michelle and Caesar, weren't prepared for parenthood. It wasn't long before Alyssa was joined by three younger siblings, twin brothers, and a sister named Emma. The children grew up in a turbulent house. Is that better? Cesar Bustamante was eventually charged with three counts of assault and was sentenced to serve three concurrent prison terms. There was no stability for Alyssa, her brothers, and sister. Yeah, I'm gonna speed and they it were up. often evicted, forcing them to bit. constantly pack up and move. Michelle's parents, Karen and Gary, oh, Brooke, yeah. that's stepped the in to stuff. help take that's care the of the stuff. children. <laughs> However, they soon found that many of their efforts, such as sending food to the family and visiting, were all in vain. Eventually, they realized that there was only one thing they could do that would truly make a difference in the children's lives. The grandparents decided to campaign I don't think for I've full seen custody this one. of Alyssa and her siblings. When they gained full custody of the children, Alyssa was about eight years old. Living with her grandparents offered her stability for the first time in her life, but Alyssa had already been exposed to far too much. Seeking a new start, Alyssa's grandparents moved the family to the small town of St. Martins, Missouri, where they bought a nice home on a large piece of land. Right away, the twin boys and Emma flourished in their new location, but Alyssa seemed to have difficulty adjusting. It was in this small town of just over a thousand people, where everyone knows everyone, that Alyssa's gruesome crime would devastate all who live there. It was Wednesday, October 21st, 2009, Monka. when Alyssa's younger sister, Emma Bustamante, now six years old, knocked on the Olten's front door. She wanted nine-year-old Elizabeth Olten to come out and play. The Bustamantes and Olten's only lived four houses down from each other, and the two young girls would often play at each other's houses. But on this particular day, Elizabeth would never make it home. Ooh. Elizabeth Olten was a typical girly girl. Before Emma showed up at Elizabeth's house, she'd been excitedly practicing her lines at the dining room table for an upcoming musical, Noteworthy. Elizabeth's mother, Patty, said she couldn't go play at first. Dinner would be ready soon. But the girls begged her enough for her to finally give in. Patty gave her daughter clear instructions to be home by 6 p.m. when the sun would nearly be set in late October. And Patty trusted that Elizabeth would come home since the fourth grader was terrified of the dark. Emma and Elizabeth played board games and hopscotch in the Bustamante driveway. Eventually, Elizabeth told Emma that she needed to go home. Emma stood on the big rock by her driveway and watched her friend begin her walk home. However, she didn't stay to see if Elizabeth made it all the way home safely. <gasps> Emma was later asked by investigators if Elizabeth might have walked through the woods to get home, but she was adamant that they never went in the woods. Emma continued playing outside, though she didn't know for how long. At some point, she lost a hair tie in the thorns by her driveway, and when she tried to retrieve it, she scratched her hand and her foot got stuck. Oh my. Emma said she yelled until Alyssa came to help her, claiming Alyssa had been in the house and heard her through an open window. As Alyssa helped her out of the thorns, Emma noticed a spot of blood on the thigh of Alyssa's pants. <gasps> she asked her sister about it, who explained it away by saying she had her period. Alyssa made her little sister promise not to tell anyone about the blood. When 6 p.m. passed, Elizabeth hadn't returned home. 
Worried, Patty called Elizabeth's cell phone over and over, but there was no answer. Patty then called Emma's grandmother, Karen, to ask if Elizabeth was still at their house. Karen told her that Elizabeth had never even been to the home and wasn't even aware that the girls had been playing. She hung up and immediately called the police. Authorities began their investigation by interviewing the last known person Elizabeth was with, Emma Bustamante. All right, let's get a vote. Is it too fast? I, I feel like a, um, I feel like uh, there's more people than usual saying that it's too fast. I feel bad. It's good. I love this speed. I just got here, so I don't know. It's good. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave it like this. I like normal speed. Oh God. Okay. Uh, no, maybe I'll slow it down. Yeah, I wish it was a little slower, but a little faster. Like one point, one point one three or something. You know what? Let's run a poll. I'm gonna run a poll. All right, uh, ooh, this is exciting. Start a poll. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, which speed for video? Add an option. Uh, normal speed or 1.25 speed. And, uh, get rid of that. Ask your community. All right, the vote is here. I'm gonna remove, unpin this one. All right, as you guys are taking the vote, it's at the top of the chat, I'm going to turn my heater on because I'm quite chilly. Don't you mean one point, no, no, it's 1.25 right now, right, like this. Oh my gosh! It's, it's, uh, most people are voting to keep it the same. Right. On. There's a custom speed! How? <gasps> no way! Everyone wins! Let's go! Everyone's a winner! <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so here, and you click this, go to custom. Wow, that's incredible. 1.15, maybe? Let's see. Hey, Emma described playing with Elizabeth from approximately 5 wow. to 6 p.m. Before Amazing. Elizabeth left for home. Grandma Karen sat in the room during this questioning. Don't even- Emma continually- I'm just gonna say right now, don't you dare say it's too fast or it's too slow, okay? This is permanent speed! Glancing at her as she answered the investigator's questions. Permanent! There was one detail Emma <laughs> gave that struck investigators as odd. The blood stain she spotted on Alyssa's pants. Karen seemed removed from the interview, but toward the end she stated, We just want the truth to come out, whatever it is. By 10 p.m., word of the missing nine-year-old spread through this small town, and hundreds of residents came out in support of the Olton family to search for little Elizabeth. When they had searched the whole neighborhood, as well as the woods, and turned up nothing, law enforcement decided to ping Elizabeth's cell phone and found wow, that it led back speed. to the 60 That's acres awesome. of woods behind her home. Volunteers then made a strange so discovery, troll. <laughs> a hole in the woods in the shape of a grave. <gasps> as the forensics team began to process the scene, the FBI began interviewing Alyssa. Oh! Look at this hole. The water really exposed it. That's crazy. For reasons that are still unknown, they brought her to the hole where Alyssa admitted something odd. She dug the hole. Uh, when questioned why girl? exactly she dug it, she said she just likes digging holes and would bury dead animals when she found them. Strangely, the hole ended up being empty, but investigators oh. knew something was very off with Alyssa. That's interesting. They then conducted a search of her room and discovered a shocking key piece of evidence. <gasps> one that they would wait to confront Alyssa with until her videotaped interrogation. 
This led to the most what? dramatic meltdown in any interrogation we've analyzed yet. Huh? Yeah, right. So if if you don't mind if I sit here so I can write, because I'm gonna be taking a lot of notes, so okay. it's important to note that when a person is brought in for interrogation, law enforcement have likely developed a reasonable suspicion that the person is involved in a crime. Karen accompanied Alyssa in the interrogation room. Going in, she fully believed Alyssa was innocent. She was in for the shock of her life as the truth began to unfold right before her eyes. Ooh. Call me for exactly what happened. We didn't go to seminary that day, right? Okay, so I woke up and I was like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. 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 I don't know Home, on the bus, and I get home around three. No, four. Three thirty. Three thirty. Four. I get home around then, and I just hung out in my room for a little while, and then I went for a walk around five, four thirty, five, something like that. She is feigning ignorance, commonly referred to as playing dumb. So I was just walking around in forest for a while. Uh oh. And I was supposed to take my little sister with me, but I ditched her because she's annoying. Okay. And I was just walking around in the forest, and then for about an hour, I came back around 5, 36-ish, and I went up in my room, and I heard, like, yelling. So I went outside, and I, like, she was down in the ditch area, she was stuck in thorn bushes. So I went down there, and I helped her out. And she asked me why I was waiting. Because, you know, I'm not on my period. Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, don't tell me about that. And so we went out there. Thanks, chat. And my brother and Anthony were asking about... <laughs> Bless you, my queen! <laughs> because she, they thought she was supposed to be at home or something. These are funny. Okay. <laughs> and I didn't really think much of it, so we just went back to the house. Alyssa nonchalantly shrugs her right shoulder. Shrugging only one shoulder is considered a modified shrug or a variant of a natural shoulder shrug. Abnormal movements like this often suggest uncertainty in what the person is conveying. Oh. She leans to her left, an additional nonverbal display of discomfort. The interrogator is in the position of power, blocking the only exit. He's also blocking the camera. Comfortable, Bustamante is now attempting to regain her power in a position of powerlessness. And then started to get ready to go to church because we have Wednesday night activities. Okay. And came, and he's like, he was on the door, and he was like, "Do you know where Wednesday is?" Because he couldn't find her. She begins to nod her head as she speaks. This does not align with her baseline pattern of nonverbal behavior. Something is off. Although we can only speculate, this may serve as a self-pacifying behavior. Bustamante is assuring herself that what she says is believable. Alternatively, Bustamante's head movements could be a conscious or subconscious manipulative nonverbal meant to spur agreement and empathy in the interrogator. And that's when things started to get, you know, people were like, oh, what's going on? Like, where is she? Continue to observe all the nonverbal indicators of discomfort that we mentioned previously, but take note of contrasts. We ended up going to church, and I don't know, a lot of stuff happened while we were there because it's from 7 to 8 15 ish. And when we came back, it was three shared cars in our property where there was people out searching everywhere. Uh -huh. and, Hello, Kevin. Um, that's pretty much it. Hello. Okay. Hey, buddy. Bustamante says, um, here. Um. She does not use this consistently throughout the interrogation. It is not one of her baseline tendencies. Because she does not regularly say, um, this moment is worth noting. It's also interesting to note that Alyssa uses what is known as an exclusion qualifier when she states, that's pretty much it. According to the retired CIA interrogator, Philip Houston, an exclusion qualifier is defined as being a tactic that enables people who want to withhold certain information to answer your question truthfully without releasing that information. Thank you, Sydney, Examples of for nine months. Thank you. include statements such as, not really, fundamentally, for the most part, probably, and so on. That's pretty much it. I want to sleep that guy. By stating that's pretty much it, she's technically being truthful, but only by leaving out key details and withholding information, <laughs> specifically the murder of Elizabeth Olden. When the CIA is interrogating an individual, they conduct both body language and statement analysis. They look for clusters of three or more indicators that occur in either quick succession or all at once. Mm. This exact moment is the perfect example of what a CIA officer looks for during an interrogation to determine if someone is being deceitful. Um, I don't know. 
that's pretty much it. I would say that guy. When Alyssa states that's pretty much it, there are four indicators that occur within just a few seconds. Oh, she, the they're reading her like a book. A half shrug of the shoulder, shaking of the head, and then nodding the head. Note how she shakes her head no as she states, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it. This is known as incongruent body language. Though, of course, you always want to look for clusters. Thank you, Nick. This particular moment and is significant Hanish. as Thank it's paired you. with other indicators, Danielle. Thanks, including everyone. statement analysis. Alyssa employs the exclusion qualifier multiple times throughout the interrogation. See if you can spot the other moments where she employs this tactic and post the timestamps in the comments. Okay. Alyssa gives officer- Wait, that's a good point. More like writing a book when you know the ending. That's a good point. That's true. Pretty much like you would watch the entire interrogation, know the result of it, and then that way you go back and analyze everything after it's happened. Hmm. David hmm. writes the outline of her movements on Wednesday the 21st. But two things become clear during this retelling of events. Alyssa had come into contact with Elizabeth Olton on the day she went missing. And Alyssa unwittingly places herself in the woods where Elizabeth's cell phone last pinged and where eventually they'll find Elizabeth. This confirms opportunity and the place for the crime to take place. But Alyssa's demeanor comes across as calm and confident. Hey, you have a boyfriend? I do. Okay, what's his name? His name's Okay. Do you know, has anybody talked to him about any of Sorry for pausing, but Anne says, I like the idea of body language is really inconsistent and sub subjective. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I heard, I think I heard like a week ago, um, someone mentioned that body language is pretty much pseudoscience because it's so subjective per person right what do you guys think thanks Jaden. because it, it's not everyone acts the same way for example if there's something traumatic that happens sometimes people laugh or make dark humor jokes about it to get through it or sometimes people go into a straight depression and cry and you know people take things differently yes sir i'm pretty sure he's been interviewed okay Alyssa's boyfriend had been interviewed by law enforcement and when the interview opens we see him biting his nails and looking nervous according to the case files there had been an eyewitness who claimed to see a teen allegedly resembling him near the location of elizabeth's disappearance oh this interview took place after Alyssa's own interrogation though he was also interviewed previously as well. And as the interview begins, he had just taken a polygraph test and was about to be confronted with the results. You're not, you're not being truthful with Oh, the, ugh, you know, ah, God, gone. my ears and my eyes. And we need to get, we need to come to the, we need to get, come to the, we need to get the truth. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. You know, we know a lot more stuff than we're leading on to, to believe. We've talked to several people. The interrogator sits closely to Bustamante's boyfriend, Dustin and speaks with authority. He states that they know Dustin has more information. This is a direct confrontation approach to interrogation. We talked to several of your friends, we talked to several of his friends. Hi, they told us some stuff. They told us some phone conversations. Yeah, polygraph tests are everything. unreliable as well. So what do you know? I don't know anything. What do you know? Nothing. All that I know is what the FBI told me. Why is the polygraph telling me different? Why is your body telling me different? Why is your heart telling me different? Because you're freaking them out! Nervous has nothing to do with it. We've talked about that. The interrogator is looking for a reason why Dustin is nervous. The polygraph test is all about psychophysiological detection of deception, PDD, or the use of physiological measures to detect lying. It measures certain autonomic physiological markers, such as heart rate, perspiration, and blood pressure. Dude! Oh, Examiners whoops. measure these markers at suspect. I just feel like anyone that is being being tested under a lie detector test or is being interrogated, whether you're innocent or not, there is that fear that you're going to be accused of something that you didn't do. Of course you're gonna be nervous. It's crazy. Specs baselines before they're interrogated. Then they measure how these markers change from question to question. These markers are associated with anxiety, which is often present when one lies. The interrogator knows that Dustin is nervous. 
However, the polygraph cannot show exactly why he is nervous, when he is nervous. Yeah. An adrenaline spike to a question True. could indicate lying or some other form of emotional arousal, not directly related to the topic of the question. The interviewer isn't outright saying if he failed the lie detector test. Later case documents revealed the polygraph's results. Alyssa's boyfriend was asked three questions during three. this polygraph, all concerning Elizabeth. Did you physically cause her death? Did you physically take her life? Did you do anything physical that ended her life? He answered no to all three. Yet according to the case files, it was determined that he was being deceptive in some way with his answers to all three questions. What? Nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. Your heart rebels against the lie when you can only tell a lie. And there's nothing you can do to control it. You can try to control your breathing all you want. You can think of other things all you want. But your heart, that right there, Tell the truth. Dude, this guy's scary. The heart is the first autonomic physiological baseline measurement collected. Some studies suggest that both heart rate and respiration rate show no significant increase or decrease, depending on whether the subject told the truth. But research has produced mixed results. Regardless of these inconsistencies, what is most telling is how suspects respond when under the impression that they were caught in a lie. Okay, yeah. Let us see how Dustin reacts when the interrogator implements this technique. I, okay, I do feel like that's probably like one good thing about lie detectors that you could freak someone out to tell the truth. You know, give them the impression that there's no way they're gonna get out of it. So we will explain. Why is touching him? Yeah, that was really annoying well, to see too. And he was poking him. We were out there and talked to all the neighbors who live out there. Even the neighbors who live in the subdivision behind behind where I live, and they're living in the subdivision behind where I also live. Talked to all those neighbors. We did a car. We did a spot check out there with cars. Now all the cars that came off and came through there, we stopped and talked to them. Mm -hmm. What if I told you somebody saw a kid about your size in a black hoodie with a black T-shirt and blue jeans on, standing there on the side of the road next to the guardrail? From that point on, we see the interview begin to use what is called the read technique. The read technique is an interrogation type used in the accusatory process. An interviewer tells the suspect that the results of the investigation clearly indicate they committed the yeah, crime my ears. in question. Do you hear that buzzing? It's a three-phase process. Audio is too dang. analysis, then a behavioral analysis interview. This phase is designed to be non-accusatory to develop investigative and behavioral information. What the was that lawyer game called again? Appropriate, the nine steps oh, of interrogation. Right. We did a photo lineup. What you can do it for? We did. During the initial neighborhood police canvas, the eyewitness said that they had seen a strange boy in a dark t-shirt and baggy pants standing alone at a guardrail near where Elizabeth went missing. The eyewitness had been shown a copy of Alyssa's boyfriend's driver's license photo, and they claimed that the picture resembled the person they had seen. We know that eyewitness testimony is notoriously inaccurate, though admissible in court. Witnesses rely on autobiographical memory, specifically episodic memory, which is a type of recall involving events with contextual details such as where and when something occurred. This type of memory is sensitive to memory bias. A witness might recall a suspect wearing a blue shirt a day after the occurrence, but state that the shirt was red a week later. So why is that? I wasn't there. Alyssa's boyfriend comes across pretty confident, borderline defiant, when he looks the interviewer directly in the eyes. It's interesting to see him be combative with the interviewer at the mention of law enforcement having already done a photo lineup. Contrary to popular belief, Anger is a more common reaction in individuals accused of something that is not true. If law enforcement had completed a photo lineup and it led to a positive identification, he would have already been arrested and charged. The constant accusation becomes exhausting, and suspects just want the process to end. Yeah. They assume that admitting something will end the interrogation. Yes. And most suspects think that invoking the rights of silence and counsel will label them as guilty. Alyssa's boyfriend is strong-willed throughout the entire interrogation and didn't take any of the bait the interviewer dangled in front of him. After he is questioned by the interrogator in the video, he's then questioned by Sergeant Rice. It was then that he confirmed the investigator's suspicions all along. He had been hiding something. Exactly. What did she tell you? She told you that she killed her. She told you that she strangled her. Oh my. And what else? Cut her. That's, she didn't get into detail with that. She just said strangled her and cut her. On October 22nd, Alyssa had gone to his house 
and told him about the crime she'd committed just the day before. He denied having ever been involved in the crime and said he wasn't present when it happened. So why had he lied? Once she ever found out that I gave away information that got her locked up, when, it, when she, like, I have a family, and she comes, she finds out where I live because she's obsessed about it and kills everybody. What if she gets out on bail and she finds out a way how to get take off her ankle bracelet and she comes and kills me in my sleep and my mom? Oh. What would you do if you were in a relationship with somebody and they committed a murder and they told you about this murder? You would probably want to report them, right? That's the right thing to do is to report them. But yeah, this kid is actually speaking about real fear. Like what if she gets out of prison? She comes out and kills you? What if she comes after your future family? That's a valid reason. You would be terrified for telling. Finds out where my sister. I'm moving. Scared of. Hi, Pokey. <laughs> I'm, I'm snitching, bro. Have fun in jail. <laughs> I do feel like this is a good well, case to snitch, chat. I guess that's understandable. Dustin was never implicated in the murder of Elizabeth Olden. Back in Alyssa's interrogation, Sergeant David Rice pulls a map of the surrounding woods and neighborhood. There's like a tree line. If you want to like draw this for you, I have a map. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now the thing about this, this map, okay. I don't Oh my God. Since... Okay, but if you're married, you actually don't have to stitch. I think you're legally covered. <laughs> I mean, you know, it kind of depends on the situations, you know? Also, Pokey, since you're here, I was watching, I was doing Reddit recap, and there was a little photo of you, me, Janet, and Celine talking about playing Fortnite. And I'm just saying, you know, I, I know no one's in their Fortnite era right now, but it would be, it would be really fun. I think if, you know, maybe we could play Fortnite sometime. I actually low-key still like Fortnite, but since no one plays it, I haven't played it. As where your actually house is. So the way I understand exactly. the new house would be right back here, is that yes. right? Okay, let's say the new house is ballpark here. And then there's a trail that goes out here and it's like right. For some reason, I'm always down for Fortnite. Never a League of Legends though. That's the thing. Everyone is so into League and World of Warcraft and I'm just not. Like I can't, I can't do it. Okay, sorry, no more pausing. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, everyone's in their WoW era right now. Not me, I'm in my true crime era. If I'm gonna have any more girlfriends like this. Oh my gosh, this poor kid! I guess they're not all crazy. Like he's worried he's gonna have a girlfriend, another girlfriend's Dustin gonna murder. Was implicated in the murder of Elizabeth Olden. Back in Alyssa's interrogation, Sergeant David Rice pulls a map of the surrounding woods and neighborhood. There's like a tree line. Do you want to like draw this for you? I have a map. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, the thing about this, this map, okay. I don't think it has I'm where not. your actual house is. So the way I understand exactly. the new house would be right back here. Is that yes. right? Okay, Hope he's not traumatized. He sounds here. pretty traumatized. And then there's a trail that goes out here, and it's like right. Draw for me, please. Okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure how far back it goes. It's like past all the clearings, and then when it starts to get to like a smaller trail and whatnot, there's a little side thing. It's like a side trail. I go all far. There's something we always do is we we'll walk walk a person through their day, and we make a timeline just so we uh, um, go through everything. So, what time did you go for your walk? The interrogator is using the TED technique, or oh. the tell, explain, describe technique. I haven't heard he this technique. He's making clear to Bustamante that he wants her to recount the day of events as a narrative. By recounting the day of events as a narrative, Bustamante is more likely to reveal other telling personal or contextual details. I went for a walk around... Ted. 4.30 or 5. Um, I was walking around the neighborhood and I saw this... An hour. Okay, so, so about 4.30 or 5. Right. 
Well, there's there's a I believe that this little line here is the tram or something. But Did like, you go out all this way over yes. here? And there's, then where'd you go from here? I just kept following the. Uh, where does it go from here? Show me. The interrogator speaks more rapidly and presses Bustamante for an answer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. During this portion of the interrogation, Bustamante has displayed many disruptions in speech, frequently saying um and like, um, like, 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 like uh, and altering her vocal intonation. Um, and it all part. goes like, it does some turns and whatnot, but it's a pretty easy path to follow. It's like okay. a road path. Well, I mean, show me what, does it loop back around? Then? No, no, it doesn't loop. It like goes this Dude. way. Dude. Okay, and then what you do? And then the pastor, I just hung out at the creek. And then, then what'd you do? Bustamante then you is this girl's yes. last name. And then what'd you do? I went home. She draws out the I eye went home? and ends by saying home with an upward inflection. I went home. This is what linguists would say. One, upward inflections are used when asking questions. Bustamante lacks confidence. Mm -hmm. Two, mm -hmm. drawing out words conveys a double meaning, but the statement is not implicative or not meant to convey a double meaning. Put together, her home? underlying communication is, Went home? I'm not confident in what I am saying, and what I'm saying is in conflict with what I am thinking. <laughs> As we move forward, listen for these subtle cues. Sometimes it is not just one word, but a combination oh, no. of words that tell the true story. How long did that take you to do? Um, it takes about- How long were you on your walk? It's about a It's about 15 or 20 minutes. Right? I believe. The first we went to? When we took princess with us? It's been a long time. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Right. How long were you gone that day after the walk? I was gone for about an hour. Okay, so you were gone about an hour. Mm -hmm. When you walked oh, out no, there, no. the cow pasture, what were you doing up there? Um, I was just, you know, enjoying nature, taking a walk. Oh, Alyssa nature again! She took on her walk for Sergeant Rice, which confirms her knowledge of the surrounding woods. She recounts her day again. Suspects are typically asked to repeat their story several times so that law enforcement can look for inconsistencies or for information Nature. that only the perpetrator of a crime would know. We went to church and just did the activities till 8, came back, and everything was crazy. So you got back at 8. And crazy. What, what did they tell you? What? Well, they were like, yeah, there's three sheriffs here. People were out searching for her. They can't find her. They did just say and she they, was missing? Like, yeah, they were like questioning me about the they didn't actually question me that day, though, because I went up to do and take a shower, and then uh, they just left or something. They just told you it was missing? My grandpa did, yes. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Uh, I was just, I didn't think it would, like, you know, happen. The interrogator asks how it made Bustamante feel, and she responds cognitively, explaining what she thought instead of how she felt. It is easier to describe thoughts than emotions for individuals who struggle to identify emotions. Oh. It could be reasonably assumed that Bustamante is emotionally stunted in certain but not all ways. Like, things like this don't happen to you, you know? Even though she says that she didn't think something like this, a little girl going missing could happen in St. Martin's, Missouri, she doesn't seem too concerned or shocked or surprised. The investigator then True. asks what Alyssa knows about Elizabeth. Tell me about Um... Well, she's nine. Nine? I don't really know that much about her either. Um, well, I mean, tell me what you do know about her. Okay. She'd come over and swim. She's kind of girly. Like, okay. not, not like naturistic, I guess you okay. She can be annoying. <laughs> okay. Oh, her motive. Okay. Um, well, you know, there's been, uh, there were some folks out there uh, out in the forest, I guess, digging some holes or looking at some holes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I guess you know, they had said that you like to go out there and, and dig holes. So I mean, holes I'm found in forest. Some stuff about yourself. Okay. Because, um, you know, obviously that plays in there. If they were looking at holes and you're out there in the forest and that sort of thing. So could, right. I guess just tell, tell me a little bit about yourself so I understand where all this is okay. coming from. Um, I really like nature, animals, being outside. It's, okay. it's just, you know, naturistic like that. And I get bored really easily, okay. and I'm entertained really easily. Okay. So, you know, digging holes is just something to do. Alyssa keeps this explanation casual and surface level. It sounds like digging holes is genuinely a hobby for her, which doesn't seem too odd given the fact she's a teenage girl in a small town with probably not a lot to do. I'm going to be honest. I've dug a hole for no reason as well. It's true. I, I think that's it, sometimes when you're just playing out in the backyard, you just kind of dig holes. Right? You guys have dug some holes, right? 
I used to have a wiener dog. His name was Blanky. I had him since I was two years old. He would just dig holes too. And so we would dig holes together <laughs> for no reason. And you find like worms and stuff and the bugs and then, yeah. But at the same time, it's still interesting to note. <laughs> Any she hole lovers? <laughs> that her dig holes all the time, sometimes near their home, sometimes out in the woods. Okay. You just like to dig holes? And I like to climb trees. Okay. Oh, and I bury, um, a dash bury hound, dogs. wiener dogs, dash hounds. Okay. Okay. The hot it dog dogs. Like Alyssa is beginning to understand <laughs> where the direction of questioning is starting to head. Yet her behavior remains calm. David Rice, as the main interviewer, is playing everything very casual. This. This is I, this is him. They do bark a lot. Let me tell you. Oh my gosh. Yappers. The hot dog dog. Yeah, I had one of those. He makes it seem like he's on her side and doesn't believe she has anything to do with Elizabeth Olton going missing. Um, what kind of holes do you dig? Um, Tell me about these holes you dig. Well, you dig them a certain way? Every time or just, just dig a hole? Just dig a hole very much. Half shrug again. Okay. Just wherever they're at, I mean, do you dig a certain spot or what? Oh. Whether digging holes is a hobby of Alyssa's or not, she makes it seem like the most normal thing in the world for a 15-year-old to do in the woods. <laughs> I'm such a not dirt kind of girl. Yeah. That's amazing to me. I don't do worms and I don't do dirt. Oh, well, so I, I was. Oh. And so, like, we do a lot I of was outside all the time. Oh. In the mud and whatnot. I was always yeah, playing in dirt. That's kind of the thing right now, isn't it? Yeah. The interrogation turns into a friendly conversation between the juvenile counselor, Ms. Toby Mayer. Ooh, the woman sat her next to us and told the rest of the room about how girls' rugby is a new sport to the area. High school girl rugby. And they get after it. Oh, I'm sure they yes, do. Yes, they do. The school that is sponsoring is this too dangerous, but there's a team okay. in Jeff City. I know there's at least two teams, teams in Jeff City. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure about the other one, but I don't want to so, and you love it? I do. And you love the mud? <laughs> and you love dirt under your fingernails? Do you mind worms? <laughs> Sergeant Rice gets right back to business, steering the conversation back to the holes. This hole that you dug, when did you dig that hole? I did Sunday. I Sunday? Believe. Yes. Why did you dig that hole? Because Sunday I was bored. You don't really do much on Sunday. You can't watch TV, play video games, you know. So, sad to go outside. There's something in her voice that tells you she's not being entirely truthful. She's also beginning to nod her head a lot, which could be her way of trying to convince Sergeant Rice <laughs> that her galaxy. story is true. What did you do? I'm like, yeah, digging Ooh. holes for fun. <laughs> I think my grandpa would have the exact time. This statement is odd. It's unclear how or why Alyssa's grandpa would know the exact time the hole was dug, especially considering what is revealed later. I don't really remember. What were you doing Sunday? I mean, tell me about Sunday then. Her nonverbal indicators are more obvious. Look for the self-pacifying behaviors mentioned earlier, in addition to new behaviors like lip licking and interlocking fingers. We didn't go to church Sunday, right? Because we were at mom's house, I believe. I was at my mom's house for the weekend. Okay. She lives at the lake. And we came back around five, and I know I dug it before dark, so it was sometime in between. Holes Wait, was a great was movie. Well, it must have been at between, its like, time six, when eight, it came out, it was great. Seven, I guess. You picked her up where? Um, Eugene. You picked her up at 6 p.m. at Eugene, right. and it's uh, how long the drive? So you got back home 6:30, 6:45 is probably. Maybe the mine is 6:30. 6:30. That's five minutes. Well, it's getting dark by then. Yeah. Cool. So, so you got home at 6:30. Yes. And how did you yes. dig a hole? At, what? So what did you oh, do on Sunday? Well, I'm not asking oh. what you're. Oh, what, you got home at 6:30 on Sunday. What did you do then? Oh, uh, Karen's the grandma. I think this I is grandma took down a shower here. and went to sleep, so I don't think I did. I think it was Saturday, actually. No, so I wasn't here Saturday. Bustamante is digging herself deeper and deeper into her own hole. You weren't here Saturday. Oh. On Sunday. <laughs> right. Monday, get it? Because she dug Friday a hole. Then, I was here Friday. <laughs> a knee slapper. It would seem possible. Right. 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 And you weren't here Saturday. Right. And you didn't do it during the week because there's only Monday, Tuesday. Right. So then you're thinking it had to be Friday. Yes. These weaknesses in her story will later be exploited in the interrogation. Oh. But for now, David is playing it close to his chest. 
he's aware her story is changing. Mm -hmm, and it seems mm -hmm. like Alyssa is also realizing that her story is starting to fall apart. Oh, yeah, so no. Tell me about Friday. Do you remember Friday? Did you go to school on Friday? We didn't, have, we didn't have school Friday. No school on Friday. So I got up around like noon. Okay. Uh -oh. So we're recording this on Friday. Uh -oh. Okay. Grandma and Grandpa hung out with you on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we had a great time on Friday. You were half day, so you been home at noon? I'm just going to get it back to the Okay, so was she asleep when you got home? I, I just did not recall. Okay. <gasps> Karen's in on it. So then Friday, what'd you do? Think back to Friday. After getting up, I hung out for a while at the house. And it was a nice day Friday. She is deflecting or attempting to redirect focus elsewhere. In certain contexts, hair stroking is a pacifying behavior. Hair stroking is not one of Bustamante's baseline behaviors and is occurring in a high pressure context. This is likely a pacifying behavior. Bustamante is uncomfortable. Relatively nice day, so I decided to go outside and just do whatever. And I dug a hole. Alyssa's bouncing around more than she was at the beginning Good of night, the interrogation. Untold. She's rocking sleep. back and forth, nodding her head. It seems that as her story is unraveling, so are her nerves of steel. Why did you dig that hole? Um, because I was bored, and I felt like doing something. It's Tell me about that hole, though. It's a very specific hole. I mean, very, it's a very unique hole, I should say. Are all of your holes like that? No. Okay. But why? Well, yeah, why was that one like you that, You the hole, so you know, yes. you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Rice is describing the hole in a vague way to see if Alyssa might add anything that would explain why she dug it. Yeah, why is it she doesn't square? Really have an answer or a reason to give as to why she dug that particular hole. That was a very, very unique hole. Mm -hmm. I guess. I was digging. I mean, whatever shape comes to mind. I was just entertaining myself. Entertaining myself? I, the reason I'm asking, I just, it just seems like a... And you can understand why, as uh, if people were out of the no, my holes were circular. For, yeah, looking for a person yes. if they were lost, or God forbid, looking for if they thought it was a you know God forbid a body, why they would be. But my weeder dog's hole holes were a cylinder. Come along a, a hole, a freshly dug hole that was, mm -hmm. so think a perfect rectangle about three feet by about four and a half five foot. Straight shovel marks down, <laughs> about as you described when I talked to you out there, about that deep. Mm -hmm. um, Interrogators probe for specific answers after asking broad, open-ended questions. This is again part of the TED interrogative technique, you guys are or the tell, sick. explain, describe technique. Dirt Imagine holes, the flow dirt of interrogation holes. as a funnel. Alyssa's interrogation has become more focused, narrower. Ayo, Rice chat. is asking a very specific, probing question. Why Not did only you does dig he the ask hole? a very specific probing question, but he illustrates with his hands the exact size and shape of the hole. Straight down the first few inches of dirt, uh, you know, up until I'm you get to I'm just curious where she put the body. Dirt, almost as if somebody were digging down. If the body wasn't in the, the hole. Where you get to those roots and that hard dirt and realize it's too hard to dig. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Rice relays details and speculation surrounding the crime scene, but does so from Alyssa's perspective. Alyssa is likely to identify with the story he tells. Liars tend to distance themselves from their lies, but Rice has psychologically repositioned her into a self-identifying mindset. Her nonverbal indicators become increasingly prominent. Most people, if they were just gonna bury a bunny or, or something out there, you know, they dig. I'm well, digging a hole, by God, just dig a hole. But for a 15-year-old girl to dig a perfectly rectangle, three by four or five square rectangle hole, it just caught a lot of people as very odd. That yeah, makes sense, it does. The hole Alyssa dug is the perfect size and shape for a small grave. It's a perfect three foot by five foot rectangle, shallow, and is alarming to come across during a search for a missing child. Yeah. When Sergeant Rice asks, well, what do you weird. think about that to Alyssa? He's using the theory of the crime development where the investigator knows there was a crime, but doesn't understand all the steps involved and doesn't fully comprehend the motive. This is where interrogators will use the simple the whole puns questions to get the suspect to fill in the gaps and create a plausible working understanding of the events. She's unholy. Well, I guess the time of digging that hole was definitely not good. Have you ever dug a hole like that before? Yeah. There's Looks an like they found a about hole other holes in her story. Size that she's dug before. <laughs> these holes are where she buries animals, but there's no clear indication if Alyssa happened upon these animals' bodies or killed them herself. 
it doesn't matter if it's a year old. They can oh. they have sonar. They can run right over it, and they can tell you the shape, the depth, the whole thing. I mean, these we're talking about guys that have uh, the FBI. They have instruments that can do <laughs> just today. just about everything. This is subtle intimidation meant to imply that Alyssa need not lie. Have you dug a hole like this before then, or is this the first time? It's not completely like this, but it's like kind of like that. Okay. Like so big this, enough for a shoebox. Okay, but this is the first time of that size? Yes, yes. Okay. But what about the big round ones that I keep kept falling in? And I mean, they're deep. <laughs> and I get funny, because you guys quit doing this because they're dangerous. And we used to yeah. our horses up there, and I could sure. it. I mean, they're huge. Okay. There's like three or four of them. Yeah. Digging, this is, now this is on our property. Digging pits for a while. <laughs> I don't know. It was entertaining. Okay. <laughs> and we like to make traps just occasionally, you know, put some sticks over it and some leaves. Yeah, we find it. Oh my gosh, yeah. she's just catching her grandma. <laughs> okay, horses, that's not a good idea, Liz. Well, we don't ride our horses out there. I was going to say, you know, if a horse breaks right, its leg, right. what happens? I know, but we, yeah. we, we didn't do that. We can grab a horse. Like that. We well, we used to. We, we used to, but we don't. We have so. horses. Yeah. Horses. I do. They're not rectangle. They're big round ones. Big round. I don't know what that matters. But... Okay. okay. Uh, um. Did, uh, did ever go on walks with you in the woods? Nope. The questions asked here are entrapment questions, and if any inconsistencies are found, the suspect's statements would be treated as lies. This type of questioning places additional pressure on the suspect as the interrogation continues. I've I know you said her. she was a girly girl. Yeah, I've but... never seen her in the woods. Okay. I mean, did, did you ever take her on walks in the woods or anything like that? When I go on walks, I like to go to Okay. Here we see a clear inconsistency in what Alyssa is saying and what her body is saying. When asked if she has ever gone on walks with Elizabeth in the woods, Alyssa states, nope. Her head movement transitions from side to side to up and down. Alyssa's body tells a different story. <laughs> what? what do you know about? so far obviously unfortunately your poor family's been nope. thrown in the middle of this his additional yes. comments such as your poor family has been thrown into the middle of this relay that he feels sympathy for Alyssa and her family however false that sympathy might be what do you know about this whole investigation or mess she's still missing they're out looking for her they don't want more volunteers because they don't want volunteers so far it's this is really big they've had helicopters yeah, they searching have. as well and as noted previously, she responds cognitively rather than from a place of feeling. She doesn't have much to say about her family when Toby and Sergeant Rye start empathizing with what Elizabeth's family must be feeling. And interestingly, her face falls into a neutral expression and she stays silent. It's very sad for her. Yeah, I imagine if she was missing, God, it would be on the ball. Yeah, and her mom and her family. family. Yeah. I mean, that's why they're making such a big deal about this. Yeah. I mean, can you, like, like she said, it did. I mean, you, you can, can understand why all this is down going the stairs on. When I was screaming outside. I mean, I just can't. I know. I've got kids, so I can't, mm -hmm. can't even imagine. What do you think happened to Elizabeth? Ooh. Sergeant Rice moves into opinion questions now. Many interrogation questions uh -oh. are closed, meaning they warrant a yes or no response or elicit a single fact or piece of information. Opinion questions are open-ended. Interrogation studies have shown that open-ended questions will get all suspects to talk longer and to be more likely to divulge incriminating evidence without even realizing it. Well, I really don't think she would run away because she's nine. And the way that they've been searching for two days, never got any sign of her. So I, I think that maybe someone kidnapped her or something. It's a terrible thing. But I, Okay. Innocent individuals might be more likely to mention that they don't know. Guilty individuals might feel more compelled to provide an explanation that doesn't fit with the crime they committed. Ooh. We see this as Alyssa evades the topic of murder. Would she have easily been lured into a car? I mean, was she that kind of girl? I don't, I, I don't know anything about her. Would she, I mean, would oh. she have been like a, with a kitten? I mean, maybe. Um, you'd have to ask her mom about Sure. That. Do you, I mean, do you think somebody did something to her? I mean, is that? That seems most likely because I don't think she'd be the kind of person that would like hide or stay out all night or anything like that. Okay. Is there anybody in that area you can think of? That Dude, would, okay. That he keeps pointing out when she flips her hair, but I'm going to be honest. I, I feel like it's just out of habit to get your bangs out of your eyeballs. I've been, I've been, ever since I got my hair cut, I keep touching my bangs. 
because they sometimes they get into my eyes. Comes to mind that you would think that that would. She's got a whole row of bangs. That would do that. Is there anybody that it's an emo thing? Oh my god! Stop emo would. hair flip! Oh my god! Rice gosh. baits Alyssa to place blame. Guilty suspects commonly deflect and offer helpful explanations, as Alyssa does here. There is a lot of cars that drive down that highway. Okay. Okay. A couple, just a few opinion questions. I'm just asking your opinion because. What follows are loaded questions. Here is the first one broken down. What type of person do you think would do this sort of thing to a nine-year-old girl? Ooh. One, it's assumptive. Mm -hmm, it assumes mm -hmm. that someone did something to Elizabeth. Mm -hmm, Two, mm -hmm. it's vague. Mm -hmm. It assumes that someone did something but doesn't specify what that something is. Three, use of this versus that. This is used as a definite article in grammar. The function of a definite article is to imply but not state what is being referred to. In other words, this is used in such a way that the speaker is assuming that the listener knows what this is. Further, this implies that something is closer to the listener, whereas that implies that something is further away. Four, use of nine-year-old girl. Guys, I'm being asked to play Valo again, but I really want to finish this video, but they want to play Valo right now. They do have four. It's Pokey, Myung, Hassan, and Nesua. What do I do? Do I fill? For them or do we continue this video i'm very torn right now i'm actually so torn Ugh. Uh. finish the okay let's do a pull you know what my new favorite thing finish crime vid Crime vid or Valo with Pokey, Myung, Hassan, and Nesua. Right now. Crime games. And ask! Okay. I'm I'm actually so torn, I don't know what to do. Alright. I can't do both because they want to play right now. It's looking like, it's looking like. Oh gosh, not it almost being 50-50. Uh... Valo now, crime later. I just don't know how long we're going to play Valo for. Okay! I decided. We do Valo, and then after Valo, we finish this video no matter how late it is. <laughs> Coming! a little bit. Maybe one or two games. Da -da -da. Okay. This is a crime to chat. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Good night to those that are sleeping. Goodbye to those that are leaving. Hello to Ray doing her own thing. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's go! All right. Can you guys hear them or no? Oh, oh, oi, 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 oi. No, okay. Hold on. Can you hear them now? It feels great because, like, you know, they're the doubters are complaining. Can you hear them now? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god. The yeppers, the, the believers went up the fakes twofold. Get yes, okay. The Match found. Oh my god. Hi, Nesua. Hello. 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 Hello.
I don't think we've met. Have we met? Uh, Have we met? We're at the bubbles. We're at the bubbles. Hey, All nice back. to meet you again. again. Yeah, your name was so familiar, but I was 100% sure. It's okay. I get that. So All right, let's get this dub. Yeah. Yeah, I've been. I'm on a. I'm on a losing streak, like ten game losing streak right now. So. That's true. And I've it's been playing well too. It's not like I've been playing poorly. Oh my god! Don't bully me. I'm not that good. <laughs> this is messed up. If you're like a sweat lord gamer, you shouldn't be. You should be calling me out. I'm bad. Oh my god. Okay. It's like it's motivation, you know. Why? Holy fuck! Forty three million. What is yesterday? that? Yes, what is this, bro? What did I do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I'm freaking out. I accidentally. I. There is. I, yes. I don't know why I love when you sound like that. I asked. I was trying to edit my cam, but now I have six cameras of me on my. I don't know what I did. Choose your agent. <laughs> Today. Hey, breath so much <laughs> 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 Oh my god! What did I do? Okay, I gotta delete all of these. Remove. 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 <laughs> Have you thought about my offer? You don't have to. Never, ever assume you can help me out. I. Me? You can't help them. I'm gonna be nice. I'm doing the reverse uh, of foolish. I call. I say, good luck, have fun. Oh. Shatters you can't see. Where are you? K. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. The game is loud, no? Yeah. She's high as a kite, bro. Look at her. <laughs> oh no. They're super quiet. Okay, I need you to fix them. B? I don't need her A. I don't hear B. Oh, one B. B is definitely B. I will fix the audio in a bit. Oh no, nope. Four, oh, four main, one arcade, probably. Could be coming on. Could be coming on. Probably you already on. Enemy spotted B. Yeah, I hear him. Uh, uh. Are they on? Yeah, yeah on. Yeah, the two tower, two tower. Spike planted. The tower. Could be here. Main. I'm flashing. Right, 30 I'm sage. Enemy spotted B. Oh, I went back to site. Standing. Oh. God damn, they fucking pushed that hard. They did kind of the enemy only hard. looks. I'm turning them up. Their hearts tell a different story. Hey, shit happens. Hey, yeah. Shit just happens. It happens now. to us every game. We lose first round. Ray, please. It's, it's true. true. Please, please, it's not, actually true. No, Ray, please. Not to. <laughs> not we today. Oh, not true, today. true, true, true. Yeah, on, positivity. It's a new day. It's a right? new day, new us. Surely they don't push that. New year. New year, new yeah. us. Yeah. Oh, they are. One arcade, most likely. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna rotato. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, they they walled it. They're coming up. Oh, don't turn the head one four. She's healing though. She healed the fall. Spike planted. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, Pokey's too quiet. I'll turn her up. There's a guy nice here. Shot. How's that? Last player standing. Okay. How's that? <laughs> 144, by I mean, the way. That brimstone is is. Wait, we're, we're lighting them up. Like we just aren't killing them. God, dude. Okay, that's shields though. We have guns. We have guns. 
now okay nesua nesua uh, and hassan are too loud go how's that okay i know the girlies got a yeah i'm one of the girlies <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, no, Miyoung's not girls. talking. Miyoung, are you playing Hearthstone? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> what the stream. I, <laughs> what the I heard a spray A. Three A. Yep, they're A. They're A. I hear him. Or is an or. You can anchor B. I'll, I'll spray. Oh no. Hassan, can you blind out of that? No, I have nothing left. I'm oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up so bad. They're on A. I... I messed up horribly. Is me unquiet? He's in this corner. Cypher's uh, back site. Oh, they're both on. What a flick, Nesua. One enemy remaining. Cypher's down set. Last player standing. Oh, oh, oh. Put <gasps> Ooh, nice. nice job. Oh. Warm up game, warm up game. We around. Unless yeah. I don't defuse. Dude, I, I got it. fucking, come on. What a menace. Do the... <laughs> Almost at a 3k there, boys. Okay, okay. I'm just kidding. Whew. Whew. Ladies. Those yeah. Those birthday, what are you saying? Yeah. Ladies can't be part of the boys? Yeah. Kind of Is that what you're saying? What the fuck? Do we I save or money. force? Uh, I think I... we save. Oh yeah, they're quite rich. Broke bitches. I'm so poor. Wait, I'm loud. Oh, yeah, I can't even buy fucking ghosts right now. What the heck? No you till again. Going up. Careful, B. You might be watching arcade right now. Oh, I hit. Mm. They're coming, B. <laughs> it's They're me. B. They're hitting, hitting, hitting. Hitting, hitting, hitting. Toxic yeah. screen down. Spike planted. Oh, he's oh, dinked. 135 brim. But I saw him in the smoke on the map. Oh, oh he ran through. He ran through smoke, smoke. Your rope. Yep. Yeah. Free gun, free gun. Free gun. Oh my god, you guys got this. probably looking tower. Oh, I'm getting sucked. I'm getting sucked. One is on spike. Main, 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 main. No, hey, main. Okay, swing it, swing it. Swing, swing, swing. No, they're both there. They're both there. They're both main. One enemy remaining. Oh, you got this, right? Oh, let's go. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Good job, good job, good job. On it, it goes shit. Wow, you did wow. a single life worth saving. Oh, oh, I had oh. res. Well, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, you knew that the entire time. Oh yeah, yeah, I knew that. Is everything That's okay, again. chat? Can you wall be main, <laughs> por favor? Right. Gracias. Hassan and Myung are low still. Okay, I gotta figure that out. Should I wait to knife then? Or, uh, I'll just knife. No, no, you can do it. Do you, can. I hear him. They're here. Oh, one is here only. Careful. Wait, did someone right? break the sage wall? Yeah, they're here again. Yeah, someone did. Oh, fuck. They're bo there's two here. Or is an or. I'm flashing huh? into it. Oh, drop. 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 Main. More main. They're behind. There's I have Sage Lear. Wall. Sage just wall. Ow, Sage it's wall. Where I am I, man? Sage is. Sage is dinked. Cypher on site. Two site. Spike planted. Oh! Fade! Oh, 200! I'm gonna wall off main. I'm walling off main. Nice wall. Nice. What? They're both. Oh, I think. Fade I is think 200. they're both there. Try to tap. 
You can have I'm one. Half, 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 half. <laughs> you can hold it. Oh, oh, I might hold, stick. It, I hold, stick. hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Nice! He's above. <laughs> Let's go! What's your main game, Nessua? Wait, I have a quick question. How the fuck can someone have 200? Uh, they got healed. Oh, so I guess I hit <laughs> him, they got healed, and I hit him again? Oh. Yes. No, you hit them, they got healed, and then you hit them again. Anyone have yeah. to spare? Wait, can someone... Oh. Uh, Nessa, Nessa, can you give me... Iman, can you buy, please? Yes. Thank you, thank spare? you. Oh, whoops. Oh, God. Oh, wait, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Wait, thank you. Slapping. They're running. They're running full blown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're running? Where? Running where? Uh, I think. I think it's. Oh, oh fucking fade! God damn it! They do love A. They're A. They're running A. A main. Nice. Spike down! Spike down! Spike down! Flank. Oh, flank! Oh, sand, sand, sand! He's sand. in my smoke. One enemy remaining. Mia? Oh, she's up there, but I'm so low. Up. Yeah, uh, up but here? upper, upper sand. Nice. Sand, sand. <laughs> oh. Whatever this is. This okay. place. Um. Thank you for yeah. saving me. That was great. Oh, that was a save. I thought she Thank walled you, for... you off to troll you. No, <laughs> I was dead. No, she revived me. Oh, I was like, what are they doing up there? Oh, that would be a Saikuno move. That's Excuse true, me? that's true. Saikuno behavior. I hit every shot. A Saikuno Not pocket sure. sage means like I would get revived while I'm in the line of fire. <laughs> I feel like you just learned a couple new words, so you're trying to use them. Wait, revived what? Revived in the line of fire. <laughs> yeah, while I was while I'm directly getting shot at, Saikuno would pocket sage me. Hey, Wall. <laughs> Nice. There's one near there. There's one arcade. Off. Can we have one one? Yeah, I'm gonna head back. Let's anchor. Yeah. Gave it. yeah, one yeah, yeah. Anchor. She could go drop. But Fade Fox was on arcade. Down. I'm pushing up. Arcade. Oh! <laughs> yep. That That's was a her. huge mistake. <laughs> uh, oh, 40? arcade! What the fuck? One man, one man, one man. Unlucky! Nice. One enemy remaining. Right. He's tower. Okay. Down, he, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't have spike. Oh, he doesn't tower, have spike. Tower, tower, tower. True. Are we all looking? He's oh uh he is oh, rope. He dropped, He's rope. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna sit right here. I think he went back up. 80? 30 seconds left. One of these, right? Nice. <laughs> sure. Don't worry, Hassan and I will spectate this uh, these rock. Surely. <laughs> what of them? We just love spectating. Girls, get it done. I yeah. love spectating. I, I, I have no, unironically, I have no issue spectating. I'll do it all day. <laughs> he well, said as Jesus. As long as we're winning, baby. I don't care. I will oh, sit in funny. someone's backpack because I am uncomfortable when I am the one who is carried. I keep clawing at our wall. That's very true. Pathetic. Do play this box? Some... Uh, what does this site be? Some B. B. Face your fear! There's a main. Oh, they hit me somehow? Okay. For you. Reloading. I'm splitting the site. Spike planted. Walls up now. One on site. Yep, nice. one, one tower, one tower. Tower, tower, tower. 50 oh. cypher. Nice, one cypher's tower, dead. Tower. Me too. Nice. nice. Last Last main. Player standing. She's main. Nice. Yeah, so good. Yeah, she's so good. crazy. She's so good. <laughs> so good. And then back to the sky. <laughs> and then back, back to Hearthstone. Oh, whoa, 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 chill. What is that? Why do you do that? 
Why do I do what? <laughs> Why do you just look up at the sky? That's like my default. You know, like if you want to just like set. Your... Okay, just you know trying what? to see the stars. You know what? Man. It's fine. Wait, there's no one on B, but I don't think they're gonna go B this time. I think they're gonna go A. But I'll still stay with you, Nessua. Oh boy. Kill them. I'm gonna give you a wall. Oh. Oh, there is one at uh, B. They might be defaulting. Yeah, no, they're they're here. Uh, Fate is here too, and they're taking you till right now. I put a wall up. The one is probably. Oh. Yeah, I hear him. Uh, we have no vision on arcade. Toxin screen down. Nice. I got the arcade one. One on arcade. That. Nice. Toxins going up. Flashback. Flashing. Oh god. Oh god. Ow, 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 ow. My positioning was so bad. Larry. Ah, uh, 80. NT. Sage is main. Oh, that's and right. so is Fade. Spike they're planted. They're on the site. Oh, they're shooting oh, me. Yikes. They're on I me. Don't, don't, reset. don't reset me. Last player standing. Oh, that's right. As much as this world hurts. Okay. It's mine. I'm poor. Are we not buying? Uh, I think we force up here because we have four guns. Aw, uh -huh. thanks, me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, me. Let's go. <laughs> Something I she will was pre firing my buy. I love it. <laughs> she was. She was spamming that. It's like anybody but him. Anybody, anybody but him. Woo! So we are Josh, Rue, Galaxy, right now. thank Andrew you. Would be so Jen, thank you, Denise. <laughs> That is true. This seems like a default. All right, one's arcade. I'm dinked. I have a heal. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Oh, they're taking you. They're not hitting yet. Not yeah, utils. I'm staying. Oh, Sage is up. Are they on? Oh, uh, right behind. One is right there. Oh, both of them are behind the wall. Oh, Sage and Cypher both. <laughs> AFK. One enemy remaining. Let's go. Oh, planner planner last. Okay. Planted. Yeah, planner last. Ready? Yep. Oh, nice. good trade. <laughs> you like the point? See, as soon as I talk shit on oh, Nessa, right? his gameplay improves dramatically. Oh. I don't know either. No, no, Dramatically. No. My ultimate is ready. He has huh? a 2k round. What do you mean? Wait, you talk shit <laughs> on me? I said... You would do what's that? New? I said the boys are not performing. Andrew Tate would be disappointed. And you fucking clapped, dude. <gasps> Wait. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> no, 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 no. I was like, I'll drop like, like, damn. He can't. I was like, oh, damn, he can't be disappointed. Oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Wait, I have my ult. I don't need it. Actually, can someone give me this? Can I get a deagle? Oh, uh, <laughs> like, thank you. Uh, you see, I mean, she's pumping oh, she's off right now. She's gonna have the gun in a second. She's gonna have the gun in a second. God deserves it. <laughs> Care A. Ooh, they're going A, I think. Big drop. One drop. Grace, you're oh, there. Exactly. Drop. I think she needs help. <laughs> Any chance they go back? They're one on top. Oh, on one stairs. On stairs. Up top. One up top. enemy remaining. Oh, spike! Oh, down. Oh, we have spike. We have spike. We have spike. He's spawning. He's spawning. He's spawn. Wait, that's crazy. Spike, you say? Come into oh, my ult. We have spike. Here, I'm gonna give him a wall. I don't want to smell that Ford gassy stuff there. He's cheer behind you, Hassan. Oh, I thought he would come up. Oh, he's on me. <laughs> oh, God. Please trade. Prepare for help. Right. Oh, boy. It hurt. Oh, my God. Woo, we did it. Yay. 
I wasn't even sorry worried. for screaming. Last round Dude. in the <laughs> half. We cannot keep our group. I think that I just, cheated myself. Listen. That was crazy. Listen, I, I, just I knew died exactly no what you meant when you screamed. Can I get a drop? <sighs> when you screamed, I knew to just you swing knew. it. I saw you running the main, Fine, and yeah. then his ass was like on mine. Dude, it was crazy. Was eating his all. Mia, Mia, you want good. it? I'm gonna buy you. I'll buy you. No. No. Why? I don't need it. I don't. Oh, no. you do. Yes. <laughs> okay, <you say> so. <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's a B because I was working for them. Smokes. Wall. Getting a wall. Toxins going up. They will go. One is close to you, Hassan. Oh, ow. Toxin screen down. Poison orb emitting. You mean like in the smoke? Oh, it didn't? Yeah. Didn't smoke. That's crazy. Once oh, these dudes totally made. left, huh? Poison's off. I think so. Hmm. One oh, enemy nice. Oh. Nah. No, nope, one's backside, I think. Oh, yes, yeah, ropes. Oh, Arcane, Arcane. Nice. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Switching sides. Yeah, good half. <gasps> Super easy. Huh? Don't say anything. Don't I say anything. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm not looking at the score. I'm not even looking at the score. I'm just buying. I'm buying my gun. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. This one time, I'm just buying my gun. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. This one time. Me and the solo queue team just ran through arc, and it was so good. Who like the fuck him. does like this on yeah. pistol? No one, you no know? One does this. Oh. I, no I one do does trust this. You, so this Both should strats. work, right? Thank you. Do I knife you. it or are we yeah, doing a little bit of surprise? We just run. Mm, just run. Like we run yeah. to sight through top of I'm gonna tower. I'm gonna wall yeah. like this. Yeah. We Both. take tower. We're gonna go we're gonna do oh. everything. Yeah, yeah, we take tower. We take tower. And we just stomp our little feet there. Yeah. I'm gonna need it just in case. Come to tower, maybe? Oh, yeah, there is one guy there. Oh, we're all going to tower. Let's do this. He ran. What the? I nice. Believe. Nice. Planting. I'm planting, planting. for tower. Ra Reina's close, by the way. One's canteen. Oh, Reina oh. one-tapped me uh, behind tower. No, oh, no. Sage. Sage close. Tower. One more tower. Oh, and oh, uh, there was a hole in the wall. Well, I got my one. <laughs> that Raina, that Raina just uh, out of nowhere. It's okay. These things right. happen. We're, we're used to losing pistol. <laughs> True. I have to pee Pistols so are bad. worse. You know, we got on Go the site pee. really fast. This is like the least valuable round. That's true, yeah. actually. Now we just do that and go A. Ooh, ooh. They'll never I'm expect gonna it. I'm gonna hide right here and I'm gonna pee. Okay, go, 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 go. Not peeing himself like a real gamer. He spent money. <laughs> no. He did? Yeah, he bought I hope shield. he saves. What a little goofy goobster. I hear one dip in B. I can straight up wall and oh oh gosh oh there's wait, two wait 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 I there's have timing here. I think I should have Ooh. nice okay I'm coming timing. I'm coming B I'm coming B there's another one care one close to one I'm, coming... I'm going B mm, there could be someone coming I'm gonna lurk a little so. bit they sound like yeah. rotating now they're rotating they know I'm here yep I'm planting for main. Oh, help, 98 help, Reina? Come B, come B. 98 Reina? Oh, 58. Oh, someone just ran. Oh, come B, no, come, no, B, no, come no. B, fast, fast. Poison's off. 98 Reina? Fuck. Oh, Where are they? Uh, on site, on site. Oh, oh that's a fire okay, squad. Okay, it's okay. Good, good that's a fire squad. We got, plant. We got oh, no. one. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay, we have guns. We got now. shields. It's time. It's embarrassing that I'm not wearing a diaper while gaming. I know, guys. I'm sorry. Mm -mm -mm. Time to stock back up. Huh? RGB Razor 
cool diaper. <laughs> it has the newest technology. I was watching crime today and a lady shit herself during the interview. What? I was gonna, oh, I was gonna no. say, this was a crazy segue. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about it ever since we started yeah. talking about what? it. I'm like, yeah, what happened to make her shit mind. herself? She also didn't realize it until she got up. It was so what? odd. What? I don't want to spoil it because you might watch it. it yeah. You guys should have a crime era. It's so fun. Not or not that it's fun. Yo, what? Hey. To the right, to the right. Nice. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Sometimes, it's, it. sometimes it's fun. There's one gen here. Oh, what the in fuck? Smoke, in the smoke, in the smoke. <laughs> Spike down B. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. One canteen. One enemy Last remaining. one. Uh. Yeah, there. Nice. Good job, <laughs> and we get to play. Nice. Right. Oh man, no more screaming. Oh, let's the go. The most me young res there ever was. Uh, no, <laughs> that's a, no, it's an eco res. Let's go. Oh, res Bro, how do you go? Me. Man, can you buy me, please? She said we don't Thank need you. res. Like that's the point. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> Too good for this. I'll take it. I'll take the eco res. Thank you. You don't need res if nobody dies. Yeah, I'll, I'll always time. die. Don't worry. They had Cypher and two others on A, which is kind of weird. Last time we came A, yeah. they might stack it again. Should I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna no. flash it. Oh, he's flash. coming! Oh my God, my eyes! I told you he was flashing it. Oh, he is coming. Brim is Link or whatever. I could theoretically alt out of this. Theoretically, I, I feel wall. like there's a lot of people. Theoretically, I heard ropes. We don't have to commit to this, Enemy but theoretically. Yes. Up. Just a theory. In I could leer you in as well. You just... I don't know if you theoretically, you could. Oh no, oh no. What are you getting? I could leer us in. What the f- Oh, look, he keeps going through his smoke. He's crazy. That guy could go weird stuff. Planting? <laughs> they all left, they all left. They're all in that same corner. <laughs> oh, one, one tower. Four. Fade is lit. Sad. I think one aim aim maybe? Oh, Reyna is down. Last player standing. Oh, oh nice. nice try. Ooh, my glands. All right, we have a couple ults. True. I may have wasted mine. My priority is not waste. suffering. It was a valiant effort. Hmm. What do I do? Um. um any in-game leaders? Yeah, someone tell me what to do. Yeah, we go back to B for banana. Okay, that's a good reason. Okay, anybody else? <laughs> Okay, Wait, all right. What do you mean? <laughs> all right. Donos. Raina's gonna push up. Oh, oh fine, that squad. was wrong. I feel bad, Myung's alone. It's okay. I'm coming, my love. Suppressing. What the fuck? We're gonna surprise him. What? It's wall. The hell, there's a wall here. Hmm. It's a little hole. Oh, 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 the flank. I'm gonna head back to A. They're right I'm sprinting. I'm, I'm sprinting stuck. to A. Maybe kill them. <laughs> just kill them, I'll Smiley. Yeah, I'll, I'll just try. Ooh, nice. I need help. I need help. Oh, I can't God. see. They're everywhere, Spike bro. Down a. Let's shock onto your left. Oh, I could have got the dismiss if I killed him. Shutting them down. All three of them are thirty there. seconds left. Oh, what oh. the fuck? His what head. an angle! Holy shit! 
Meow. I, I just saw like a little bit Howdy. of their head. Let's save one. Yeah, let's save default real quick. Yeah. They're, um... Their brim really likes shotguns and smokes. It's scary. <laughs> Do we default on save though? Is that okay? You can. Okay. Yeah. The hunt begins. Might be able to get a lurk or something. Yeah, I have a feeling they're gonna push to drop. Pushing up B then. Are they pushing up B main? Is she altered? Is she likes pushing? I don't know. I'm going to flash. You don't need to. Ray? You don't need to. There's huh? no one here. <laughs> you flash out the door. They're moving around spawn. No, no, no. I hear. I do hear I one hear drop. Cypher's That's... like putting stuff up and down. This is Cam. Camping? I hear them leaving B. Okay. They're leaving B. One He's is looking, but just one. Mm -hmm. nobody I hit her 128. I'm so sad. 30 seconds left. Oh, we got to push. Oh, fuck. There's still 2B, I think. Okay, coming. Okay, I'm gonna wall, and I think we just gotta take site here. Cypher's on site, but let's go together. Cypher's oh, literally on site. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, Last no. They would not push. We don't have time. We don't have time. No! I put 155 on that fucking Cypher. How is he alive? <laughs> I hate right, this listen. Finger. We're gonna uh, contact A, okay? What do you want? What do you want to do? A. So basically just walk up A slowly, and as soon as they see you, you just run on, trade each other. Uh, Ness, mm -hmm. can you come you here? Because yeah. I need you to blind me off drop so I can ult in. Gotcha. Let's gotcha. go. We'll also Let's go. play contact. You gonna walk this or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But if they start running, we have to run too. Oh! <laughs> All right. Like, oh my God, no. She's pushing I up. know exactly where you. Well, you're cooked. Oh, that's She's unfortunate. We are. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ray, you stay safe out there. Doesn't feel very safe. You just open the door. Where are you guys? I'm just right now. Nice. There's one more right there, by the There's way. There's a cipher drop. I'm heading to so. B, I guess. Yeah. I don't see anybody B. Yeah, let's just take it. I guess. Oh, oh, oh tower. Spike down. Tower. Two. I'm in on, tower. On site, on site. Or was, yeah, at least. Idea. I hear one what? spawn. Oh, last player oh, That's dead. crazy. That brim is so fucking cracked. Left. I just missed. <laughs> I just missed. I oh, missed. This side's hard. <laughs> missed my John. What will it be this time? It's okay. Have uh, let's we have to save, save and and five man this. Yeah. Should we go? Maybe Maybe if we get on side or we get a kill. No, no, no. It's easier this way. Mm -hmm. uh, you can ult. Yeah, I would, I would like to ult, but... I know, right? It's always a save. No. Let's get it. Believe in yourself. Anything's possible. Yes. Careful for the cypher trip. I'm gonna try to do this through it. Okay, my wall's up. Can you I have Let's go. Lear. Prepare for hellfire! 
Got one. Get the gun. Got the gun. Nice. I think I'm gonna ult this. Do it. Up, up and oh, up. One's... Drop, drop, drop. One's drop. We got 40 on it. You got this. You clutch this all the time. You will not kill my ally. There's so much shit. There's so much shit. There's so much shit. There's so much. There's so much... There's there is a lot of so utility going out on you. There's a lot of utility go going on you. That was sensory overload. <laughs> I should have bolted. Down, okay, B main. All right. B main. Reloading. Yeah, I'm gonna give you this uh, spike. Oh, oh, Mian, can you go? Oh wait, you do have res. First ish, like Reyna will here. blind in, and then you there. can wall here, and then I'll, I'll go in. Okay, I'll drive. And yeah. Hassan, you gotta get your ass in there. Stop playing like a cipher. What? Deep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be last in, bro. Let's go. No, I mean, I, I get my shit pushed in every time. Okay. Rain let's rain go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're pushing harder. Blind me in. There? Blind oh, I'm like a he's gonna, he's gonna... There's a Molly. 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 Do we want to keep going? Actually, I'm gonna yeah, ult. We can. I'm gonna ult it. Do it. Go. Okay. He's dead, he's dead. 80, 80, 80. Dude, I hate him. I killed him, I killed him. Nice. Flank, 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 flank. flank, flank. Spike so down. Looks like everybody. Well, yes, nice. yes, yes. Okay, 2v2. How many are here? May go A? I think uh, they're probably rotated. They might be rotating back to A. Cypher has a cam though on A, so they might know. Go underneath okay. 2B. Let's... Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a oh, great my. idea. Sure. If we win, it, if we win, it's my idea. But if we lose, it was Hassan's idea. This is so funny. Let's go tower. Thirty seconds left. Did we just hear someone? It was me breathing. It's bear. It's bear. Okay. It's bear. Go bear. stand here. I'm gonna hold my breath. Go tower. Win quick. Last player standing. Cypher, yeah. Cypher from not canteen, the other door. Oh, they're both there. Me, oh my. One enemy yes. remaining. Nice shot, nice shot. Listen, he's gonna fake it once, and if he doesn't, he deserves this win, okay? Yeah. Oh, he's off, he's off. Oh my god, he's loud as hell. 11 He's going for it. That's all she needs. Oh! Oh! It was oh, 132. Nice I shouldn't nice have try. looked away. Dude, fuck nice that try. guy, man. <laughs> what? I agree. Nah, if I played That's that right, we would have No, you did so good. I hate him. Yeah. That's crazy. Fuck that hat wearing motherfucker. He should have died. I was so yeah, low. Your stupid hat off. I thought he was dead for real. I thought he was Take dead too. It's crazy. Um, I I'm buying. Um, I think we save. Yeah, let's save. Let's yeah. Save. Oh. Doesn't feel good, but we save. Okay. I'm gonna save. We could. Do you guys want to fast it or default? Uh. We haven't tried to fast. Let's play some. Let's this map. play some. I don't know if our default's good. I think I've been able to get a lurk most times. Oh, they're just shooting drop right now. Have you guys made noise? Uh, they, the, I shot the bear, the fade thing. He's right. I'm gonna wall off tower and maybe someone will leave B. Okay. Yeah, Let's try yeah. to make noise A and see if they clear out. Oh, one saw me, one saw me, one saw me. Oh, shit. Oh, fade! 88 Spike fade. Down a. You can grab orb. <laughs> Free. Jesus, yes, we're damaged. Morgan, she probably sand. Oh. Oh. Nice, you're fair! Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Lost good. I think too, but, uh... Looking a little rough. I heard a Reyna leave. 
Here, uh, one spawn. Thirty one seconds. Spawn. I might have timing. Yeah. yeah. Let's try to. Oh, nice. You are hurt right now. One's Raptor, I think. Or Sam. I don't know how we do this from our position. I think we pray. There's Last no time. Player standing. 172 mm -hmm. on the brim. What the fuck? And TNT. Damn, we can suck to this. Great. Yeah, this feels really hard. Match point. All right, we have guns. Yes. We can make it. Guns, it friendship. Anything is possible. I'm getting deja vu. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, stop thinking about what can possibly you, has happened in the past. Can you blind in and entry? Because yeah. uh, I'm going to orb for alt. So if we can play mm -hmm. post plant, that I've could won. be good. You want me to unflash it? Y you should run in with arena, okay? Flash. I'm flashing. All right. Go in. Toxins going up. Cypher? Uh oh. No, me, 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 me. Orb. Reloading. All right, we gotta wait. Reloading. Toxin screen down. Could be flank here. Nice. Okay, we got this. Okay, it's winnable. This is winnable. What do you want to do? Oh, no. One is what on do you want to do? Checking our flank. I wish they would peek. The issue with flank is we're gonna have to clear a lot. Flank. Actually, raise nice. walls here. We should theoretically go here. I know exactly oh. where. You are. He's close. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Thirty seconds left. My walls I'm up. My walls up. All. Oh. Sage, they done. One is a uh, drop. One more flank and one, one last one flank. Last oh. player standing. Hit by the brand. Is that the wall one's main? <gasps> oh. Dude. Guys, they had two instant flank. I killed one. I was like, we're I mean, good. That's mm -mm. The, the brim and the fade both were. That's crazy. Ugh, so sad. <sighs> Defenders win. Good try. Good try. It was a good game. I yeah, if we lose, our elo goes down, and it makes it easier to win, right? Uh, yeah. If that was the case, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I lost 16 RR on that, and uh, I'm at 42, so I, I don't know how much lower my elo could go. But there is no way in hell that I will sit here and and believe a world where that fucking brim was gold one and that fade was gold two. <laughs> I only True. know L's. But you're about to know what is. Thick lose streak. Holy. Okay, I'm gonna play one last one. I knew you had solutions to get a win. Yeah. Okay. One more, and then back to crime. Oh, okay. Whoa. <gasps> this is my last game for sure. Okay, okay. Why you lose. sound so sad, guys? Come on, it's gonna be okay. Dude, we haven't won in so <laughs> long. It's been I've lost sad. like uh, I've lost like eleven. Or games. hear me out. Play till we lose. I promised I would finish this crime video I was watching. So I definitely <laughs> have to go. Okay, but if we win, that would be a great feeling to have. But if we win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poor old. No can hold their breath forever. Hmm. Please, no more crime. It is what it is, isn't it? Okay, okay. I'm a crime streamer now. <laughs> I think there's like 45 minutes left of the crime video. Ooh, yo, yo, and I'm starving. Unfortunately. 
Nhầm 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 It's boring. Says you. And you also have to know that there, or think about all the people that think Valo is boring, but they're watching, you know, they don't watch Valo. Just because you feel a certain way doesn't mean that everyone else does. There are other streamers, bruh. <laughs> there are other streamers, bruh. I prefer crime over Valo. I mean, these are two completely different categories. We're watching real life murders versus a video game. They're non comparable. Of course, people are going to prefer one or the other. Come on. Don't be silly willies. Ah, Faith. Salam. I would offer you a camera. All right. Methods for gathering intel. It's time. Blue streak ends now. Myung. Forfeit uh, Hearthstone. I'm not playing Hearthstone. That's the craziest come part. Come on, come on. I think I play better when I play Hearthstone. Wait, me I think you're right. Turn on Hearthstone. Turn on Hearthstone. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Stay less, everyone. Hey. Thank you. I'd like to thank the Academy. Yo, guys, listen, 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 yes. Great, listen. Yes. Listen, listen, Tell listen. Tell me what to do. Fake A. I know they're gonna start running it from That's true, the that's true. Innocent. Okay, I'm gonna wall For A, sure. insta wall. And walling oh, now. The walling? Make a little noise. Yeah, yeah, a little noise. And then, yeah, Ray walks. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Careful flank, they might come through mid. Mm -hmm. Toxin screen down. I'm making noise. <laughs> okay, my wall's down. Okay. Walking All right. back. We're trying to get on B. You ready? B sprint, B sprint, let's go! I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting. rotating. Heaven. There's a sage there. Nice. Oh, 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 there's two here! One heaven oh, under. I'm yeah, in one heaven, one under. Your teammates are coming. Hassan is very close. <laughs> I'm coming. One hall. I lit her up, 75. Oh, oh wow. I can't believe that three Five there. Down B. Really? Though, they were just was... rotating back. They didn't stay. I thought our, our debate was going to be good enough. <laughs> they rotated real quickly, though. Yeah, yeah, they did. They were just really close. Thirty seconds left. <laughs> I believe. Me too. Huh? <laughs> she was kind of like. Oh my god! I believe six bullets. Oh, you have no time. It's gonna be one Ten under. seconds left. One oh, enemy remaining. You have screen, screen, screen. Wait, I thought it was. I have retrieved the spike. There you go. What? Wait. 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 Good job. Mm -hmm. Hassan's muted, I think. Hassan. Yeah. What? <laughs> uh, maybe not. Maybe he was Oh, uh, you know, never mind. <laughs> He's going through it. Blind. Toxins going up. Suppress it. Shut the fuck up, Dono. Too suppressed. Do here. We have timing. Me young what and the I. Fuck? Where are they shooting? Toxin screen down. Oh, I, I hear know. one going back, B. Then Marshall. coming back, A. God, oh, 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 that Spike sucks down, so A. bad. I have timing. Oh, you have such good timing. 
Two. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> I'm, I'm good sweep. Go, 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 go. <laughs> 50 dead. Oh, oh, they were both looking at him on. Nice. Well, not bad. Huh? Good save, good save. Yeah. Their lives are okay. so meaningless. <sighs> Alright, yo, we go B. We have bigger, longer guns. Uh huh. Cooler looking guns. Our skins are cooler. Guys, guys, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. I'ma be honest. The only thing lacking from this team is a little BDE, you know? We're acting like some little bitches. All scared and shit. Like, just run in there. Right, all I need you to go. Energy. Come on, let's get it. Let's oh. get it. Right, run in. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Don't be scared. Oh, I'm scared. Oh. Can I have a heal? Oh, I can't heal. <laughs> I like, I like that wall. anymore because they're I scared like of the big dick energy. Yeah, let's go, guys. We getting it. Watch this dog. Ow. I'm shooting the wall because I'm angry. Ow. There's like three here, Guys, by the get way. in there with Ray. <gasps> with yeah, Ray. <laughs> Fuck this, bro. My, my duelist ain't going in, man. What am I supposed to do? Oh, just, Real, just to the top. Fuck. Nice I got kill. one. We take those. Got two. Okay, we take those two. Got They're three. both there. I'm going A. We take those. Do it, do it. I'm going A. Free little. I'm out of bullets. Thing. Someday I'll give you my gun. I have 25 HP. I'm gonna wait a minute to plant. Oh, I Don't like worry, that. there's a dead KO here. Planting. Okay, I planted, seconds. so you guys gotta sprint. I'm sprinting. Why is she still there? Oh, I'm damp. There. I hear Arena. I'll try to timing her. I think I hear two. Yeah, okay. I hear two. Awesome. Good, 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 good. God, Brim, it's so loud. Oh, she went. One enemy oh remains. On spike, on spike, on spike, on spike. Can someone check? Let's go. Oh, advantage. oh that was a mistake. Mm. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. They tend to rotate fast, I guess. Oh, someone's spilled. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, just no kidding. Spill. No spill. Oh, just no a little spill. bottle movement. Huh? Okay. The BDE worked. BDE. Bruh. BDE. Lacking, to be honest. Like, mid? I'm not sure. Nah, they don't really push mid. Time for us to push mid then. Enemy spotted me. Get out of my way. There's a brim on yeah, you have spike, by the way. I think we can flank A here, because I have a really good flank. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just uh, me, I have spike. There's a brim. I you think he's here. Oh. Come in, come in, come in. Stick the on jet. I'm going to try to dog. Mm, I think he's secret then. Yeah, and one more secret. Nice. Okay. Where's... Oh, me on his way. Can you watch her? Uh... One flowers, for sure. Maybe down. one secret. One enemy oh, remaining. Nice. Toxin screen down. Oh, just here. She's art. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, she's a fucking... Grab their guns! Wait. They will Wait, oh, well, too late for me. Alright. We're doing it, we're doing it! Yeah. I can oh, buy you if you wanna... No, no, wanna no, buy no. Just I'll, a little teamwork. Do. I can alt A. Let's go! Nightmare, take them! But only them. if our duelists go in. Thoughts? I like that sure. thought, actually. I like that, too. Oh. 
Okay. Thoughts are good. I'm a fan of that. I'm gonna go for oh, mid again though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You're an indicator. Okay. Come close. Wait, come back! Wait a sec. Close. Ah! What the? Mm. Did she do that? with the shotgun? Yeah, she double dying us. <laughs> oh my gosh. She judged us. Also, they left mid completely clear. They want that gun though. Oh yeah, don't give him the gun. Right here. Stop. Nice. 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 Uh, nice. Spike down oh, mid. No. One backside. Oh, I back put bait. the spike in a terrible place. Yep, you see him. Fun. Backside, backside. Where? where? Uh, to the left backside side. Is to the left side. Ooh, there. Nice yeah. shot, Miang. He's dead. Oh, uh, one's by the spike. You gotta get his spike, though. Reyna probably left the respawn to the spike. I'm follow, assuming. follow me, young Hassan. Yeah, go together, go together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can... <laughs> you can knife around there, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh shit, Jet's right there, oh. fuck me! Oh, oh, nice! I should have knifed Oh, you, heard oh, you hear her! Yep. Behind door. you. Oh. Door. Door, door. Oh, nice. Okay, let's nice. young. Oh, oh my god. Flying? In oh my god, good job. Chuggy right now. Oh, thank you, Mia. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. <sighs> the power of Hearthstone. Let's go. Oh. The power of Hearthstone. No, I can't. You've got two, two different games of Hearthstone Hearthstone. going on right now. I can tell. Usually I am, but right now I'm not. Believe it or not, I do if want to play. If you guys come here, I'll all say. What if she has another? Judge, choo choo. We'll just chill that. Bring them down. Judge was scary. All right, I'm hmm. walling. They see me walling. They hate them. Can you blind them? Go go go. Bring them down. Counter art. Aww. We got Schmally. Oh, we, we, got, we got one. We got one. Friend. Watch out! Watch out! Let's Molotov. see. Oh, 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 holy fuck! Down they're full. The oh. down. Hey. Be bold. Be bold. They're four. They're four. Bees ball. Go B. Go B. Once you're right. Nice pick. Oh. Can that catch oh. me? One. One is one art. One is art. Ah uh, no. Yeah. Hold that. Hold that. Hold Myung that. Myung has a really good uh, cross. Crosshair. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the crosshair. <laughs> <laughs> I had to He's clean my monitor gold, for right? a second. But unfortunately, they might run. Oh, nice. Nice. That was the one. I, yeah, I would go. I would go help them though. Yeah. Go, go, go! Heaven. One tower or heaven. Mm -hmm. I'll find you. It's still heaven. Yeah, chill, chill, chill. Let me peek first, cause I'm low, anyways. I need to peek. Yeah, they're not on spike yet. Oh, oh, one enemy remaining. Last one still, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Chill, chill. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> chill, Wait, chill. Dude, I should have waited to blow up the bomb, but I don't know how to throw it from there to the bomb. Also, Close. plant the bomb like right here. I will here. not peek next time. Yeah, plant the bomb oh, like yeah. right here, everyone. Yeah, up here oh, so yeah. that you can see long. Because that corner just shooting. makes you have to like peek it. <laughs> I have um, no util, by the way. I'm just letting you guys know. Okay. Okay. But you do have your ult. Mm -hmm. I do. Let's force up, I think, because we have three guns. Oh. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, are if you want full armor, like I could buy you the Guardian. Are we trying uh, to go for like a pick or are we Oh, going never mind. <laughs> yeah. Split. What are we doing? I guess a pick. Peek. Going for that picky. Get out of my way, Monk. Okay. Uh oh. And for what? You know? What's up with that? Yeah. yeah. Who asked? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't. I don't want it. Don't worry, I'm right behind you. Got a pick. There's two A. One with the Spectre. There. Go ahead, Justice you got this. Down. 
Are we? You will not kill my ally. Ew. Three on B. Three on B. Three on B. Alright, three on B. Okay, let's, let's go. It, let's right? take it. Let's take it. Oh, secret, one is secret, a secret. secret. Going cover me. I'm planting. I'm covering flower. Thirty seconds left. Oh, 80 on C. Guys, I need you. Oh, maybe nice, nice, nice. I'm, I'm planting. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. Bam. On spike. Reloading. She what walled the it. She hell walled is it. That? Yeah, she's sticking it. She's sticking it. Nice! Nice! Last player standing. Five bullets. Oh! Oh, fuck! Nice! Oh, oh my god! god. That was yeah. 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 That was so good! That's some Very capital nice. G gamer Actually, shit. Better. What the fuck? Dude! Oh my gosh, that was so good. It was like a <laughs> dance. Big gaming. I know! It was so beautiful. We were tangoing. We're buying up, right? Uh... Yeah, only yeah. a few of them can buy guns. Yeah. I mean, I I'm saying. I can buy one. I'm, Let me I'm, buy one. I'm buying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's buy. Let's buy. Need a drop. Thank Ooh, you. That was crazy. Dude, My heart's pay. pounding. Wanna... <laughs> I'm middle empty. Jet and right now I can play. What? Okay, well, Jet's busy. Oh, let's go. Let's take Z. Oh, yeah, yeah. They just walled main. Check screen. Where are you? Okay. Planting in the open? Oh, uh, they're running. They're running from spawn. I hear them. Okay. Okay. I'm just laying for you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Going from also Aye, wow. It's planted in the open, so you can hold long. One hall, one hall. I'm playing time. Nice. One enemy remaining. Last one on spike, or near it. Let's go! Let's fucking go. Wait, is there a gun? Does anyone have a gun? On my body. I think they were saving. Yeah, they had pistols. Ooh. My positioning was really Roll bad there. Dog. Hot dog. Like fucking bulldog, but hey, you know, it gets kills, so. The bulldog hot dog. Ooh. It's a good game. This is the game. Um, Finally, I don't break know. the loose Jet doesn't have a tendency to push up from uh, middle, but. No, she, she did that last time with me, too. She was like holding down. mid. Should we just go? You can ult Hassan, we can just go. <laughs> no, I died! Reyna sucked me from mid double doors. Secret. I don't even think they play close. Yeah, I, I don't think they do either. Yeah. I think you're right. They only play secret. Planting? Oh, I'm oh, one, one, one. Shit. Garden, 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 garden. Close. Backside. Oh, nice. Oh, one secret. God. One secret and art. They're on it. They're sticking out, they're sticking out. I'm TNT. That's... Nice try, nice try. Try hard ass wall, look at this. Oh my god. We need Kai the same old Um, it is true. How they try to win? Listen, 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 listen. There. Listening. Listen, 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 listen. Mm. Huddle up, huddle up. Reloading. Hit tab. Okay, look at their scoreboard. Who are their two... Lowest skilled players, Sky and Brim. Where do they play? There. Oh, they yeah, A. A. Where are they? We just have to all right, better. Hassan. I'm gonna alt. You're okay. gonna alt. We're just gonna go. Wait, you want me? Oh, right. yes. Oh, oh, yes. Now, so they can't do anything. Bring them down. Yeah. Go, 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 go. That's what's up. Don't backside, even backside. be lit, scared. Lit. One is still nice. another one secret. Nice. Nice. Okay, we didn't. They're the deadiest. They're all. I'm dropping my wall. Down. They're all backside. Ready? I'm out of bullets. <laughs> Did not wait. What one the? Enemy remaining. Dude, this <laughs> jet is eating my ass. Don't go to waste. That's disgusting, God. Jet. I don't. 
think that's what they're doing. But I know what you're Jesus saying. Jesus, Jeff. <laughs> she just Are kills all... me every time. We should have probably not. waited. Anyone have funds we to spare? I, ran... <laughs> I was okay, trading okay. Pokey, but I had to reload. Can I get a gun, please? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, never mind. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. I'm playing top secret. Okay. Where are you? Nobody snitch. Bet they judge this again. No, 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 never again. He definitely, he definitely up. flames it. They can rotate to this. For I'm just making noise. Oh, well, we know that they're both there. Toxin screen down. Running away. Right there. I hear one going back to B. Okay, maybe they think we're leaving. Let's just. Check. Oh, what the fuck? They're all there. They're leaving. Here. Let's go B. Okay. Yeah, Toxin's Jed, Sky, up. Brim, they're all fucking. Buggy has too. a good flank. But they're gonna be coming from their uh, spawn for sure. Toxin screen down. Okay. Should I ult? Probably, yeah. Oh! One enemy remaining. Sorry. Nice. Last Sorry. one might be B. Last that means one might swing, be B. I understand. No, Jet was, um, Jet was definitely A, so he might be flanking. I heard probably one early link. rotate. Might be Link, probably. Probably Link. Sussy. No one dying. Hmm. I'm scared. I'm scared too. Oh, thank goodness. Not scared anymore. Ooh. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Last round before the switch. Buy what you need. Otherwise, we're going to look very stupid. Someday Hassan will be in the 13K club. <laughs> Someday. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> you too, right? <laughs> oh boy. I said wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> No, I like that you're a bot frag and you're still <laughs> making fun of him. I said we! I said we will be! Oh my god, I didn't hear the we part. I said we! That's crazy, I didn't hear it. Discord is sabotaging me. Here. Oh, the jet's and, uh, Yeah, you can all, you can all. I will ult. Is someone go in. Am I though? <laughs> the fucking, I can't see anything. That's okay, you can back up. You ain't gotta go crazy. Fuck, dude. It's okay. Uh, 80. They're in oh, wait, are they on? One's yeah, on now. They are now. Clean. On, 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 Wait, on or not on? Yeah, on, 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 on. Nice, man. Switching side. was my bad. Keep fighting. On, 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 and not on. That sound very similar. I'm going on, on, and on. There's like not on, not on. I'm like, what's happening? On, 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 on. We do sound like seagulls. Next time. Yeah, yeah. Has your Hearthstone game? No, no, I swear. I swear I'm not on Hearthstone. What are you doing then, bro? I wasn't going to be mad. What's up? What's up? What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? Play Valorant? What game you playing? TFT? Oh my god, it's been Care TFT. Be, care be. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? One med, one med. Dude, she just straight and headshot me with the sheriff. Oh, come oh. on, Reyna. <laughs> fuck you. 30 on Reyna, but she sucked me. She's mid. Ooh, 25 he sage. He hurts. Uh, uh, planting on B. I don't feel so Spike good. Planted. I'm in a weird spot. <laughs> Can I get a res?
Last player standing. Oh, Unlucky. Okay. Oh, it feels I'm dead. Oh, please, please kill her. Oh, they, no. oh she got a heal. That was unfair. Oh, she, got she got a heal. Got a heal. Got a heal. She got a heal. She got Yo, yo, guys, 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 You're let's five done. stack in. Okay. Okay. Trust, 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 trust. Trusting. And can you put a little smoke thingy here? Yeah, 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 I would yeah, be better yeah, if I yeah, had a... Of course. Oh, a gun skin. You want me to... And then we just need knife? one here. There. Maybe if Ray puts her wall, you don't even have to hold. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'm gonna... Knife it? Yeah. Put a wall. Yeah. Toxins going up. I hate them. Nah, they're oh, no. nah, <laughs> nah. They oh, nah, no. they know. Nah, oh, no, no way they don't Toxin go. Down. They're dogging it right now. They're on a. Oh, can you put your wall up, right? Yeah, Toxins yeah, yeah. Going up. Spike planted. Nah, that's some bullshit. Reloading. I hit the jet up a little bit. I think if you guys flank, it might help. <sighs> Marshall. Oh, I hit Jet 78. Hmm. Ain't no one back here. There's a wall. <laughs> oh. Ooh, Jet's lit. They're looking at Hassan. Ooh. I mean, there's Last nothing I, I classic from that distance. All three of them are back. The Marshall's really hard to beat. Yeah. I can't see them yet, but I can feel them getting oh, ready. Right. Okay. They wouldn't play me again. No, I actually think they will because they have Marshall, so they're just going to try to do the exact yeah. same thing. So they would definitely let's, let's just not this peek time. here, mm. and we can, I can put a wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> What if I jump peek like this? <clears throat> nice. Nice. Their broom is coming B. He's mid B. <coughs> Walling B. Guys, there's two marshals on B. I have a wall. <laughs> Once through, Ray. Oh, wow, dude. They do what a shot. Sure. <laughs> How? 74? She was blind. Oh my god, I were. Planting B. March one. Ah. Spike planted. Ooh, Angie. Bring them down. <laughs> 74 on Jet. Nice right. shot. Oh my god, that's you. Brim's right there. Myung has a flank. What? 80 on Brim. Hall, hall, hall. One's hall, one's hall. One enemy remaining. <laughs> he didn't know. Last one's hall. Wait, uh, Iman's walled off. Nice. nice. Let's go. Oh, I was muted. Good job. We oh, that. that was we so that. We needed that bad. We needed that real bad. Okay. I wasn't worried. Save the day. Easy. I still have eight kills, which is crazy. Okay. I'm gonna buy a guardian. I could buy a specky. Are we for we force right? Yeah. I could buy yes. it myself, or but if I buy it myself, then I don't have any. Buy up, buy up, buy, buy up. abilities. And a blood dish. <clears throat> blood dish. Oh fuck! I forgot the run B. Here's some. Get out of my way. Be careful, man. Yeah, it might be no. doors. <laughs> oh oh my. That's great. No. Two on A, man. They're all on. Okay. They're hella on. And they're flank, like secret. Oh, okay. Coming, Spike coming, coming. Planted. 
Care spawn. Ooh. Enemy A. Aw. We found one. Bring them down. There. I have a guardian on my body. I hate this Ow. game. 114 on stage. Enemy nice. down. One. One, one main, one Lucy oh, okay. left. <laughs> One enemy remains. <laughs> oh, <I laughs> Dude, yeah. that is so crazy wow. of them. Make their That's a crazy weapon. wall. I, I actually <laughs> almost can't believe. Now nah, let's save. Let's save. Okay, let's save. Just be calm. I'm gonna try Marshall again. About that time. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try A this time. They are so rich. They're here. <laughs> Guys, I think they know we have pistols. I've got your trail. I can't believe they waited for your knife. One mid. I mean, there's I. It's gun diff. Spike planted. It's not even gun diff. I got blinded while I was. Last player standing. Well, blinded and gun diff. Long. Surely, surely, <laughs> surely. That, surely. Surely. No, that sage is her. like that sage has done that so Whatever many times. Happens. Just, I, I, every Don't time I hit her, she just evades uh, it. Mm -hmm. It's okay, okay. This is this is where we bring it back. This is. Where I know this game, game feels bad, but it's only eight nine. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's Very true. Close. That's true. Yeah, it feels like we're losing, but we not. I'm gonna ult A. I think. Honestly, we killed Jet. Okay. It's easy. Um, can we get one more? Yeah, demon? maybe one go rotate. Go. Okay. Oh my God! You I don't have a gun. Uh, okay, I might not ult. <laughs> when did I, what the fuck just happened? It's a very quiet day, anyways. They're waiting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They could still hit. Oh, I hear it. My eyes. Oh no. One right behind. Nice well. kill. Are they still hitting? Oh. Yeah, Jet's definitely on side, I think. Jet's on, for sure. Yeah. I don't know! Oh, shooting Sage. Fuck me! Can you guys hit me? Jet's lit for nothing. Both of them are back there. Copy, copy! Uh, should I run? Yeah, run, run, run. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, wait, Ness, wait, Ness. Oh my okay. gosh. God, did no one hear there. that though? Ray yeah. yelled out, Jet, hit for nothing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what was the call out on them? <laughs> it's full HP! She yelled it out too, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that registered as useful information, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're buying up, right? Surely what took it valuable information. <laughs> I definitely did. Okay, now Ray is ulting A. Uh, I can buy you, hey. Myung. I need this. <gasps> request, wow. request. Wait, we nice. have a million ults. Yes, we do. We, do. we win, we win. This is yes, where we, we swing. Do. Yes, we do. Huh? Not the jet. The jet is B? Uh, can you guys play a bit back, B? I I'm playing I think we have a better here. retake. I mean, of course you can. Yo, oh yeah, we can retake going, together. Uh, I'm gonna go heaven. Oh, one's on site. Oh my god. How's it looking? Are we <laughs> empty? Empty? It's looking uh, Are they rough. on B? Oh, oh yeah. Karina cooked my asshole. <laughs> I have all- I have all- I should have- okay. Oh, I don't have all- Oh my god. Oh. Find you. Well, fuck it. One tall. Nice! Oh, all's dead. Could be another hall though. Okay, they're all back there. Cover me. 
Cover from the cover from the angle. Make sure that they don't get it. Wait, there's a sage. There's a sage. I got no. it. I ran out of bullets. Nice, nice. Last player oh stand. shit! You got it. You got it. You got it. Oh. And TD. Oh, oh my gosh. I hit 90, oh. Jeff. Have courage, but no one is immune to fear. Well, I have no money. I'm a broke <laughs> bitch. So ever. We all oh get we all are. Are we safe? I'm like, what are we doing? We, we have yeah, to we save. save. We have to save. We can still okay. win this. We can still win. They have it, the jet has eight grand already, and they all. Oh god, they have like two full buyouts. It's okay. The jet is Rich in game, team. broke IRL. <laughs> 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 the fade away. <laughs> I think it's A. Yeah, I think it's A. I do think oh, it's A. Oh god, Jet's coming! My ass! It's getting A! Oh. <laughs> cubby, cubby! One close, one close. Two cubby, two cubby. Sage is there. Oh my god! Yes! Spike planted. Last player oh, standing. Left, 78 heart. on Sage. Heart. Oh. 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 I got sliced! Oh. They sliced me! <laughs> <laughs> Witness the murder. Uh, we're getting so close. Like we can we turn this back. They're not better. They're not better. We True. just need to fucking eliminate the jet. We need to figure out where the jet is and four man gangbang the jet. Huh? Oh my God. What? Okay, how Please. about I ult here? I like that. Clear to engage. Weapons hot. Oh, what the fuck? Where are we all here? Uh oh. I'm gonna ult this. Knife yes! Nice. You will not kill my ally! Resder. Oh, I put 40 on Jet. Oh, that was bad. Don't get in my way! Nice all. Can you play safe in your ult? I'm gonna try. Hit me through the smoke. Jet and both, Jet and both. Screen. Uh, 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 mm. What a nightmare, so bro. I know they're already looking. Spike oh, planted. On top oh of my god, so good. Get on screen. Get on screen. Mm. Last player standing. Oh, okay. Bruh. Gonna be one of those. Oh my god, I believe. One of those easy clutches? <gasps> I believe! <laughs> You do have all, I'm just saying. One enemy remaining. <laughs> I don't oh, need it, but... Nah, it's too late. Oh. He's not even gonna peek me. What a little Like, come baby. on now. Come on, let's get the ace. Oh. I hate that guy. Yeah. Oh, you got you. That would have been a good uh -oh. ace. Match it's because he didn't peek. Like... Need a drop. Scared. He's a real cringe for that. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Especially being like that far ahead. Come yeah. on, you ain't got nothing to lose. Chat, you saw nothing. There you go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> they really don't ever go mid, huh? Oh, I hear footsteps yeah. A. Camera taken out. Monka. I've got your trailer. Nice. Nightmare, take them! Oh my god, that's such a good ult. Mark four. Mark four. Oh, they <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Guess who's Therapy? eating ass now? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, guys. Who's in the corner? I hear a mid. To A? There's still one main, A main. 
two. Yeah, we have two one. here. I'm gonna back up a bit. Poison's off. You can ult, Hassan. I don't. Oh, I, I mean, I guess. But yeah, yeah, it's last round. It's good. Yeah. Don't, don't push out. Don't push out. We're on defense. I know, but they're rotating to B probably. Wait. They can't. Iman's over there. Iman's there. I think oh, they know. 44 Sage. They're running. They're pushing Four in here. They're pushing in here, though. 30 seconds left. One enemy remaining. Yeah! Nice. Hey, Hassan. Let's go! Nice. Gun, gun, gun! Nice. Oh, I off. forgot. <laughs> uh, well, I forgot to get a gun. It's okay, it's okay. Fuck it, I'll buy for you guys if you want. Oh, yeah, you uh, could buy someone a gun. That's bulldog time, baby, for me. I'm, I'm the bulldog camera. master. For sub, possibly last round. Yeah. I'm the bulldog bully. That's what they call me. <laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah, they say they say Clutchinabi and Bulldog Let's Bulldog <laughs> Bastard. Oh. Bulldog oh. Bastard. Get out of my way. Yep, I hear many B. Hassan, don't go up there. Uh, it's yeah. too late for me. Why did you go there? Go. Nice. Because this, oh, I got their jet. It's over. It's over. They're full pushing and I got their jet. Nice. They're all here being be long. Don't let the sage wall and then. Toxin screen down. They're committing. Spike down. B. One enemy yes! remaining. Nice, yes! man. Yes! Yes! Let's go. Let's go. Cool. Okay, can I guys? Can yep. I get it? Uh, you know what? Bulldog bully. <laughs> Don't even oh, care. No. It's bulldog time, baby. <laughs> You're actually just on that gun. All I all I need to do is is get their fucking jet or someone needs to kill yeah, their jet and then that it's was over. very worth. Can I have to rattle? No, 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 don't, no, no, no. don't, 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 yeah, don't, 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 Hold! We'll save you! Young. Young! Oh. Got one. Nice! nice. <laughs> careful, careful, they probably will run. <laughs> there's a rotated? hole in my there's a hole in my wall. Uh, I got there one roto. Nice. Okay, we chill, we chill, we chill. We're chillin', we chillin'. No, he's right here. They're here, they're here, they're here, they're multiple. Yeah. Nice. Okay. They're oh, both the spawned. Oh, Sage 34! Brim and play Sage together, are on together. the freaking edge. They're coming A, uh, a B main. Oh, I think they're gonna... Oh, we got it, though. Oh, hey, they might be oh. playing for picks oh, or something. They're... Okay. Uh, maybe yeah, it's the yeah, reverse yeah, reverse. Yeah. I think they are. Pinch him, pinch him, pinch him. If they come him. here, I have a wall. I don't know if I want to pinch. They're here. That's okay. definitely they're here. They're, they're definitely they're pushing B. B. Oh, that's it. Okay. Where are they exactly? B, uh, on the other side of my wall. Like, almost at the wall. Oh. Okay. We'll be quiet. 30, 30 seconds left. I'll just make noise. Charity, your left. Wall's down. Nice. I'm leering. I'm gonna leer. Okay, let's peek when you mm -hmm. peek yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go! Nice! 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 Oh, that was so good that we I we can't pinched them. We just did that. Let's oh, fucking go! All right, which side does Jet play? <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! I'm, I'm going that side. What is that sound? Was that fireworks, Mia? Oh, I did this. Fireworks? Did you hear that, dude? Mia, did you hear that? What was that? Was that our house? I can't tell if that was the neighbors or it sounded was like loud, it was outside, right? but it was loud. Yeah. Um... Bunk. That's, that's crazy. It was like oh, a huge boom. boom. Yeah, that was. I okay. <laughs> we well, guess we'll just play some Valo. Yeah, I think we just finish our Valo match. Okay. Avoid. Oh my God! Oh. What an what an opping cringer. No. Oh. oh just, just pushed up. Oh, 40 on her. She's on you, Ray. Yep. 
jets here now. Yep. At least that means they're not playing. I think I can wall the opper off. Probably. That's gonna be art, art. Oof, this is gonna be hard. There's mm -hmm. an op there. I have a wall though. Yeah. Pick mid or something. Yeah. Try to jiggle it as well after you all. Okay. Toxins going up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <Good> shit! <laughs> They're walled off there, by the way. You guys have 30 seconds. Yeah, we're gonna have to make 30 seconds move. left. Yeah. Uh, uh collapse A? Toxin yeah. Screen down. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I hear them running. To A? Or where? Yeah. Here? You guys I, have, I, to, oh, I have to go. Let's go. Let's go. Fast, yeah, fast, sure. fast. Somebody help. <laughs> oh my god. Jets in the Bike cup. Down a. Jets in that corner. There's no time. Last player standing. Yeah. Get out of my way. <sighs> Not gonna lie, that was a little comedic. <laughs> Oh I god. She waited for you to plan it size. too. She was like match point. I know, but I can't be alone on site either. And no time to plant. Yeah, I was catching one on the rotate. Mm. I didn't want to like move. She would see me. Yeah, I think one of you guys had to play slow flank and one of you guys had to help Ray. Yeah. But it was a hard sitch either way. Yeah. Are you going no mid? Time. I'm no, either I'm gonna put way. a wall B. Isolate and exterminate. They're gonna op probably. Yeah, careful. Ew. Oh. They smoked here. Yep. There's some here. They're giving a wall. Be careful you're right, Hassan. I think I heard someone. Oh my god, I did. I did. They're like on B side. I give up, bro. Oh. 120 right now. Spike planted. And... Oh, she pushed me? One's hall. Green is. One day. Nice. Oh, hall, hall, hall. Oh, hall. I didn't know she was in. Oh. Uh, <laughs> NT. I NT. That was very hard fought, and those guys really did really, really annoying. <laughs> yeah. I, listen, that, that jet was probably gold at most. Let's see. Let's uh, see what her rank. Like let's that? see what her rank is. Let's see. Something like that. <laughs> I lost nine RR, but with a performance bonus. Um, Congrats. Oh yeah, that's just just gold too. Like, yeah, definitely. No, that's definitely just a normal gold <laughs> two game. All right, guys. Thank GGs. you for the games. Thanks for the games. Have a good night, y'all. Nighty. Night. Goodbye. <sighs> it's about that time. We're gonna finish up this crime vid. It's crime time. Man. Still on a thick losing streak. It's okay. Whatever. I'm gonna get... I would like to uh, play more Valo next... Uh, this upcoming act. I think we have eight... Seven more days. Alright, we're continuing. Are we ready? Do 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 do. This is distancing language, or language that creates psychological distance from the main topic of discussion, i.e. use of that versus my. Up until this point, they referred to Elizabeth okay? by name. It also calls attention to Elizabeth's vulnerability. Five, it's a mirror. Guilty parties are forced to analyze themselves and resultingly come face to face with who they are and why they did what they did. This can produce observable signs of All cognitive right. dissonance a subjective experience of discomfort when two or more ways of thinking. TDLR, first half of the vid, yes. Okay, this video is called When a Teen Killer Realizes She's Been Caught. Um, she's a teenager. She had a neighbor girl who was nine years old. Uh, they were in the woods. And this girl has a hobby of digging holes. The girl is, uh, her boyfriend said that she said that she killed her. Um, she hasn't confessed yet. Granny is in the room. She's down here. Grandma's here. She doesn't know either what's been going on. Um, other, she had some blood on her pants. Her sister noticed and she said it was her period. 
Um, any other big points? I feel like that's pretty much the gist of it. She's kind of, I don't know. Uh, obviously guilty, but we will see how it plays out. Small town vibe, yeah, pretty much. Being, feeling, or otherwise experiencing clash. The dissonance may include discordant ideas, beliefs, behavior, etc. What type of person do you think would do this sort of thing to a nine-year-old girl? <laughs> um, uh, sick person, like someone that, I don't know, can put down all their morals and just take a nine-year-old girl. Alyssa pauses, stutters, and struggles to get the words out. She's looking in the mirror. She parrots Rice, nine-year-old girl, using a parallel tone and inflection. Thank you, Sociopaths Anna. and psychopaths hide in plain sight by observing and mimicking the mannerisms and behaviors of those around them. The word this served as a placeholder. Whatever Alyssa said would represent what she knew this to be. But Alyssa evaded this trap. Oh. She could have filled that placeholder with kill, but she filled it with take. On the other hand, this could be seen as a slip-up, as Alyssa did technically take Elizabeth into the woods. Whenever we find out what happened to her, if somebody did something to her, mm -hmm. what do you think should happen? I think they should give, uh, convicted. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Good night, the, the title. So the title. Okay. Alyssa's face with a fate. We can see and hear her cognitive dissonance oh in her ums, gosh. pauses, and nonverbals, which all indicate discomfort. There are many areas in which Alyssa could slip up and incriminate herself. For instance, she could use possessive language, say I instead of they. She may be aware of this, suggestive from her halting breaks in speech. The next questions that follow are direct and straight to the point, even though he prefaces that he asks everybody these questions. I I'm going to ask you because I ask everybody. Mm -hmm. Did you do anything to her? No. Did you cause her disappearance? No. Did you kill her? No. Okay. Do you know where she's at right now? No. Okay. Alyssa's uh -oh. responses may seem convincing. She says no with conviction, appearing to shake her head back and forth in tandem. We covered that inconsistencies between verbal and nonverbal behaviors imply lying. So why do Alyssa's verbal and nonverbal behaviors appear consistent with one another? A closer look reveals that Alyssa ever so slightly nods her head up and down after each no response. <laughs> Incongruent head movements are more often subtle, as we see with Alyssa, are exaggerated. Directly following the She's big question, did you kill Elizabeth? Alyssa says no and begins to shake her head back and forth, but stops halfway. She's not committed to what she's saying. I, I may have, I may have, I, I'm new to this. Like, um, was playing with That's my understanding. And when was that? Oh, they were sometime after I had gone in the forest, because I guess I just decided to go over here with it. Oh, after you ran away, yes. she went to find somebody new to play with. Mm -hmm. Can I just Yeah, go ahead. Do I need to stop? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You okay? Do you need some water? Okay. You do. Okay. After a break in the interrogation, oh Alyssa my. sits quietly in the room alone. Rocking back and forth, as with other repetitive body movements, is a self-pacifying nonverbal behavior. Toby takes advantage of downtime to build rapport with Alyssa. Uh, as soon as Detective Rice re-enters the room, Alyssa begins to immediately display the self-pacifying behavior of hair stroking. Something she didn't do right until the moment Rice reappeared. Dude, I don't think the bangs uh, thing. Sweet. Sudden okay. yawn. Okay. I mean, uh, pretty good on drinks and everything. So. What if she's just Alyssa yawning? Alyssa sits expressionless as Rice and Toby exchange lighthearted small talk. You know, I used to talk to my parents. You know, they said, you know, I grew up listening. You know, we didn't have a TV. We had a radio. And I'm like, God, that's. You didn't have a television? You didn't have the internet? <laughs> Sergeant Rice asks about Elizabeth Olton's cell phone and tells Alyssa that law enforcement knows Elizabeth had her phone at the time of her disappearance. She's told that with the software available to law enforcement, they can find any cell phone anywhere on the planet. It's a simple scare tactic, but it's a way to say that any lies will be found out. Uh -huh. Is there any reason at all that your fingerprints would be on that cell phone? No. Okay. 
Okay. So if that cell phone were processed, your fingerprints would not be on it. Right. Can you think of any reason why, if, have you ever touched that cell phone, have you ever held that cell phone? I mean, in the past, any time at all? Now, it's my understanding that, uh -oh. uh, did the FBI do a search or something of, of the house where you guys lived? Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. What, what was that all about? Um, they searched our house, I guess, for any signs of and they got stuff in the room, but not like evidence like that. They had like marijuana seeds. And, <laughs> and you understand, I don't care about marijuana seeds or any of that. And they found uh, less. my medication. Yeah, don't care about that. Yeah. This is not what we're here about. Has it ever been in the house? I mean, she's she, coming she over to visit with Emma. House, yes. Yeah, I assume she's a neighbor girl. She's probably been over there, so. Uh, not a big deal there. So, um, you said they searched your room. Yes. Other marijuana seats and that sort of stuff. Did they? Did they find anything? Nope. Okay. Did they take anything? Um, they took my sheet and okay. a pillowcase. I okay. think. Did they take anything else? Um, I don't think so. I haven't really surveyed anything. Blood. Okay. Okay. They took clothes. Oh. Oh, they took a pair of clothes. Okay. And a diary. I mean, they gave us the list. I, it's not all coming to me what was on the list, but there's a long list. This moment is incredibly significant. Up until this point, Alyssa had no idea her diary was collected as evidence. Uh -oh. I mean, they gave us the list. I, it's not all coming to me what was on the list, but there's a long list. Oh, no. Your Don't diary. tell me you wrote it in okay. your diary. You wrote through the diary? I, just, I looked at some of it, yes. Okay. Did you know that? No. Okay. So they gave us the list. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's kind of your private, private personal thoughts, isn't it? Alyssa's bedroom was anything but ordinary of what you would expect for a 15-year-old girl. The room was messy with clothes thrown on the floor, but it was the bizarre Jesus, writings all over her that walls that messy, caught investigators' though. attention, and a drawn figure with slash marks to their head and arms with the name Emma, Alyssa's younger sister, written next to it. Some of these writings, including dark poems, were written in pen and marker, but others looked like they'd been written in blood. Letters and cards were taped up onto the walls from her father, who was still in prison at the time, and on Alyssa's bed, hidden under a blanket, was her journal. She wrote down her thoughts and feelings like any normal teenage girl, but nothing could prepare the investigators for what else they would find inside. What? The journal was filled with disturbing thoughts, including Alyssa's desire to burn a house down with a family inside. Oh my She wrote gosh. another entry which stated, If I don't talk about it, I bottle it up, and when I explode, someone is going to die. Her last entry, dated Wednesday, October 21st, was the same day Patty Olton reported Elizabeth's disappearance to the police. Alyssa had scribbled the words out in blue ink, thinking no one would ever figure Girl, out how to read them. We can still read this! There's no way! Despite her efforts to cover up the entry, investigators were able to read the disturbing original writing. <laughs> I just fucking killed someone. I strangled them and slit their throat and stabbed them. Now they're dead. I don't know how to feel at the moment. It was amazing. As soon as you get over the, oh my God, I can't do this feeling, it's pretty enjoyable. I'm kind of nervous and shaky though right now. Okay, I gotta go to church now, LOL. This entire time, Detective Rice was well aware of the sickening confession oh, Alyssa had written inside knew. and was waiting up until this moment to confront her and take her completely off it's guard. Time. From this point onward, there will be a massive shift in Alyssa's demeanor as she realizes the games are over. Do you think they went through your diary? If they collected it, then most likely. It's time. He remains silent for 13 seconds. Oh, and you can shit. see how uncomfortable this Alyssa is. This is the becomes. best part. He will continue to use long moments of silence to make Alyssa uncomfortable and eventually draw out a confession. <laughs> the most important aspect of reading body language is analyzing clusters rather than individual indicators. In the following clip, You'll see a cluster of indicators that Alyssa exhibits, suggesting she is experiencing high levels of stress. So. Oh, God. She smacks her lips, so. swallows, flips her hair. She'll then exhibit it's, what is known as the painful. freeze response, which is a limbic system response to danger. She gets so still, she almost appears to be a statue. We talked a little bit earlier about technology. <laughs> Stop. Even if you write something down, yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's say you write it down in pencil. 
and then you take a pen and try real hard to scratch it out. <laughs> that doesn't make it go away. Okay. It's still there. And forensically, and actually you don't even need a whole lot of forensics. She's if you hold so it up, you'll allow foolish. It, you can see what was written. And then when that's processed forensically, every word, every stroke is still there. Do you hear me? Oh, does Granny not know yet? Granny doesn't know. What we want to do is find out what happened to the little girl. Okay. Melissa's face, though a bit grainy in the footage, is almost frowning. She's struggling to keep it together, giving only short answers to Rice's questions. Then, Rice drops another bombshell. I need to know what the truth is. Okay. We have your diary. <laughs> we read your diary. Oh, shit. Including the last entry. It's too much. It's too much. I can't. Please stop. Please. How much longer? Is this for real? Is it paused? He goes silent for a full 70 seconds. Oh. Just over a minute. It may not seem like a very long time. Oh, that's a long time. But when time. you're in an interrogation and under pressure, this silence must... You really get to know how long time is when you're microwaving food. When you put something in the microwave for a minute and have to literally wait the whole minute, it's painful. It's a long time. It felt like the longest silence Alyssa ever endured. <sighs> and you can see her face start to falter. Maybe her eyes are watering up, but it's hard to tell. Some argue that the first person who breaks silence in an interrogative setting loses the round. Alyssa indulges the silence, which might be more telling than if she objected to Rice's implication. Alyssa could be brainstorming. She could be terrified. It looks like there was a moment when Alyssa might break, but then she seems to reset her emotions and remain quiet, staring back at Sergeant Rice. Sergeant we both Rice. know what we're talking about here. Where's she at? Oh. Where's your What? We deal with kids all the time. Mm -hmm. We deal with kids all the time. That's all we've done for 12 years is deal with kids. Mm -hmm. You're not going to say anything in this room that's going to catch us off guard. Okay? We need you to be honest. Oh, tell her. Just be honest. If you know something, then say it. Okay? Toby is making a serious error here by involving herself in the questioning. She is a juvenile officer, and in taking this role, she's supposed to be acting as Alyssa's advocate, not as an interrogator. She uh -oh. is limited to observing the interrogation Ow. and protecting Alyssa's rights. She is crossing the line here. And due to this mistake, oh. the confession was later ruled inadmissible in court, citing deceptive tactics being used to draw a confession out of Alyssa. What? Just okay, go ahead. You need to tell us the truth. You need to tell Actual us the truth. Actual huge L. If this was an accident, that's fine, but we need the truth. With Rice annoying. saying it's fine if it, meaning the death of Elizabeth, was an accident, this is the minimization part of the read technique that's been used throughout this entire interrogation. Minimization is an interrogator's attempt to decrease a suspect's resistance to confessing by downplaying the seriousness of the crime. We can tell Alyssa is teetering on the precipice of confessing, toying with the idea. Cornered by two questioners, she tightly compresses her lips as she builds the courage to confess. We have to know the truth. Is it time? That's all I'm asking for, is whatever happened. I have to know the truth. This is not going to go away. All I'm asking for is the truth. It's probably harder for her to confess with her grandma right there. I don't know what's in the diary. I don't know the truth. That's what oh. I'm asking. Tell us what happened. Oh, God. The lip pull is a micro-expression that signals intense displeasure, <laughs> dislike, or disagreement. In sports, players will often exhibit the lip pull after a loss. They are resistantly admitting defeat. Me after Vala. Alyssa exhibits the lip pull here. This may speak to Alyssa's mindset. I do this, this when I bite the inside of my regret? cheeks. Or is it defeat? 
The interrogator will now begin to reiterate the accident theory. And at this point, I think Alyssa's grandmother is my losing her mind. My mom told me to stop doing that though because I look extra ugly. Way. I'm doing this. If this, isn't, if this was an accident, that's I never fine. forgot. I still what do though. <laughs> but I have to know what happened. I have to know what the truth was. I have to know how this happened. And the most important thing is we have to know where she's at. We have to give this family some closure. Just like if this was your little sister, you would want closure. This family needs closure. Mm-hmm. She doesn't okay. care. Let's start at the beginning. Is this something that was planned out or was this just an accident? Okay. Interrogators often offer a chance for suspects to admit that the crime was an accident. That still even means if you all did evidence it. suggests otherwise. This is a method for interrogators to get a foot in the door. The, the foot is in the door. The crime, thinking they will be perceived as being less culpable. A form of minimization. It's telling that there was a pause between the words it and was. It was an accident. She's quickly thinking about her options and oh, whether she can lie girl. her way out of this situation. Well, you is that's this, this is a starting point then. That's kind of what I thought. Mm -mm. Oh. Why don't we start with... Uh-oh. Why don't we start with what happened? Uh-oh. It's a granny time. Did you get home from school at 3.30? Yes! Yes! Shush her! Like, what is this woman's problem? She had one job, and this isn't it. You got home at 3.30? Oh my gosh. And then what happened from there? I live in the forest. Like I said. He shushed her. It was great. Okay. Yeah, was there in the forest? Yes. Was she alone? Yeah. Okay. We decided to go hang out. Because it was a nice day. Oh, come Please. on. Mess, mess it. She's stalling. She's trying to make up a story right now for how it was an accident. <laughs> Video <Vidya's> pushing. <laughs> She died. So I. She fell and died, Smiley. <laughs> Alyssa struggles to inhale. Her windpipe is constricting, which indicates the presence of severe stress. This biological marker of stress suggests Alyssa is legitimately affected. It could likewise be that Alyssa is effectively, intentionally, activating a stress response for the sake of believability. Wait, what? Wait, really? Wait, what? I don't understand that. Legitimately affected. Effectively, intentionally activating a stress response. I feel like she probably is just literally breaking down. Do you guys think that she's at faking this? I think she's crying because she got caught. Like, she's freaking out. That's interesting. Forcing a panic attack. That's interesting. She's freaking out because she can't come up with a story. 
I feel like she has to be actually stressed. Interesting, interesting. Oh, you guys all think that she's just faking it. Fake of believability. Crazy. <laughs> Alyssa goes from sobbing to attempting to pull herself together. She abruptly and flatly states the burnt Elizabeth's body. The time it took her to pull herself together is probably how long it took for her to come up with that lie. In reality, she didn't burn Elizabeth, as we'll soon find out what Alyssa actually did to her. No way. Rice asks another assumptive question. When interrogators assume answers, suspects with answers are more likely to share them. We're at enforced. No way. What did she do? How did you burn her? Started a fire. Girl, there's gonna be no no ashes there or anything. The only reason it seems she said she burned the body without knowing how difficult it is to actually burn a body is because burning would presumably get rid of evidence mm -hmm. and the body of the missing girl everyone is looking for. Oh, Why my poor girl. Was that good? Was that for her? When, I, when did you date that one? <gasps> you dug it ahead of time, didn't you? Oh, my oh, gosh. Wow. Preemptive murder. Before you played with her? Yes. What? First, she states she dug the hole the oh day. Oh, my gosh. She just confessed that she was planning to kill her because she dug the hole before she played with her. And then she just happened to accidentally fall and die. That's the crazy. The murder to continue pushing the narrative crazy. that it was all just an accident. Then she slips up without even realizing it, stating Dumbass. the truth. The hole was dug on Friday, five days prior to the murder. At this point, Alyssa can't even follow her own story. <laughs> Alyssa admitting to digging the hole before Elbozo. she and Elizabeth hung out establishes premeditation. It doesn't matter whether the body's burned. Ah, my cam! They'll go through and do an autopsy. Okay. And they will discover every injury on her body and the cause of death. And, and I understand you said she fell, and that's why she died. However, they will know from the autopsy if she was shot, if she was hit in the head, if her throat was cut. They will know all of that from the autopsy. Mm -hmm. So we, oh, back. we need to know the truth because at the end of the autopsy, they will know exactly how she died. Mm -hmm. So we need to know now the full truth, the full disclosure right now. So it doesn't come out later that, well, he wasn't telling the full truth again. Then he calls her bluff. How did she kill him? She, I didn't, she died. How did she die? Nine-year-old girls don't just die. We were missing her ever. And she fell back with her head. Was her throat cut? <gasps> Alyssa sharply exhales as she responds. Yeah. Oh. We see Alyssa's emotional appeal to her grandmother. Her emotional stuntedness appears to have limits. Individuals with psychopathic and sociopathic personality traits or tendencies while removed from feeling in a multitude of ways, may experience normal feelings of love for family and others closest to them. Grandma. Oh my God. Where was she? Yeah. She was I'm not gonna ask any questions right now until we get. Alyssa finally admits to cutting Elizabeth Olton's throat. Alyssa's grandmother cries out in utter anguish and disbelief. Her entire world was just destroyed. Her granddaughter, the one she rescued from a horrible living situation, just admitted to killing a nine-year-old girl. But why did Alyssa kill her? 
I think. I think you got the whole head of time. I think my cam's overheating. I think you tried to dig the hole, like I said. You realized it was too hard to dig down the farm. Oh, God. And I think you got her out there. They knew you were going to kill her. And then you cut her throat. Is that what happened? Yes. We, we hear Alyssa her. exhale heavily, possibly a sign of relief, as she runs through her actions. She does this multiple times. What did you use to cut her throat with? The knife. <sighs> Pocket knife. A kitchen knife. Kitchen knife. Okay. Where is oh. that kitchen knife now? In the sink. In the sink of your house. I believe so. Okay. Did you stab her? Afterwards. Stab her body or where? Okay. How many times did you stab her? Two. Two. I think. Alyssa leans on words such as I believe and I think. These phrases often function as hedges. In some instances, hedges serve to soften statements or make them seem more cautious. Imagine how Alyssa would sound when responding to questions without these hedge phrases. Her response may seem overly cold and blunt, suggesting emotional detachment and even premeditation. Given Alyssa has displayed socio and or psychopathic tendencies thus far, it would be reasonable to conclude that she is consciously employing a social adaptive mechanism or a learned regularity in human social behavior to mimic the normal flow of human conversation. Did you hit her with anything first? Or did you just cut her neck? Or what, you tell me what happened. I know, what's the reason? Premeditation has been established because she dug a grave prior to Elizabeth's murder. Mm -hmm. And Alyssa finally tells Rice what the murder weapon was, a black-handled kitchen knife that she took from her house and hid on her person. Mm. It's confirmed that Alyssa slit Elizabeth's throat and then stabbed her. Alyssa only recalls stabbing her twice, but the autopsy later revealed that Elizabeth was stabbed eight times. Oh, poor baby. When she was finished, she just put the knife in the sink and washed it as if nothing had happened. When you got home from school, about 3.30, mm -hmm. what happened from then? Walk me through step by step. Oh, poor baby. Oh. I got home. She was only I nine. Home. I still went out for four hours, five during years. Then I walked over and was outside. Did you, when did you dig the hole? Um, I don't know when I was trying to murder my entire body. So did you dig that after you killed her? I think that's real yes. 16. Okay. So at about 5.30, you went out. Did you go to her house to get her? I went over there and she was outside. So I was like, yeah. And you were 15, 15. Okay. So you went over there about 5.30 and got her. Uh, was she with you? She was part of the way. Like did I said, I fished her. Ditched her. Yeah. Did you have the knife hidden on you? Or where was it at? Yeah, it was. I had it. In your hand? No. Okay. So you went, did you walk all the way over to her house? Yeah. Okay. Show me what route you went. I went back through here. Went and got her. What did you tell her you were going to do? We were just hanging out at first. I Oh, Lord. You had the knife with you. Did you, had you made up your decision you were going to kill her then? 
at what point did you make the decision that you were going to kill her? Well, we have been at the creek. Okay. Why? I don't know. Serial killers murder victims who are readily available, easily accessible, Ugh. vulnerable, isolated or weak, and desirable, uniquely appealing. Elizabeth was a neighbor, easily accessible. She was a nine-year-old girl, Ugh. vulnerable. One can only speculate how Elizabeth might have uniquely appealed to Alyssa. Either way, Alyssa cannot identify why she did what she did, just oh, as she on. seems to struggle to identify her emotions. Was 15-year-old Alyssa a premature, fledgling serial killer? You just decided. Okay. That's was so she weird. Facing you, was she turned around? What what happened? It just kind of seems like she's not aware of the consequences of her actions. Like, I feel like she probably, yeah, she just did just do it. And she probably really thought she was gonna get away with it too. It's just stupid. She was turned around. She just came up behind her and cut her throat. And then stabbed her twice. Okay. And is it true you said then you burn her body? Okay, is that part true? Mm -hmm. So is her body should still be there? I burned it and then I like scattered it in the in the creek. Into the creek? Yes. Is the creek full of water? Yes. Because generally it's pretty hard to burn a body all the way. So it wasn't burned up all the way, was it? No. No, because it's hard to burn a body. Right. So you kind of pushed what was left of the body into the water. Mm -hmm. Was the water moving pretty fast? Kind of. Okay. Clothes still? You can still see your clothes? Or were they burned off by the right hand? Okay. Oh. And you took the knife back home? Mm -hmm. And then what did you do from there? You had the knife, and then show me what happened from there. I just walked back from Kevin's side. Did you walk back this path that you showed me? Uh, yes. The conversation turns back to the hole. What about the hole, though? It was just there. No. no, it wasn't just there. I dug it. it when, was when, when did you dig it? Oh, after I... <laughs> I was looking for something to do with your body, so I don't get it. When? Yeah, when? Before when you decided to burn her I body? That doesn't make any sense. From the forest. It's not no. making sense. Grandpa no. helped you, did No. Rice asks her if her grandfather helped her since he was home at the time the murder took place. You didn't have a shovel with you. I had a knife. You, you didn't dig that hole with a knife. Idiot. You did not dig. I was out there for five hours. You didn't dig that hole with a Digging knife. Digging holes is hard. Grandpa loves you very much, doesn't he? Grandpa do anything for you. I know you don't want to tell me. Oh my gosh. I know you want to protect him. Did her grandpa well, help? To get to the truth of this. You came back. Told him what had happened, and he wanted to help you. He wanted to try to make this right. I did not like her about anything. Who helped you? No one. We're going to put them all on a polygraph. Okay. Who helped you? No one. When did you dig the hole? The one was there. When? After I killed her. When after you killed her? <laughs> this is a very common tactic in interrogations. Once the suspect is open about events, they'll try to get more and more information out of them. Yeah. The investigators will treat this crime as if it involves accomplices until other parties can be eliminated. The whole becomes the topic of discussion yet again. You've got to tell the truth. You're not telling the truth on this part. Why does it even matter now? It does matter. It does because matter. Because we've got to find out the truth. Oh, well, you already know it. We have got to know the whole truth. Oh, man. My cam is... Tell us the yeah. truth. 
I'm gonna give it a little break. No, you didn't. You didn't have a show. Whoops, the Friday one. <laughs> You're telling the truth about how you feel, and I believe that, because that matches your diet. You've done the hard part. You know, just, just tell the truth. The reality is, we can deal with the truth. We can deal with the truth. <laughs> Toby assumes a critical role in facilitating Alyssa's confession. <laughs> Shush her! I don't get Friday. It was a day that was. Oh, that was me. Was it your grandpa? No, oh, it I did it by myself. It's interesting to see how Alyssa goes from trying to lie and pretend she had nothing to do with the missing little girl to finally admitting she dug a grave and killed her. But Sergeant Rice and Toby can't believe that she committed the crime herself or dug the hole. They think her grandfather had something to do with it, too. They are almost giving Alyssa away to continue her lie, but she's probably the most truthful when they try to implicate her grandfather. Probably out of love for him, mm -hmm. because if there were ill feelings between them, there's no doubt she would attempt to throw him under the bus. Mm -hmm. Did you do anything else to her body? No. Did anyone help you? No. Who have you told about this? No one. No one. Did you tell me? No. Did you tell your grandpa? No. Did you tell your friend? No. You Stop lying! No. Oh my gosh! She did tell her There's boyfriend. There's a good reason that the investigators think Alyssa didn't act alone. Even her boyfriend said that he doesn't think she could have carried out the crime by herself. Quite literally. I don't think she did this alone. She couldn't have. I don't think she did either. I think she could barely, barely lift me. I know. Who would be the person that would help? The only good friend that I know of that she always came out with in the back was a girl. Yeah, this is her boyfriend. That's about it. She's right. Toby's right. You've done the hard part on this. One thing I can assure you was I can assure you from working in a lot of homicides for the last 13 years. I do, I got a crummy job. I, the truth is gonna come out. Every one of these that I work, where, where you're sitting here right now, going through the agonizing part of not wanting to come this last portion and tell on someone else. Sniff, sniff. The truth, the truth, sniff, the truth sniff. is gonna, the full truth on whatever happened here is going to come out. Okay, they didn't do it. Then tell me the full truth of all this. Why aren't you why aren't you telling everything? I did. I switched up the whole thing because I was gonna make it an accident. But then I was it really was on Friday that I did the whole. Well, I know it wasn't an accident. I mean I've already talked with you. I know you planned this. I know you I know you had this in your mind. I know you thought about this and I know you intended on for doing this. I, I know that. Okay, this, I know this wasn't an accident that it just spurred the moment. I know that from the whole. I know you intended on killing her, brought her out there for that purpose. But the problem is your deception is causing us other issues here. Okay, so I'm, I'm past the point of thinking. What if Granny started crying? Because they had a deal to not confess. So Granny was mad that she spilled the beans. And Granny was the one that helped her. Is this an accident? Did, did she hit her head? Did, did you just change your mind at the last second for some reason decide to kill her? I know you brought her out there. Okay, why? I did. It's, it's, well, that's not an issue, but I know that happened. <laughs> No, Granny's but innocent, we're still surely. having a problem here with this hole and the rest of it because you've been lying to us on that. Unless... You see, I mean, none of your times make any sense on you didn't dig it with a knife. We know that didn't happen. It was Friday with the shovel. When on Friday? It's we just a sure. rape theory. Exactly. This is where we see the shift from the lesser charge of involuntary manslaughter, a crime of passion, to that of a premeditated murder. 
It's clear Alyssa planned her crime from beginning to end. She planned to lure Elizabeth into the woods to play and to dig a grave a few days before she killed her. There were signs leading up to the murder that either people didn't pay attention to, wrote off as someone just seeking attention, or it was entirely possible minutes. that they didn't think anything was wrong. Alyssa seemed to live a double life. At school, she had friends and pulled good grades, never letting them fall below a B average. Her teacher no. said she was a smart kid and never had any behavioral issues in school. Life ruined. Her social media presence showed an entirely different Alyssa. Her YouTube bio listed her hobbies as cutting and killing people. Her Twitter page gave an insight into some of Alyssa's more concerning thoughts, as she often wrote about depression, addiction, and terror. In particular, one tweet read, All I want in life is a reason for all this pain. These types oh of comments weren't at all unusual for Alyssa. Case documents show that one of Alyssa's friends was interviewed by police. They said that over the last couple of years, Alyssa had said to them, I wonder what it would feel like to kill someone. According to her friend, Alyssa would even talk about what would happen if she did kill someone, speculating about whether or not she would get caught and how exactly she would kill someone. The friend thought she was joking. She'd even said something similar to her boyfriend. Yeah, herself, never, uh, you know, like to kill she asked you that? What did you say? No. What else did you say? That was it. That was it. We just started watching that movie. I didn't even think anything about it. Wow. That wasn't on my mind. Do you didn't even think, think about when somebody asks you, do you know what it feels like to kill somebody? You don't think it's uh, no. That's just something you have normal conversation with somebody about. I think it's brought up in this normal conversation. That's happened to you all. She, she's emo, and emos think about that kind of she's stuff. She's what? She's emo, so emos think about that kind of stuff. What's emo? People like to cut themselves and stuff like that. So, and think dark things. Okay. But I didn't know. Oh, That's my. But then on either Wednesday, October 21st, or Thursday, October 22nd, Alyssa called her friend. Depending on which day it actually was, it was either the day she killed Elizabeth or the following day. Alyssa told the friend that she had done something really bad. The friend asked her if she knew about the little girl that was missing, and Alyssa told her yes, but asked why she was asking. Alyssa repeated over and over to the friend that it was all supposed to be a game. What? There were videos on her YouTube channel that involved doing dangerous things like touching a live electric fence around her grandparents' horse paddock. She forced her twin brothers to touch it and edited the video to say right before the boys touched the fence, this is where it gets good, where my brothers get hurt. Experts say that all of this, along with her other behaviors, indicate that Alyssa had a sadistic need to hurt others and got a lot of pleasure from it, even experiencing a release of all the painful emotions she held deep inside her. Alyssa didn't just try to hurt others, as she often directed the need to inflict pain on herself. At a young age, Alyssa had started hurting herself. All of this came to a head when at 13, she attempted to take her own life. She fully recovered and spent time oh. in a mental health facility where she was prescribed the antidepressant Prozac. She began to see several counselors during her time at the facility, and once she was released, she underwent intensive outpatient treatment. So, while she ended up getting help, it didn't really help her. Back in the interrogation room, Sergeant Rice is trying to get Alyssa to empathize, or at the very least sympathize with the Olton family about how they need help recovering Elizabeth's body so they can have closure. While that may be the first priority for the victim's family, it's law enforcement's priority to recover the body so a forensic autopsy can be performed to corroborate the suspect's statements and generate additional evidence for the prosecution. Toby begins to explain to Alyssa that the judicial system treats people who tell the truth differently than those that lie. This is when Alyssa finally drops the story about burning the body and tells them what she really did to Elizabeth Olton. We're going to have to talk some more about this, obviously. But for right now, I need to get a larger map. Can't. <laughs> Don't make sense. They don't make sense. They don't make sense even to me. Because I am your advocate and I am here to protect you. I, I'm not going to ask any questions, but your statements that you're making don't make sense. It's evident that you're lying. And 
can we treat people who can't be honest and completely different than we treat people who can be honest? You can be honest. You can tell us what happened. Even if you aren't protecting people you feel obligated to I am protect, starving. we at least know we can help you, okay? So he's going to walk out. And like he said, he can't come back and talk. But don't you want to have told him the truth right from the beginning? If this is your opportunity, it's your opportunity. Okay. Put it, slit her throat, and strangled her. Strangled her? Mm-hmm. Wait, after you cut her strangled neck? Strangled her with your hands? Yes. Okay. Oh, my. Did she have a knife on you? Yes. Did you cut her throat at any time? Yes. Cut her throat afterwards? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you strangled her first until she was unconscious, dead, and then you slit her throat? Mm-hmm. And did you actually, did you stab her then? Mm -hmm. Did you do anything else to her? Okay. And then what happened after that? I buried her body. You buried her? Yes. Is your body still out there? I think so. It's unclear why Alyssa seems so unsure that Elizabeth's body will be in the same location. The implication by Detective Rice is that Alyssa may have had help, and it's interesting to note how uncertain she is that Elizabeth will still be there. You didn't burn her, did you? No. Yeah, I knew you did. Still out there in the same spot? I believe so. Okay. Finally, the truth. She strangled her, stabbed her, slit her throat and then buried the body in the hole she dug on Friday. Interestingly, oh, in the, the specific hole? hole that has been in question the entire interrogation was never used as the grave site of Elizabeth Olton. It was Olden. a different hole. Did it? The hole that I saw that you pointed out, what was that about? That was earlier. Okay. Oh. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. Why? What was... It was meant for someone else? I couldn't dig that far. Okay. How deep did you dig the grave that she's in? It's not that deep. Okay. Will you be able to point out on a map and take us to where she's at? Mm -hmm. You didn't burn her, did you? No. Did you bring the shovel with you? I mean, no. How did you dig the hole? That was, if I had been already dug it. Okay. When did you dig that hole? That one was also on Friday. Okay. So you dug the hole on Friday? had it already. Did you leave the shuttle out there? No. Okay. So the hole was already dug on Friday. And you brought her out there on Wednesday. Oh my gosh. Killed her there on Wednesday, strangled her, then cut her throat, stabbed her twice, put her in the hole, and then how'd you fill the dirt in? With my hands. With your hands. There's still something. There's still something. Toby takes this opportunity to push for any last pieces of information that Alyssa could be concealing. There's still something you're not telling. I can tell. It bothers me how much this girl is interjecting. It's like, not her job to do that. Alyssa had dug two holes that Friday. The first hole that had been discussed at length in the interrogation ended up being the one law enforcement found early on. But Alyssa says that she couldn't dig too deep in that area, so she moved to another area where she could, and that's where they would find a nine-year-old Elizabeth Olton's oh. body. As the interviewer has noted, the two holes are interesting, but not everyone buys Alyssa's explanation. There is a theory that Alyssa may have dug two holes because she had originally planned to kill her two younger brothers. However, this theory hasn't what? been corroborated, and so we may never know exactly why Alyssa chose to dig two holes. Now that the story is clearly laid out, They've established how the murder oh, was done and no. where the body is. Sergeant Rice moves on to the motive, the reason Alyssa did it. Why did you pick her? I don't know. Okay. Was there something about her? Did you just want to? Did you just want to know what it was like to kill someone? Yeah, I just wanted to know. Alyssa appears to cry, but her response carries a tone of indifference. Thrill killing. It is the act of killing someone for sheer excitement. Oh, Alyssa killed God. Elizabeth because she wanted to know what it would feel like to kill someone. Oh, Thrill my. killing stems from a place of powerlessness. These killers are empowered by their murders. She just... Someone nearby or... Was it, yeah. 
Ar nar. <laughs> Ar nar. She straddles the fence between emotional upset and removedness. She lowers her head, holding her face in her hands. Psychopaths and sociopaths are not incapable of experiencing guilt and remorse, particularly if they have comorbid conditions like borderline personality disorder or bipolar disorder. She could regret killing Elizabeth out of remorse, but she could also regret killing her for a more I, selfish reason. I think it's definitely for a selfish reason. I don't think she... <laughs> she loved it. She wrote in her journal that it was amazing. <laughs> It's probably because one, she got caught. Two, her grandma reacted, saw her confess, or both. She breaks down once Rice leaves to retrieve a larger map. Toby attempts to reassure Alyssa. Again, we see her emotional instability. She struggles to self-regulate. <laughs> Prozac is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, SSRI, an antidepressant medication primarily used to treat major depressive disorder. If Alyssa has an underlying mood disorder, like bipolar disorder, she might experience increased psychotic symptoms oh as disorders my. like these are sensitive to imbalanced levels of serotonin. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that plays a role in modulating mood, sleep, and cognition. Specifically, antidepressants prevent the breakdown of serotonin, which may lead to an overabundance in individual systems. Psychosis looks different from individual to individual, but it can involve increased aggression, hallucinations, delusions, mania, and other psychotic symptoms. Psychosis characterized by paranoid hallucinations, delusions, and aggression may lead to violent behavior. This girl need needed help. Depression. Yeah, yeah, better. Yes. Because I tried to kill myself. That's why I went to the club. What was that? Well, I was 13 too. But she's 15. I'm going to put the crack in the rest of this. I'm going to put it in the rest of this. I'm going to put it in the rest of this. I'm going to put it in the Childhood maltreatment and or neglect is a strong predictor of suicidal ideation, pathological aggression, and criminality, all of which are present in Alyssa. She <sighs> Dissociation is the separation of oneself from one's identity, memories, thoughts, and or feelings. It's associated with childhood trauma, particularly that of an emotionally abusive or neglectful nature. Dissociation is linked to post-traumatic stress disorder, dissociative disorder, mood disorders, borderline personality disorder, and more. I'm so sick of the sniffing. Toby is walking Alyssa through the process of grounding. Grounding is a technique, often used in therapy in crisis situations, that pulls individuals away from flashbacks or disturbing emotions into the present. She encourages Alyssa to use her breath as an anchor, a sensory tool to call attention to physical rather than emotional sensations. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Don't have any sharp objects in your shoes or anything like that. Okay. What we're going to do right now is kind of get some things lined up to, um, to go out there and have you point out uh, that side where she's at. Can you be able to do that? <laughs> Oh gosh. 
she got caught. She got got. Once and alone, now she's sad Alyssa about almost it. immediately regulates her breathing. Her head hangs low. The reality is, though, your grandmother loved you and love doesn't stop. Okay? I want you to think nobody, nobody loved you. Your grandparents love you. Love is unconditional. Absolutely. She loves you unconditionally. And she's not going to understand why this happened. And there are going to be some you guys have, uh, you know, Sugar coat that you guys <laughs> my title broke your brain. Blame my muds. And yeah, my cam keeps overheating. What did you do with today? That been live for nine and a half hours. Did you clean it? Yeah. Describe the knife to me. There's a kitchen knife, like that one with a black handle. Black handle. Mm -hmm. Have is it just straight edge? Does it have those serrations in it? You know what I'm talking just about? Straight edge. Straight edge. Okay. Because Alyssa's a juvenile, Sergeant Rice explains what's going to happen next in the investigation. How they must speak to everyone that could be involved to get to the truth, especially since Alyssa lied at the beginning of the interrogation. Alyssa is then prepped to go out with Sergeant Rice. They're going back to the woods so that she can recount the crime and show them where she buried Elizabeth. Here's the audio from that excursion. It is uh, day October 23rd, 2009, 2 o'clock. Sergeant David Rice from the Missouri State Highway Patrol. And it is Michael Coutee with a uh, Cole Mike County Juvenile, Juvenile Office. And uh, we're here um, in Cole County uh, at the site where you say uh, this occurred where you've been. Uh, mm. Can you walk me through, I want you to walk me through step-by-step step, um, when you got up here, what actually occurred? We walked. Um, and, and, um, yes, where everything just happened. I'm going to drag her in the hole. Okay. What happened here? I strangled her. Okay. And then cut her throat and stabbed her. Gosh. When why? you strangled her, was she was she facing you? Yeah. Okay. So she was facing you, looking towards you. Mm -hmm. You strangled her one hand, two two hands. Okay. And what happened? Did she stand up, fall to the ground? What happened? She fell to the ground. Okay. Was she moving at that point? No. Okay. Um so she was lying on the ground. Mm -hmm. Was she face down on her no, back? She was on her back. Okay. Oh. And where was, you said you earlier you had a knife. Where was your knife at that point? Um, I put it back in my pocket. Well, like, not pocket, but like, I held it. Here, Alyssa doesn't even remember where she placed her knife during the attack. It's unclear if she's even telling the truth still at this point, since every detail seems so muddled. Which, which pocket was it in? Front, it was like back, in my waist, below my waist. Yeah. Like, okay. Right there. Okay. And that was the knife that you told me about mm -hmm. with the black handle that yep. you told me earlier. Okay. And what did you do with the knife? I put it in the sink. No, no. When you were here, when she said she was on the ground not moving, you said, well, after that point, what did you do? I cut her throat and then stabbed her. You cut her throat and stabbed her. Where did you stab her? In her chest area. In her chest area? Yeah. In the front or in the back? Front. In the front. Oi, oi, oi. How many times? Twice, I believe. Alyssa's story still doesn't add up. Although continually claiming she stabbed Elizabeth twice, the autopsy report revealed she was stabbed a total of eight times. Did this in her girl chest. Like black out while she was twice. murdering this kid? What the heck? And then what happened after that? <laughs> Dragged her into the hole. Dragged her into this hole over here. Okay. And when did you dig that hole? Friday. Okay. How did you cover her up? Did you have a shovel or no, something here? I just used my hands. Use your hands. Okay. And this is the hole over here. She's in her. How deep is that hole? It's not very deep. Okay. All right. Ugh. Okay. And I think we've talked about everything else back at the office. I just wanted to go over. Is there anything else? This all happened right about here. Mm -hmm. Please. Pretty sure of that. Yeah. Okay. I can't tell if she's been helped um, or not. Did you leave anything out here that 
you can think of? Um, I think you dropped a piece of gum somewhere. You did? She did. She dropped a piece of gum? Where do you think that was at? What happened to her phone? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it was in her pocket the entire time. In her pocket? Yes. So do you think her phone is in her pocket in that hole? Yes. Okay. Did you ever hear it go off? No. Alyssa claimed she never heard Elizabeth's phone ring, contradicting Elizabeth's mother, who claimed she called her phone over and over again. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shut the tape off then. She used her hands to cover Elizabeth's body with leaves, dirt, and twigs. Once the body was recovered and autopsied, Elizabeth Holton was laid to rest on Wednesday, October 28, 2009. She was buried in a pink coffin and carried to the cemetery Aww. by a horse-drawn carriage. Mourners wore pink and released balloons. Elizabeth's aunt described her as the morning sun that pops out over the mountain. She was sunshine, and you couldn't help but love her. In the end, it seems some details just don't add up, and it's clear that investigators believe Alyssa had some sort of help. And along with all the inconsistencies, Dustin's explanation behind how he discovered Alyssa killed Elizabeth was strange, to say the least. What? On Thursday, October 22nd, the day after Elizabeth's murder, Dustin stayed home sick and claimed Alyssa skipped school to spend the day with him at his residence. His mother unexpectedly arrived home at approximately 12.30 or 1 p.m. He ushered Alyssa into a closet to hide, giving her clothes to change into for unknown reasons, and continued to check on her repeatedly while she was hiding. While Dustin's mother was getting into the shower, he claimed Alyssa suddenly confessed that she strangled, cut, and killed the girl. He then claimed he told her she had to leave, guiding her to go out the front door while his mother was in the shower. This was his last alleged communication with Alyssa. And the day after this happened, you skipped school. And That's a so crazy poverty. time to confess. Mm -hmm. Right. Can you tell him about this? When you're in a closet hiding what? from parents? What? You guys are that close. Didn't you feel like you needed to tell somebody? That's a weird time to confess. Investigators also picked up on what they believed was a slip-up at the beginning of his interrogation. All that I know is what the FBI told me. What did they tell you? They told me that she buried him and then slit her throat and stabbed her. Uh, she already had a, a thumb hook done for him. Oh. They buried her. She wasn't big enough, so then they buried her. They buried her again? They? I mean, they? Who's they? I mean... Who's they? I didn't mean you, you're, you're, you're not in trouble here, okay? You're not in a lot of trouble here. I didn't mean they. You're not in a lot of trouble here, bud. It's just what I've been saying oh. for the past couple of days. Yo, where's the grandpa? Seen, Why didn't they interrogate him? That bar, so. But obviously you just told me that there was another person involved and I can believe that. No, you told me that. Alyssa was charged with first degree murder. Yet even though she had confessed and even led law enforcement to the very site where she killed and buried Elizabeth, she entered a not guilty plea. She was certified as an adult on November 18th, 2009 due to the adult nature of her crime. The Cole County Circuit Judge assigned to the trial ruled that her crime was vicious and that the Missouri State Juvenile Facilities were unequipped to deal with someone who could commit such a crime. For over oh, wow. a year, Alyssa stuck to her plea of not guilty. What? The day before her trial, January 9th, 2012, she withdrew her not guilty plea and agreed to plead guilty to the lesser charge of second degree murder. What? Since she took the plea deal that had been presented to her, she waived her right to a jury trial, but as a condition of the deal, she needed to get up in front of the courtroom and tell the events of that fateful day. The courtroom was filled with both her family and Elizabeth's family, oh, along with wow. most of the St. Martin's community. Alyssa told the court what she'd done, speaking in a clear, emotionless voice. She'd strangled Elizabeth with her hands and used the kitchen knife for the rest of the attack. Nearly everyone in the courtroom already knew the details of the murder, since it was well publicized in the media. However, this was the first time hearing it straight from the murderer herself. Elizabeth's mother, Patty, sobbed while Alyssa retold her daughter's murder. There were several reasons that the courts probably reduced the charges. At the time, it was a gray area whether it was legal to sentence a teenager to life without parole. The United States Supreme Court was getting ready to hear another case about two teenage murderers, and they needed to decide if life without parole was cruel and unusual punishment 
for people so young. The defense said that oh, Alyssa was wow. diagnosed with major depression, anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder from her difficult upbringing, borderline personality disorder, and showed early signs of bipolar disorder. And more importantly, that all of these diagnoses were the reasons behind her killing of Elizabeth Olton. She Case documents help. reveal a police interview with a mental health professional who had worked with Alyssa for two years. They shared that during an annual assessment of Alyssa, only one month before the interview and Elizabeth's disappearance, the mental health professional had become concerned that her depression was spiraling and her delinquent behavior was increasing. Alyssa had actually called this mental health professional soon after Elizabeth went missing. During the call, Alyssa said she was distressed about the police being in her house and searching for clues about what happened to Elizabeth. One of the most interesting pieces from the case document is that the mental health professional initially said they had no concern about Alyssa being involved in the little girl's disappearance, because in their experience, Alyssa never expressed a desire to harm anyone else but herself. Another doctor even agreed with this wow. same belief. However, they also conceded that they could be wrong. This interview took place two days after Alyssa killed Elizabeth. Alyssa's defense tried to prove she didn't know that murdering someone was wrong. In contrast to this, the mental health professional was asked during the police interview about whether or not Alyssa understood the difference between right and wrong, to which they replied, absolutely. Her defense also pointed out that Alyssa's dose of Prozac was increased only a short time before she killed Elizabeth. They claimed that this increase may have played a role in making her behavior unpredictable and even could have made her more prone to violence. One question that everyone comes back to is why Alyssa had done it. Her grandfather said that the night Alyssa killed Elizabeth, she seemed to be in an unusually good mood. Her mood, along with her journal entry, show that Alyssa was likely a thrill killer. Thrill killers oh receive my. a rush of euphoric adrenaline from the act of killing their victims, which would explain why Alyssa was so happy after the gruesome murder. What the heck? Go skydiving or something. On February 8, 2012, something. Alyssa addressed the court and apologized, saying, I really am extremely sorry for everything. I know words can never be enough to describe how horribly I feel for all of this. If I could give my life to get her back, I would. I'm sorry. Alyssa was sentenced to life in prison, but this story doesn't Wh end there. What? Due to the publicized what? nature of the crime and the lead up to the trial, Alyssa became something of an underground celebrity. Oh, There's an God. online fan club and Facebook groups in support of Alyssa, some displaying artwork of her and even profiles using her picture pretending to be her. Alyssa would have been what? eligible for parole for the first time in 2044, but since the Senate Bill 26 passed, someone convicted as a minor can ask for parole after 15 years. This means there is a chance Alyssa could be up for parole as early as 2027. My biggest problem was that. <clears throat> oh my. Wow. That was crazy. Thank you, Cassie, for the nine months. Callie, Monty, Jason, thank you for all the members today. All right, I'm donezo for today. We will do more crime another day. More games. You guys got me interested in Ace Attorney. It seems so interesting. I looked it up. It's like 16 hours to beat or something. Maybe we just have a uh, play through Ace Attorney. Everyone was saying it was so good. So. All right, I'm going to go eat some dinner. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.